big shift in the momentum. I wasn't exactly sure how Game 3 was going to go, but I think it really just came down to that roaring start that Philly had. Taking that very quick stock off a of Gamer Dog in Game 3 changed the momentum drastically. Had to basically change the game plan as well, too, because as I mentioned, the Robs usually ended up playing back, being the stock tank, but they didn't have that opportunity in Game 3, and it kind of cost them the set. But still a fantastic showing from all the players involved. Really good stuff in terms of the team combos and the edge guards and definitely we'll see more of them on the streams later. If you don't know, if you're not tapped in already, we, this is the main stream. Thank you all for joining us here. But we also have the side stream with the Blast Zones. There's plenty of matches to watch. There's no reason you shouldn't be having a great time. Yeah, for sure. Luminosity makes big moves brought to you by Jason Statham's The Beekeeper. Brought to you in theaters. When do we I have I believe theaters? it's Friday, January 12th. If not January mistaken. 12th. That is correct, AG. And the other fantastic, great action. all the other fantastic sponsors right here as well on your screen. Make sure to check them all out. They're all doing wonders <laughs> for this uh, event. Uh, uh, Somewhere around there. It's, you know, not one person <laughs> makes the magic happen, although some help more than others. It is definitely a team effort, a community effort, if you will. <laughs> and this is a community I love so very much. New York Smash is so fantastic. Tri-State Smash and, of course, the Smash community at large. Big fan. And speaking of big fan, we have four of my favorite players on deck for stream. I'm so very excited to cast this match. I'm so excited. I might be getting into it too soon. I think we only <laughs> even have half the players, but I cannot wait for this. I love doubles, and we got... Fantastic, fantastic team stepping up. What, as I mentioned, we had some star-studded teams. The fifth team that just fell a little bit short of my list of names was Light and Tilde. Yeah. Who I am such a fan of. Obviously, uh, Light is also from Connecticut. We've been in the same community for so very long. Even when he was like a miserable Smash 4 player to where he is now, always been a, probably his biggest fan. Tilde, fantastic. I've watched probably too much Falco for any normal person because I just love watching Tilde play Smash. It's always a great time. And they're going up against Lunar Knot and Zap, who are fantastic forces in the tri-state community. Wonderful team in doubles and just wonderful individuals as well. Yeah, we are making sure that they sit down properly. Right, we are seeing right. it at the bottom of the screens right now, and we're definitely seeing them. Light, Tilde, and you said Zap, and who was the other one? Lunar Knot. Lunar yeah. Knot. Perfect, perfect. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a Very, good time. Yeah, good time. and great high action, especially yes. for double. So early too. Right, right. This Super is early. It's winners round two, but you know the bracket is uh, definitely more of a quality bracket. Not that there's a lack of quantity of teams, but the teams are very, mm. very good. So we're gonna get some good matches very soon. And again, it's, if you don't want to miss them, make sure you got all the streams open. They're over there. You know they got four matches at once, and yes. then we got the main stream here as well. And I'm just so excited, man. The matches are already fantastic, and there's so much more action. It's only Friday, Chopper. Only Friday. Only Friday. We still got tomorrow and the day after that. Some exciting Smash Ultimate being played. We also have Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl yes, 2, yeah, yeah. who is also brought to you from one of our sponsors here, Luminosity Gaming, obviously. Like I mentioned beforehand, the great movie from the director that made Suicide Squad Chopper, and how much Fury. are they paying you? They're paying you too much. <laughs> are they not enough? I don't know. They're paying you not enough. We got, I we'll cannot do the ad be <laughs> more excited I know, I can tell. for the beekeeper. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get into the... Hey, don't call me out on this, AG. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm trying to Someone's got to, bro. You'll be oh, here I got to make sure. I got to yeah. make sure these flights aren't The cheap. lights are not... They're not going to turn the lights off or anything. It's fine. <laughs> but, Maybe yes, get invited yeah. to the premiere. Hey, Who knows? true. Yeah, I'm trying to meet Josh Hutchinson. Oh, of course. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> it's going to be a great bracket, too. We have the arcading coming up later today. We yeah. have Nick throughout the weekend as well. Mm -hmm. So many great side events and, like, regular events. If you're in the general area, try and make it out for finals day at least. I'm, I'm hearing some, some crazy rumors, some talk on the town. that It's going to be one that you don't want to miss. So Ooh. if you can, at least stay tuned, you know. For sure. For sure. Just waiting to everybody to get set up. And uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about our favorite games. You did mention you're mm, a true. big Metroid big fan. Big Metroid fan. Big yeah. Metroid fan. I am partial to Donkey Kong. I am mm -hmm. a big Mario fan as well. Nice Kingdom Hearts thing. as well. I am a Sora main. Ooh. I used to play Ridley beforehand. You have interesting taste. Yes. Yes, but. I do. <laughs> I'm usually a he uh, heavy lover. Okay. Um, right, right. Ridley doesn't really call count as a heavy lover. Right, though. right. But. Like spiritually, but like in practice. Yes, yeah. yes. It's more 
more like big characters right, excite right. me. Okay. That's actually why I like DK and King K. Rool and all that stuff. It's so. it's all right to have a type. I yeah, understand. Of yeah. Of course. Who do you play? Uh, I play Zero Suit Samus and Sheik. So mm -hmm. I also have a pretty much the exact opposite type of character, but definitely. It sounds like you would destroy me in brackets. Yeah, yeah, it would not be a great matchup. <laughs> It would be no. good. I don't know if one of us would have fun, though. I would hit you once. <laughs> right. That would be enough for me to actually try to take a stock. <laughs> that would be more or less the game plan. But, again, light until they team Star Fox. Definitely exciting. Right, so you right. do know more about Lunar Knot and Zap. Uh, yeah, can you yeah. tell me a little bit more about them? Uh, yeah. Uh, Zap uh, will – you could probably guess who they play when the camera switches to the player POV. If you wanted to make any bets, I don't think you could find someone else – but Zap in the yellow with the Pikachu ears. Yeah, of yeah, they play Pikachu. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that makes sense. I will write that down. And uh, Lunar Knot also Zero Suit player. Okay. But I don't know, like, what the double situation is. I know some, some players, like, have a character they enjoy in singles and in doubles it's a different story. Yeah. Uh, but I have to imagine that we will probably still see the Zero Suit. Uh, definitely a, you know, the most practiced character. And... Uh, one that like they've worked together, like the yellow team worked together a lot with this specific dynamic of Zero Suit mm -hmm. and Pikachu. So it looks like that is what we're getting against Team Star Fox on small battlefield. And they are out of the gates. Green team already started it off with the side special to close the gap. Yeah, guns are blazing. Now we do have the multi hits from Falco are gonna be so important. And somebody as fast as light, especially when using Fox, is gonna be able to follow up so easily from the combination that Tilde is gonna pull out. It's going to be interesting, too, because they already have their own kind of built-in combos, but it's going to be <laughs> wild to see how they improvise with their team combos already. Big swings coming out, an up smash almost taking that second stock, but the up air will surely do it. Great aerial pressure using that fast and large jump from Falco to kind of get up there and force the issue. I'm trying to go for combos as well after the down grab. The multi-hit with the Nair, actually trying to get them as far as you can. And then the Big Room and I, we are seeing two stocks lost by the yellow team. Trying to get some momentum going from some of the best players that we have seen throughout the course of Smash Ultimate as well. So no easy stack. It's going to be tough. I, you know, there is a favorite here, but it's still anyone's game at the moment. Big up smash, though. Oh! Such a huge swing with that box up smash. And the players are having a good time about it. Uh, it's, you got to laugh. You got to laugh it off. <laughs> Try to get some stuff going. And we're seeing, again, multi-hits from side to side. If you don't combo with the other person, oh you're going to combo God. with yourself. <laughs> Jesus, the multi-hit on the fur. And then afterwards, you just saw light from right to left just hitting him with the back air to seal it. This is a 1v2 scenario in an almost impossible event for Pikachu. Yeah. I just, also, the inputs on that, too, to have that very fast dash left still input the turnaround to get a back air in that spot. Very wild. We're seeing a lot of uh, forward tilts here. I think they're uh, cooking something together. They're all, okay. Down. That yeah, combos wild. into itself one more time. <laughs> <laughs> if you go up, you're going to get hit by fire rate. If you yeah. go down, you are going to get hit by another back air. Pretty, pretty dominant victory, to say right, the least, right. especially for Team Star Fox. Yeah, it's, uh, I believe a six stock, but it it's hard to even get your footing when you start a game like that, right? The momentum we always talk about is so very important, and it was very much in Green Team's favor. Look at, like... The Hold fact on, that you man. can connect that is, is wild. And then here, this was phenomenal. I didn't even know this was an option, but the drag down fair to kind of make that tech situation happen, very cool stuff. So definitely uh, maybe doing some stage striking here. I think the stage will probably help too. That was a bit too close quarters, which was only advantageous for green team. Like they were just scrapping to start yeah. off the game before we even got the footage, right? Before they even said go, both of them side B immediately to start the fight. So maybe something like Town and City would be good to kind of slow it down, give the yellow team a little bit more room to work with and try and set up some team combos. Big map, you're going to have a little bit of an FD scenario. Right. Sometimes with the moving platforms. I'm trying to analyze a little bit more what they are going to do, but we are definitely seeing some character switches on the side of the yellow team. We're, they're going to rock the Kirby and the Lucario. Interesting picks, to say the least, as well. So let's see if they can turn it around for game two. I'm interested to see this team dynamic. It's not one that I can say I'm very familiar with. 
Kirby does have a couple of interesting options against either of the spacey characters on the green team, but I don't know if we're going to be able to see a lot of them unless they kind of find those openings. Like if Yellow Team can get the stage control or get in the advantage. Right now, though, it looks like Fox up here is kind of just doing it all. And if you're going to go for Ooh. combinations that are solid like that, we are seeing the first hog actually taken on the side of wow. oh, <laughs> Zap on the one hand. And we're seeing another stock actually taken from the Lucario. Mm -hmm. If you continue to be at a disadvantage in stocks, Lucario is going to get stronger, especially in the doubles. True, true. Definitely something you have to think about. And already, kind of like early kills off the side, going to be another drag down into a smash attack from like the signature. Going to take the stock. So only two a piece on yellow team, green team though. Holding on to the smallest lead with the five stocks. Oh, Fox up here, though, so good against characters that have a hard time landing. Oh. 77 after the hit is crazy. Double team dash attack, sending him to the side. Okay, Zap is actually getting pumped in the right side camera. Yep. And we continue to put it on. That yellow team is definitely nothing to scoff at. They are going to start cleaning it up till they just get that up smash. Lucario with the last stock. It's going to be important in Kirby if, you know, we can hold on to this stock for a little bit longer too. Could be important, but some unfortunate friendly fire. It's going to give green team a little bit of a lead again, but 69%, normally a safe percent. I, that Lucario, though, has been pretty explosive in terms of taking those stocks early. Oh, man. What a vicious combination by Tilde, too. But this is exactly what you want if you're Lucario, though. 98%, not what you want if you want to get hit by that fair. It's a 1v2 scenario. One more time. Lul or not, it has a big hill to climb versus Team Star Fox. Yeah, it's going to be tough here. Is that rapid jab and <laughs> that. Oh, no. Yeah, the neutral air, both really good moves to give light time to set up for the follow up, which we've already seen plenty of as well. Really good use of the jump right there. Find a way back and a huge back air okay. pickup. Oh, okay. Oh, Luna. okay. Swag on him, Luna. <laughs> Swag movement. on him. I've never seen Kirby do that. Okay. <laughs> I nice. like the TP toe dance though. Right, right. <laughs> okay, what's the punish here? Grab him. Yeah, I was gonna say back throw, or back air after that would be good, but interesting. A little bit of a scramble. Green team kind of looking for something maybe a little too flashy. Stepping on each other's toes a little bit. That up air almost taking it. Light looking for one laser. Yeah, all of that actually oh. trying to get hit. Oh! Fox okay. on the side, that nair is going to be enough that time, though. I, I cannot stress, <laughs> after that down air hit, the air left the room. I heard so many people gasp in the crowd, <laughs> and even in the player cams, the yellow team perked up at the possibility. But then, before we could even really appreciate that moment, we had the wonderful pickup from Tilde to seal the deal. It's going to be a very exciting 2-0 to watch. <laughs> Lunar Nod and Zap actually played a heck of a game mm -hmm. on that second one, but we are seeing the combinations after the grab, down air, onto the back air. Pretty much bread and butter, pan con mantequilla in Spanish from the Falco. We're seeing it again on the side. It's beautiful replays actually done by production, too. Yes, Cannot yeah. complain. Technology by House of 3000. Yes. Just in case you didn't know. Hell but yeah. yes, fantastic. All of those pickups, too, are just so good. Off of, like, one grab, too. <laughs> the gas. The, yeah, the up B, and then <laughs> it was everyone right there. Gasped. It was right there. It was like, great stuff. Seeing it one more time, we continue on with the Through doubles. the platform, too. Which, or not through the platform. Like, he fell oh! through the platform. And... Oh, man, I think I would have actually gone off the ledge instead of actually doing for jumping get right, up. I would right. just just went for the downer just to try and see if we can do something. That would be the one thing that maybe it could change. But it, when you're in that situation, two versus one, it's so difficult for you right, to actually right. do those last-minute um, adjustments. Every single moment is tense yeah. just because of the situation. Of so it's hard to make all of the right decisions mm -hmm. when you're under so much pressure and you have so many decisions to make in a game like this in every moment. It's like a game of, like, 25 decisions, right? Yeah. Like, even, yeah. like... If you do decide to jump off the ledge, how, how far do you jump off the ledge? Do you double jump off the ledge, et cetera, et cetera? It's hard to make the right pick. But the hits don't stop, Chopper. We got another one lined up. We got another. Uh, Tri-State is such a lovely, like, melting pot of regions, right? You get an event like this in New York. We already saw some Connecticut players. We already saw some New York players, of course, New Jersey players. And our second Philly team coming up. We saw John and Stars earlier, and now we got Beast and Juice stepping up to the stream setup, and I am so excited to watch them play. I love both the players individually, and Juice is a player I feel like I don't get to see play enough, so I'm excited to watch some Beast and Juice together. 
Also, get in here, Chop. You know, I feel like I'm taking up too much of the shot. <laughs> no, it's here. perfectly fine. And also, the opponents are going to be Thea and Sparkle. Yes, yeah, yeah. Going into winner's quarters of the pool. So these players are trying to, you know, keep battling on to try to face the top seeds that we mentioned beforehand. Players like the names of Leo and Big Boss. We have Spargo, actually. Who was the team? Spargo and Skyjay. Spargo yeah. and Skyjay, of course. two different Team Mexicos that could right, take it all. Right, of course. So. And we do. We just saw Light yep, and Tilde actually taking some action in with Team Star Fox. So exciting, exciting Smash Ultimate, especially from the double side, For sure. which is actual garbage's hey, favorite. It's my favorite. Event. That's why they keep putting me on these doubles blocks. I'm not like one of the three casters who are like, yes, I love doubles. <laughs> Sign me up. Hey, it's not like you mind, though. No, I I'm, I'm oh, such man. a fan. It's like it's great. how I, like, all through Smash 4, I team with Ling. And it was just great. We would go and have a blast because he was so very good. And I was also all right. And I just like <laughs> love doubles. So there's so much to it that I enjoy. And so I know a lot of casters are like, there's too much going on. It's hard to follow. I don't like ultimate doubles. And I'm just like, get them out of here. Put me on every doubles block. I cannot wait. I love how you said, yeah, Ling is really, really good. And I also play Smash. Yes, yeah. Like we average out at two, like eight or nines out of 10 because he's like a 12, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the math. But he's so good. He's also very good at doubles, especially. You know, yes. I would just I played Wario at Smash 4 and I would just stay alive for minute fifty five and then watch someone that he threw to me. It was great. And then Cloud came out. It was even better. I, I didn't have to wait um, two minutes. I had just finishing touch. And that's a valid strategy, especially oh, if you yeah. want to be the tank of the team. Right, right. If you have Ling actually going into the front, going balls to the wall, yeah. actually trying to hit everything right in front of him, and you can just be happy, just wandering oh, yeah. around trying to survive, the better for you. Exactly. I, it was definitely like me just being like, yeah, all right, I'm having a great time. And he's just like sweating, doing all these flow cancel nares, <laughs> like holding down the neutral, and I'm just like, neutral, or down Why? B. Jump. Neutral B. Yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> oh, I'll do Nair and back there. Yeah. And he's just like, you know, sweating still, just like holding down center stage. But these teams, very different, obviously. Yeah, All great players. So I'm excited to see some more doubles action because as exciting as those top seeded teams are, mm -hmm. this is like my favorite part too. Like seeing the people make the story is so much well, I wouldn't say more exciting. It's a different kind of exciting. Yeah, of those crazy runs have to start somewhere. Might as well be winner's quarters or round one or two. And it's so great to see them happen. Like, this is where the upsets are the most electrifying. When they're the most drastic, or you get some of the, the obvious favorites, respectfully, versus the other team. And the other team either even just has close games, which are fun to watch, or if they take the whole set, it's a good time. Yeah, it's definitely very important to see because everybody loves an underdog story. Exactly. exactly. Every, that's why we see like people pulling for characters that are not as common in the top echelon when we have the Aegis or um, the Jokers or the Pikachus or right, right. whatnot. The best characters in the game, the Steve and stuff. <laughs> Right? Um, right, right? But then we have somebody like Sky J that had, makes it to top eight with Incineroar. Oh my goodness, that was like the electrifying moment of collision is every time Sky J went on another crazy run for like one or maybe two stocks, everyone yeah. would stop what they were doing and get glued to that stream setup because what's better than an underdog story, right? That's what keeps people coming back to these tournaments because you, you never know who can take it. And we'll see who is going to take it for this next set as we are getting down to the first game between Team Philly on the left side of Thea and Sparkle. So we got the Beast Pokemon trainer with the Roy from Juice, which is going to be a very good pick. And already oh. we got a little bit of a controller situation. And I do have to shout out to Beast barely holding on to that very tiny shield. That was unexpected. OK, he's going to play it through. Oh, no. Nope. you take one stock. The stock. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. That's, that's fair. I mean, not exactly ideal, but not a huge deficit, deficit. either. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're a hero, two heroes at that, mm -hmm. which is why I love this team dynamic. We can definitely make something crazy happen, like that early stock. Okay. Really good stuff from Arch. <laughs> oh, and another shield break. Beast, Whoa. get over there. No. <laughs> okay, we're good. DI actually using the directional air dodge right up front. Roy actually shifting his hitbox a little further to the right side. That's why it's actually in being able to manage. There are some characters in the game that when you use directional air dodge, it actually puts them forward into the blast zone. Right, right. So good recognition on them. Okay. Uh, that being said, after that explosive start from yellow team, I think red team... Hold on, I take it all back. I take it all back. They're sleeping. <laughs> Both of them put to sleep by the snooze. 
Juice makes it out on skates, but Beast down to the last stock already. Oh my goodness, what a game we have. I feel Another like... Another <laughs> shield break! What is going on? This is chaos! <laughs> They both have had Accelerado at the same time. Terrifying situation. Both of them were oomphed or psyched up. And now <laughs> you, you can't even leave them alone. They're healing on the left side as well. <laughs> it's another one by Dust. After that first stock actually taken because of the control of the Mac they haven't lost a stock yet. Right. That is a very good point. It's still five stocks. That was a great option from Arch, but good okay. selection from Red Team on both ends, winning those exchanges. Trying to bring it back a little bit. It's just so hard. It's like breakneck speed coming in from yellow team. The combinations are going to come in by both sides. The problem that you might have, especially if you're Roy, for example, is the range that you might want to deal with if you're playing fighting against two heroes at the same time, however. Right, right. Okay, that was a really good defensive option. Spot dodge and a forward tilt with the sweet spot. But the snooze coming in, big forward smash, but only 74% on juice. Not going to seal the deal. That snooze was so scary. <laughs> Player 2 is defeated. We are seeing the share stock. I'm coming in one more time. One, well, 2v2 scenarios. One stock apiece from Red Team. Right. Kaboom! Okay, big kaboom to open up the stage. Juice on the back foot now, 100% and off the stage. And both of them are psyched up or oomphed at this point. You do not want to get hit by any hero moves, but good DI mix up. Oh. Some friendly fire, the up air from Beast, unfortunately, finding Juice as the target. Okay, hold on, though. Beast is putting something together. Definitely. No, this is doable. Yeah. This is doable for sure. We're seeing, well, uh, yeah, two stocks to one. Psych up on one of the heroes, and Psych up on the right side. Accelerate as well. Down, air, actually hitting him. The Sizz is going to hit him with 105%. Spiking him down. We might be seeing the first comeback of Luminosity makes okay. big moves, AD. We, with the oomph no! and the, okay, I was going to say, with the, the oomph. It was close. Still keeping it pretty even here. Beast at the ledge has been so scary. The tether cancels are looking so nice. Picking all the right options. Big opportunity, though. Any moment that we have to read the menu is a good moment for Yellow Team. There's the psych up. We have bounce two. The Razor Leafs aren't going to do it, so the Charizard comes out. Huge pickup for Beast. The crowd's waking up. Zoom. Oh, actually, Red, where they were going to land on the right side platform, too. 98% to 49. Zoom. Boom, this time coming out, accelerate. You gotta get those terrains on if you're a hero. And now we're seeing them on the action on the right side, actually goes no. for the forward special. And because they accelerate, actually manages to getting that second jump for the fair exactly. to end that game. The accelerado was the X factor completely. It let, it, it let them just kind of avoid that whole flamethrower situation entirely. Land and then punish Beast like so very well because of all of that extra speed and jump like exactly what the doctor ordered really good stuff unbelievable pickup like exactly like it, out of how many spells to pick accelerado was the one that you were wishing for yeah the pokemon trainer has been a beast pun intended on the <laughs> ledge throughout the course of the first game at least those True. down airs definitely trying oh. to make those comebacks alive but now we're seeing the combo going in double jump can we get it looks that? like they wanted a hit i was gonna say can we get that one more time production because this is First of all, great option right there. And then we see a few couple frames of an aerial come out. It looks like back air, maybe. Yeah. Or no, is that just... So he tried oh, to yeah, get him yeah. on first the couple startup. frames of back air, yeah. They were and trying then... to get him on the startup and actually hit him with a fair. Right. It looks like they did not expect the accelerator to actually send them so far out the right leg. Right, right. Interesting, interesting dynamic to work around, of course. One hero is already confusing, two of them at the same time. I get why it was a bit of an adjustment for Red Team. That being said, though, that one stock to a controller malfunction might have been the only thing keeping it close. Yellow Team might run away with it here, but I do think Red Team was starting to slow it down. His snooze is coming in. Now the bounces, just make sure that they can actually get those Razor Leaf projectiles. Even so, we are seeing the Roy actually trying to go in between them. And now, this is an interesting strategy between them. They're actually maintaining a hero on the right side and actually making sure that they cannot recover as easily. Pretty much Roy serving as a wall in between right, right. the yellow team. Okay, I think oh, that was a man. decent oh. trade here. Yeah, Juice does make it back. Ooh. And there's the Zard as well. So it ends up being just one stock off a of yellow team. And to your point, I do like them kind of trying to separate and focus one of the heroes. Unfortunately, though, Hero is pretty good 
at using that downtime, right? You, you can get heals and ooms and psych ups. You don't really want to leave Hero to his own devices too much here because we see stuff like that on the left side. And now they're stacking up those buffs as well. Red Team's going to have to make something happen here. Oh my oh! goodness. It, oh. <laughs> Not exactly what you want if you're in the yellow team. Kamikaze coming for ah! the whack of no! Oh my goodness, what a silly game of doubles we have right now. Four stocks to three. Beast at a pretty high percent, but still holding on and still racking up some good hits here. I don't know what church the heroes are going to, but I need to sign myself up. RNG just has been on fire <laughs> I'm saying, throughout give, the course of the game. Do they have the Powerball numbers? Oh, oh, oh I hope they okay. do. I need them for sure. 173, and that swoosh is still not sealing the deal. He's trying to put some pressure on good forward air. Extra damage on Juice and taking the stock off of Beast. The neutral special not finding the mark, but still really good pressure from Yellow Team. They're holding down center stage, forcing the share stock. But we're down to Jeez. one apiece across the board, Chopper. It is down to the wire. I want that game three so bad, actually. I want to keep seeing those interactions in between the two heroes, and obviously Roy and Trainer putting in the work to try to get this game. And that, as you mentioned beforehand, it goes down to the wire. One stop piece for everybody up there, sending them right up. Not quite going to be enough yet. We are seeing the double H stance on the side of Roy. Oh, and picks up the zoom. Unfortunately, does hit Beast trying to read the timing of the zoom. Beast breaking out the Charizard, but a oh! huge neutral special. Yellow team can make it happen here. The forward smash sets up a oh, bunch no. of time. Still should be able to make it back here, but ah! the Kamikaze! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what an explosive finish to a wild couple of games right there. I cannot even begin to explain how just absolutely baffling <laughs> those <laughs> interactions were. I am at a loss for words, so uh, what, I, what are your thoughts, Chopper? Oh man, that was great. Kind of really, really, really wanted that game three, but when you have Kamikaze at your disposal, BAM! <laughs> Hits them yeah. both but only kills one of the heroes, doesn't kill the red team at least. That's not quite getting the KO that time. We are seeing the combos actually coming in and whack. the whack. From downtown, dude, this is like from, la, 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 from the la, logo. La, 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 la. And Beast is like, get me out of here. Oh, my dragon! Beast also for sure dead if that whack hit, so I, it's not like, I, there is an argument for Beast to tank the whack because like he's already at a higher percent, mm -hmm. but you know, ideally both players dodge it and it's not a problem, but then it just hit the back of Juice's head, took that stock fairly early at 70. Really good stuff, good pickup. And that neutral special was huge. Just kind of like used it as a movement option for the most part, but then finally unleashed it when it mattered the most. And there's the flame smash, the flame slash into the kamikaze, <laughs> just sitting on it. And then <laughs> the spot dodge too, which is actually wild that they timed that. Wonderful, wonderful game and just a great one to watch. I am having a great time. And it doesn't get talked about enough. The hero is actually right at the space where they needed to be just to make sure that the word did not grab the invincibility on right, the ledge right. fast enough. So the range of the Kamikaze is ginormous, but you know, hero just moving a little bit to the front, just going, oh! <laughs> hey, how about this? <laughs> Excellent stuff. So we have a pretty hard match to try and, you know, top, but there was anyone to do it. <clears throat> Gotta be one of the best seeds in the tournament. As you mentioned, we'll leave the third, or sorry, fourth seed. Could be Sabrick and MVD coming up okay. to the stream setup. And they're going up against a Dominator and not Brayden. I'm excited to see that match because I unfortunately haven't seen a lot of MVD Sabrick together as a, yeah. as a doubles team. So yes. I'm interested right. to see what sort of things that they have worked on, how they implement them in the you know doubles environment. I think it'll be a good time. Yeah, is Zabrick still using Meta Knight? You know what? We'll find out. As I mentioned, the doubles environment could true. be very different. True, true, Meta Knight, true. though, very good character I'm thinking, in general. Because I'm thinking they're probably going to go for some cheeses, especially okay. if you're going to go for it. If you're going to put the the little bomb, up throw, and then, up throw, what, and then you what drop year the bomb. Is it? <laughs> That's crazy. If, if that works still? I, would I have be, no idea, but we're about to find out <laughs> if Zabrick is going to play that MK. That would be wild, but we're definitely going to find out now as they set up on the stream setup one more time. Thank you all for tuning in. Great to have you. It's been a pleasure so far. 
will continue to be a pleasure for the rest of the weekend because the matches have already been phenomenal, wonderful, yes. a blast to say the least. But we also got so many more matches over on the quad streams. So make sure to check that out as well. If you're in the chat and you know the, the URL, please link it. I know people are lazy. They don't want to open up a whole new tab. Just link <laughs> the chat, link the, the quad stream in the chat. Yes. Watch all of the matches that we got going on because they are just so stacked. Every bracket. We have yeah. doubles, as I mentioned. We have Nick throughout the day. We have the Arcadian later. We got just a wild lineup for Sunday and Saturday as well. So you are not going to want to miss it. And we got other oh, this things. This is going to be interesting. As well. What yeah. is this me's name? It's Sabrick. Oh, okay. It's Sabrick's me. Okay. He is an old man, apparently. Yeah, huh, you know, I feel like at oh, that's I, I, Sabrick's been around for a, a minute. I don't know if you need to add all those wrinkles, but definitely well, that's our that's our name. Oh, no, that's oh. that's us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm watching the screen downward for oh, okay, uh, for okay. the moves that the me ah, fighters yes, that is actually, actually going to use. Yes, uh, looks like it's the two three three two. So okay. you got the Mac punch, suplex, etc. It's a pretty standard build, I would say. For the most part, yeah, a lot. A lot of people actually try to go for um, neutral special one, which is the shot point shot just put? to get gotcha, some, yeah, yeah. and does heavy damage. You are able to actually move backwards or forwards right, to try right. to get some sort of momentum. Try to dodge something. It's kind of like a surprisingly long-lasting hitbox yes. too. So it's hard to kind of maneuver around that move, especially in doubles. It could be hectic, but it looks like that we're not going to see it this time. I don't think that loadout had the shot put, but there's still plenty of things you have to watch out for brawler especially in doubles, you know, throw combos into that mock punch, which kills surprisingly early. Right. Suplex it has, like, very fixed knockback for the most part, so it's really easy to follow up on, which is something you have to worry about, too, if you do yeah. get grabbed by that and MVD is ready. It could be a huge punish and might even just be the perfect angle for a little, like, snake up smash charge as well. There's a lot of possibilities. I'm sure we're going to see them very soon. What do you think of the Mii Fighters in the current meta? I think that they have very specific like niches that they are very good at okay like to a disgusting degree like uh we, I, we have a couple of me brawlers in connecticut and in new england that yeah. are very optimal like uh, i'm sure you've seen some apple reviewer who also kind of goes to tri-state here and there yeah if you are on small battlefield and miss like a tech apple reviewer will kill you you know like there's just some combination of things that apple reviewer could do whether it's up tilt onto the platform up tilt up air up special or just some sort of horizontal combo as well it's a bad time and like sure there are obviously some weaknesses that all of the me fighters have uh like i love watching capitan sito play yes. the me gunner yeah but there are definitely some aspects where that character suffers the things that the me's are good at though they are pretty they pretty good at i yeah. completely agree with you and like I was actually going to mention, because I come from Latin America, I'm used to seeing Capitancito actually dominate the Dominican Republic scene yes, all the yeah, time. Yeah. And especially when we meet in tournaments together, Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, both. I consider Capitancito to be the best meat gunner in the world and also oh. one of the best ledge trappers in the yes, world as well. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not even, that's not even close. Exactly. Like he's so good at getting you in those traps because of the scenarios. And like you mentioned beforehand, the advantages that the, the meat fighters in general with their kids have it comes with some drawbacks because they do have their weaknesses right, but right. their strengths are very very solid yes yeah like sure they're stubby you know me brawler people always talk about them getting outranged yeah. by your uh, sword fighters uh, me gunner definitely has like a very specific range that they command pretty well but outside of that whether they're like either close range or characters that have an even longer range they do suffer but stuff like yes the combo game for me brawler yep. the ledge trapping from me gunner and me sword fighter also is a character <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> connecticut also does have a very good me sword fighter okay, but me sword okay, fighter okay, is okay. like a very <laughs> interesting character it's like a generally tornado based plays at like a kind of mid-range and doesn't have a lot of the advantages that a lot of the r normal sword fighters have but an interesting character to say the least and the, the combo game can be pretty phenomenal which is probably where i would say that me sword fighter excels but as the game gets more solved if you will mm -hmm. or as people get more experience with all of the matchups i do think that the Mii's have some weaknesses that can be exploited but i also trust that the me players will kind of figure a way around that they have so many tools to work with 
they can definitely make it work. And Me Sword Fighter is also a character. Yes, yeah, no one can take that away from Me <laughs> yeah, Sword Fighter. Yeah, no, definitely. They are on the screen. If you have the opportunity, go ahead and follow actual hey, garbage. They have an impeccable amount of comedic timing. Hey. Um, I have been enjoying my time so much in commentary, especially for the double side. So it's great to be here, man. Yes, it's um, great, great to be to here, fam. You. It's honestly. been a blast so far. Yeah. We'll both be on throughout the week as well if you uh, want to hear more of us. If you don't, I'm sorry. We will still be on yeah. throughout the weekend. But it's, it's been in a the blast. contract. I'm, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We already signed it. It's, <laughs> but I'm having such a good time. The venue, phenomenal. Yep. If we could talk about that for a little bit while they get set up. There are so many setups. Yep. Chopper. I kept going. There's like more and more rooms with more and more monitors. I thought I was in like the back rooms. I just, in every door, 30, 40 monitors, setups galore. There's no way that you don't have something to do if you're here at Luminosity makes big makes big moves. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're not here, if you're in the area, definitely come through. If you're not in the area, clear the calendar for next year. You do yes. not want to miss it. Yes. I, like I'm having such a good time and I've only been here for what, two hours so far. Like if you are determined to start 2024 with the bang, Luminosity makes big moves is definitely the event you want to show up and show out for sure for sure for sure yes and it's so great to see everybody too i you know the quarter four of every year is kind of a interesting time a lot of people will just take it off kind of spend the holidays with their family yes. maybe take a little bit of a break from competing but it's so great to see everyone just immediately start the new year off with like a roaring start we have so many big names coming out to this tournament people making like a pretty pretty sizable trip yeah. to make it out too Coming from all over the place, we have players from uh, every coast, whether north, south, east, or west. Even just like the tri-state attendance is phenomenal. People coming out of the woodworks. How many retired players I ran into in the last couple hours I've been here, it's great to see. And I love the well, sort of like energy that everyone brings. I feel like everyone's excited for this tournament, either just to see old friends, to make a new run on the new year, get yeah. some of those Smash-related New Year's resolutions figured out. It's just such a good, vibe, such a good environment, and such a great time. Oh, there we're back. <laughs> we up? are back. Actually seeing the players just trying to set up, we did see Sabrick, MVD, Dominator, and not Brayden. Now we are taking a little longer than usual because again, you have to create your me character and make sure that you do it before you start the set. It's part of the rules. Right, right. If you actually try to go into a me fighter, after the first game, you're not able to because oh, you need okay. to declare it before the set right, actually right. That starts. is a very good way to handle that, I think. Yes. So that isn't the case as far as I'm live, by the okay. way. Oh, no. Production is actually correcting me. Yes. <laughs> each individual lineup of me is just their own character, basically. Okay. Each okay. individual lineup of me is actually their so own character. I'm live. They can hear me. So you are wrong, then, Yes. what you said. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. It Sorry, happens. not to. Not to <laughs> you, you no, well, but that's what. No, no, no. That's, all, that's well why production is here. The, well, <laughs> actually, by the, the ghosts. I love me. <laughs> oh, but production loves me, so. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe we are going to get some more, you know, me magic yeah, me on magic the stream now. Wild. All right, but they are finally getting ready. The fist bumps are out. Green team locked in with that. Me, Brawler, and the Snake. And it's going to be two Marios coming in for their opponents over on the red team. Dominator and not Braden squaring up to get something started with some wild Mario combos, especially two Marios on the screen. It is going to be a scrap, to say the least. Already getting it started with these vertical combos. Yeah, Zaybreak starting off, just trying to get those command grabs in as fast as possible, right, too. Right. When you have two Mario's combinations are going to come in, especially with the multi hits and the up airs. Combo game is not going to be in question for Mario. Right, exactly. It's going to be big advantage states for red team. It's The neutral is where green team is going to try and shine, though. It's going to be kind of hard to find those command grabs, as we've already seen so far, because Mario's not going to stick around for too long. You're going to have to try and find a landing or read one of the sort of jumps and double jumps from the Marios. It's gonna be tough, but they're still making it work. Neck and neck so far. Yeah, double Marios trying to jump in and gang up on the snake. The grenades are actually gonna be a problem too, especially in double scenarios, AG. Right, right. You gotta Marty. pay attention to the entirety of the platforms as well as the entirety of the staging. We're seeing the combos in. So that's one of the reasons why we might see this combination. Right. The hit stun that the grenades actually can provide can provide Zabrick with an opportunity to get those stocks early. Ooh, speaking of though, two quick ones for Red Team. 
Dominator, only 65%, kind of playing pretty elusively so far. Not getting too crazy with the combos or overextending too much. And it's kind of the difference right now. Green team not really able to make so much happen. The double flood, though, interesting option. Okay, okay. early lead from the green team. Just trying to set up as fast as possible. High percents on both Marios this time. Zabrick on the ledge. Now the recovery from me Fighter in particular, especially with this loadout, is a little suspect. That up B in particular does not quite reach, so they need to be careful, especially when going for that the outside. Oh, what a away. swing. I really like the idea from Dominator. The back hit of that up air actually helping with the combo from MVD as well. And that grenade interrupting what it looked like a cape opportunity. But really good stuff so far. The throws from Mario 2, very underrated. Well, I think they're rated accurately, but they're very good in doubles in general. Back throw, obviously, with that hitbox is very important here. Stops Saber from really getting in on some of the punishes. Oh, big pickup. Catches him DI in the wrong way as well, and the Mario down here is are cashing some checks. Brilliant, just like that. Red team already had a lead because we do have um, actually the US Mario <laughs> right. had tanking with all three stocks except for right now 129%, 116. Still, red team's game to lose at this moment. I would say so. I mean, they have a pretty clean stock lead, but the momentum shifts drastically depending on how these stocks end up falling right now. Sabrick looking to try and get something going, but ends up fading back after not finding an opening. And a bit of a clank here on the right side. Sabrick punishes with a dash attack and an up smash, though. Green team with some good stage control right now, but MVD misses the punish. Recoveries on the side right now. Zabrick actually getting punished with the jump get up and up smash. Perfectly timed MVD. He's going to have trouble actually recovering that time. Oh, it's only the. <laughs> Just the Cypher just was so the cypher, important. Yes, just the Cypher. Thank it's, you. Especially, like, Braden loses that stock. That's also fine. 163, it's a good trade. But making it back was even more demoralizing. Green team had a really rough start right there. And I think it's just because of that dynamic that the two Marios bring, right? We saw when they had two, three seconds, green team was already trying to set something up. MVD tried to stick the C4 onto Sabrick to make something happen, but they weren't able to. They missed ever so slightly, and then red team just put their foot on the gas. And because of that, green team didn't really have that much time to set up. And MVD was even, like, timing the air dodge correctly, but when you hit the Cypher that low, Snake's not going to make it back no matter what. Yeah, and he also went for the directional air dodge just to not get hit by the spike of the forward air. Right. And now we're seeing a little bit of a predict Snake. actually going. Mario, uh, Mario. Uh, 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 right in the Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, actually, the legs. Oh, well, yeah. I actually, know. the legs. We want to get second. Looks like we're going to go to Hollow Bastion, which is a very good counter pick for Green Team. Definitely, just Snake in general has a lot to love about this stage, but especially in doubles, too, with what Green Team, I assume, is trying to set up, Hollow Bastion will be very good for them. Mario, as well, doesn't have so many platforms to work with, just that one center one, which they Green Team can interact with a lot more easily. Okay, C4 on the ground, unfortunately. The first stick didn't really lead to much. Looks like the second one fell short. Trying to get out of there and not get caught by too many of those Mario combos. Okay, so you really like this Hollow Bastion, because I find it curious, especially when you have some close distance, um, some of the offense on the side of Snake could be mitigated, especially when you have double Mario against right. you. Yes, I mean, every platform is good for Mario. Mario has a lot of great stages, but oh. I think... Snake can definitely set up a nice little house here if you have the opportunity, but the Mario team is so tough. Dominator, especially in that first game, really elusive, not taking damage. And now it's not Braided, who's actually only taken 19% so far, a whole minute into the game. Yeah, all six stocks available for the red oh. team one more time. Spike coming up from MVD. Scenario's coming in, grenade is gonna get caught. Explodes right out of sight. And the sticky is right on Zabri, so they're trying to get a little bit of attack play going for both Marios. Yeah, okay, so there we go. We got the transfer, but an absolutely wonderful dodge coming in from Dominator. The C4 is not going to connect. Throw combo is not going to work either, but Green Team is making something happen here. These two 1v1s are kind of working out. Even though they don't get that stick right there, they're still holding down center. And I was going to say stopping the Marios from getting in, but that jump in still got a punish. Good coverage from Green Team. <laughs> yeah, punishes the four stars with the C4. Taking that one, keeping it as close as possible. High percents both on Green Team. 
we do have the tank. That is the side of Mario Maker Mario. Moving in, trying to get that snake. Just keeping on that pressure. Make sure that they're always uncomfortable. Oh, oh another explosion coming out. And just like that, green team gets the lead. Yeah, finally we see the fruits of the labor. The suplex and the C4, a very good combo. Very good at taking that stock. That being said though, Sabrick on the last stock. MVD at 142. If red team can find a couple quick ones, that might just be another game under their belt. There's a fantastic forward smash. Really good punish right there. They do get some time to set up though when Snake gets the invulnerability. And we already have the sticky transfer too. It's gonna be on Braden's forehead right there. And there it goes. Yeah, right on the noggin, 81% going in. Now the forward tilt's actually getting the explosions onto the grenades on both on the side. That's the beauty of actually having a double Mario. As soon as right. you see somebody coming in, they're gonna be able to actually keep him on the pressure constantly. Okay, really good option to come off the ledge right there with the up air and huge back airs here. Put oh. MVD on the back foot, but good stuff from Sabrick finding another wonderful punish. Tied stocks one more time. Mm -hmm. so just a little bit of a lead in percents. But we are seeing 0% on one of the Marios though. We're seeing how both of them are going to be able to cover Mario Tornado. Trying to go for the doubles, but actually gets punished for it. Green team alive one more time. C4 on them, trying to get one more grab, and that C4 explosion. Yes. Now that they have oh! that... <laughs> I was going to say, now they had some time to set up, it's looking good, but that second to set up vanished just as soon as it appeared. Now it is just about dead even. Sabrick on the back foot here. Really good aerial timing from... Braden right there, the neutral air was so smart, and now Sabrick kind of has to hang back. You do not want to mess with a Mario at 141. We just gentlemen jab, sending him right onto the side. Oh, up smash, sealing it. It's MVD alone versus two Marios. Not exactly the dream scenario you want if you're Snake, for sure. Oh, okay, Flood was an interesting choice. Kind of worked out right there. MVD with a pretty brave air dodge in. Working out so far, though. Wow, what a swing. Okay, stuck on the platform here. Let's see if that counter pick does work out for Snake or if it's going to be the Mario down air with the platform assist. And that was a pretty quick 2-0 in a surprising fashion. Yeah, this is what we were talking about beforehand as well, AG. Uh, we love an underdog story, and right, Zabrick right. and MBD in particular were some of the top-seeded teams, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right? fourth, I believe, so, yeah. yeah. Dominator and not Braden actually getting a convincing 2-0, oh, I would say. Getting those 2v1 scenarios, and now we're seeing the spike yes, right yeah. on the left side. Sending them down, shutting it, and bringing them home. MVD and Zabrick on loser's bracket. I do not envy absolutely anybody in loser's side right now. Definitely not. And I think Green Team was very close to figuring it out. I think that second game looked a lot more comfortable for them. Yeah. But... Unfortunately, they're still in that part of the bracket where you don't have too much time to figure it out. You got to make something happen. And they were just so relentless on red team, ruthless, just more and more pressure. The Mario combos would not stop. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why they didn't have to, any time to really get anything going. We did see some really solid conversions when they had just a few moments to set up the C4 into the suplex, but they just didn't have the opportunity to do it often enough to take that game. Which is why I was actually questioning beforehand. I was kind of curious as to why they would pick Hollow Bastion mm -hmm. in this particular scenario because Hollow Bastion is considered one of the like smaller stages sure, in the game sure. and any stage with a platform is always going to give Mario some sort of advantage, especially if you have two of them. Right. But if you have an opportunity to actually try to space yourself out and try to get those combos a lot easier, maybe a bigger stage for next time would have been a little more optimal on their side, yeah, maybe. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Definitely something to think about, and they have plenty to think about as they wait for their other yeah. matches in the lower bracket. But we got some more hits coming up to the stream. We got Quinn and Bacon going up against Shady and Glug. Ooh. It's going to be winner's quarters of pool D-U-A-1. Yeah, I think. And this is what, this is what it says on extra, stream. A lot of extra letters there. D-U-A-P-R-O-O-M-N-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 <laughs> I was like, Where, what are you spelling? <laughs> you lost me. But very exciting. The crowd already pretty excited for some of their friends to step up to the stream setup. And that's what it's all about. We talked yeah. about it so many times before, but that community already, I can hear the crowd going wild for some doubles matches that were happening off stream or possibly on the quad, which you should be yes. checking out. But 
You can double stream it. Yeah. And that way you only have one I know single everyone, browser. Y'all got two monitors. Yeah, of course. Y'all got phones. Of course. Well, watch the you know watch a quad on the big screen. <laughs> you don't want to watch a quad <laughs> on the, the little watch, one yeah, on the, other the main stream. Yeah. We can put us on the phone. I have an iPad here. Hey, there you go. Did, All right, let's do yeah, that. Hold the quad. Right. I'm trying to watch. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, Let me see if I can find the. Qu <laughs> Which one was the stream for the quad again? <laughs> don't I don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. But put it in the chat. It's been a great time so far. Still early in the day. Still having a blast with doubles yeah. and the schedule. Looks phenomenal too. If you don't already know, it's on the back of the passes. If you're in 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 town, if you're in the hey. area, check it out. We got singles tomorrow. Hey. Today is just going to be some fun times. We got doubles. I love doubles. Big best side event in my opinion. But we also got the Arcadian coming up later, and I know people are so excited for that. I'm going to cast a little bit of it at some point. And I was doing some research, and the the lineup is great. Phenomenal! You definitely—it's exciting. You, you want to clear the calendar? If you got some plans, make sure they're after or before the Arcadian. It's going to be a good time. But still in doubles for the moment, and we got some interesting players and characters coming up. I'm going to let them speak for themselves as they get their fist bumps in because the character lineup is not really something I could begin to explain. And we got blue team. Cooking up something crazy in oh green my God. team. Yeah. <laughs> See, okay, this Chopper, is looking. Oh, it, no, yeah. but you, now we're getting you, too. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to play a little bit of favorites this time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go for the blue team. You go for the green. That's fair. All right, so we got it going to game one on Pokemon Stadium. It's going to be the Samus and the Dr. Mario versus the Donkey Kong and the Aegis. And I knew Bacon was playing the Dr. Mario. I'm a big Bacon fan. Excited to see some Doc play. But Quinn with the Samus is also going to be really interesting in how the dynamic changes. Like what sort of extra combo extensions we can get off of the Doc openers. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult scenario for DK2. If you have three people, one of them unintentionally hitting you because of your big, like, hip hurt right, box, right. it's going to be so difficult for you to actually try to move and maneuver around, especially with Bacon and his Dr. Mario actually getting those combos in. It could be um, quite challenging, especially if you're moving around on the left side, trying to get those Ooh. back airs in versus Samus, too. In the meanwhile, on the right side, Aegis battling against the Doctor. Oh, and charge onto the face. Part of that hurt box, too, is we're going to see some, like, low or mid-charge neutral specials from Quinn, and it's just going to interrupt DK and whatever he's kind of planning. But those back airs were uninterrupted, finding the mark. Unfortunately, teammate, though, but they're going back to a green team. Nice little attempt at a save. But it looks like blue team trying to hold down center stage and make something happen here. Yeah, Dr. Mario's super jump punch actually has a deceptively big hitbox on right, it. Right. And that's why we saw actually the KO going so soon from one of the ages. Uh, an advantage done by the green team, but I know DK can pull this off. Let's yes. go. Yes, yep. This is exactly the percent that DK wants him at. You get, oh, okay. I was going to say, you get something crazy, but the up special from Bacon actually interrupted whatever shenanigans were getting work done from <laughs> the oh. DK. But speaking of shenanigans, that up air. Also a classic, classic one. And two quick ones are blue team. All of a sudden, a little bit of a lead here. Clean it up. Let's go, baby. <laughs> you were not really well. <laughs> You were going to play favorites. I'm trying to hype you up, oh, AT. No, I'm trying no, to listen, hype you up. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe when my team's in the lead, I'll get excited. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Really good defense here from green team, kind of holding it down and punishing those approaches accordingly. Obviously, Sam is up special. Fantastic. Got a shield option. A oh, wild mash right there, too, but already big damage from the various punches being thrown, and what a oh! spike! <laughs> Fish is assault. Actually going in, Quinn looking really well on the Samus, too. Yep. And now trying to recover on the side edge guard situation, moving in slowly, but surely now stocks lost. Blue team, disadvantage from one stock. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but, you know, Doc is definitely a character who has an interesting recovery. Maybe they can take advantage of that right now. Going to be tough. Got, kind of got knocked off to the right side, but it looks like they're just kind of focusing on the 1v1s right now. Blue team just would rather split off and see what they can make happen here. The up special not going to do it from Shady. Good stuff here from green team, though. Trying to make it back around all of this pressure from blue team. Ooh. Moving in. Just trying to recover one more time. Quinn manages to do so safely. Not going to be able to save 
chase him out, but the down air is going to be enough from Aegis, especially if you're using Pyra. Right. Get up attack actually trying to cover everything from the side of DK, full invincibility when you go on those, especially if you're not expecting it. If you're the green team, percentage lead by green, but one stock apiece for everybody. This is Ooh. anybody's game if they get it right. That charge shot was very, very dangerous right now. And the neutral air ends up picking the stock up, like, accidentally, if you will. It definitely looked like it was targeted at Quinn, but that lingering hitbox still took bacon stock, and it is going to be tough. But the one thing about charge shot is uh, it's good in a lot of situations. Even if it doesn't hit them, it does keep them in shield. It makes them kind of second-guess their options. So this 2v1 is doable. It's going to be tough. Sometimes Ooh. it just has enough hit stun to actually get you a grab or right, right. trying to delay you onto something. The prominent revolt is not going to be enough. Sam is heavier than Ridley, and it hurts me to say it too. <laughs> oh, okay. That was an interesting scramble. A down smash sends both of them flying, but that DK back air may just do it. Wow, neutral air. It's going on the outside. Yeah. Balls to the wall. Just risk, not, not a risky option, but rather going super aggressive on it. Blue team taking the first game. All right. Some really good plays from Glug there, finding some pretty advantageous openings, like right there. Nice presence of mind to get that pickup. Huge follow-up as well. And just some solid follow-ups as well with these quick moves that DK has, like back air from some of the Aegis throws throughout the game. And then, of course, good stuff to Shady, getting those early stocks with the all of the different Pyra aerials. Like, I think almost all of them made an appearance at some point. And the last stock, as we are seeing beforehand. DK going on aggressive with the neutral air. Going into game two this time. Pokemon Stadium 2 one more time. Gives them enough space, especially if you want to throw out those projectiles. And we are seeing that Quinn actually prefers to go for any type of charge beam setups right, as right. well when you're trying to actually get some combos in. Yeah, it's been pretty good so far, as I mentioned. It's just, even if the charge shot doesn't connect, it just does a lot to kind of change the pace. Like right there, mm -hmm. DK is not able to kind of join the fray. He has to worry about getting around that charge shot. Yeah, it's good tech. He's surviving the back air. Otherwise, it could have been Combo City, mm -hmm. especially if he's using Dr. Mario. Fame, frame 3 startup on that upbeat from Dr. Mario. Actually managing Ooh. to survive Samus on the right side too. Yeah. 1v1 scenarios, a lot of 1v1s in this doubles matchup in particular. I think that's kind of just how they prefer to play and it's working out for the most part for either of them really. Like that way like Quinn has his opportunity to pressure from long range with the charge shot. But unfortunately still sometimes it ends up being Glug finding like these weird openings, whether it's just a nice throw or a DK aerial, like a stray combo extender. Okay, they're perfectly content to just stay behind. Right. DK is saying if you're gonna try to charge your neutral B, I might as well charge up mine. And we're seeing the combo after the dash attack. Sending them high words. Back here, not quite gonna be enough to take out DK yet. That'll do it though. Love smash seals the deal. It's gonna be hard for Aegis to get back here. He does make it back though with some nice, helpful assistance from Glug. And we got four stocks to five. The X Factor right now being shady. Holding on to the second, 142, which is, you know, with how many close calls there have been, it's still surprising that we have three stocks over there. Wow, just one stock differential ooh, like you imagine it, it just, they just tied. They yep. just tied, and this is actually a little more dangerous, especially if you have that DK just with one life. We're seeing the back throw not quite going to be enough, so great DI on the side of Aegis 2, trying to survive as much as possible. A little bit of a Samus up air there, which didn't exactly save Bacon, but definitely kept Bacon closer, more in the fray. Really good idea if it was on purpose. <laughs> Moving nice. it slowly. That up tilt from DK is actually very punishable. The team needs to take... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we loving this. At least in my camp, the team chopper is yeah, actually yeah. looking really crispy. That was Glug like, no, 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 I need this stock for the scoreboard. Yes. I'm no, taking no, no. it. Yeah. No, thank you. Ooh. Oh! Sam is responding back after the recovery. Oh, Mithra actually Ooh. saying... Oh! oh, no! We're seeing spikes galore on this one, AG. <laughs> what a scramble, too. And, like... I feel like neutral air was also fine there, but Quinn going for the down air, such a statement piece and really like sealing the deal. There's no half measures, just going for the sure thing. And uh, we are going to another game. Okay. Doing a really good job that time. It seems like everybody was a little confused right on the right side. And right. 
the only one that was not confused was definitely Quinn getting yes. a couple of spikes there, especially versus the DK who only had one stock. It puts you in a 1v2 scenario of it. And we are seeing the up smash actually connect after Donkey Kong was landing in the first place. Actually gets hit by the bomb in right. the corner. Which, like I said, it's so crazy that Shady had three stock for so long. There were so many different opportunities for Green Team to try and take it. And that was such a wild, wild situation. Yeah. Just like, no, 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 I got him. Don't worry. Oh, he was trying to see those last sequences, especially with the down air here, down air there, down air everywhere. But now game three at hand with an early D from the green team. Multi-hits coming out by both. Now the percents are starting to get even. Oh, the foresight coming in huge. Stop a pretty drastic combo. Green team and a little bit of blue team too. They were all kind of in that scramble on the right-hand side. And ends up being blue team taking a little bit more percent here. And honestly, these sort of friendly fire incidents are usually working out for green team. Okay. Ooh. Interesting punish right there. Back to back forward airs though. And Bacon ends up making something happen for the team. Only Shady losing that first stock, which is very different than the last game. Could be what they were looking for in terms of changing the pace up. Oh, interesting. Okay. Get him up. That's tight stock game. Now sending DK on to the right side. Seeing the Tylenols coming into play. Going to see the S and Walgreens as well. He's right in the corner of the venue in Manhattan. <laughs> right. Very convenient. Uh, they got Dwayne Reeds over here, actually. Oh, oh what? The Dr. down Tornado. special. I Almost. think that last hit actually impeded DK from actually losing that stock. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Forward air at the ledge. The Samus Classic. Oh. And the down air, too. The spikes ah. are not stopping anytime soon. Two stocks, except for Shady on the last one already, which is so very different from that last game. I'm very interested to see how that changes the dynamic here. Already a ton of damage as well in the back oh. air. Glug on the last stock, too. Okay. Hitting the ground as fast as possible, but actually the charge shot is going to get Mario. Oh. And he does get punished for it, getting 70. And this yeah. is right about the time the blue team wants to actually make this comeback real as possible. They're doing they're doing their best. Like, they're making something dangerous happen over here. The team combos have been absolutely wild. They're finding a bunch of damage here already, looking to take these stocks off a of green team and even it up. Okay, Landing. charge shots. Yeah. Charge shot actually hitting him on the side, 38. 1v1 scenarios one more time. He just trying to handle Dr. Mario, gets him away with a back air. Managing to recover. Up beast from Quinn have been very pivotal, especially when trying to dodge oh. danger with a frame four startup. That parry was so important for Glug. Definitely threatening to break the shield with all of that pressure from the full charge shot. <laughs> and what a tech as well. Blue team holding on right now, trying to make something happen. Okay. Now, in this scenario in particular, you might want to get rid of Dr. Mario's stock first right. so they can force that chair stock and get Samus away. We are seeing the throw actually going in. 119% onto Aegis. A little bit of danger. DK might want to start covering for, <laughs> for Aegis right now as he is between the green team. Right, it's going to be tough. The side special actually gets punished with the grab into the up special, but the up special didn't have the strong hit. And now Aegis is striking back right now. Oh. Oh. So, so oh, unfortunate, shot, shot. but yeah, the friendly fire might be what Glug's looking for. No second jump available, managing to recover with the spinning Kong. And now just trying to set up the projectile game. Such Charge a difficult shot the scenario. other way. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. Oh, a little jab, jab and an up special, interesting and effective. Fantastic set, very creative to say the least. But it's going to be green team putting it together. And a wonderful showing from blue team, though, I yeah. got to say. I really enjoy that last stock in particular after the neutral getup from DK. Jab one actually puts you um, enough negative that DK doesn't really have an option to respond, especially if you have right, a frame right. three up B like Dr. Mario does. Without, like, committing exactly. drastically. It's yeah. definitely a punish if you are too careful about it. So mm. interesting interaction there. Ah! That was so important, too. And still ends up getting hit, but like not by anything nearly as bad as that full charge shot. Trying to get those combos in, but that up smash is going to seal it for the game. Yeah, and then right here, this is just such a tough spot to deal with. Like, what are your options, really? Actually and goes jab one, two. Yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. Great game. And another one for the books, adding to an already fantastic block.
I'm having a great time. Thank you all one more time for joining us. It's been fantastic so far. You. Yeah. And from what I'm hearing, the hits do not stop, Chopper. Nope. We got some re returning faces, actually, from earlier in the block. Yes. Light and Tilde going back up, continuing the run now in winter semis of their pool, going up against Kobe and Fuzzix. That's going to be a super interesting matchup yeah. in hand general. We did see the domination from the first set from Light and Tilde. So I guess they said they wanted to be on stream a little more this <laughs> time around. And Team Star Fox trying to make a name for themselves as one of the best teams that we have in Luminosity makes big moves. Right, right. They were just shy of the top four seeds, but MVD and Sabrek did get upset earlier. So now Team Star Fox may have a bit of a different road. I won't say if it's easier or harder necessarily, but a very different road through the rest of the bracket. I'm sure they're pretty excited to kind of keep that run going. They looked so very confident and comfortable in their earlier set on stream. I can't imagine anything has changed except for the better for them as they come back for winter semis. For sure. And talk to me a little bit about Kobe and Fuzix. Uh, no. Okay. I will let them speak for themselves. Awesome. Because what could I say that you won't be able to find out very quickly after the game starts? That's going to be super interesting. It's going to be it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. This will be a very different match than the last one we saw on stream, but it will still be very Ooh. enjoyable if if it plays out like how I think it's going to play out. That's all I'll say for now, but still very excited to watch this and the rest of the bracket. We got some more doubles over on the side stream. That's some more doubles after this. It's going to be uh, after our block sort of wrapping up the rest of the bracket. Yeah. And it's just shaping up to be a phenomenal time because we haven't even seen some of the top top seeds. We only got top four so far, mm -hmm. but the other top three teams are also teams you don't want to miss. They're probably going absolutely crazy in whatever games they're playing. I'm sure they're making some wonderful combo video footage off on the side stream or off stream. So stay tuned. It's only going to be even crazier than it's already been. And I'm having a blast so far. I can only yeah. imagine how crazy it's going to be the rest of the weekend because I said it before. I'm definitely going to say it again. It's still only Friday. Yep. It's still early. Still got Saturday. Still got Sunday. The Lord's Day. Yep. Days yep. for top eights. It's actually Jay Easy's day. Now. Jay Easy. <laughs> Jay Easy's going to be here, too. Yeah, on Sunday. It's going to be so hype. On January 7th. No on January less. 7th. And What's you know up? what else is going to be on January? The Beekeeper starting Jason Statham. That's not on. It's on Friday, January 12th. Only exactly. Only later Friday, January 12th. I got but you. It was a test. Yes, yeah. And I'm, you passed. I've been studying. Yes. But there they are setting up right now. So it's going to be Kobe and Fudzix with the Lucina and the Sheik. And we have uh, some opinions already being voiced. Fuzzix with the Spacey's frowny face tag. Uh, not a matchup that most Sheik players enjoy, I would imagine. So it's going to be interesting. Hopefully that doesn't change any of the momentum or the dynamic here. Already off to a bit of a scrap. It looks like Fuzzix putting together a nice little combo against Tilde on the left side. They're doing really well so far, 60%, especially when you're Sheik. Mm -hmm. The combos are have to be really on point. Right, right. But when you're in a double scenario, it's not going to be as difficult for you to get those KOs that you want. And when you have somebody like rocking the Lucina, then it's going to be a lot more solid when it comes to foundation of the game. Right, right. It's going to be interesting. I think that blue team has a pretty good dynamic if they do want to make something happen. We have Sheik to add a bunch of damage and then Lucina to kind of clean it up. But right now it's going to be the Spacey's show for a little bit longer. Another Fox up smash, taking that first stock. It looks like they're trying to make something else happen, but back to back, back air hits. Really good pickup from Kobe. And that's exactly what we have a Lucina on your team, especially when you're trying to move in. Spacey's, while they are fast, have solid combo games, if you have a sword right in front of you that can interrupt absolutely everything, not quite who can do anything about it. Right, right. Normally, Spaces have the option to either go for side B or up B. That time, it didn't matter. Either one was getting hit by that back air. Good response, though, keeping it close. Fuzzix taking a pretty good Ooh. amount of damage. Ow. Interesting trade. I think it kind of worked out. It's OK. One for one, and we still have the same stocks right. for both teams. Not exactly which one if you want to be Lucina, but nevertheless, you are uh, in a position a Ooh, little safer this time around. Now, Tilde losing that stock, so last stocks for Team Star Fox. I do think, though, too, if you're blue team, you you want a, a faster game. It's probably mm -hmm. better for you. Okay. Give green team less time to adapt, so that trade yeah. could still be pretty advantageous, but this is a big opportunity here for green team to tack on some team combo damage. Okay, okay, yep, good stage control now. Light going for the jump in to hold down center stage, try and catch the jump in. But blue team really mixing it up, and that's a wonderful down air to back air. Oh! Into the bouncing fish. Okay, Buzzix. What the? 
Okay, or tilde, 1v2 scenario this time. And you are right when you mentioned him beforehand. This is definitely looking like a different set altogether like what we saw from Light and Tilde from the last time that they were on stream. Right. And it's pretty much because Sheik and Lucina actually seem to be a great combo when it comes to you know, doubles in general. Right, yeah, they definitely have really good options to follow up with and to follow up on. I think we're kind of seeing it right now. Really good coverage right there, forcing the side special and then punishing accordingly. A pretty surprising showing for game one, but, you know, not unexpected entirely. See, moving in. I see the instant replay of the scenario. It's going to be oh, so good. getting them both of them. And it was a combination as well from Sheik actually pushing the Falco in. That's two stocks for one single exactly, hit. Yeah. Really, really solid play from Team Blue all around. Exactly. Good presence of mind, too, to use that move that puts the, like, the opponent at that angle. Right there, again, fantastic trade. Because I think green team was on the back foot. If you have a slightly different momentum there, they have more time to adapt. They might be able to make something happen, but blue team was not letting it happen. They were running away with that game as soon as they could. And then right here to force that side special with those needles. Fantastic. Going right into game two. It's going to be Pokemon Stadium again. Green team is going to try and tighten it up a little bit and put that pressure on when they can. Now both spaces right in the corner. Rolling in, trying to get those combos in. Multi hits on the Nair. The sooner you can get rid of that Sheik, the better it's going to be if you're Team Green. Right. Sheik with, you know, trying to make those combat factors is not going to be as easy because of the character layout itself. Yeah. And, like, one thing I said was such a boon for Green Team, those multi-hits that give Light plenty yeah. of time to follow up and get ready from Tilde. It's actually been a bane in this situation because both of the blue team characters are fast enough to go and punish. Yes. So if one teammate is getting hit with it, their other teammate is there to help out. Right, because the conversions actually have to be a little faster Ooh. because of what you mentioned beforehand, the strategy for green team, now that they lose one stock, is to try to keep up the face and try to go as fast as possible. Exactly. But when you have multi-hits, it gives the other side an opportunity to actually retaliate. Right, right. We're seeing that a little bit here. A lot of forward airs and neutral airs from Tilde. Blue team holding down center stage. Light fighting back or trying to get away in with this forward air. But those dancing blades, really good damage, knockback, set up that center stage. Blue team, though, is so fast with it. They're finding all the ways around everything right now. Dancing Blade sealing the stock as well. Bird is the word sometimes, and that time as well without up smash. Yep, and a good pickup. Oh, okay. Scouts out the jump at the ledge. A pretty popular option to try and get around that pressure. You can see Tilde was ready for it, punished accordingly. And we got a game here. Light with 80% might be the difference maker, but we can definitely see, we've seen him tack on more than that, even faster. Moving in slowly. Okay, Dolphin now. Slash. Yep. So good. Wow, and another <laughs> great team combo, too. I'm a big blue team fan, which is saying something. But forward smash. Oh, okay. Light was okay. sleeping at the wheel right there. Didn't put the shield up in time. Gets hit. And blue team might be running away with a bit of a lead here. One stock lead so far, but we are seeing 1v1 scenarios actually trying to be established by green team. The combos are definitely being on deck if you're blue, so this could right. facilitate Team Star Fox a little bit trying to make this comeback. I think so, and those opportunities that they have, they're making work right now. Really good grab into the aerial follow-up. That's huge right there, the down tilt from Fuzzix was so smart. And the back air from Tilde breaks it up a little bit. Green Team's finding some big hits, but they're not really sealing the deal right now. The up smash needed to take that stock. Okay. okay. Oh, Dolphin Slash sending him right onto the left. Now the multi-hits going in. Everybody trying to corral Fox. Recognizing the tilt, he was actually trying to move in and punish that cheek. So right. once again, 1v1s going in. And the blue team is still doing such a good job just separating green team. Exactly. And there's, it's really interesting, too, how the dynamic shifted. You get edge guard enough times as green team, you, you want to slow it down. But if you slow it down too much, blue team's going to just go and pressure your teammate in a 2v1. Big opportunity for Tilde here to tack on some damage and try and get a stock, but up tilt's not doing it. And the forward smash, bit of a swing from Fuzzix. Green team still can't really take the stocks, though. Finally, finds an up smash. Catching the jump, too, like you mentioned before. Up smash doing the trick for Tilde. He's trying to turn up the heat a little bit. And Light is doing a really good job on defense that time. 116% 
it's going to be pivotal for him to not lose this stock just yet. Right, right. Right now, Fuzzix on the last stock, 114, kind of the deciding factor here. Going to be the forward air, actually, from Tilde that will probably do it. Yes, that'll definitely do it. And that felt very close for one team having three stocks. Obviously, too high percent. And blue team was making it happen, but green team stayed composed. They found the hits that they needed to, and they made it happen. And that is a wonderful replay from game one. Yeah, we did see a little bit of a fastball situation from the Lucina. That's why the Dolphin Slash wasn't able to recover on time. And in the interesting fact from game two is the fact that we did see blue team actually dominating for most of it. Yeah. But we saw adaptations throughout the course of Team Star Fox. And all of a sudden, Sheik and Lucina were just left one stock each. Just a small hit yep. of the Sour Spot back air is enough to actually make sure that Lucina does not recover. And now we're at game three. Yeah, really good presence of mind from Tilde too to drop below the Shield Breaker and do rising forward air. Put Lucina in pretty much the worst spot possible. And I think Green Team has found their footing, they found that momentum, and they're also just being a little more fluid with each other here, finding those conversions a little easier. And that was kind of what really set them apart in that last game, is those small opportunities they had, they turned into really big advantages. Now the Blue Team is actually looking to rack up that damage to take advantage of their situation. Oh, re-grab, yup. Not gonna kill, but still good damage. Sets up a pretty wild situation. Very tense. Oh. Oh, man. He's getting hit everywhere. <laughs> I'm saying. The down airs are just so, like, they have such a thud to them. It feels so bad. Totally going for a big swing. It looked like a forward smash. Getting scouted out by Blue Team, though. And Shield Break is a really interesting way to break up that scramble center stage. You can see they're really looking for stocks right now. Okay. Nice. Whoever gets the stock gets momentum, Meiji. Yeah, exactly. I know, I understand why oh. they're swinging, but maybe both teams are swinging a little bit too much. Up smash from Tilde takes light stock. Dancing Blade from Kobe takes Fuzzix stocks. They're still just going absolutely crazy with it. It's going to be Kobe with the first, you know, stock tank situation we've seen so far. We are seeing um, Lucina managing yeah. to recover so far. We are seeing the back air. That's bread and butter stuff from Falco. One more time, oh. Falco Mantequilla. Continue to put on those up tilts to get those combos going. Yep. Having a hard time landing here. It's gonna be Lucina though, scrapping with the up air, falling up air through the platform. Really good tool. Now they're stuck at the ledge here. It's so hard to get around Tilde, but they both take the high route. <laughs> high route. Not able to really get punished for it. Ooh. Oh, shield break. What's Tilde going to do? Way too Wait. far. <laughs> <What's going> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Had all the time in the world. Gets him with a second forward smash. Three stocks to four right now. Really good interruption there from Kobe as well. No follow-up off of the Fox aerial. Ooh. Sheep forward air into Lucina back air. And another back air, too. Kobe's going crazy right now. Off the ledge. Tilde, though. Really good defense. Helping out the teammate when it matters the most. Yeah, this is one of those teams that if you go to a game three, it's definitely not a scenario you want to find yourselves in. These are top echelon players right. when, it, when you have light and tilde. And we are seeing the lead from green side. Fox Illusion to grab the ledge. But 110% onto Fox is going to be a super important stock to take as fast as possible. Yeah, we already see tilde getting hit very far away from a lot of these straight hits. Even Dolphin Slash might do it now so you can't mess up any of that offensive pressure. Big pickup right there. The very oh. quick share stock. It's gonna be light in the 2v1 and not Tilde. Oh, the up tilt was crazy. Oh my God, trying to move in with Fuzix. Knight getting a little overzealous, but we are seeing what the pressure of tournaments okay. can do to a player. Grabs actually going in, managing to recover with the Fox Illusion now. Good coverage. That neutral air covers so many options. Light going to try and jump in with the neutral air. The drop zone forward air. Does he find oh. the angle? We have another side beat, but oh. it gets hit with the back air, and that seals the deal. What a huge pickup from Kobe. You weren't wrong. I think you called it, AG. Did I? I'm you called it. Well, I asked for a description of the players, and you oh, said, said yep. no. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I guess you're in charge then. I said they'd speak for themselves, and, and they, they sure did. did. They That's, sure did, It's yeah. a statement, to say the least. Another upset in the doubles. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> bracket so far. <laughs> that was very funny to me. But it was kind of funny, and I, the, that was really good job by Sheik too, just mm -hmm. keeping that pressure on Falco, just so they, they never felt comfortable to actually try to save their partner. Right, right. It was just like. Very interesting to see because normally green team or Fox more specifically is kind of the one who's usually in that role of being the person who's fast enough to put pressure on someone from across stage, right? Mm -hmm. To help out their teammate in those scramble situations. But it ended up being both Sheik and Lucina who kind of took that role instead yeah. for this particular match. And it was just working out for them so well. Mm -hmm. Every time like an up tilt came out from Tilde and it connected, the other teammate dropped what they were doing to go and help out to make sure Tilde didn't get a huge extension or to make sure every like landing Fox aerial was covered so it didn't lead into an up smash. Really good team play from blue team. I'm excited to see how they do in the rest of the bracket, but I'm also excited to see the next match Ooh. we got up. Chopper, yes. talk to him. Let yes. him know. We are going to have Spargo and Sky J in the next round of Winter Semis versus John and Stars. Right, right. John Super and Stars excited. coming back again, another returning team. But we haven't seen Spargo and Sky J play on this setup yet. I'm very excited to see it. The Philly boys definitely want to make something happen. Yeah. But sure. it's going to be tough, obviously. Second seed team, if I'm not mistaken, going to be going up against John and Stars with the Robin Cloud, if I'm not mistaken. And it's going to be a tall order, but like I said, this is how the story starts, mm -hmm. you know? In a crazy alternate universe, John and Stars get to go home, talking about how their wild run at Let's Make Big Moves started. And it could just be this very set that is the beginning of the story. But as much as people love the underdog story, I think the reason people love it is because it's uh, not, not very common sometimes. <laughs> And Quite rare, but we have seen a couple of upsets throughout the courts of doubles. Exactly. Yeah. So if there is ever a tournament for you to actually try to take it away from Spargo and Sky J, it is definitely Luminosity makes big moves. So True. let's see if they can make those big moves. Hey, you know, if there's ever a spot to do it. Start off the year strong. John with the, the, the tag change, too. So he has to get all that notoriety again. It's a good way to do it. Star is also a solid player added to the resume. But same time, it's hard to root for them because I also just love Spargo and Sky J. Oh, yeah. Fantastic players individually and, of course, together as a team. I'm excited to see what kind of crazy stuff they put together. And there's also an interesting dynamic when you have uh, a bit of a, a ditto on the screen, right? Two cloud players. If Spargo does end up picking the cloud, mm -hmm. which actually is a bit, you know, up for debate, a bit of a question mark, I think we'll probably just see one cloud beating up another cloud. And I wouldn't be surprised if Spargo is the one who's... Uh, you know, supplying the beating to stars, but we'll Spargo see. definitely top three in the world right yeah. now, right yeah. next to uh, Sonics, in my opinion. Oh, I thought you were going to say and myself. And like, myself, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that would be that would be incredibly <laughs> yeah, yeah. arrogant from my part. No, 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 no. I only dream of being as good at these <laughs> as these players that are on stream right now. And like you mentioned before, it's going to be double cloud difference being the robot and the wrestling cat. All right, I am excited to see this dynamic here for Red Team. Incineroar, a very explosive character, already stacking the revenge. And John can make some stuff happen. Obviously, Rob, fantastic at mid-range, long-range pressure, and the edge guards as well, both of which, you know, the Red Team members are susceptible to. But Rob also does get comboed by the Red Team in general. Already we're seeing the Dark Lariat hold down that ledge. Not able to find an opening here. I like that jump read, though. That was pretty pretty smart. And John taking care of Sky J on the left side and on the right. Oh, that was a brilliant tech yeah. by the Cloud as well. And there's a tech that okay. we actually found a little bit while ago. If you press down as soon as you're actually trying to hit on the ledge, it does help you in the highest of percents. And over 200% now, it's definitely going to be enough to actually KO. No way. That was so smart. But unfortunately, Sky J does go down. I love that assist, though, going for the purposeful mistiming, the Alolan whip to throw your teammate up and help out that recovery. Really good stuff. And now Spargo's going to try and make something happen with that extra life right there. Yeah, Tank, Spargo is definitely one of the most dangerous Spargos that we're going to have. Ooh. Now Blade Beam actually getting a lot of damage in for right. limit charge. Also just a good move in that situation anyway, as we mentioned, like charge shot. Even Ooh. if it doesn't hit, it just takes up so much space. Limit Blade Beam, exactly the same situation. Okay. Ooh, okay. Good back airs here to just stuff all the approaches out for blue team. The gyro support from mid-range, very smart as well, but give me the cross slash trying to get something going for the Philly boys. And finally, they find a stock. 
And unfortunately, Stars did SD in the second one. That's why we see Cloud actually right. in one stock. But they are taking advantage of Sky J's um, lack of recovery arsenals. Ooh. Oh, that's brilliant oh. coverage by Spargo. Jesus. <laughs> was it? You want to see me back here? You want to see me do it again? <laughs> And all of them were just finding the mark so effortlessly. Really good pickup from there. And the cross slash into the Alolan whip <laughs> oh my is God. A, a unbelievable follow up. Okay, nice. Dark yeah, these Lariat. dudes are cracked. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> you, you are not kidding. The read, that was like so scouted out to the moment the down tilt hit. Sky he just turned around and started charging it. And. Well, just had his arms open, waiting, and received a lovely surprise in, you know, stars dodging right into it. Wonderful, wonderful game, and a bit of what I expected from one of the top seed teams, uh, showing, to say the least. <laughs> even, like, still got the Incineroar taunted. Didn't even bother to cancel. Cross slash the wrong way just to damage your teammate. and yeah. Trying to get the spike on that last one, swagging on them. And we see right, the difference right. in the cameras, too. We see Team Mexico actually is smiling and laughing, and uh, Team Philly hey, looking yo. a little, hey! <laughs> what? what happened there? Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> All right, so already going back to pretty you know regular neutral. We got the revenge deck already used up. Really good responses. Although SkyJ does get hit, Spargo is really good about making sure that there's like an even trade or an even better trade working out in Red Team's favor. Okay. okay. Nice use of the cross slash there. Stalling the recovery a little bit, tacking on some extra damage as well. But Blue Team actually is looking pretty solid right now. They're taking a lot of damage, but they, feel, they look a little more comfortable, is what I would say. Yeah, but this is exactly the scenario that you really want to find yourself out of. If you're going 1v1 which is with some of the best in the world, you got to make sure that at least your team mate actually goes in to try to cover you. Right, right. We are seeing that the first star actually lost by the Cloud on blue team. Oh, <laughs> combo <laughs> revenge into forward area. Yeah. Another wonderful stock for red team. Really good pickup. I think they're just, you know, as, as comfortable as Blue Team looked, Red Team has found a couple of openings and just have run away with them, totally. Like, look, these extensions just do not stop. The frame traps that we're seeing from Spargo and the follow-ups that we're seeing from Sky J are just phenomenal right now. Ooh, neutral air is interesting there. I like that. Yeah, no fear on the side of Red Team. They have three stocks, too. High percent. Revenge one more time. Edge guard situation by Spargo. Ooh. Managing to get him right on top. Okay, that was a good return from the blue team. Let's see if they can actually follow up and get another one. I think so. Well, maybe not right now. I think they can make something happen. I was going to say, with Spargo at 172, but it's going to be tough because Red Team is just putting the pressure on. Look at all these Ooh. aerials connecting. The forward air doesn't connect. Well, the sweet spot doesn't connect. Yeah, directional air dodge from Spargo meant to recover after the laser charge. 188% of the definition of a tank right now for right. Team Mexico. Continue to put it up! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Limit climb hazard! And makes it back to the ledge just to be extra safe. I love that. I was going to say, like, if we get one more limit use out of that stock, it's huge. I didn't even want it to kill it, just for extra damage. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> so, 1v2 right now, and uh, Rob just staying away from the wrestling cat and the protagonist of Final Fantasy VII. I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't want to be near them either. No. You saw what happened in the last three minutes. And, oh! <laughs> and you're going to see a little bit more of it right there. Another wonderful follow-up team combo from some of the best to ever do it. Lovely, lovely set and a bit of a display of what you're going to see in the top cut coming up. Yeah. Unbelievable great. game. Yeah, that's great play by Spargo and Sky J. Now, John and Stars actually played it really well, but yeah. putting yourself in the scenarios that they were in, they were forced onto them by SkyJ and Spargo in general. Exactly. Going from right. the 1v1 situations in which, you know, if you're the better player, you are going to be able to actually take advantage of it. So the more that you get to play with it, the better for you. And the last tag team move to seal it away. Really good job. Fantastic stuff. Very excited to watch the rest of that bracket, but... I think we're going to be doing it from the stands. I think that was it for our block. But we also have to give a couple of shout outs as well to all the people who made this wonderful event possible. We got some some ads, if you will, coming up to all the people who helped put all of this together. We got 
Gen Game Media, working on production photos, videos, and just working on the Big Move series for so very long. Five years now since 2018. Please go ahead and follow them over on Twitter and on Twitch. They are just some pillars of the community, to say the least. Yeah, now we're moving on to Collision 2024, which features Zane, Spargo, Cody, MK Leo, Axe, Gluttony, and so many of the top players, not only from Ultimate, but also Melee. Now, the price increases on January the 7th at 11.59 p.m. That's so that's Sunday, so make sure to register at start.gg slash collision. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be one for the books for sure. And another fantastic Tri-State series. We got Defend the North. We register today over at start.gg slash DTNX. It's going to be a wonderful event with so many wonderful games as well. It's not just a Smash event. If you're into FGC, there's plenty for you to do as well. And it's uh, on my birthday, too. So I might just have to treat myself to that four-star hotel over in Long Island. Go ahead and check it out. You got to do what you got to do. And happy early birthday. Hey, thank you. It's very early, but I appreciate it. Very. <laughs> and, of course, Event Matchup Gaming. You can go ahead and follow them and support them. They're going to bring you Luminosity Makes Big Moves. Luminosity Makes Moves Miami. They're going to bring you Gommel. They're going to give you so much more Event Matchup Gaming. Pretty much a staple when it comes to tournaments of the Smash Caliber throughout the world. So Dang. go ahead and follow and support. And of course, one of their flagship yes. events, the 10 year anniversary yes. of Get On My Level Gommel, as it is known in the community. We have all best of five for singles, worldwide talent for all the games that you see listed down below. And of course, the 24 hour hotel and venue downtown. And from what I hear, a triple deck after party boat cruise that you Ooh. do not want to miss. Oh. Go ahead and use the code GOMELX for $5 off. And you even got a little nice little $60 venue fee until the 8th, which is Monday. So you're going to want to check it out this weekend over at StartGG slash Gommel. Yeah, Rivals of Ether actually being there. It's going to be super important for me because I'm a huge Rivals of Ether fan, but nice. also Tekken 8 Street Fighter. Yep, yep. If you are a fan of fighting games and platform fighters, you do not want to miss Get On My Level, the 10th anniversary. Wow, he did that better than me, but <laughs> it's all right. We, <laughs> we also got some fantastic merch over at the Start GG link. Go ahead Yo, and check it out. Start GG slash LMBM slash shop. Some fantastic designs from Spiff. I'm a oh, big yeah. fan. I'm already like, you know, I gotta get like at least half of this stuff, but I do. Some wonderful New York inspired apparel and gear for you. That's also still tournament theme, so you know, the people who know will know. Of course. But the people who don't know don't have to. You know? Of course. Go ahead and check it out. Start GG slash LMBM slash shop. Yeah, the one in the middle is actually the one that I am most excited for. Big Moves Pizzeria. Yeah, I do yeah. love pizza, <laughs> but it looks so cute. Look at them go. But the rest of the drip is actually fantastic yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Check it all out. And, of course, our wonderful side stream slash mainstream event that we got going throughout yes. the week. Nick All-Star Brawl 2. And they're helping bring the game here to Luminosity Make Big Moves. Make sure to check them out over on Twitter or X at Nick Brawl Game, and of course NickelodeonAllStarBrawl.com. And there's so much future DLC and features that you're going to want to check out. Mm -hmm. If you don't already love the game, you will after you see some of these extra features. Go ahead and check it out over on their social media, and uh, you know tap in. Yeah, including the legendary Mr. Krabs. When you are seeing right on your screen, oh, true. definitely a DLC for the future right, and right. a lot more of our favorite Nickelodeon characters are going to be in this game. So pretty exciting event so far. Aha, Squidward, why didn't you take that throw? <laughs> 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 and also make sure to check out Kryzen who did so many wonderful graphics and video editing for this and so many other events. As you see, you know, we got Luminosity makes big moves, Miami-related moves, Gommel X. They do all the graphics for pretty much all, all the announcements that you see, you know, some of the overlays, all that stuff. So make sure to give them a follow over on Twitter. And, you know, if you're trying to make any sort of business deals, you can also check out the Gmail as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And finally, the moment we have been waiting for all Block long, Jason Statham's The Beekeeper. Expose the corruption. Protect the hive. 
It is brought to you only in theaters on January the 12th. It has action. It has explosions. It has Jason freaking Statham. It is such a good, fantastic yes. movie. Chopper, I'm so excited to see this movie. Uh, this is like exactly the kind of action-packed movie I like to watch with my dad. So it's going to be a nice bonding yeah. experience. We're clearing the calendar. It's Friday, January 12th. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you're busy, a busy bee, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I will yeah, yeah. be keeping my calendar open Friday, January 12th. I'm, I got an appointment at the movie theater right now. We got Josh Hutcherson is also there. Yeah. I know if I was trapped in an island and I had one movie, I could only bring one movie with me, I'm, I'm taking the beekeeper. Oh, for sure. Friday and January I do 12th. have a group of friends, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we call ourselves The Hive. And we are going to see it. We are going to see it on January 12th. So <laughs> All right, I got to make sure. There. And I'll I got to take there. my mom, too. Mom, my yes, mom loves yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything that has to do with action the games, especially um, Jason Satham, for nice. sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can see why. Look at she him. She loves to <laughs> be yeah. at the movies. She loves, she to, be loves to be at, at the movies. That's production. has just said in my ear. And with the great director from David Ayer, Suicide Squad. Great, great time. It's going to be B. A great time. All right, that was a stretch. You got too many of those, but thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure, a blast, and one for the books. We're going to be signing off for now, but you were in good hands for the rest of Doubles Block. I've been AG. I've been Chopper. And we'll be seeing you soon. Don't go anywhere. The powerful and the corrupt are stealing from good people. What are you going to do with them? That's between me and them, if you don't mind. Don't move. There's a beekeeper. A special program outside the chain of command. And the system is corrupt. I correct it. He's stolen millions from people who've worked hard all their lives. Good people I need somebody to protect them. Honey? It's flammable. Who knew? The beekeeper rated R only in theaters January 12th.
And welcome back everyone for Top Cut of Doubles here at LMBN 2024. Uh, it's going to be a change of uh, rhythm. Let's say we are going <laughs> to go the other side of the pun now. It is I Humming Beer and I'm joined by the other European caster here today, F uh, Fabs. How are you doing, friend? I'm doing ma I'm doing good, as I'm going to say. Uh, you know, bringing the EU team all the way over just the other side of the pun to cast main uh, stream of you know, uh, Top Cut of Doubles. Can't even yeah. talk. Uh, and I was saying to AG earlier before they uh, came off, a lot of upsets going on, right? Um, and just the bracket just looks interesting itself. I kind of want to see how this kind of ends. Is it going to be, uh, you know, the classic Mexican finals as we always exactly. like to see in doubles? Exactly. Or is it going to be something new? I don't know. And if I'm correct, yeah, the Mexican are already there too. So indeed, is it, how is it going to end? That's the question. Because mm -hmm. what's an upset if there's not a victory after it? Yes. So yeah, and also it's going to be kind of a, a preview of what's going to be happening tomorrow for the main bracket. Mm -hmm. So all right, players both already in. Leo and Big Boss, obviously, like the main favorite for this tournament, and they are going to be facing. Uh, who is it in front of? Uh, so this is Jen and a 3K flock. It used to be called ZTN. Okay. Very good Zelda from Tri-State. It's a very classic uh, Tri-State team. I don't know if they've teamed too much in the past before, but they're very good Tri-State. I'd say legends at this point, right? They're both, both very good players. Got you. Uh, and they've got a lot of synergy, I'd say. And Zelda with uh, in this team, right? Usually a supporting character, they're gonna be super good at kind of controlling space uh, and kind of annoying bigger characters like Rob and even Aegis uh, with his matchup. Oh, definitely. Yeah, they're going to be able to just provide some support, I guess for the approaches of Palutena here. Now, this is an interaction we know and are wary of. Mm -hmm. The down throw of Rob is going to give you some invulnerability for your opponent, for your ally to just come in with a big F smash yeah. to try to kill you during the animation. And I don't know if, for example, Palutena is going to get grabbed. If uh, Zelda just want to get the risk to get in to try to cover you, it's going to be quite uh, difficult, I guess, in this kind of direction. Yeah, it's going to be super scary, you know, yeah. with Rob, especially with Pyra as well, being able to be, you know, the lock stock's kind of seeming to kind of fly at the moment, only Gem using the stock right there, and this is kind of where Big Boss and Leo kind of set in, you know, that's where they set pace, understand that, you know, they're a top team for a reason. Yeah, they're top team for a reason indeed, and for now, just ramping up more damage on the second stock. Here we go. So, pretty even if you think about it. Now, obviously, a little slightly ahead. Mm -hmm. With only 90% and still a lot of kill power with Mithra here. Just ramping up damage into by little and trying already to go for a spike here. If you want to get a quick stock just to ramp up against the lead you have on your opponents, I kind of get why. But even if Aegis is the stock character, I feel, uh, the stock tank, let's say, I feel like uh, they're very fragile. You know what yeah. I mean? They're very prone to die exploding. Kind of any percent if you can get them to that position. But obviously, it's Leo we're talking about. The Aegis is always been doing a lot of work. You see the side B interrupting so many Yo. things on the ledge. Yeah, it's so <laughs> smart. <laughs> that side B just saved so many lives here. Side B into the up smash, into the down throw, just avoiding a follow up on the throw. Perfectly well done again by uh, Leo. Just like taking the game on his shoulders. Oh my sure, God. Big Boss is doing well, but he's being the MVP right now. Look at that. Yeah, the thing is, Leo was harassing uh, Free K Fluff on that right side, but you see Leo uh, getting interrupted and just killing uh, Jennifer instead. But okay, finally, yeah. Leo gonna lose that stock. And Big Boss hasn't really taken too much. Big character that Rob can survive for a long time. Survivability, I feel, is so key in doubles, you know what I mean? That's why I feel like they excel at the team so well. They both survive for so long. Indeed, they do survive for so long on the side of Big Boss because the character, obviously, on the side of uh, Leo because of Leo, if I may say. Because uh, as, as you say, Pyramitha is not a character you like. Oh, you can get back on the stage mm -hmm. with quite easily. And there she is, still at 51% on his second stock. And oh, no dying though on this one. And okay. here the down throw getting punished, but the other way around. A little bit irony there for the robot, and okay, finally. Oh, and there we go. We talked about it, the recovery of Pyramitha finally going to bite uh, his leg here. And just like that, Leo back finally on his last stock. And yeah, the game's kind of turned on its head at the moment. It's not out down and out yet for no, yeah. uh, Jen and Never mind. Uh, 3K Flock until then. And now you got to deal with two of the big and the best. It's a scary situation. Yeah, how do you get back on the stage like this? Perfectly well done here. Avoiding everything on the, the pressure on ledge with that up B. But here we go, back onto the other side of the ledge now. Yeah, long lasting area is going to do so much work on the ledge. It's going to keep you away from me. Can't really go anywhere to kind of land safely. We see they're just taking turns. Yeah. Who wants to go tagging each other out? Yeah. It's a rest of the match at the moment. And oh man, uh, we're getting put to the turnbuckle right there. And okay, Big Boss and Leo up 1 0. Yeah, Para finally getting out and saying, yeah, you know what? My time to play now yeah. for a bit. <laughs> And going for a good after, good after here, gaining the first uh, game here for the Mexican players. Honestly, though, uh, Jen and Free Flock did play rather well when you consider again who they were facing. Mm -hmm. And you talked about the pressure that uh, Zelda can act, uh, can just add on the terrain. 
I didn't see it yet, so if he were to add this uh, tool on the table, that could be very interesting and may be able to shift the whole like um, uh, rhythm of the game. Yeah, I feel like uh, it might sound kind of odd, I guess, but I feel like even though Leo, uh, Leo is the stock tank, I feel like you still leave him alone. I think the real key in this team, uh, especially in this right now, it seems to be Big Boss holding the fort down with a lot of projectiles, a lot of space. Leo can kind of run in, seep in with these big hitboxes and these fast projectiles, but they're not getting any confirms unless you have robot. You know what I mean? If you get rid of that robot, you, you, you take out a key part of these kill confirms. Yeah, That's what they're dying to really early. So I feel like kind of focusing on the bigger character like Rob, uh, maybe could find them success. I don't know. Um, but at the moment, I feel like they were trying to do one v ones both times. And that's obviously kind of the, the default thing if you're not exactly a. This is a double kind of specialist. the normal handshake. It's, it's the normal, you know, exactly. you're, you're literally starting uh, a set but together. But do you so. really want to do one v ones with a I'm not boss? sure. Maybe it's time to gang up. I do agree on that. Let's see how it goes again. Is this best, is this best of three, right? Yeah, uh, Production, can you confirm it is best of three? I think, I think it's best of three. three. Not super sure. We'll see. Well, we shall see. <laughs> we shall see if they stand up after this set here. I'm lying. Yes. For it now, is, uh, best of three. Yeah, best this is best of three. Okay. Thank you, production. Well, as far as I know, anyway. <laughs> All right. For now, good down throw here. And just again, I love the way they're waiting for their opponent to just mm -hmm. do something and then punish it. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was a, t uh, a, a team damage here. Quite annoying. Again, receiving a soldier like this in the face. Yeah, best but start from a uh, K-Flop especially, doing a lot of damage on Big Boss for sure. But it's yeah. so hard, you know, Zelda is like the fastest character. When you're getting locked down like that, you don't ever need too many fast moves <gasps> that safe at least to kind of get yourself off them for free. Did he just, he killed his mate! He just killed his mate with a back here. here. So they do it back at home, homie. Interesting. No one does better than yourself, I guess. <laughs> Did you just say that? What was that, Bob? I said that's, that's how they do it back at home, I guess, you know? Oh, big pirate S match lasting for so my long. My goodness! Taking all the stocks in the world. And <laughs> oh my god. Back to even though. Yeah, comfort even here. Again, the good fair here with the sweet spot is going to even things up. But uh, what a beginning of the game here. One minute and four stock already out. Interesting. Super explosive. And I feel like they're definitely piling the pressure on uh, Jen and uh, K Block. Just this to make sure, you know? <laughs> oh, this is just explosive set again. Oh like, <laughs> inter and no one is looking for this mate at all. They're just like throwing stuff throwing in, there, in there. Throwing right? to see, <laughs> Trying to see if it works or not. I and mean, if it works on the wrong person, eh, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, FF are just getting around it. Jen doing a good job maintaining that stock and kind of throwing away and just letting kind of ZTN go in their own and yeah, just protecting them from the other side. Again, the only way you can survive your, your mate is just going for the invulnerability. And then we saw it, the down throw here, enabling the Mexican to get the advantage of it. Mm -hmm. right. good, good, good DI here on the upper, upper sorry, so we're going to survive a bit more. Oh, just missing. Good DI, yeah. let's kind of DI away. DI kind of understanding, you don't want to be anyone hit up, be yeah. confirmed. Good DI for good DI indeed. Side B interrupting, no footstool indeed, maybe looking for it, or just baiting something out. And either way, good on the side B again, interrupting Jen, no zoning for you. But yeah, but look at that, they are good. Okay. Ah, you didn't expect Leo to die first here in that interaction, but yet here we are. A lot of surprises for sure. Okay, big s from Mithra. No pyro needed in the cave. Jen having to survive, good option from K-Flock. Protecting his partner. I'm liking this a lot in the second game. A lot more teamwork now, you know what I mean? E exactly, we talked about it. This, yep. like, this is the end of the one again, one again, one with one. This is time for the big, like, mash in the middle of the game. And seems like it's working way more here for, for the others. Way more competitive now. Yeah. Jen and Free Cave Lock here. Slightly in the lead. That dash like is going to get punished. No, never mind. Good catch up on both sides here. But now they're starting to scrap, and I feel like that's where Leo and Big Boss kind of want it. You know, they want to scrap with you. Yeah. You've got big fast buttons. Rob is a boxer. Oh, no, man. Okay. Leo, how? Out of there already. How did I connect? And just like that. Jen and Free Cave Lock gaining a huge lead. Yeah, Try and shield the yeah, gyro against the shield yourself. As well. Jenna's right there with the shield and the wings as well. Oh my god. All of the weapons in the arsenal. That was clean. That was super clean. That was clean from that. Like, every interaction on that ledge was just, okay, we are in the lead there. Mm -hmm. But there's still a world where he can actually win. So, you know what? Let's not take any risks. Let's play by the book. And they did. So, perfectly well done again. Oh my god. That we touched last yeah. forever. Dude, Rob was out of there. The animation of down throw was still going. <laughs> Everyone, you know, no. died of that pie, bro. Sorry. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Okay, we're gonna see how this uh, game, this one is set, concludes. It is game three, guys. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, and honestly, Jen and ZTM, oh, should I say K-Flock now, should I say, have a very good chance of, uh, you know, getting the upset. Oh, yeah, honestly, they did, very, they did very well in game two. Even game one, you could see the adaptation already between mm. the two. Let's see again if the Mexican can adapt as well. Yep. For now, it seems like, uh, well, Jen was in the middle of the, the, the fire here, already at 73%, but in the end, Ooh, nearly getting Lara right there, you have to watch out. Okay, Lara here again, just to gain the safe control. And there we go yeah. again, a good down throw. You do have smash the classic here. You get rid of the ally, and then you go for the other one. Pushing him out of the way, there's nothing Jen can do except watch his partner, you know, fall to their death right there. Exactly. Okay, good. Oh my goodness, wow. oh my god! What? Okay, we need to talk about the, uh, the fact that Leo died there, but I do love the combo nonetheless. Yeah, talk about a Baja Blast, man. That was crazy. Okay, going to try to go for a very high recovery. Did manage to get into on the stage without any issues here. Okay. But you did try to grab a, 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 a front kick from Zelda. You're going to get punished for it. Okay, now the game is it's trying to flatten out a bit more even. Look at the down throw. But again, Jen doing a good job left, you know, making sure Leo can't get there in time. <laughs> Going for the barbecue here, Leo surviving. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Jen surviving a bit more here. Yeah, but shield very ambiguous where you're gonna land. Goes to the gentleman jab, couldn't find it. The rapid jab, let's say, is gonna fall to death. Uh, just right there, K flop can't land safely. Yeah, K flop can't land safely, but look at that. On the other side, Jen still with his three yep. stocks. Yep. I'm surprised there. Okay. Yeah, they're just waiting for the opportunity to strike. Couldn't find the right timing though. The iron was not that hot, but okay. Big Boss doing a good job keeping K-Flock in that right side zone. You can't jump away. Oh, he's the bodyguard there. And gets the shot. Big Boss. Um, absolute fortress to deal with. The, the only way he did manage to get back onto the middle of the stage one for the Blast Ball up there. So, yeah. Again, Big Boss doing the perfect Ooh. job here. Okay, we got Jared as the game on the left side. Yeah. Okay. No one is going to connect on both sides here. Yeah, Lightning can't strike right now. Can't find the right the sweet spot here. Okay, the down throw. Yep. K flop there to interrupt Leo, can't do anything but watch. Now into now, I love it again. The game did slow down a bit here yeah. compared to the first time. But this is one of the confirms you have to be wary of, and just like that, the game that was pretty even up to now went completely south. Yeah, it, it just fell on his head, honestly. <laughs> And now, Jen having to do the whole job himself, four stocks to take. I'll be honest, it doesn't look good. And there we had to confirm that they tried to go for before, finally landing without any hiccup on the side. Yep. Leo, uh, not dying here by the other opponent, is going to uh, take the win with this set, uh, of the set here. 2 1 for Big Boss and Leo against Jen and Free, free K Flock. I mean, it's, it's the classic, right? Like, yeah, you know, I was talking you about can, this you one. You can here. get your upsets, but what makes Big Boss and, and Leo kind of that step ahead of other pe uh, people is that they can deal with that storm, they can weather it. And, uh, you know, if you can't find that opening, if you can't keep up the stamina, uh, you're just not going to take game three. Game three was a wash by the end of yeah, the game. Yeah, game three was a wash. Yeah, indeed. They did manage to survive for two minutes, I yeah, think. Of course, yeah. But Starting uh, to uh, like the game just went one way after the, uh, mm -hmm. the five minute mark, and you can see already, yeah, the combo here. Second time they would decided to go for this one, and indeed it was a pretty beautiful one here. There we go, and then double jump to go up there and just use the up the up air, sorry, and the momentum of the double jump to go very high yeah. away. Perfectly done again. Yeah, fuel to uh, you know get the kill. So good yeah. way to burn the gas. Yeah. So of course, you know. Yeah, and they I do it big. I love the way it went. Like they, uh, Big Boss went with the up first. Mm -hmm. And again, just using the momentum of the double jump, to keep on scooping uh, his opponent with the upper perfect again. Uh, so one uh, Mexican team uh, up and still respecting its seed. We have another one we need to be wary of. It's going oh. to be Sky J and Spargo, obviously. But very uh, interested in this team, of course, coming up against One P and Anathema. Uh, you know the Florida natives, I believe. You know, don't sleep on them, Florida guys. They are crazy, yeah, of course. And you don't even know who One P is going to play. I don't know if they're going to be going the classic Palu. Yeah. They could be rocking out the, the banjo. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know who they could play, but of course, Anathema, I guess, is going Rob. Rob, um, obviously one of the top three Robs here in oh, the continent. So yeah, why change? We talked about the Mexican. Mexican crew and look at that, we already have Spargo just joining us here and SkyJ I guess is also going to be joining him. Uh, so yeah, seems like we are going to have a run, uh, the, the second part of it. Indeed. Okay, I didn't know it was going to be these teams here. Yeah, yeah. Did you talk with them, like, uh, about them because you knew they were going to be playing? Uh, a little bit of both. I do it big, you know what I mean? Either way, um, what's kind of interesting about Spargo and, uh, and SkyJ, right, is that like, 
uh, I think Skyjo was telling me that they don't really team too much. You know, usually you see Spargo and Chag, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, extremely good team. Both of those players. Shout out to Chag, by the way. Chag, yeah, for sure. And then you've got uh, Sky J and I believe uh, Meister. Normally, uh, yes. And also another good team. You know what I mean? Shout out to both Indeed. of those Shout players. Shout out Meister. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, but of course, now uh, with, with Chag and Meister not being here, they can work together, you know, and uh, see what they can do. And I think they're, they're very excited to try the team out. Ensign Cloud. Oh, uh, Ensign Aegis. Uh, yes. Very interesting. I think Ensign, personally, is a top three character in doubles. In doubles, yeah. This is I one of the characters that, character that get crazy. buffed. Yes, like absolutely. K. Rool among others is also very good yeah. in doubles because you got the armor, you get the blunderbuss, the shenanigans and mm -hmm. all. So, yeah, there are a few characters that get buffed. Only difference here is obviously that's, well, in, in Cinero, is not a bad character from the get-go. So if you buff him a bit more, you get what you have in doubles right now. All We're of going his to see it. Send at disgusting angles. You, know, you have revenge. Oh you can God, just work yeah. off of. You know. Yes, but um, so many things you can work with. There's a bit, but you say that they are not used to play together. Yes, and it's true they did have a few sets to get there, and I guess. When you say, oh, I'm going to team up, you do work out sure. how the, the, the basics plan, work. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah, sure. game plan all. But on the other hand, we have two players that may know each other for a long time, have yeah. been pla practicing together, and yep. not bad players neither. Like, again, we talked about them before. So this is going to be a pretty interesting match to see. Let's see how it goes. Again, both players starting to get ready on both sides. Who do you think is going to take it this time? I mean, it's very obvious to say that Spygo and SkyJ should take it because obviously, you know, even if they don't team well together, it's, it's that 1v1 thing we talked about before, you know what I yeah. mean? It's like, you know what? We don't really know what we're doing together, but hey, man, you're the best cloud in the world. You're the best incident in the world. Do your thing on that side. I'm going to do my other thing on this side. If you yeah. need me, call you me. Do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's up to you that. You do you. I do me. Yeah, I, do, yeah, I won't get in your way. You don't get in mine. But of course, 1P and Anathema, they're no slouches at all. You know? 1P, yeah. I feel like 1P is, is one of those players um, is isn't really talked about too much because they don't really go to that Definitely many tournaments. Yes, me, but indeed. they're still a very good player and, and a lot of characters they can play. And Anathema is like, he is the Rob doing Rob things. You know what I mean? Like, what, when <laughs> top oh, you can say he's robbing victories. Was, I mean, that works this time. people to do gyro stuff. You know, a lot of robs are like, you know what? I don't really need to because I'm, I'm a good rob anyway. He's, he's robbing victories. But now, exactly, he's Anathema is doing the rob things. He's the gyro he's, things. And can it's you, scary. Can you laugh at my joke? I'm laughing. Thank you. All right. From the get go, both <laughs> players going. Okay, so Trumpy uh, here is going there to go with Palutena here. Yeah, he's going Palutena. I, I feel like the Palutena would be the best. Obviously, Palutena would a great. Doubles character, you know Definitely. I mean? Great support character. And then you've got Rob on the other side who does whatever the hell he wants, uh, you know, depending on the day. Okay, beat your team up. You, you see that fur, right? That fur on the face of Spa. So I'm thinking why, but you know, they do it differently over there. Oh, big axe swing with the smash. This guy did look for something. I don't know what he was, though. Yeah, but I mean, for now, both players, it's a pretty even game. I mean, Sky just waited out a bit. And on the other hand, Sparkle just died to the down air. A lot of things going on, okay? Yeah, indeed. Game is even with a lot of da team damage. Oh my god, a lot of team damage indeed. Yeah, we have to watch out. Yeah, Insane yeah. going up against Rob. It's not going to be a fun time. Indeed. There's nowhere to go, nowhere and, to land safely. And that's the second time I think I managed to get a spike out of two stocks. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot. Okay, going for a good beam here in the face. Okay, yeah, you see Sky trying to trace down someone. Obviously, that is a very slow cap. Love the way SkyJ did manage to punish the up throw here uh, from Anthema. That was the perfect moment to go for a quick clean kill. And with that, the game is slightly Ooh. in their hands. No, nope, never mind. The lead they had it just appeared. And SkyJ died from this? What was that? The eye? Not too sure. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm a little bit confused on that one, but still. Okay, a lot of things coming out. The revenge not getting caught right there. You see SkyJ yeah. wants it so badly. The he patience wants, is a virtue, my friend. Go wait for it. He wants to get the, da the damage output indeed. With that revenge, not going to happen. Unfortunately, now there we go. Finally, one v one on both sides. Mm -hmm. This is what and they want, <laughs> right? This is what they want. <laughs> yeah, just like that, you saw the beam from Anathema just going the whole stage <laughs> in the butt cheeks of Spargo here. And okay, you see Spargo, you know, space around him, has a limit on deck. Of course, the you know, stat buffs are there. Then we move in just a little bit quicker for a couple seconds. Oh man, big high knee, big dash attack from SkyJ, taking that stock, trying to even up the stocks, but Anathema yep. is just a big stock tank right now. Indeed, still, uh, like, again, a heavy character. Mm -hmm. We've uh, not that many percent. I just see a Rob with a lot of rage, and he was, he did manage to find his comfort, his comfort up to now, so he can try to go for a quick uh, game, I guess, on the raw on cloud here on the ledge. Oh, interesting. Finally getting a revenge. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, you're, you're not going to survive this. Eviscerated, absolutely. Good wait from Anathema. Wait for the gap attack. Mm. Art smashes on the ledge. And now Spargo on his own. 
Yeah, how, what are we going to do there? You're not going to survive this one. We saw it so many times up to now. Not taking any risk going for the down throw into F smash. Perfectly well done again. And you say that SkyJ and Spargo could win this one? It's not looking good for now. It's Absolutely. not looking good at all. can't sleep on the Florida natives, you know? They do it differently in the south, uh, for sure. That and I feel like the, the, the 1v1 situations, of, of course, we keep talking about how it's always in Spargo and SkyJ's favor. Unless, I feel, it's in Tim vs. Rock. It's never a good time on that ledge, you know? SkyJ was having yeah. a terrible time. You're not going to enjoy it, No indeed. smiles from that guy. And I know he's animated, but he didn't get a chance. And just to jump on what you just said, indeed, it's good to be 1v1 on both sides, but I love how Anathema and even Trumpy just keep an eye on what's happening on the other side, because sure. they know that they are slightly at disadvantage when you look at on the paper. Yeah. So, yeah, always just try to gain, give some support to your friend, even if it's uh, like on the other side of the, uh, the stage. Yeah, being, I think both characters having like quite long lasting moves over the course of the stage. And it was neutral B, yeah. side B from Palo Ten, and of course, you've got the neutral B from uh, the laser from so, Rob. Yeah. A lot of things that can kind of interrupt your partners as well when they're in trouble. So. They do have enough projectiles just to gain, to give some support to their, to their mates. For well, now, though, it seems like uh, it's again a pretty even game on both sides. They are all tries to go for confirms, whether it's from the red side or the blue side. But both times they, touch, they try to go for one. There were always team damage in there to mm -hmm. just kind of cancel everything. And it seems to be living, uh, Sky Day living and dying by this revenge. Not too much living at the moment though, uh, except for this stock. He's taking so much damage for it. He did, he, again, he grabbed his mate and he's going to get punished for it. Look at that, another good grab here on both sides. Drumpy did manage to gain another queen kill with his upper wow. and while Anathema doing Anathema thing with his Rob. Good edge guard again. I feel like Chag and Meister are both shaking their heads back at home. Say, hey, exactly, man, no! You should have brought me out, but either way, SkyJ, <laughs> bringing one stock back at least. The set is not over, says him. Uh, has to do something about it, though, with Spargo. Uh, in a little bit of trouble, he's getting thwarted all the way on the right side. Yeah! Oh my god! My goodness! The One P is real, apparently doing something, keeping oh. it animated and locked in. SkyJ can't do a thing but watch Spargo lose his second stop now. The we one. might see another upset coming. And look, we were clean to you. Oh, it seems so indeed. The One P is real and doing a very good job here against the Mexican players. Fair again in the face. There again, there just to save his uh, his mate. Love what Spargo, tr uh, sorry, SkyJ tried to do here, but isn't it a bit too late? That's okay. my question. The Not exactly back there, yeah, taking one stock. I mean, it's, it's, it's revenge. It's boosted a little bit, but either way, has to do something now. It's, it's do or die for Spargo right now. Definitely do or die indeed, Spargo on his last stock. The limit is there, though. Is it going to be enough to gain a quick kill? I'm not sure. He's going to try to keep it just to get back on the stage. Use that limit now. Okay. Just keeps it. Maybe looking for it to be speedier. Okay, side B. Yep, the sweet spot. Gets rid of them one right there. <laughs> Stocks are seeming to be flying right now, humming. Okay, he did manage to, ca to catch him with the neutral B, but yeah, the, the knockback was way too much. So, yeah, nothing came out of it. That was stylish, though. Okay. Okay, Anotema just taking his time on the ledge. Real grab is going oh, to get punished. No! The revenge! Sky J! Sky Casual must not to work with, but it's getting a bit tense. Sky J just sabotaging the F smash here from Spargo. Let's see what we can get there. Wow, side B into Palatina side B, okay. Yeah, saved by his base right in that there, situation. Yeah. Get to the limit, go to the, the big up smash, can't find any hits right there. Storing it out. Okay, oh good, up, good up smash. A lot of rage, not going to be enough to get a kill. But again, there's that second stock le left on the side of Anathema just to gain him, to get him some, like, I guess, way ahead of this tournament. And there goes Anathema, loses that stock right there. On his last one, one in a little bit of trouble, bleeding uh -oh. out. Yep, you're gonna take that one uh -oh. right there. Big combo. The back hair as well. One piece staying alive for now though. The game switched on its head though, Humming. Yeah, indeed, just like this down throw, not going to be enough to get a kill. 139% on Wampu. He needs to be wary because he could die from the next one. Yeah. All the up tilt here. Okay, no! No way! He's dead. Okay, yeah, there goes Wampu right now. It's a 2v1, oh. but they are released a high percent. Rob! Is a character that can do something, but you are coming up against the, the best. Yeah, Where do we go, though? You're literally facing the best here with not a lot of gas remaining. Oh. That would have been very fun. Okay, the up yeah. smash not going to be enough. And the upper, though, is going to be enough here to seal the deal. That was a that close one. Very, very, very close one indeed. You can see already the gaming position here from Sky <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to stop laughing, maybe. Let's get back into the business. And I do feel like One P and Anathema had that at one point. You know, they were in a super prime position, but it's the pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to be coming up against the best when they when they lock in that gear, that 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 second gear, that second motion. Dealing with that can be so hard. 
Let's see again. They need to close it up. They were quite close up to the very end. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, Spargo and Skyjin need to be Look serious at this from position the they're in. Yeah. Four stocks to three right now, and they're both high percent. It's just. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. yes. Hey, he, he got it. I mean, A plus four effort, okay? Yeah, up to the very last moment, and there we go, the very big grab. And look at that, he got extended up to the point that Evan and Thema just jumped in it. Look at it, look at it, he wasn't in it! Wow! He wasn't in it! <laughs> Even Skyjet has the hands are <laughs> absolute cinema, what? bro, for a reason. <laughs> Hello! Hello, I'm from Incineroar. <laughs> How you doing? Hello, I'm from Rob. How you doing? Handshake. Now. Ah. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> There we go, try to go for the cheeky up smash on the up throw. Not going to be enough here, but again, good try. All right, let's see how the last game is going. Go. PS2 again, I guess. And I do feel like in this position, Spargo and SkyJ find that second win. They might be in favor to win this game three, but you never know. And okay, I, like I said before, bro, SkyJ, not one, not two, but three revenge attempts. <laughs> and there we go. How much? 25% only. Interesting. I was a, a, a bit disappointed, let's say. I expect a bit more. Okay, good neutral be here. Again, game pretty even. Consider what just happened up to now. Yeah, the shield looking a bit small on one piece yeah. side. Has to try and find Ooh, a way to back it. And the, uh, from both those characters, pushing them far away. But Luckily, they get back to, uh, to the stage. They both managed to go back, get back on the stage nonetheless. So, interestingly, here, no advantage pressure here for one John P and Anatema. John P and Anatema, again, slightly ahead. So the stage control, though. Yeah, exactly. Goes for the down throw, maybe look for the DI check, but gets caught cool. with that down throw. Really smart from Nakama, having to sacrifice that stock to Spargo, though. Spargo here going, oh, okay, you know what, you don't want to consider me? Okay, you're going to get punished for it. Game pretty even yet, Spargo going to get back onto the stage one more time. Now he needs to be worried because everything can kill him. Yeah, yeah, the gyro getting interrupted as well, getting caught okay. in One Piece hand. Okay. Just, wow. Hard show for too long. Spargo's right there to pick up the pieces. And just like that, Spargo still alive, still surviving, still doing a lot of damage here with a side base 144%. Again, if he's just respecting the option of his opponent, he just can survive a bit more again mm -hmm. and again. There we go. DI out and take out just to avoid any follow up from Rob. And he's not managed to get a stock out of it. Yeah, he's exploding. And that's the thing, when Spargo's going to set that game of motion, now they're starting to kind of find the stocks. Losing the stock right there, though, but they're still in a really good position. Oh my god. Saved by Skyje here. He nearly died from this. And that was the last stock of an Anthema. Where did they go? I think uh, Anathema has been uh, losing stocks in a flash. Nah. There you go. Okay, good throw here. Trying to go for a spike. Not going to happen, unfortunately. And there we go. So, uh, Trumpy just uh, helping uh, Anathema survive a bit more. But again, I'm not confident in those percents. Not at all. Oh, nice though. Wow, the extension. <laughs> My goodness. Every time. Okay, going for a good F smash here. Good wait, up wait a minute. Trying to escape it. Now, what happened to Spargo? We're all on last stop now. It's a little bit of a frantic situation. Yes, indeed. One Piece has to play a stock tank of his life. Yeah, against Poppy on his official second star here. He did give one to Anathema, so he needs to be a bit wary because right now he could explode at the next interaction. Both players here on the other side can just kill him with a feat or a sword. And there we go, waiting, waiting for the neutral get up and killing him with a good dash attack. Perfectly well done again by uh, Spargo here. Anathema going to stick to that match and never mind. Want to see a combo with Jairo? There we go. Like, yeah, you got it, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> That was a good combo. The set, yep. Pretty well done, as you said. Pretty well way, good way to end the set. Sure. Just like that, a second team of Mexicans going to uh, go forward in this tournament. Are, we, are they going to face each other now? Uh, I mean, that was winners' quarters. That was right quarters. So maybe one more set. But nonetheless, Rampy and Antima did play well. They did. Uh, uh, have a few mishaps in there. We saw a, a lot of friendly fire uh, in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Juan, Juan Pinto did manage to get a few spikes at the beginning of the set. And the too, when you think about it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wasn't enough, unfortunately, to get rid of the Mexican players here. They are going to go. That dash stack of Spargo did such a good job. 
So yeah, now we're going to have a low and slasher against Show and Lucky. Can I talk about Show and Lucky? I'll leave you with Alois Slasher. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I mean, no disrespect when I say this. I don't know who Slasher is. Oh, okay. Uh, but I know Alo, extremely good Zelda. I want to say that Tri-State or Philly, one of the two. I think I might be wrong, though, guys. My bad. But they're they're very good Zelda, nonetheless. I'm not too sure who Slasher is, but they must be doing something good because they're in winners' quarters. They're winners' so they quarters. They must have gotten upset, I'd imagine. Um, and of course, you said you wanted to talk about Show and Lucky. So yeah. Fill me in. Oh my God! Yeah. That shows us you're going to talk about this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah Evan, nice. yeah, yeah. yeah. GG's, GG's. Shake my hand. <laughs> We've seen so many co combos from uh, Chunky Kong recently on Twitter. Oh, he's been combos, right? yeah, the gyro combo with every heavy in the game. So it's good to have, to have another one live right there. So, as I said, we had Alo and Slasher on one side. We're going to have Sho and Lucky on the other. Sho and Lucky being two, uh, well, master of the characters, let's say, mm -hmm. this way here. Sho, one of the best, if not the best Meta Knight in the world right now, in the US for sure. Lucky, one of the best, if not the best Piranha Plant in the uh, world, in the US for sure. Uh, yeah, this is a, a very... <laughs> Let's say obnoxious team. Very we've weird got there. team. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was also gonna say is that um, as well as them both being very good pilots of their own characters, um, Lucky also actually has like a little MK as well. I believe. You know what I mean? I think he plays. I'm, a, so I'm to understand surprised. the character as well um, is, is obviously a really good thing to have in doubles. And yeah, a really like you know not common team at all. MK Plant. I don't really know what they excel in. I feel like Plant is a very big obstacle course. You don't really want to fight the character. You also want to fight the, the, the your, your partner and leave that little flower to Aren't himself. Aren't you a Piranha Plant player too? I mean, I don't, I don't main him, but like, he's fun yeah, to use. Yeah, he's fun to use. I, I fun to use, but of course, uh, it's not fun for the other person. You know and I mean? Mid tonight, sure, you just don't want to face him in the air. That's yeah. it we all. You just want to don't put him in an edge guard situation because you're going to lose any interaction against him. I saw him against a Luigi player earlier on today. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. It didn't go well because obviously Luigi couldn't get back on the stage. If, if you don't count on the misfires, obviously. But yeah, I mean, I don't know who Slasher plays, but with, with Zelda, a character like Zelda, who has a teleport, yeah, it's going to be getting intercepted a lot with like these Meta Knight uh, Nairs, yeah, you have Side Bs, Nairus, just, the stage. You, you have Neutral so. B just to survive, but if, like, again, Show is very pushy on his interactions. Mm -hmm. You had a guard for any shenanigans, I guess, because, like, again, guard shenanigans. So, yeah, you got the tools to survive a bit more, I do agree. Let's see if it's going to be enough, though. Again, the big. Uh, a noun here is going to be Slasher, the big, like, uh, variable. Yeah, well, I'm wondering who Slasher plays. Again, no disrespect, I just have, I've never heard of them, so I have no idea who they play. Guys, we, we are Europeans. I mean, <laughs> give us some. That's our excuse. That's a good excuse. That's our excuse. We are going to use it a lot. Who here. do you think Slasher plays? We're going to be seeing Zelda, Meta Knight, oh, if Plant, he and who? plays a, a Sword Fighter or something like this. <laughs> like a Mii player? No, a Mii player, that'd be very fun. That's like mean. Slasher, man. I mean, I'm gonna he's go going to play a Sportsman, isn't he? I'm going with, with Wario. Wario, yeah, his I'm name is Slasher. So? Okay, that's actually, you know, that's fair. That could be the mix up, though. That could be the big mix that up. That could be oh, the big yeah. mix like, up, you know? Okay, we got one player in Europe, in, play, in France, going on with a Luigi uh, figurine, right? And he's playing um, uh, Steve every yes. time. Yes, I've seen these so people. I hate those type of people. Yeah, don't, don't do that. I mean, you're already playing Steve, that's enough. <laughs> All right. Let's see, I'm going to go with, uh, in doubles, with Roy. Roy? That's, yeah. a, that's a fair. That's a very I think that's a really good assumption. That's a good pick, I think. I picked Wario because I just thought of Wario just now. Go again? I thought of Wario in my head just now, so I'm going just with Wario. Wario's <laughs> going through really your play. mind now. By the way, we got Glutony and a few other Frenchies uh, in uh, Japan right oh, now yeah, for, for sure. Umebra. So yeah, if you do uh, want to see more Smash, you can just jump on the Japanese streams. Is uh, that right now? As no, well? no, no. I think it's later on oh, because okay. obviously time jet, jet lag. I think it's after uh, our stream. Oh, okay. Literally just after our stream and before hours. So yeah, if you want to go 24 hours of Smash, this is the perfect weekend to do so. I'm gonna see who they lock in right now. Um, if it's for that looks like okay, yeah, another oh, sword shot. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. Slasher, I get it. Air slasher. Air slasher. Back slash. How it. is Robbie doing, by the way? He's I around no, there, isn't I've, he? I haven't, I've said hi to him. I haven't really. He, he did doubles with Longo. Yeah, he's with um, Longo right now. So let's see if they did manage to get into winners somewhere. Otherwise, we can maybe wait and expect them in losers. And so, I think he's a good doubles team. Yeah, I do agree. Um, I think big hitboxes, switching up your stats a lot of the time, and being able to kind of escape team combos is very, very vital in a character like Shock. So, you know, of course being a slowish character, but obviously your partner can always back that up. But oh man, not getting a chance. It's all speed right now and loose the stock already. Where is the tech? Where is the tech? Okay, okay. So I was a bit surprised. Wow. I was a bit scared and surprised here. No tech from the get-go from uh, the Slasher here. 
Okay, good job in the face there. Uh, going through the cloud, okay. Maybe yeah, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, I feel like Lucky is just the obstacles. He understands that like, you're going to escape his projectiles, but you have to take a little bit of damage before. Surviving the lightning kick, thank God, uh, has to get back to stage, but already so much damage. Oh! Yeah, surviving a bit more again. Lucky, a very big heavy plant here. Yeah, but heavy. as you say, he does have tools to just try to be as obnoxious as possible in that situation. Yeah, super obnoxious on the ledge right there. A lot of these, these ledge pitch jumps you're not used to when you're not playing against these good plants like Lucky. He's not going to die, you see. He's going to die from this! Ironic. This is the first time I see a Meta Knight dying off stage, like, for lack of options. Could that be here to uh, punish Dash like Not going to be enough and save Pabu Tui here. Love what's happening on the side of Lucky here. Yeah, Lucky finding that back air as well, charging the, the poison cloud. Yep, gonna get back to stay safely. You can't stand there right there unless you want to take some poison damage. Double parry and it just has a little bounce here. I'm telling you, all these tips and tricks on the ledge, yeah. as well as being an option course, works out so well for Sho. You just let Sho run around, do his own thing. And Lucky just gets to interrupt the, the teammate, so to speak. It's very versatile, as you say, just knowing exactly, oh, I can maybe cover this zone if something happens. Good, if not, well, shame on me, I can do it again. And Lucky did a really good job of just playing to the ledge, you know what I mean? Kind of weak for esque but yeah. they're not doing too much on, on the center stage. Going to the ledge, being that kind of annoyance, if you want to come uh, at me, you have to kind of figure out my minigame. All right, again, you say, you're talking about it's going to be a minigame here. They're going to need to solve the riddles that they're going to put on the stage every time. Who died here? Oh, it's Sho. It's a okay. lightning kick to the face. Okay. So, surprisingly, uh, Sho on his last talk here. I did not expect the Midnight Knight to be the first one on his last talk, honestly. That's a lot of damage here. Yeah, a lot of damage. Yeah, the shield is used at the moment, so maybe now is her time to kind of attack Ooh. the Shulk, so to speak, you know? Indeed. We're going for the explosion here again. I love the stage coverage here. As you talked about uh, Zelda before, not in that match here, but Ooh. before, as we saw the, saw the other one before. Okay, good air smash here, going to catch the two of them. Yeah, especially in that sh uh, smash, I'm actually surviving though, but lucky losing the stock right there. A little bit of deficit for the blue team. But they can work something out, maybe. Half tier deficit, if I may say. Sure, already at 80%. And Metal Knight isn't a heavy character. He's Ooh. going to die soon, specifically with that explosive power from the side of Olo. Okay. Just getting Hello. around it. Lucky, again, flying to the ledge. Kind of uh, seems to be where he finds safety. He's <laughs> at that ledge, but he's getting swatted away. Yeah, he's going to die from this. Yeah, sure. You're going to go for the very... Uh, again, it's a very big coming to go for down B like this. Very smart from Lucky, by the way. Understand, didn't need to do the full jab. Yeah. Wait for the option for, from above and kills him for it. But, you know, is it too little too late right now? Yeah, it's a bit too late indeed. Just like this, 95%. Sure, you're heavy, but is it going to be enough? Good edge guard situation. You're going to survive the unflash and the guard. But, yeah, you're between a rock and a hard place there. Yeah, for sure. Not too much this flower can do right now. No blooming at the moment. Okay, just wants to get the dash grab too short with those leaves. And again, it's time for the mini games. Oh, okay, surviving it more again. We talked about rock, but you know what? No Grass way. No Have to tech. Vital tech. Vital tech indeed. Still surviving. That plant doesn't want to die. Nope. It's a good weed yeah. right now. Okay. It's all okay. legal in New York. And they're surviving everything being thrown at them. Oh, takes out one. Wait. And it's surviving. It's Wait. not over yet. He could do it. Can we yeah. see some fortune from Lucky? Stuck between Rock and a hard place, but you know what? Grass is effective against Rock. Okay. So you never know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not over yet, though. Some showing some promise, even with shows uh, kind of uh, shortcomings with that SD. Yeah. Uh, you know, Lucky doing a good job of kind of keeping it evenish and uh, throwing some uh, a lot of fear into that last part of the game. Indeed, and I mean, well, yeah, that oh, SD here just sealed the deal yeah. here. But you know what? It also gives you a good uh, point to work right? on. Yeah, 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 for I sure. Mean, if the game was even to that very last yep. block here, it means that, yeah, you get rid of that SD, you take it off the equation, it's a completely different story. And guess what? It's going to be game two and maybe game three afterwards. They got time to just get rid of that SD, <laughs> if I may say. He survived this one, yeah, he survived yeah, this one. Yep. That was a back throw to get a kill at the end. This one. Nope. Yep, first survived as well. Who's the back throw now? This one, yeah. All right. Oh, he's pumped up. <laughs> yeah, Slash is saying, you know what? We got this. We got this. But honestly, uh, I feel like the unfamiliarity with the plant, uh, you know, having, not having exactly played a plant to this level, so many tips and tricks that you're not exactly used to. Uh, not tips, should I say, just, just tricks in general. Oh, tricks, uh, yeah. That, you know, the Lucky was kind of pulling out out of the bag, kind of surprising the team, you know what I mean? Yeah, but is the surprise going to last enough? That's the question you know, here, because he needs to go and go for more tricks up for the next two games. 
Okay. That's a classic. That's a classic show going oh for the my very God, big. Getting dragged off stage. But not going to be enough, unfortunately. Yo, nice. A lot of damage on show again. It's a really interesting team, Lucky and Show. I feel like they both play at the ledge, and they just want to drag you off stage, both of them. Nah, you need both characters can just drag you off stage. It's interesting to see. Sweet spot again on the fair. He is going to sit the deal, and Show again losing the first lock in that game. Aye. Yep, yeah, nowhere to go. So big aerials being able to swing and cover so much space. Love how <laughs> Lucky just went up there to try to cover any escape a tentative fall from uh, Alo. Going to finally manage to get a kill, maybe? Not going to be enough. Still can't find a no no on the ah. teleport recovery. And oh man, ah. Lucky using the stock as well. Alo and Slasher in a good position. And the shield just saving a Slasher from that up here. Perfectly well done again. Surviving and maybe gaining one more opportunity to go for a very big amount of damage. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Jumping around. I love what we see. Show going very deep to go for a kill, not going to connect with anything, unfortunately. And there we go. Down B finally managing to get a stock, but already 70%. Okay, the 2 e just kind of thwarting any you know, option away. Aye. But you have to deal with the Din's fire. Okay. So jumping around, but jumping in the air smash here. Alo taking the lead again. Okay, that's one stop gone, but still a little bit of a stop lead deficit. Not in the favor of showing Lucky. Allo and yeah. Slash are doing a good job maintaining this, creating a lot of space. And oh, there goes Lucky. The side feed not working out either. Oh my god, down smash connecting with his opponent. This is a lie. And Show doesn't need that. If you look at the percent right now, 50% already on his last stock. While Allo and Slash are still, are still like in a very good situation. Yeah, really good situation one stock right in the now. back. Oh my god. Okay, forward air swing as well, has smash out, he yeah. has to do something now. He wants to end it now, he wants to end it now, he's going to go for a jump. Yes he is. Had to, down tilt as well, have to get away from him, but Allo's there to kind of cover Ooh. the option as well. No center stage for you, Allo is controlling center stage so well right now. Jab, dash, tech, chase, that, that takes lucky stuff as well, yeah. Taking the lead here again. Allo doing a very wonderful job here. Lucky compared to the previous game is in a very like different situation, mm -hmm. not as healthy as before. Yet the job needs to be done again. Yeah, you can't survive for too long. That up slash could have been enough to kill Show, but the fair is going to seal the deal. And just like last time, here we have Show out. Lucky man has to get three stuck out of his opponents. I mean, uh -uh. I can't say it's not possible because it is, but it's going to be very uh, hard. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Fire, yeah. I'm to recover. Avoiding Hugging the down stage. there too. Okay. Jumping around, just avoiding everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very evasive to the flower. <laughs> okay, to, to avoid the backslash. I love it. The shield's going to be uh, out of the picture soon. I guess. Good back here again, surviving a bit more. But now what? Okay, this, the percent's tacking on, but can't get killed. It's just too hard. There yeah, there's the down and covering a lot of things, but okay. Stalling the recovery and the big yeah. smash out swing. And Allo and Slash are going to advance. Allo and Slash advance. Lucky didn't manage to pull it off this time. Uh, show again dying quite early. Yeah, in that I, feel like, I feel like with uh, the nature of Meta Knight, always going to uh, be press holding forward, so to speak. You're going to be susceptible to dying early, but if your teammate can't exactly cover you too well, and if you're not getting these stocks either way, uh, if you're dying too much, you can't do anything to compensate for yourself. So it was kind yeah. of a, uh, you know, Bad situation regardless. Yeah. Uh, Lucky doing a good job of kind of, you know, keeping it uh, exactly their, their, their opponents on their toes, doing something about it, but just not doing enough, you know what I mean? And if yeah. you can't make that work, then uh, it was it's a recipe for disaster, you know? Yeah, and something we missed compared to the previous uh, teams we had is kind of a team play between two players. Yes. Show, obviously, we Meta Knight Wing, one of the characters that can just combo into himself quite well. Well, we haven't seen him play around the explosiveness and the kill power of, uh, power of Piranha Plant. We didn't see him go for a net throw into an up smash. Or, I don't know, a back here of Piranha Plant was just waiting around there yeah. doing his thing. Lucky was just there again, trying to uh, cover the, the holes that appeared in the ship that Shaw was like navigating. Mm -hmm. But yeah.
in the end, it wasn't enough. It's a tough one. It's uh, a tough one, indeed. I think, I think not having team combos at this type of stage in the bracket is hard. It's you know hard, what I mean? If you don't have that right now, what are you really going to do? And I feel like Aloe and Slash, they didn't exactly have the, the most team combos, but they look really solid as a team. They were both supporting each other really well yep. with their long-range moves, long-range projectiles. Uh, I feel like Sho and Lucky are just two really good players. Uh, but when it comes to synergy, they weren't exactly, weren't exactly bouncing off each other as much as they possibly could. Stop crushing so. that bottle. It My didn't bad, do bro. anything My to bad, you. Bro. And the headset is... Uh, listen to it too. <laughs> come on, ASMR, let's go. <laughs> anyway, we are going to have Winner Sami now. Interesting. Queen and Bacon against Stratos and Picker Chris. I'm actually not shocked that Quinn and Bacon are this far. I think Quinn and Bacon yeah. are not exactly slept on, but they're just someone who needs to be talked about more, so to speak. You know, extremely good Palu from SoCal, I believe San Diego. Uh, and then and Bacon is a godlike dog. I do agree. Godlike dog. And Quinn, we saw him a few times in the US in our last travels. I mm -hmm. think he was at Rise and Grind. I'm not sure. I'm not uh, don't quote me on so. that. I don't think so. But I, I think we've seen Quinn maybe at Genesis it was. I, I'm probably, not sure. yeah. Probably he's, he's, at Genesis. He's California, yeah. so probably. Yeah, probably indeed. But yeah, I think that's a very Genesis. solid team in general. I think they yeah. both... Uh, they both believe uh, in doubles. I think as a whole, they they really like they really like doubles. They want to like you know perfect um, doubles combos and stuff. I'm Kalu Dog, that. I believe is a very good team. I think that's what they run. Uh, they're just good players in general. And they have synergy. I've seen them play before. Um, I'm not too sure who Stratus is, I but I know PK Chris is a, is a really good tri-state mess. Yeah, obviously. Um, I mean, the name gives it all a bit. Yeah, PK yeah. Chris. Um, Stratus, on the other so. hand, yeah, uh, kind of an unknown here. And the last time we had a variable like this, uh, it did seal the deal here for uh, the game we had just before. So Slasher playing Shulk was doing wonders with his character. So. Can Stratus again, being a known bias, can do the same thing? Who knows? No, I'm, I'm sure Stratus is probably pretty known. I'm the, the oh, name and again, win a semi, so. Yeah, exactly, win a semi, so. And I'm not seeing Light and Tilde. True. So, mate, I don't know who upset Light and Tilde, but, you know. Pretty well well done. Props to you if you did. Oh. Sorry, production, what do you say? I'm live. I can check real fast. Go for it. But something I do want to mention is Quinn and Bacon here in Winter Semis got here by beating Big Boss and MK Leo. There so, you go. Uh, wow. Quinn and Big Bacon beat Leo and Big Boss. Interesting, so, indeed. So there they are. Quinn and Bacon being winning <laughs> against the uh, big favorites here. Let's see if they can, again, seal the deal and go and up to honestly, the winner's finals. Honestly, like, I'm not super surprised. I'm telling you, Quinn and Bacon have some real good synergy. They yeah. practice doubles a lot of the time. Uh, against Kai, uh, so. sorry, against Leo and Big Boss. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That, We talked about the uh, second Mexican crew again with Kai J teaming up with Spargo for once compared to before. Leo and Big Boss have been playing together for so many times. It's interesting to see Queen and Bacon managing to go for the upset here. Yeah, for sure. And obviously Stratus and uh, PK Chris doing doing it big as well. So, all right, I've got your bet. intel. Okay, go on. Light until they uh, lost to Kobe and Fuzex in winners. Oh, Kobe and Fuzex. Okay, okay, so they're losing Florida right team. now, going for the loser team. Okay, I'm going away forever. Goodbye. Okay, so do you want to bet on Stratus and his character now? Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking a heavy, but I'm not super sure. Uh, yeah, uh, with Ness, that would be a pretty good yeah, combo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually, do agree. maybe a projectile character that you can absorb off of. Yeah. Maybe like a Samus. Samus would be very interesting and something we're used to in the US, in U UK, not here. I see a doctor. Never mind, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, what? What is that team? Oh, Quinn also uses Samus. That was what I was wondering here. I see a Dr. Mario though. What? Yeah, Bacon. Bacon, yeah. Oh, He's like, stupid, I think, I, I want to say the best Yo, he, NA he is. He dog, is. Or one of the best no, NA he dogs. is. I, uh, excuse me. I just um, and then, yeah, Quinn uses Palu and Samus. Le left my brain in Europe for once. And I think, I think prefers Samus in yeah. doubles, maybe? I don't know. Captain Falcon here. OG Nintendo 64 team. I love what I'm seeing there. Let's see if they can pull it off. Again, Bacon, you say, one of the best Dr. Mario here. A lot of the extractive power, the explosive power. And when you mix it up with Samus and the way she can cover ground, mm -hmm. you may have more leniency for your recoveries. Okay, we're going to see what this team can do. Yo. Very explosive on both sides. Okay. From the get-go, you can see a picky Chris here. Just ramping up damage on Quinn. Just for him forcing him out the ledge. But hey, for now, game is even. Yeah, oh my god! Text. Oh my god, Chris! That spike on your friend? Seriously? Yes. Magnet, yeah, reversing it. Gets momentum as well, but it's getting interrupted. A lot of things going on. Obviously, it's getting the first scrappy part of the game, so. Oh yeah. A lot of friendly uh, friendly fire again. A lot of yeah. interrupt from your old mate. Well, it's rather be it's better for it to happen now uh, compared to uh, uh, later on. like that, bro. Those are beautiful confirms, and I can guess why Leo and Big Boss lost. 
because the synchronization finally here on the table on the side of Queen and Bacon. Let's see now if Pika Chris and Stratus can reach the same level. Yeah, the up B interrupting, can't land on me safely. The eject button's always there, laying out the bomb, wants to get the edge guard, can't find it. Real good option from, uh, from Quinn as well, pushing both the opponents away. Let's see again. Oh my god, he's, he's not going to get back on the stage, is he? Ne never mind. Bacon going for a good up smash here, ramping up damage again. He's He wants to get a kill on Stratus now. Yep, down B can't approach me safely. Able to get back to Lent uh, as well. And the up B interrupting both of them yet again. Have to be a little bit more patient. Dude, both players surviving at 150%? And why did he go for the up throw? Back throw would have been enough. I'm not too sure. Maybe looking for a confirm. Maybe autopilot. Who knows? Dash attack finally getting the kill. Uh, Bacon and uh, Quinn both showing that they are human at, w at one point. Oh, definitely. Those 96% here on the side of Pika Chris are going to uh, wow. be dip. Oh my god, good confirm with a, a, a pill. Was it a pill into yeah, Pill to your B, bro. Take your medicine. The doctor is in and okay, taking all the stocks. Apparently, Bacon doing some good work. Starting to cook a little bit more and more. We're getting yeah. crispy. And I love the way Bacon is just trying to position himself to catch up Queen's uh, boas or Queen's back throws. And yeah, he's there to gain some uh, good, uh, quick advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I think they were expecting him to jump over the charge, but unlucky either way. The yo yo getting that kill. We're back in it now. And I feel like Pika Chris and Strass are kind of put the game back on his head. Yes, indeed. Here, Bacon dying from that bola into a down smash was unfortunate. And just like that, the lead just shifted. Pika Chris and Stratus there at very high percent sure, but not that yet. Surviving Ooh. that grab, interesting. Okay, that's that pushing them far away. Wants to get the charger off stage, deep in the zones. Can't find it though. PK Chris doing a good job supporting Stratus, making sure he gets to the center stage safely. He did survive. He did have to pay the price for it. He did die. Finally, Pika Chris on his last arcade. Okay, Bacon already at very high percent. And yeah. we know how it's kind of difficult for Doc to get back onto the stage. My goodness. Ooh, that up the up smash kill, yeah. That would have been sick. Yo! That up B to connect with... Oh, never mind. Now Bacon he's a lot of trouble. Yeah, Pika yeah. Chris is no right way there. He survived Quinn this. not save him. And now, after a little bit of something to work your magic. Yeah, and no stock at all to take here. So, yeah, Quinn, even if the beginning of the game was pretty uh, in their favor, it's going to be difficult here for him to get back into there, because how do you survive this? Okay, it's just a little bit of tricky. A lot of counters on the movement. Yeah, set to his key right now. Trying to get a lot of block strings not really working out Aww. too well for them. Okay, another down throw, not going to connect with anything, unfortunately, but yeah, they have leniency. They have a lot of room to just go for those confirms, because, hey, look at that. Three stuck against one. Uh, B-Tail trying to harass him off stage. Just gets past it, down B. Lot of landing options. Oh man, they both want to get the kill. Big a bit Mind too greedy, but there's the up smash. That kick has been doing some work this first game I so far. And PK, Chris, and Strath taking that first game. Up smash going to be enough here. I'm a bit I'm a bit scared here for Queen and Bacon. Let's be honest here. It seems like even the kill power of Bacon wasn't enough when you consider again uh, the wait was it yeah yeah okay so he what no way no way did I miss that no oh. I didn't, I didn't get it. production don't sell something like this <laughs> was it this one I don't know what production wanted to show us but uh, yeah we need to have a, a team gathering afterwards to discuss this yeah to confirm here the pill into the abbey was wonderful and then we got the end of the stage here. No, this is mine kill, mine kill, and only there we go, up smash. Yeah, I'm seeing Strat is very comfortable uh, and very liberal with these up smashes a lot of times. Obviously, it's a big move, very deceptive move. It's and a it final kills smash. quite early, yeah. This is a final smash. Absolutely. It very goes good out to quickly, as well. it doesn't have a lot of end lag, and it gives you early. He scoops you too, yep, so he does everything. Fill up the taxes. Staying with the Samus, of course, the, the dock as well. Is it the first time we see another stage um, that PS2? No, we had Hollow Bastion. Yeah, we had Hollow Bastion. All right. Let's see how it goes for now. Bacon taking less risks here, being way more secure, respecting his opponent a bit more. Good option from Pika Chris, going for the drag down up pairs, making sure you can't really land too safely, waiting on that platform on the left side. Okay, perfect. Trying to get, yeah, we go, okay. Even the stall form, the down B is not going to be enough. The backer is going to get you in the face. 
And just like that, edge guard situation. We have a Samus in your team. Yeah, you don't want to be in that situation oh, at no, all. Not at all. Looking for the bomb into the back. I couldn't find the stack right hit right there. You see Bacon doing a lot of these nares. Last the longer it lasts, stronger it is. So have to watch out for that. Wait, Lito by Lito, they do manage Ooh. to survive, and just like another good heal. But not going to be enough, you're going to die from the back here afterwards. Where's the DI? Quinn taking a quick lead here. Yep. This is what we kind of saw in the first in the first game, right? Quinn and Bacon had that first lead, but PK, Chris, and Strax yep. were able to kind of weather the storm, so to speak, find that win, find that first game. But, you know, second game looking in the favor of Quinn and Bacon. Indeed, but how do you get back on the stage? Like, yeah, there we go, I love how... <laughs> Did you see what Stratas did here? Quinn tried to jump in to try and help Bacon get back on the stage. Nothing to happen, not going to happen on my watch. Stratas was there to catch him, we will not be standing backwards. You're not going to help your mate. He's just smart, right? He's just very smart. Okay, another up tilt here. Again, the lead is still in the hands of Quinn and Bacon, never mind. Okay, the up B had to. Uh, to get out of there, but a lot of trouble. Oh man, he's missing the, the timing on that. Shame indeed, but... Oh, what? He's going to die from this? No, nope. he's not managed to survive a bit more. Hurts put in the process as your own teammate and nowhere to recover. Can't yeah. get saved and a lot of flubs going on from uh, green team right now. Indeed, and just like that, the lead that one in the head just disappeared again. Same situation as before. Yep. Quinn is biting his own fingers there, for sure. Not that and that yet, there is some things you can work with, kind of even at the moment, but PK Chris doing a good job oh making sure God. Quinn, if he's going to get back to stage, takes a lot of damage from the way back. Again, Quinn and Bacon having a very tough time here. Bacon still surviving, yes, sure, but he's going to die next time he takes risks like this one. I get back on the stage, oh, you do not! The down smash read as well, you've charging that for ages. Oh Quinn no. nowhere to be found, except in that blast zone, and now Dot got to do it on his own. It's Doctor in! That's okay. all you gotta ask. If you're not, Doctor is in the house. Let's see how he can do. Okay, yeet. First one. stock down. Perfectly well done. Again, Bacon here now needs to focus maybe on Stratus. I don't know. He needs to oh, okay. Okay, just wait since so throwing out all the F-tilts. We take those. Kicks. Okay, back here not going to connect to 420. Jab not even critical. Oh my god, he's slippery. Okay. He's just jumping around everyone. Okay, peel in the face. Yeah. Can't absorb off that one. Okay, yeah. yeet. But there's a <gasps> that was smooth. Not going to happen in 413. Not happen. Going to happen twice. But there we go. How do you get back on the stage? You do manage to. Still Ooh. can't find the up. Dude, surviving three confirmed like this one. Hey, I have a sense of déjà vu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, PK Chris and Strat is going to be taken until winners finals. Yeah. Again, perfectly well done. Quinn and Bacon having to bow down here. Another variable we didn't know about doing the like the heavy lifting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Strata sweep those up smashes, trying to cover all the options that were possible there. And again, just knowing, okay, I can go and cover that uh, back throw with a dash stack. What was it? Production, what do you want to show us? Does that hit from there? No way. Did he scoop? No, no. He was. Uh, wait. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Production! Stop baiting us! <laughs> yeah, that was a parry to oh, up smash. Yeah, I was about to say. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> the camera play here, just baiting us into believing things. <laughs> wow. No, well, again, we saw the kill power of that up smash. It did happen a few times, so, hey. Again, well done by Stratus here. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, I think they played it really well. It kind of shocked me. I didn't know Stratus was like that. I was not familiar with, his, with their game, so, you know, <laughs> shout out to them. They were doing some, some real good things. I would not uh, especially like anti airs with the up smashes. Yeah. You couldn't land safely. And they were harassing <laughs> Quinn. I use that word very lightly. They were harassing Quinn. Anytime he was on stage, we're not being able to, you know, use that usual Samus game plan. Yeah, it's interesting to see how game one and game two were beginning to be in the favor of Quinn and Bacon, and then with a snap of fingers, the whole momentum shifted every time. You saw how uh, it was, I think, Bacon who lost his second stop early mm -hmm. on game one, and here Quinn surprisingly losing his second stop early on game two, and just afterwards the momentum, the momentum just shifted in the favor of Stratus and Pika Chris, and they did manage to ramp up the advantage on those, well, uh, lead they had. So, again, a perfect 2-0 on their side. We are going to see Sparkle and Skyjo again. Against Aldo and Slasher. Right. Zelda and Shulk. Uh, yeah, a lot of these teams so unconventional. Not used to seeing these, uh, too many of these characters, I guess, in singles. But when it's in doubles, different game plans come out, different mindsets. And, uh, you know, maybe different synergy. And I do like how Aloe and Slasher play together. Uh, you know, I, li I like what they do. You know, like I said before, don't exactly have uh, too many 
team combos, maybe because of the natures of their character, yeah. but still have that opportunity to just protect each other with these long range moves, with these projectiles, a lot of zoning. And it makes it very uncomfortable, but of course, you're coming up against two different beasts now, you know what I mean? Now you've got Spargo, Sky J. Yeah, Sky uh, J. But it's, it's, it's the last hurdle, it's winner semis. You know, this, it, this, chance to go to the big three. Exactly, you want to be into that big, big three because you know that down there in losers, Leo and uh, Big Boss are doing a lot of work, I guess. Oh, absolutely. And just right, we saw Anathema too going down there just before. And now we have we also have Show. Dude, how many good names we have in losers right now? You it's don't want to be there. there. You know? So, yeah, Sky J and uh, Spargo already showing us before what they were able to do. It is Winner Sami, so again, best of three. And Smashville this time, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think Town's a pretty good stage for, like, you know, what they oh, can sorry, do. Town, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of space to work with. And when you're letting Incin run free, he may be a slow character, but when he gets his hands on you, it's not a good time. The pause will be doing work for the big cat. A big cat going for the revenge, not going to connect. Unfortunately, this one, though, is going to be the how do you can. Oh my god, Ariel. <laughs> Take your thirty percent and be gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, He's dying from this. Yeah, That's sick. That was fifty percent. Yep. Okay. Trying to go for a cheeky revenge again. No, oh, no, no way. No on way. The smasher. And he's getting <laughs> harassed on that edge. So what did you get from that edge guard? Nothing. And you get you. <laughs> You put the revenge in the hand of Skyjay again. And, and this is where Incin is such a really good doubles character because yeah. he controls so much space now. He installs fear. Because do you really want to be uh, focusing on him when he's doing revenge just like this? Getting these side B kills, killing you at 70, to make you one mistake? I could a lot die. Uh, Alo, sorry, Look, die. It's, it's rinse and repeat Dude, humming. Alo lost two stock to do a Lola win. Can we talk about it? And third one? No way. He, did, he, did, he, died, he nearly died from this one. This is a wash. Yes, it's a complete wash indeed. What is he going to do with his body now? That's a question. Revenge not going to connect, but the down B, uh, the neutral B afterwards. Spotted to neutral B, going to go. Yeah, I'm going to take that stock. I'm not going to ask you here. Okay, finally oh, get Finally. Hey, it's still doable, you never know. This is going to be the comeback of history. I feel like Spark not even done too much. This has been kind of Sky Jay's game to run, yeah. run around. That's what I'm saying, you give him space, he's able you. to work with it. Spongebob is just dying there. They didn't even try to go for the double jump, I think. They're just going, oh, I think I'm going to die, they do mind. Okay, okay, nice. One, two combo, you love to see it. But now I want to see the fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. Come on, do something fancy. We got the revenge on you deck. Revenge. You got a lot of things to work with. I, want, I have stars in my eyes. My eyes are shining right now. <laughs> Sky J, please deliver. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good call here again. That's Sk a teammate. For yeah, real. that's a teammate. That's a bro here. Spongo going. Sky J, this is your moment. Go on, do something out there. <laughs> Go, my oh, son. come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I feel like you got. Uh, there were some things that you know Alo and Sasha were doing, but it was. It just seemed like you just kept rinse and repeating. You hit Sky J, he gets revenge. He gets to side B, you die, and he just kept repeating there over and over. That was the first one. That was, I guess, the second one now. Going to try to go for the smash. Okay, that was a, <laughs> that was a sweet store here, but uh, Sky J keeping his calm. The second Alolan whip, maybe? No, not going to happen, unfortunately. But there we go, again, very good stuff here by Sky J and Spargo. Roll, uh, again, rolling on their opponents this time around. How can the Lloyd Slasher adapt? What can they do now? Uh, maybe I guess more patience? No, okay. You <laughs> oh, you wanted to roll? You wanted to go there? Yeah, let me help you. Three, go, my son. Two, one, go. <laughs> All right. Changing the stage first, going for a smaller stage. Okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah, space. You know, you don't want to give him time to revenge on his own and just run, away, uh, run around freely. You know, you want to kind of lock in on these type of characters. Is it going to be enough? That's the question. Well, now a lot of damage on Slasher. A lot of damage on the Allo now. Okay, Limit okay. is going to be lost from the shield. Looking for the jump side B, couldn't find it. The revenge as well. Yep, it's gonna wait that out. Good on Slasher, but still getting punished by the neutral B. Ayo. Hey, Spargo is having a very hard time on his side there. Okay. Double revenge? Someone's going to die there. Call an ambulance, but not for me, I guess. Oh, yeah, chill. Shield, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to win this one? Okay, he wants to keep the revenge for oh. later on. No tech. Is he going to be able to survive? That's the question. Yes, he did have his jump. But you're not going to survive the S-match. That's going to ex wait for you at the landing. 
Okay, yeah, into the down air. Long off from Sky J. Big scrap at the moment. You see Swago yeah. very liberal with these upbeats. Let him swing. No, definitely see a wall front here. Both players, both teams here, just standing hitbox after hitbox trying to connect something. And it seems like in the end, the winners are again the red team. Sky J and Spargo going out of there quite unscathed Ooh, when you think about it. Never mind, very okay. good combo we here. We got team combos now. Finally. Oh. Watch out. There's a uh, limit on the side of... What happened there on the left side? I didn't see... You got side beat. That's all you have to say. Oh, you got side beat. Yeah, yep. okay. Never mind then. You got grab. So Spargo did a good job keeping, uh, you know, Sky J on that ledge, taking a lot of damage. But oh man! That's oh, ah! okay. It was at zero percent, but that down there could have spiked quite well. <laughs> quite well. Up to the shield. I doesn't get hit by the upbeats for too long. Just get out of there. And even with a long range character like Shulk, still not able to kind of control things like they used to. Big F tilt yeah. from Sky J taking that stop. Throw chop in the face is going to be enough. The revenge was there just to confirm the kill. But that revenge was the one too much. You could see how uh, Alo was waiting for it, punishing it with an air smash and forcing uh, Sp uh, Skyji to take the stock out of Spargo. Spargo on his last stock, surviving a bit more. How? Because he's the he's the one. Might just be, bro. And now the game, honestly, is very even. Honestly, yes. I can see it in uh, Alo and Slash's favor. Up to now, Skyji has been doing a lot of tomfooleries. And in the end, Alo and Sasha were there to punish him. But if Those it's a 1v1 situation, Sky is always favored, I feel, you know what I mean? All right. There's no teaming up, so just letting him run for free. He's got double revenge right now. You don't want to be anywhere near that nuke of a character. Let's see if I yeah. Oh no, he's waiting. Go yeah, obviously, he's going to wait for the end of the shield. Not going to be enough to get a kill. And just like that, 111%, 15%, sorry, on Sp last stock of Spargo. He's going to have to use the limit to get back on the stage. Yeah, about to charge it all over again, but it's 2v1, but it's Spargo we're talking about. But the big F tilt swing! And it's now 1-1! One, one. Alan and Slash of the game continue Wait. to surprise me! Surprisingly Wait. indeed, Spargo is going to bow down here. Sky J, well, he's going to get punished for those uh, with on pun uh, revenge one after the other. Seems like in the end, if you go to, for too much revenge, you're going to get punished for it. You live and die by it, I keep saying it. You live and die by it. Look at that, okay. Yeah, but he aired onto the stage and you can see Slasher had that F smash ready and loaded. Whee! Who died from this? Oh, Footstool, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you wanted to go for the Footstool, that's a question though. Team yeah, we got another up B here. Beefy up B is going to add punish with an F smash. Yeah, I was really pleased with how the, the way Aloe was kind of playing. He's kind of, uh, all day, sorry, we were kind of playing very counterproductive. Uh, you know, they would wait to, for someone to land, big F smash in the way. You know, wait uh, somewhere in the corner, has a projectile ready. I mean, we, uh, from the moment we knew that Spargo, was, oh, sorry, Skyjo was going to go for the revenge. Yeah, you can just wait it out and punish it afterwards. So, yeah, going on to PS2 again. Okay, big lightning kick to start off. And yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. <laughs> all right, good grab here to punish the landing again. Charge that limit a bit. There we go. How do we land though? You see the up air just kind of floating away from it. The bench pressure, we say. Okay, good dash stack here. Just wrap up damage again. The shield though on the side of uh, Slasher is going Ooh. to make him be able to survive a bit more. There we go now. Had to survive at 140%. We have a big cat on the on the stage and Sky and Spargo too. Side B though, you waste some frames, gonna take it right there. Avoids the neutral beam, no flash kick, sweet spot, picks a big axe swing. Sky <laughs> taking both these stocks. Good lead for the Mexicans. Yeah, indeed. So going to get caught here on his recovery. Spargo having to leave his first stock. But again, 104%. I'm not scared for Sky J at all. This is just a lot of rage. Mm -hmm. To him for go for another good revenge, I guess, something. Let's see for now going for a very high recovery. It's surviving a bit more. Ooh. Alolan Whip going to be saved by his uh, mate, I guess. Gets the lightning kick right there. Finally, yeah. finally. Very good spacing on the uh, the sweet spot. Not this time, though, unfortunately. Get up attack. Nothing afterwards, unfortunately. The spacing for Skyjo and Spargo was perfect for a follow-up. Not going to happen. Next time, maybe. Okay. Both trying to find some middle ground right now. Oh, no conversion. And again, I lo I don't understand why Spargo is playing so far away from Skyj. Have you seen his spacing? He's always very far, waiting mm -hmm. for maybe an opportunity, but he's not trying to take any risks. 
Maybe doesn't want to trigger the revenge too early. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Smash out doing some sort of work. Maybe it's instilling some fear. Side B again. Not going to do a lot of damage this time, though. Okay. Bam, bam. Just ramping damage again on the last stock of Slasher here. And now the last stock of Allo. Four stock to two. This is a completely different story compared to the second game. Yeah, oh my god, two revenge. From Sky J. Yeah, what are we going to see next? Looking for the option. Oh! Oh, oh he's going to. See. Yeah, he lost the revenge because of that. Okay, Good then up. Can't find the back end. Maybe looking for a different aerial. Okay, side D. Okay, then what? So a good angle, but not going to be enough, unfortunately. Maybe, Timing maybe was the, off. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe the hitbox extension uh, interrupting that, but either way, Spargo and uh, SkyJ find a way and they clean up at the end. It's always like, it's like we talked about Leo and Big Boss. They might be in a little bit of trouble in game three, but they just find a way to go up that second gear, bro. Go up the stairs and uh, find it. Yeah, it was more of a bread and butter game here. We didn't see a lot of very uh, fancy follow ups. More like, hey, I know they're going to be I know there. I weren't pleased about that. No, it was good. It was good Smash Bros. I don't know if it was good doubles. That's a question, though. I think it was still some good doubles. Yeah, it was good doubles. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with Alan and Slasher, though. The, I was, too. And they're still in. Again, this is just winners, so we may see do, uh, them do more of um, upsets in losers right now. What was it? What was this one? Oh, yeah, the second. <laughs> so what happened is interesting oh, there. He went for the first neutral B. He got interrupted by the up B. Decided to go for a second one and did go for the shit box. I yeah. feel like SkyJ is such a why not type of guy. You know what I mean? Oh, I missed revenge. Well, why no? not just do it again? Por que no las oh, dos? and I got it this time. Well, why not just use my side B now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, with that, Spargo and SkyJ are going to go in winners' finals. And who are going to be their opponents? That's the question. Uh, winners' finals would be the other side what we just saw, right? So it would yeah. be uh, PK, Chris, and Stratus. PK, Chris, and Stratus, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. They were winning summits for real. Yeah, I forgot. yeah. If you told oh me that God. I was going to be winning finals, I said no way. And we're going to have them right now. So Pika, Chris, and Stratus. So, uh, excuse me, who was Stratus playing already? Falcon. Falcon, With you're the right. Smash anti Dude, a Falcon in winners finals? I, I can kind of see it though. Explosive, everything kills. Like literally a walking, talking kill move. You know what I mean? Yeah, every, I do agree. All of his whole moveset kills. Very fast character, good burst range. And uh, you know, and also good things of down of down throw. All, all of his throw angles, I feel, are really good, though, right? So maybe Falcon is a good doubles character. Who knows? Maybe it's time to show us. Spargo and Skyj again proving us that yeah, uh, in in Incineroar is one of the best characters oh, in doubles. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, the the invulnerability on the side B, the damage out of the character, the way you can just go for the neutral B and spin around and try to connect something in there. Yep. Have yeah. your arms around the start of the hitbox. It's just a scary move to, just deal, uh, to deal with. But it's being heavy. Being heavy is so important, I feel, in doubles. You know, you, you want to be that stock tank. And of course, when you are, when you do approach Incident in the end, uh, you're getting revenge all the time. So you can't even attack him safely. Yeah, you and have when, to be patient. And whenever you have a mate such as Pargo, just be very attentive. Going to be there to f just give you the edge you need to survive a bit more. Absolutely. We saw that uh, recovery. He just kind of connected. You remember, he went there with an upper. I think just... To help SkyJ get back on the stage, mm -hmm. yeah, Swalgo is definitely the best mate to force SkyJ to be the, the star here. So, yeah, let's see if he can pull it off in win the finals. Stratus and Pika Chris again going with Ness and Falcon. Interesting team because usually when you when you pair with a Ness, right, it's, it's like we said before, it's usually to have those uh, absorption projectiles that you know you can yes. absorb, heal off of. Or is anything to kind of help Ness and We don't need like any projectiles Falcon's here. Like, you know what? We I'm don't do that here. I am here. the projectile. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I am the burst range. It's so scary to deal with. It can be, it can be uh, quite daunting and haunting uh, in you know, these 2v2s that we're seeing. Yeah, let's see again. Win the finals. I think you can catch the end of Loser's Summits and uh, Loser's Finals on the second stream. There's high chance. I don't know okay. exactly the planning, but if they want to end it up with the timing we have in plan right now, we need to go in winners' finals after this one. I don't think For we sure. have enough time. We shall see. We'll now, see. Either I'm way, just guys. A, I'm just a caster and a part <laughs> of the organizations here. <laughs> Hope you so. guys are enjoying what me and Hubbing yes. are running so far. It's been a super good block. Uh, we're, not even, we're not even the biggest fans of doubles, but it's been a really, uh, been a really good time. Dude, I, I am French. You put me into <laughs> commentating a doubles. I landed this morning at 2 a.m. Sorry, I'm not the best, but I'm <laughs> still proud of myself. I just sound so offended. I am offended by myself. <laughs> Everyone's having a good time. I know you are, guys. In the chat. Shout out to you guys, as always. Uh, and of course, shout out to the whole production team. It's been great Indeed. so far. Oh, Only yeah. day one. 
uh, of Let's Play with Moves, but still this going This is a good big. appetizer. This is a good of appetizer course, for what's going to happen next. I'm going to see how we finish it right now. Uh, to start us off with, you know, Strass and uh, PK Chris, Sky J and Sparrow. Sorry. <laughs> Did you see what happened on the set yes, here? Yeah. That was a fall, uh, like a falling up here. He was this close to get spiked by an up here. Okay, double fair, wants to triple, yeah, instant, nowhere to be found, but still able to survive. Sky J oh finds God. a way. Yeah, find a way now, but is it going to be enough next time with a bit more percent? That's the question. We're going to have a few games to see this. We are in winner finals, so I expect to be a best of five, right? Yes, it is. it a best of three again? We'll see. We shall see, we shall see. For now, game is even, though, for now. Okay, going okay to the Yo-Yo interrupting, the Cloud still able to survive, good on Spargo, recognize it, but it's getting interrupted again. Yeah. Spargo could, 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 could die there, but what? Seems like Pika Chris too. Okay, that's the trade I would take every day. Absolutely. Okay, going to survive a bit more, going to get back on the stage. Spargo dying again? And I like Alone? that option from Sky to kind of go for the side beat, whiffing it right there, maybe to save his partner, but just couldn't find it right there. Good option for sure. And yeah, Spargo kind of at least needs to start some extra points. Is he going to die again? It looks like it! Wow! Yes! There we go! Good game plan. And in that case, Stratas is going to take again the, the, the trade here. Sure, I'm going to die if it push uh, Spargo to take one stock out of Sky and look just like that. They are just carrying this map. Dude. See, this is what we were talking about before. The 2v1s. Understanding, you know what? You guys got it in 1v1s. But what if we team up on you? <laughs> then what are you going to do then? What if we gang up on you? Two exactly. one. Could look at the uh, Stratus here, still on his first stock. Never mind, he takes your mate to take it out. The magnet conversion jet gonna be on either side. Lock cross ups from PK Chris. Super Yo. ambiguous on where you wanna be. Yep, the yo yo as well. Nowhere yes. to and go. Now you die. And the double down down spike. Okay, okay, Chris. Okay, okay, okay Chris. Yellow I'll give it up. Okay. That's that Tri-State team going to hear a lot, all of the years in the building. If we can get this win, the first game, a uh, super, super big statement, I'd say. Indeed, this is the best of five. So there's a lot of room for the Mexican to, uh, I guess, warm up and get into the set. Look at but this, bro. this is a very good introduction here by Stratus and Pique Chris to show what they can do. And can we have the last uh, spike here before the end? Yes, this is going to be it, is it? No, oh, no, no. it's not going to be enough. This is a spike, quick! Thank you. <laughs> There okay, we go. there we see. We're going into game two. Spargo's going to go switch up. They want to, you know, keep it up in this set so far. Let's see how they can do it. Right now, another side beat. Not going to be a punish. The Tommy here just going to be enough. Oh, good revenge! Oh my lord! But uh, I don't want to be at the receiving end of this one. He's here. just waiting. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I get back on the ledge. No, you. No, you. Okay, I die. <laughs> yeah. Thank God the upbeat. Acts as a command grab is going to get rid of that revenge right there. But you see, SkyJ still wants a piece. And a pipes can't find it right there. And oh man, maybe getting a bit too greedy. Indeed, and Picky Chris here just saving the day. Sure, he did as did before, but trying to end things up here. Okay, pick a fire in the face. Second pick a fire. Now what? Had to get interrupted right there. Has limit on deck. Just can't find a way to use it right now. Back throw gonna get him off stage. Looking for the edge guard. Can't find it. Now you're off stage. No control. Uh, oh. Versus his team. I'm a bit scared here. Every time I see Spar go out. Oh, uh, what? What was that? I think Stratus wanted to recover, but it's got in the way of PK Crisp. Either way, stocks are flying coming. He just like this. Oh my god, backer in the face of his mate here. Stratus uh, taking a nest in the face. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the big F-tilt swing gonna come from Spargo's way. Pick out that stock as well. And still, uh, just trying to find a way to get even up the ground. Just get some momentum going. Oh my god, again, okay. You see the situation here, 1v1 one one on both sides. So this is the one situation Stratus and Pikachu don't want to be in. Is anyone going to go for SkyJ? No, you can see both of them going to try to, co to cover the recovery of Spark. Yeah, the game plan definitely seems to be Edgeguard and Cloud. Because you limit these disjoints, a lot of the momentum from there as well. I like the idea. Leave SkyJ to do his own thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as long as you're not attacking him, you can't get revenge, right? Exactly. So I, I get the option. <laughs> I understand it. Right, let's see if it's enough now. Three stock to two. A lot of percent on the side of Stratus here. He needs to be wary because right now an interaction is going to be enough to get a kill. There we go. Up B is going. Okay. Again, uh, Spargo very being very nice. Let him here recover. Two times maybe? No, very high. Ooh. Wait. 
Okay, wait. Okay, hold on now. No. There's no way. He's going to get juggled up to death. Bam. Spiked in the face. Not going to be enough to get a kill, but 82%. This is keep it sent for a little ball like this one. Okay, now you got to see Pika Chris do all the movement tech in the world. He's going to try and survive against these two mammoths of players right there. Okay. No spike for the upbeat. Okay. Spargo again, very nice here, very nice mate, uh, letting uh, Pike Chris survive a bit more. Yeah, but no buzz for you, <laughs> just a very bit limit up in the face. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that game was going back and forth, I didn't even know who was going to win it, bro, I couldn't call it. <laughs> I was a bit scared, I, I didn't know if you guys at home could have called it, but I, was, I did not know who was going to win that, that second game. Ah, are we going to stay on PS2? Yes, probably. Are we going to stay on these characters? Yes, probably. Are we going to stay on, stay on the same game plan? Yes, probably. I think I think I like the game plan of PK Chris and Stratus. Yeah. It seems to be, you know what? It worked well on the game if, one. As long as you don't hit SkyJ, he won't get revenge. Let's get that cloud play out the way. He can't recover if we push him off far enough, right? Yes, probably. Let's see. And that limits the range of the game. You know, you get more stage control. Okay, is he dead? Dead, yes he is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that man had nine lives, that cat is not surviving anything. You know what, let's leave uh, SkyJ alone, except if he makes a mistake like yes. this one. <laughs> Got punishment for it, very accordingly too. Right. Tentative of very high, Ooh, okay, it's no got tentative touch. here. Okay. Again, a lot of percent ramping up here on uh, Stratas, but they have that stock lead already. What? Okay, he has to recover but all the revenge. Revenge is a very good counter because, again, every time Ness crosses something with his uppy, the remaining distance is divided by two. Look at the damage as well. Then he get in the forward air spike as well. Okay, can't air dodge past him. The neutral beat is there. Oh. And the spike Spargo feeling for himself. That was the second stock of Pika Chris there. What happened? That was very him. quick indeed. Spargo again being the silent force in the background doing his own thing. Yeah, silent force is a really good way to put it. Look at him. 120% still counting, still surviving. SkyJ dying explosively, but uh, yeah. Oh. I don't know the timing here, but uh, yeah, I guess so the down, the spike not going to connect, unfortunately. This is a big scrap right now. You see SkyJ looking for any edge guarding cat. What's to happening? Yeah, but a lot of stage play. You don't know where we're going. You see Spargo is so smart. He's letting all those yeah. new players do their own thing. He is just maintaining stage control because he knows I've got the most range in the game. You hey. can't contest me. Skyje, you got it? Yes. Yes. Skyje, you got it? Yes. Don't worry. Okay. I'm just here. I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> all right. Down smash oh going to... Oh my god, the yo-yo showing all the tricks in the world. Okay, the back throw. No kill though. There we go. He's going to die from this one. Yes, finally. But hey, the damage had been done already. Yep. Skyji taking the stock here. Um, okay. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not confident on this one. And I've got that big bloodbath of a cover at the moment. All on one stock piece. <laughs> yeah, that's surprising, honestly. Okay, going for another up big range. Edge guarding, yep. Yeah. Get the cat out of there. The cat. Oh, he's dead. He's going though, to yeah. die from this. Nope, a second one. Yeah, not going to be enough, unfortunately. And this revenge filled uh, cat yeah. harassing Stratus right now, though. Where do we go? We didn't see a single time Strata to have an opportunity to shine by himself. Maybe it's finally the time. Never mind. How do you survive against Sky and Spargo? You don't. That's yeah, a trick. Don't. That's the trick, bro. The classic 2-1 though. Uh, favoring Spargo and Sky They woke up. Sky died once super early. They, said, they, they locked the hell in. They sat in their chair front uh, seat up and said, you know what? It's time. We're not losing. All right. Last time it happened, they did manage to win 3-2-1. This time it's 2 1 already. Let's see. It's 2 1, right? Yeah, 2 1. Let's just be sure. Can Alo and. Sorry. Do you know what's happening on losers? Uh, I have no idea, but this winner set is kind of hot right now. You see Side B started off the game immediately, uh, not wasting any time. Sky J. Pika Chris off stage has to wonder what he can do. He's been dying a lot to Sky Day off stage, yes, bro. He's revenge is but oh my dude, god! There's Speaking another one who died off stage, and that's Sky J, just like last game. Just like from last the game. Get -go. Yep. Can they lock in though again? Okay, Strata's just ramping damage, doing his own Falcon thing, but getting caught by the Lalon Whip oh into the spike god. down there. That was beautiful. 
Second strike not going to connect, unfortunately, but the limit is there. And oh, what was that a, angle? He was a bit too scared about the angle. Yeah, he saw his face on the camera. Uh, Bam! Too happy with that. Limit into a low on whip under revenge. This is not a good time like you want to be in, my dear Stratas. And I feel the game plan has been a lot of favoring up to Sky J now. Uh, they haven't been really going for Spargo, they've been kind of leaning into it. And now you're able to kind of let Sky J roam free. If you want to attack him, feel free, but my revenge is always on board. Indeed. And for now, Re Revenge in that game have yep. been very productive compared to before. No jump though on the side of Spargo. Good save from Sky J. A Love real it. teammate. Good mate indeed. You say my, you had my back, I have yours now. Yeah, it's a friend indeed for sure. All the toys in the world doing something to get past this team. Sky J and Spargo not even struggling at the moment. Doing a real good job of keeping them away until now. Stratus, big up smash anti are coming out again. Okay. And you're seeing a lot of this matchup, this 1v1 of Ness Incid, seems to usually be in Incid's favor. Sky doing a good job of just making sure you can't approach me safely. Going for the side B, gets Yo. his teammate, the up smash, the yo-yo being charged Yo -yo on those shoots. Should he did, and just like that, Sky J on his last like with a lot of rage. Can he pull it off? I mean, maybe try to have things out with Stratus. That's the point. On your side, you can see already Sparto going for very more like calm. What the hell was that? Yeah, switch switch and stuff out here. One stock of peace now. Have to wonder about who's gonna die first. Are we gonna see early game? To big side B, that's important. I love how uh, Insinuo just wait for the end of his animation. Evan in fire. I'm going to end up the animation. Don't worry. Going for a high recovery, avoiding the spike from the side of Pick and Chris, but the message has been sent. The revenge though! He's going to get punished for it. He tried to go for the edge guard and just kind of bite him back in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to let one go. Dude, if I was if I was Skyjet, I would have gone for the side B here. I would have pushed the button. <laughs> oh, couldn't find it. Good weight on Stratus' side, good patience. Okay, down smash, gonna separate the Wait. two. Stratus? No what B, <gasps> misses the up smash. Stratus? Big scramble. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you're dying there. A lot of rage, 80%. Selling the deal here for the Mexican players, Pargo and Sky J are going to wait for the opponent in the Grand Finals there. Not a comfy one for sure, but they still managed to get over the uh, the finish line. Yep. Get to that uh, winner's grand side. They did trip a bit indeed in game <laughs> two, but uh, it wasn't enough to make them fall. Good showing from PK Chris and Stratus though. Definitely want to see if they can make Ooh. it back to them. Oh my god, yeah, the team combos are coming out in yeah. force. High chest, yeah, they're going to have to approve it in losers from what I see show and uh, Lucky? Lucky are playing against Anthema, if I'm correct. And Wait. Wampi, okay. Yeah, it looks like Anthema. Well, if it's Wampi, then it's Anthema as well. The Florida team. Indeed. Lucky and uh, Show, I want to see how that goes along, you know. Plant MK versus Robin Palu. So. But we are going to see losers top six, I believe, now. We've got Lau and Big Boss. They've clawed their way all the way back up to stream again to fight <laughs> Aloe and Slasher. We are back indeed. Aloe and Slasher, we saw that zelda Shulk combo. Mm -hmm. They did well up to now. Uh, who did upset Leo and Big Boss? Do you remember? Uh, they saw production I believe told it was us. Quinn and Bacon. It was Quinn and Bacon, yes. I don't know how they're getting along in losers, but yeah, it was Quinn and Bacon, I believe. And now Slash did play well in winners first, so mm -hmm. let's see if it can pull it off again now at the door of top four of this tournament. Big Boss and Leo again, just going there in a pretty good mood, I may say. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, it's not exactly upsets can happen, but you just have to be kind of ready for anything. And, you know, when, maybe when that, that losing that winner side game is what wakes you really up. And now they can kind of set and do their own thing, get their game kind of motion. Yeah, the loser run and, is uh, always the yeah, one you're course, yeah. serious. The momentum's flowing, right? So let's we'll see if they can get it, uh, get it going against Slasher and uh, Allo. Let's see indeed. Now, uh, again, uh, loser side, we talk, talked about Show uh, and uh, Lucky. I don't know what how the game ended, unfortunately, I didn't check. But uh, yeah, for you guys joining us right now, this is the top cut of uh, doubles for LMBM, obviously. We're going to have the main bracket starting tomorrow, but for now, it's side events. Uh, the venue is great. This is the first time you talked about it uh, when we were in Europe. You told me, yeah, you should definitely come because of the venue and all. I definitely agree. We are literally in the center of New York right now, like Manhattan, in the core of Manhattan. So yeah, my plan for this afternoon is just going to go for shopping and all. I'm just going to hang out around, visit the city and all. We have a snowstorm announced for tomorrow. So yeah, it's going to be uh, quite funny Terrible too. Weather, but uh, <laughs> I'm such a cold weather hater, bro. I hate cold weather. 
But yeah, also, uh, if you do not know us, uh, Humming Bee and Copter, we are straight out of Europe for this tournament. I r literally landed this morning at 2 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah. No time to sleep. No rest for the wicked, apparently, guys. Out, it's of, time. The <laughs> out of the oven, back to the frying pan. Absolutely. <laughs> But no, guys, hope you are, again, I hope you guys are enjoying what me and Hammond B can provide for you guys. It's been a great top cut of doubles for sure. Uh, you know, a lot of interesting people. I mean, I'm keeping my eye on for main bracket as well. I want to see what Aloe and Sasha can do both you know, on their own. Uh, you know, if they can cause some upsets, of course. I've heard of Aloe before. You know, I know they're a really good Zelda, if not the best Zelda right now. Uh, shout out to other Zelda's like Ven and Zelda other ones, of course. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but of course, Slasher I've never heard of. Never heard of him Never indeed. Never heard of Slasher. And well, you always lo love the wild cards like this. Like players who may not shine alone, but in doubles can prove the worth. What the hell? Excuse me. Oh no. Do they 2020 have 20 gyro? Are, are That's what we've got? Are they smiling? Yes, they are smiling. Well, you know, I know Leo's been playing. Uh, oh, he does have one. He's yeah, bringing sure. the rub back again, of course. So we're going to see what he can do in doubles. Double rub, though. All right. Time we talked to see about what you toys can do. before, we're going to see more of them, of course. Toys are us, apparently. It's Toys are us, indeed. This is going to be a barbecue on both sides whenever the up smash are going to be there. A smash in the face, not going to get a kill, unfortunately. Yes, when you think about it, they do not have a lot of big, good follow-ups uh, out of the down throw. Sure, you have the air smash, but when you think about the Q power of the up smash, well, you're, it's a bit of a bummer, you can't use it. Mm, and you're very susceptible. You, two big bodies as well. Uh, you can't really escape too many combos. It's gonna be Dude. you get hit once, it's gonna be there for a long time. You see, uh, Aloe taking that first stop from Leia. Aloe is going to hit on sweet spots one after the other, indeed. Let's see for now. Game is uh, pretty even uh, for now, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. And again, you can see how the Nair from the side of Aloe are going to do the work, do the trick, and set the USD at this. Shame. Okay. Rob's moves <laughs> do not have the start frames for those type of combos, but you know. Good to be uh, ambitious. Backslash not going to connect with the back hit, but going to do some damage nonetheless. And you can see how Slasher is struggling a bit here already on his second attack at 100%. I don't know if Shield is online, but he may need to use it later, uh, quick if he doesn't want to kill, to get well, to get caught up by the kill power of the Robs. Yeah, and then the Robs are just you know, making sure that you don't land safely, uh -oh. doing so much damage. Rob can recover from anywhere, but he's got all the gas, all the gas in the world. I have to make sure of it as well. And then you got two of them. It's a bad time. I love how Alo uh, Slasher did manage to get a kill before dying here for the uh, DI on the up there. I don't know if a good DI would have changed anything there, to be honest. So let's see. Going for the smash mode from the get-go. Uh, trying to get a quick kill on Leo. Not going to happen, unfortunately. That's yeah, not going to connect. going to say, yeah, the up smash not doing its job. Couldn't find it right there. The lasers and the projectiles are doing such a good job of maintaining safe control. You have to watch out for so many things. It's a bullet hell right now. Oh my god, the get up attack is going to get punished accordingly by Leo here. Not going to let an opportunity like this. And good save. Good Real save, teammate. yes. Real teammate. Dude, I love the level of play from these players at... Well, obviously we are in the losers top eight. But did you see how they are attentive to whatever is happening yes. to them? Mate, even if they go and try to go for 1v1, they always have an eye on what's happening on the other side of the stage. No, I agree. It's very smart. And little things like that, you know, they, they, they work in the long run. All right, dash tag here to, to just, again, help your mate. But how do you help your mate against an up here, an up throw like this? Game that looked like even up to the very last moment in the end is falling in the hands of the Mexican players. Okay, I have to deal with two robots right now. It's not a good time. Yes, indeed. Oh my god. Trying to catch a jump with the backhand. Not going to connect this time, but now what? Bye bye. Yeah. Yep. Down throwing to F slash. I mean, yeah. The double rub is interesting. Um, beep boop, I guess. 2020 beep boop. I, I do want to understand like, what, what is like, maybe the, the reason behind it, or they just want to go just because. They said, you know what? Wouldn't it be oh, funny if we went They are up? literally laughing. On camera right now, these guys are laughing. They are not taking it seriously. You said about how, yeah, you're in losers, you're in serious mode now. Nah, nah. <laughs> Double rub. I just want to press the big up tilt button. <laughs> but it's the down throws like this right yeah. there, you know. I feel like that's very vital what they, what they want to achieve, oh, right? Definitely. Two, 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 twice more rub, twice more the opportunity to go for the down throw, I guess. All right. A lot of roll out right now between two players, the two teams. Let's see who managed to get a slight advantage. For now, it's even. 
Okay. Oh and God. then we have Don't a good advantage here. Side B straight away. Get him out of here. And now already Ado and Slasher on the back foot here. Let's see how they manage to get back into the game. For well, now, we are back on to best of three, by the way. So, yeah. They need to find an option quickly. Okay, shield the laser. Yep. I'm gonna get away from it. Okay. Bam, bam. Ah, Ooh. Big up B. Up B on, uh, on, on place without going out there. Interesting. Just trying to go for a mix-up. And he managed to find a good thing. A good kill. Okay, Slasher and Alo taking this lead. The shield out doing a little bit of work, not doing too much. You can't get your confirms if I'm in my cheat mode. Yeah, and even with the team, with the side B at the beginning, look at that. It seems like Alo and Slasher all they can, taking the driver's seat now. Okay. Well, watch out for two Robs. Yeah, they're chasing you with the up air. So <laughs> relentless. Dude, <laughs> when you have two Robs going to you, up to you with these up Bs, you're a bit scared. <laughs> Okay. Still slight lead for the blue team here. They need to find a kill quickly on those robots because you know the damage output of Rob is quite high. So Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Good shield here. Avoiding any damage for the beams. Yeah, can't find that sweet spot for uh, back air or forward air from Allo's side. Really yep. wants that lightning kick, but hey man, just can't find it. The storm is not there. So maybe we get more. Okay, Snares and, f and Fares from Slash. Not doing too much work, but he's still distracting him. Able to find these kills from Malo before losing the stock right there. And it seems to be going in the favor of Big Boss and Leo as the set progresses. Little by little, you can see them climbing up. Even with the, lay the, 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 the lead that went, sh that shifted back and forth. Seems like, oh wait, never mind. Oh, good interruption. Yeah. No side B kill for you either. He needed that to, ke to keep the lead, because right now you, you saw the beginning of the, up B, the side B here. He wanted to get, take a stock quickly here. Not going to happen, unfortunately. But there we have a very clean kill mm -hmm. by Slasher again. Making it a difference for his mate. Look at that. Oh, side B? I think that was a miss input. Yeah, that looked like a miss input indeed. Okay, okay post post still need to Burn the gas even more. Didn't manage to get an opportunity to charge the gas yet. Okay, finally. Back off stage again. You got to burn it even more. Okay. Setting up, you have the down B, where do you go? Parry into what? Okay, trying to grab, going to get punished for it, but the air smash here, not safe. When you have a good option, less, a good reverse option, look at that, just like a dash deck of Zelda. And interestingly, Alo and Slash are taking over, one yeah. game. It's not over, it's only a best of three. Do you so think the uh, E just comes out now? Or do you think they stay oh, wrong? Oh, you think they go serious mode? Mm -hmm. hmm. Serious mode. Yes, I think it's going to go for the, uh, for the uh, ages now. Girls what? night! <laughs> girls night! <laughs> and yeah, that looked like girls night with all the sparkles here. Who died first? I think, yeah, the only one who died on, out of this was the Rob. Yes, indeed. Wow. And I feel like Slasher's done a really good job of kind of sealing the stocks, right? Because uh, Alo, the early damage they, they kept doing was, was, was amazing. Yeah. Uh, and making sure they were kind of making sure uh, Leo and Big Boss were kind of backing off. Not exactly the most confident, and then uh, Slasher did a good job finding these stock kills. Exactly. And progressing the game. Slasher, Evan, Evan, if he's not alone, he does manage to prove what he's able to do there. Just being very attentive of all the options he has on board. Just being attentive of all the situation where he can actually try to get a kill when he's uh, when his mate can't for him. All right. Let's see now. Hello, Bastion. Okay. Oh, going for the up here, trying to cover a jump. Not going to happen, unfortunately, but the damage has been done already. Look at him. Alo taking a, a, a lot of damage. Yeah, I was going to say. Did okay, you get it? I got, I got it. <laughs> I, I got it, right? Alo, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but regardless, though, staying double Rob is kind of interesting in this game three. Uh, but still, seems to be working out for them, you know, one taking one F-Smash, that would have not been able to land safely. And that was a uh, uh, scary one for sure, but okay. F-Smash here, up-Smash there. We talked about the kill power of Rob and you had just had the proof thrust right there. Going to go for a side beat, going to get punished unfortunately afterwards. But yeah, taking a clean 30% already on Alo here. 
triple up tilt. Okay. Into there, I love it. I'll be trying to punish a very risky landing, not going to happen, unfortunately. But the pressure on on, on shield from the side of Valor is perfect, honestly. Look at him again. Be wary though, because in the end, whenever you let the time to allow all big boss to play with their projectiles, it's another story. Yeah, for sure. Because for now, we haven't seen a lot of gyros from neither of them. Okay, Tom okay. finding the, you know, the kill that they really want from out of side. You know, these, these forward air uh, sweet spots are not coming out too often. And the stage getting up throw, up air, and no. Uh, all the kills in the world. Yeah. All right, Gyro, finally one Gyro. It's been a while again, we've seen one on the stage. Another one here. Okay. Oh, and the side B, the shield out saved him, yep. Yeah, we talked about you don't want to be in one round situation against those players here, so the whole thing that went well for them up to now uh, is not, like, on board right now. Okay. Bam. Another one. Another one? Oh is that from this? God. Yeah, he is! Oh my god! Three up in a row? Another one? No. <laughs> Come on. Oh no! Oh, now oh, you're hey, oh! Now you're stuck. Respect! All the scoops in the world. Don't bro. play with your food. It's a shame, really. It seems like whenever you're facing those very tough opponents, if the game slips out of your hand, there's a 99% chance you lose it from there. Yeah. You don't want to give them an advantage, and this is what changed here. This is what, well, shifted a completely different direction compared to the previous game. Also, it was still a double rob. There were no pilot, uh, no ages. Aegis, yeah. They tried to get the scooping on. Yeah. Still finding right there with the F smash, and finally getting rid of that uh, stock and the game. And Alum and Slasher were very respectable opponents, but Big, uh, Big Boss and Laird turned uh, the double rob is, is, is truth. Yeah. All right, let's see if they go for double rob later on, because I think they are going to wait for the opponent now. Uh, what's happening on the other side? Seems like we have Anathema and... Uh, what, um, Juan P? Juan P, yeah. I, 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 I want to say Juan P. I don't Pres know how to pronounce it exactly. <coughs> Is it Juan P? Is it Juan P? That's I would imagine it's Juan P. Juan P, yeah. Let's um, go with Juan but P. But we're then. European, so we get a pass. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we can, thank you, man. Also, Bacon is still in. I'm not surprised. Bacon and Quinn are a good team. Bacon and Quinn again, proving that, yeah, uh, these I'm sad they didn't rise to the occasion on stream, remember? Like, they are a good team. I was Don't picking worry. them up and they got kind of washed. We, 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 shall see, we shall see them now. We shall yes. see them now. Just oh. to interrupt, I'm live right now. We're waiting on the, uh, exactly, the, the VG Bootcamp stream for Quinn and Bacon versus Juan P and Anathema yeah. to finish. The winner of that will be fighting MK Leo and Big Boss. Okay, so we're going to end up everything here with losers finals and grand finals back to back. But yeah. for now, uh, Leo and Big Boss are waiting for the opponent in the match 1P. And uh, Anthema against Quinn Bacon. and Bacon. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to join them, you can check quickly on VGBC what's happening there, uh, which is going to be the main second stream for the whole event for the quad stream. Right now, obviously, it's one game because we are reaching the end of the bracket. But tomorrow, and for all the side events, and for everything besides, I guess, the top eight, it's going to be a quad stream. So yeah, go and give them some support. Uh, meanwhile, we are just going to be waiting there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much oh, we can uh, maybe ha do. we can have a nap break also. Uh, I mean, we got ad breaks in a bit, of course. You know, we have to wait till. <laughs> I'm not the boss, but you know, have to wait till uh, the end of the set. Of course, still got a lot of sets to go on. Have to wait a little, a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's a procedure that can be broken. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. I'm an intern. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> John, <laughs> love John numbers, bro. Thank you, production. But I think Quinn and Bacon um, definitely have a good shot. But we, we kept saying that Juan P and Anathema, you cannot sleep on them. You know what I mean? That they, they look like a team. Uh, and when you actually are a team and you can build on those 1v1s as well, like, you look unbeatable. I honestly sad because the, the game you did the, the Juan P is real joke, uh, they lost it. Yeah, and I was like, bad, oh no, my I bad. wanted them to win for this one. Yeah. I mean, they had what? Sky J and, and uh, Spargo? I think it was Sky J and Spargo, hard. yeah. So. They should have won that game three, though. Okay. I'm not going to curse them. I'm not going to curse them. They're still there. Yep. And Skyjay and Spargo sure are still there too, waiting for them in winners. Let's see it this way. Okay. They want to see the run back. Yeah. I feel like Skyjay and Spargo. Do you think they beat MK uh, Leo and Big Boss? What's the high chance? Yeah. A low, a low, a low key? Yeah, they can. I really think they can. Depends if they get there or not, you know? Quinn and Bacon could win this set and then get the. the you know, they already beat Big Boss and Leo the first time. They could get a second win on them. That's true, that's true. I want to uh, see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, question for you, friend. Uh, do you know what happened about the, 
the uh, the Europeans in the end. Have you heard anything of it? Uh, production. Doubles, doubles wise, I yeah. have no idea. Production, can you enlighten us? I think we had two Europe Europeans in bracket right now. We had Longo and Robbie, AK47. They team I think they teamed together. They teamed together, yes. Can I you don't tell think us they went far, how though. they ended up? No, I don't think so. I think we can go for top 12 or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you, I'm production. Lying, by the way. <laughs> All right. Also, Quinn and Bacon have just won their set. So yeah, it's going to be just MK Leo it. and MK Big Boss versus Quinn and Bacon. Okay, this person's telling us now that Quinn and Bacon just won that set against Nathama and 1P on the other side of the stream. Um, uh, and it was, you know, now it's going to be the run back. Of course, just before we get into that, I want to say shout outs to Lyric and Dom on the other stream. Doing it big, you know, shout outs to those guys, of course. Uh, but now it's back to us now. We're going to be casting again the rematch. Uh, you know, are Quinn and Bacon going to uh, win again? Yeah. Or is it revenge time? That's going to be the question now, obviously. Also, the other the variable here is Leo going to play Rob again. Because mm. against a double Rob, sure, you're going to give more room for the Bacon to go for like the heavy punches and all, but how do you get back on the stage? I have no idea. <laughs> you, 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 I haven't got the answers to that. <laughs> Only a man with a PhD can. Very scary, sir. You know, so. How is uh, Doc in uh, that game we don't need to, to give the name of? <laughs> I'll tell you after. <laughs> He's pretty fun. <laughs> He's pretty fun. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Both players uh, on the Mexican side already ready. On the side of Bacon and uh, Quinn, obviously they have to go back and forth between the two scenes. So, yeah, oh, they're already laughing. I love the folk players we have here. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I know. Um, I think Bacon's MDVA, but um, Big Boss and, and Leia, mostly Big Boss, travels to SoCal a lot. So Quinn's obviously very familiar with them, I'd imagine. So you know, this was going to be good, uh, some good times. And these are all good doubles players in general. Not exactly singles players, but just real good doubles players, I feel. Um, and I do want, I, I hope they can finally show the double synergy I was going to talk about when they got kind of low key, kind of got washed by Strass and PK Chris. Hmm. But yeah. I do wonder if if, uh, if we're going to double, double um, Rob, sorry, are we going to see Quinn's Palu now? Or is it going to still the be question. the Samus? That's the yeah. question. Samus is very good in doubles. Again, we are used to it with. Uh, what with uh, the Samus we have in Europe, with Siski, with uh, Spectral, with Quick, mm -hmm. with all the shout out to them by the way. Uh, Spectral also in Japan right now. For oh, Spectral's in Japan as well. Yeah, let's see how he does there. He nearly got stuck in. Uh, oh, okay, it's going to be the, do the double rub. On FT. Okay. Oh my. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. But yeah. Uh, I don't wonder how the Europeans are doing, and all the, like even the Americans are doing at Umebura right now. I hope they are doing well. Uh, it's going to start later on today after the stream uh, ends here. It's like timing-wise, this is the perfect weekend for you smashes because you're going to have back and forth between the Japanese scene, Japanese scene, and the American scene. There was a boot camp from uh, in Japan in Tokyo right now with all the European, the Americans, and all. Uh, I wonder how it ended up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now. Obviously, with the, uh, do you have a lot of Samus here in the brackets for tomorrow? That's a question um, I also have. I don't know what Samus players are in this bracket. Um, I know a lot. Of, I know there's a couple secondaries like Quinn's Samus. I believe No Tag also plays uh, yeah. secondary Samus, the Mario player. Um, so I, I don't know who's actually maining Samus in this bracket. But you know, we're gonna see what this Samus can do on Quinn's side uh, against Big Boss and Leo. Rematch time. Rematch time indeed. Let's see. For now. Seems like uh, this is again a very big roll out. Both oh players just do not care about their own ally, just going to wrap up damage the way they can. How did this he how, survive? How big can he survive all of this? This is incredible. The crazy thing is, is that Quinn tried to interrupt Ooh. him but got in, uh, to save him, but got interrupted himself by the, the, the gyro and still managed to find a kill on his own. So this team is doing work. He's in doing work, but yeah, Bacon finally going to get uh, to uh, lose his stock there. But how, out of all of this, Quinn, Bacon, sorry, Quinn just took 20%. He finds a way. That's all I can say. There uh, we B go. Uh, B here. Here. It's framed quick. I don't no. know what frame it is, but oh my and god. And fair for good measure here. Oh my god. Finally, Quinn taking some damage here, but yeah, you don't really care this amount. Yeah, and Quinn's doing such a good job staying away, right? Charging the projectiles and letting Bacon just run free. Ooh, Bacon is going wide, as you just say. Look at that. Still ramping damage here on uh, 
Is it Leo? Yeah, I think no, Leo is still here, you're right. Yeah. Leo is on Leo is on his last stock? What? Yeah, Bacon just letting us yeah, these yeah. smash attacks roam free against you yet again. Oh my god. And yeah, you're going to get back on the stage. Bacon doesn't care. Doesn't give a damn <laughs> at all here. Just going to rumble damage as much as he can. Yes, he's finally going to lose his stock there. But Watch on the, the other hand, Queen, the gyros. He, Queen's still at uh, right at 140 percent on his full stock there. Okay, sour spot on the RB. Shame he could have get a kill here. Wow, the pill and the baby charge shot covering so many options. So super smart uh, from this team. Just covering option as you say. You don't know. You don't care if it misses. If it hits, that's perfect for you. Wow. Dying from the up here, here. Okay. This is a wash. Yeah, this is a wash. Get Not a wash you expected, rub. Get though. Get off the rub, bro. I'm so sorry. Get off the rub. <laughs> Big boss, too. Bam. Yeah. Get off the rub. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What a yeah. clean first game. What do you even say to your partner if you're Big Boss or Leo? Damn, we got cooked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have a smile. Pero en español, I guess. <laughs> Look. How did he survive? <laughs> He's all the way over there, and he's burned the Help jump. me! I'm coming! Fear not, my friend. I am here. Up here. There we go. That's a real teammate. And he didn't even get the whole hit. He just got one hit of the multi hit, the small one, and survived thanks to that. Real, real teammate. Real bro, real bro here. And the fear here for good music. My here. goodness. Mm, Charge that one up. <laughs> Yeah, All right, they, they were just super impressive that first game. What a way to start off. Good momentum swing as well. Indeed. What a way. All right, this is the best of five indeed. So, yeah. More room for Leo and Big Up to try to get back into it. Are we going to have the D2, the D2 Rob? That's the question. Nah, he's got to go Aegis short. There we go, yeah. Aegis out. Put the Rob away, bro. Put it away. It was good while it, it lasted, but now it's time to go back to the roots. We got to lock back in. And this is that the real set now, you know? Yeah. Three, two, one. Go. All right, SBF to change things up a bit. And immediately you're gonna see that burst of speed where he changed up the pace of the game now. Well, now Aegis, especially Mithra. Yeah. Uh, a lot more burst rate kind of being exposed right there. And okay, the grab, get him out of the way. No, again, uh, I do agree. Aegis here is perfectly well done. You don't really care if you do a lot of damage. You just want to keep your opponent in disadvantage again and again and again. And she got a tool for that. Against a character such as Dr. Mario, she's going to, I think, make the, the, ba uh, make the balance shift a bit. Oh my god. Trying to put the other one just doing right there, but still bacon. Uh, surviving them ever long yeah. and getting the up B as well. Finding that kill. Uh, it's just nowhere to go. Lots of good again. Look at that queen again. We very low percent after such a big like, explosion of hits here and there. Still at 80%. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, couldn't find the charge shot conversion. But still, unfortunate. Good idea. And the synergy's Ooh. coming out ever uh, you know, more and more. Dude, Bacon shot that down smash for ages. Yeah, they're, 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 feeling, they're feeling it. Big Boss already on his last stock here. I'm telling you, put away the rub. It's done. It's cooked. It's over. Sidebeat finally gained the first stock of Queen there. But yeah, the game is even surprisingly. Four characters managed to get back onto the stage, avoiding the spike, but taking the last of fair for your opponent there. Okay. Thomas does have the tools to get back on the stage without any issues, but she need, they need to be wary because right now it's been a solid 30 seconds where the green team is on the ledge. Yeah, and now, you know, we can make all the jokes in the world, but it's back to even, I mean, honestly. It's back to even indeed. Evan, slight lead here, I would say, for the red team. Yeah. Okay, Bustle needs the wrong option though. Yeah, the Forsyth's doing a lot of work now. They're kind of doing, Leo's kind of understanding these projectile placements. Foresight to do a lot of them now and kind of getting uh, getting the advantage. Okay, uh, the, oh my god! Okay. <laughs> How do you act when under pressure again? This is the down tilt of a rub. Up the other shield. Big damage. Yeah, big damage indeed. 80% already on the last stock of Leo here. But yeah, we saw it for the first time actually. I'm a bit surprised. Uh, that down throw into S smash did manage to gain a stock here for the red team. Okay. And forced the even out. 
on the Rin's side. Yeah, one stock a piece, but of course, you know, with Dong being so volatile, as well as Aegis, super scary, you don't know where it's, gonna, uh, where it's gonna go. Yeah, also a bit scared. Look at the percent, there we go! Yeah. And now, Bacon has to do the work. He's a bit uh -oh. alone there. How do you get off the elevator? You do not! Thank God he's got the cape to save him, a little bit longer, but oh, oh. man, the damage racking all the way up. Up there, or should I say up tilt? Up into up city two up is the classic here by Big Boss, surviving, avoiding the effort here. And you can see already the pirate is out on the side of Leo. He doesn't want to take any risk, yep. letting that dog survive. He's not going to come back, is he? How does he do it? He's got a PhD, bro, but nothing can save you from that. No amount of education. Uh, it's just straight brawn right there over Brain. And Leo taking that one with uh, Big Boss. 1-1 one, one now. 1-1 one, one indeed. A bit bummed. I wanted him to do for, to go for the quick come back here with that. <laughs> I mean, with that they dog. were winning that second game too. Yeah. But obviously, Leo and Big Boss kind of had to like you know sink the claws in and uh, you know clutch that game back. That Rob cooked, my friend. Wee! Hello there. Hello. There. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Big Boss Leo's just cheering. <laughs> Big Boss just cheering <laughs> for for Bacon to come back on the side. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Leo, Big Boss, Leo was just waiting there. It's just, yeah. All right. 1-1. One, one. One. And you know that we are going to go on all the stages, one after the other this time. Well, yeah, we haven't seen Kalos for a while now. And let's see what we can do, but okay. A lot more space. We're gonna be surviving for a little bit longer, and of course the wall as well for some better recoveries. Especially on Doc. Okay, avoiding the down air. Now Quinn may find himself off stage a little bit, gets back on there though. But okay, avoid the down beat, the side beat, let's say. Oh no, that's a good spike. We There's got, a wall We got jump, wall jumps though. though. That's There's the Kalos wall. pick. The Kalos pick working Counter out well. Counter pick for perfectly well done here. It's time for both players to get the projectiles in the face from their own cover. Two teammates. Interesting. Oh my god, into the uh, very, border. Very good connection here. What was that? Quinn feeling it. Yeah, quick feeling it, indeed. Oh! Okay. Tip of the sword here is going to be enough. Yeah, no tech missing, so no kill, on the side okay. of Bacon. Into the back. kill? No, no back air, fine. Unfortunately. Who got hit? Oh my god! Yeah, it's Bacon! Fly. Got, yeah. Maybe a, a timing mishap. Unfortunate indeed. But the S-Mash here is just going to even things out. For the green team. Where is your side jump? Uh, I think he messed up the, the jump, you know, thing right there. He can't afford to do that right now, Hummy. No, he had a really good lead and you're kind of blowing it right now. You're just giving it to Big Boss for free. He'll take that, of course. Employees, they be doing that every month. But okay, one there. Looking for the second one as well. No fair either. There we go. Finding it back with the forward there. With two stocks of peace always, uh, Hummy. Indeed, two stocks of peace. But a lot of percent on the green side and a nav smash that connects with that down throw here. Now what? Okay, wall jump recover. back to stage. Thank Finally God. finding a wall jump. Yeah. A bit too late though. Side B, you need to go and help Bacon. Good Can you Quinn. do it? That's a real teammate. He keeps saying it. Bacon hasn't touched the stage yet. There we go. Finally. Ooh, yeah, double shot. Me. Yeah, get off me. Interesting. Okay, back through here. We okay. have to remind you guys again, Bacon is already on his last talk here. It doesn't look good here for the Dr. Mario player. It's a 3v2 here. The Gyro is doing a lot of work already. There we go, that's on one. Side. One now. Oh. But be wary, Bacon already on his last fumes here. Okay, Ooh. that's two. Okay. Still doable, still doable. Good up smash here, just to ramp up more damage on the big robot here. Bro. Yo, mate! Hello? <laughs> He's surviving. Avoiding yeah. the... Going for the wall jump to just go for another timing on the recovery. But there we go now. What do you do against the big boss going to go down there to try to, ju to jump on you while you recover? You survive a bit more. Okay. The momentum swing is all in Quinn and Bacon's How favor. How the hell? Okay. Back throw, I guess? No. Going for the... the down smash survives as well. Samus is a big, heavy character. How long can we survive for, though? That's the question. Now they're juggling with... The two players there. Hold on, this is such a good position How for them. Do they do it? And again, look at that. Queen does still have one stock behind him. 
the foresight though, super smart from Leia. Yeah. That was clean. That yeah. was very clean. Oh my god. Mega Worst case scenario, now unfortunately. Now what? Okay, going for the wall jump, jump into up, be perfect. You do manage to get back on the stage, but now what? That looks like a juggle, that looks like a... No, oh, he's dead. God. Yeah, that's just nasty. That confirm right there is nasty. We've seen that before. Yeah, that's a uh, good time. And two you time see time Bacon correct. and Quinn, they knew they had that. They knew they had that. That was their game to win, I think. I think it's going to be a very yes. big steamroll. One of those ones. But we'll see. I might be wrong, but Inf that was their game to win, man. Unfortunate, but I have to agree with you. I think this is the moment the, seal was, the, the deal was sealed yeah. here. Uh, big Boss and Leo here having a very big momentum going for them. Bacon and Quinn. Ah, oh, that SD. We just saw it. The SD for Quinn. Quinn, who's been known up to now for keeping his stock up to the very last moment, being able to keep them safe and fresh, fresh for Bacon. Maybe that stock, that SD here, was the one lacking mm -hmm. for the Dr. Mario. We'll never know, but man, that was... That was it, I feel. I feel like that, that really uh, could have been it. But, you know, no point dwelling on the past. It's all about moving forward. It's the future, baby. Going to see what we can do. And speaking of future, man, the Foresight placements now, ever since the Aegis has been coming along from Leo, yeah. super strong. Telling you when he understands where the projectiles are going to be. Uh, and finding that forward smash kill on, on, on Quinn uh, was super important. Important. He did manage to just push, him, push the edge enough for him to dash in, yep. go for the up smash. That was also another move that sealed the deal here for the Gred team. Let's see if, uh, yeah, again, Bacon and uh, Queen can do it. They do have the tools. They proved us. They uh, have also the energy to do so. But now they have to do it for two more games. Okay, big damage from Leo's side onto Quinn. Again, Quinn being the one player who did manage to keep his stocks fresh for Bacon. If he's the one taking damage already, uh, that's another story. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, no dunk though. Thank God it's on Mithra. Oh, no, no connections, conversions, but yeah. The idea is there though. The idea was there. Absolutely. Ooh, just gets out of the way of that charge shot. Gets the back door, yeah. That's the first kill. And, and on the second one as well. Momentum still in Bacon and Quinn's favour. Yeah. This is, the, this is the last hope for the green team here. Let's see if they can do it for now. Oh, unfortunately, the down there is going to get a stock here. Good catch from Quinn. Yeah. Even if it wasn't intentional. He needed it to survive a bit more. Okay. Bacon is trying to survive as much as he can. Obviously, it's a big brawl, so it's a bit hard when you're the one with the, the smallest range mm -hmm. big of damage, all the though. characters. Convert from the back end to the charge shot. Oh, oh. Double up B. And the one's going to die from it is Quinn. Only Quinn, yeah. Good favor on the red team. Oh, my God. Nice. Down to the up B. That's a classic. Yep. Okay. Random left slash. Guess it works. Yeah, Vital Pirate from Leros are understanding the scrappy situation. Just wants to win that uh, that course as well. Stops the confirm. Super smart. I'm surprised. I've never seen a move stop the confirm up to now. Yet here we are. Good down here to punish them all. Okay, one back throw. Just doesn't even need it. Gets them out of there. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. In there as well from the bottom. Yo. And the charge shot. Covering so many options. Where's the boss go? Straight to the blast zone. Out of there. And that was his last stock. Yep. Excuse me. How did... Oh, come on, Quinn. Please, no freebies. Please. Don't right. give Leo an inch in. Yeah, I've already seen that scenario before. I already see Leo do a two versus one. Obviously, it was a long time ago with another character, but you oh, never know. Okay. No kill conversion. Now he's just letting himself off stage. Bit of a scary one there. Gets out of the way of the grab. Yeah. Okay. You just want to force them to face each other, okay? I've been not going to connect. Yep. Stopping the air mobility as well. Oh, the first oh, as well? Oh, come on. Oh, that's rude. That's rude, oh, mate. What do you mean? You were already ahead. You didn't have to do it this early. <laughs> but you know what? I'm all in for Bacon Quinn in, win in, a, in a grand final, so... I'm a fan. I, I run with it. I want to see it. And they definitely can do it. It's game five now. Crunch time humming. Yeah, I like this. The Nair as well. Try to cover the option with the charge shot too. Yeah. And then the forward air, I believe. Bye-bye. Uh, and then that one, you could see how Leo wanted to go for the last hit. No, leave my mate alone. Not going to happen, unfortunately.
And there we go, the Futsal, the classic one. Beautiful, well done. Mm -hmm. We don't have any reaction cam from the players. I, don't, I want to see how <laughs> Leo reacted after this one. I'm not going to be too happy about that one indeed. But this is it now, Harming, you know? It's much too cramped for me to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, mate. Don't Here, worry. Show ya. Production oh. trying to jump. No, don't worry. <laughs> wow. Okay, I was about to say, because the double rope got pieced up. But of course, Yujis is going to stay. Those yeah. cameras are for one person each. Don't worry, production. We got you. All right. We're going to stay with the Aegis, as you said. But we're going to move back onto SBF. No, Battlefield. Excuse me. We Bad went up to four, this, four different stages there. Okay, we're gonna see what they can do. It's crunch time now. You have to wonder, can Quid and Bacon do it though? That's the question indeed. For now, damage is ramping up on Leo here, and his recovery is not the best in the game, so if they do manage to incentivize him, that could be very interesting. And I must say, like, this is my first time actually watching a match of Quinn Samus. Uh, and it's been very impressive. Very impressive. Look at the call of this very guy. Very legit secondary. He had a big boss in his face, a rob in his face with Samus, his secondary, I have to remind you. Yet, there he was keeping his calm, trying to temporize the recovery up to the very end. And there we go. Okay, the game is not even though, and I'm a bit scared considering again that big boss is a bit head. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay, the game is perfectly even again. Getting touched by the laser as well. Now the big back air swing. But okay, finds the back air result on Quinn's side. And the green team takes the lead. Yeah, that was Scottish GI again, if I'm correct. Oh, Ooh, nice. Okay, with the pill. The combos. Stays alive somehow. Avoiding the. Oh, and staying alive again. But yeah, no, you're not going to survive this one, though, mate. All right. They need to get rid of that robot quickly. Because the robot is ramping up damage very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, big back, back, back throw. Swing. Yep, back throw. Oh, not enough rage to get a kill there, but the idea was there. <gasps> no tank! Big chase down, but Bleo smart, rolls in. Understands the hunt is not going to come his way. Trying to go for a cheeky spike with the platform. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Okay, the up air still, Quinn staying alive. Leo, I'm, oh, mate, Fabs, I'm scared. Again. They, these players are not to be taken into 1v1. Oh man, the foresight but killed his own teammate in the process. Shame indeed. But now down for into us smash. No way! Wow! No! The no mash mash mix up. I'm with it. It's probably dead though, yep. Yeah, Dash tech swing, that okay. You know what shifted compared to the previous game? What shifted? A lot of more 1v1s. Yep. That's what they want. And he's working perfectly well here for the Mexicans. Look at him. Bacon is just having a very hard time against Big Boss. Cut off While on the other hand, you had Leo just slashing through Queens. There we go, another one. Okay, it's kind of hard to deal with. This is looking very tough indeed. Good chase from Queen. Couldn't find the kill, but you know, good idea. But now you got to fight Leo. Uh, he's been, you know, scintillating with these pirate uh, confirms. But you see right there, the down air. All the ones on the top, plat uh, top platform with the oh. Atil, And Bacon, nowhere to be found. Indeed, Bacon, nowhere to be found. Just like my burger this morning. Let's see if we can do it again, though. <laughs> Bacon here with his last stock. Forcing Quinn to go at 75% here. Four stocks for the Mexicans. Right, now one. down to three. Not over yet. No, but it's not looking good either. Absolutely. Dash attack. Saves him as well with the up air. Good option from Quinn. Okay. Okay, we got up tilt. Got something. Oh. Not me yet. Can't touch me. Get off me. The eject button coming in handy. Yeah, but you know what's handy? They have two stocks remaining there. If Big Boss survives. Oh, no! They're not quick enough, not unfortunately. Yeah. Gonna this say is done. Quick enough, yeah, they're down clubs. throw into F smash into down throw into F smash. This is a combo you don't want to be in. Valiant effort though. Valiant really, effort, really yes. good, really strong effort from Quinn and Baker, man. I'm impressed, but just, just couldn't seal it, man. Couldn't seal it. And again, it's the Fiesta. La Mexican fiesta Grand team. Finals. A classic indeed. Who's going to take the cake? That's the question though. The cake of the Fiesta is in the middle of the table now. Oh my god, you see the down there to the F tilt. Oh, and that gyro here was yeah. spiteful. That was mean. Is it the moment we start seeing the down throw? I think it is the moment. Yeah, the first down throw is there. He's going to grab him. Yeah, first down throw, F smash. Bye bye, not quick enough with the charge shot. And there we go, second one. Okay. Oh, wait, <laughs> you're in there. Hmm. Let's see. 
you're uh, talking very cheeky. You're very cheeky for someone in the down throw range. <laughs> but for yeah, sure. you said it. It's going to be a Mexican stand up again. I mean, yeah, it's kind of what I expected. It, it's, it's hard. You know what I mean? It's, it's really hard to kind of fight uh, these teams going over the momentum. It talks about game threes and game fives away. It is crunch time. And if, you, if you're not ready for it, then goodbye. Sit back down. So, all right. Let's see uh, if... Uh, who do you think is going to take it? You thought that there was going to be a reset, right? You told, yeah. you told about a reset. I think, I think that uh, Leo and Big Boss reset, but I just don't think they win. Okay, okay. Actually, no, sorry. I do think they win. I don't, I don't think SkyJ and Spargo win, sorry. I think that they're, they're really good at 1v1s. Uh, and obviously, if you let SkyJ get his game plan in, but I feel like Leo and Big Boss are kind of just evolving more and more. But I could be wrong. They could get 3 0 Who knows? You never know. Again... We shall see. If it depends if uh, SkyJ is in the serious mode from the get-go or not, I mm -hmm. think. If you see him tilt down on his chair, <laughs> yeah. It's another story. He's got a set to work with, so, you know. Yeah, he got room. He got but room. But, of course, you do have to... It's not the finals yet. You do have oh, PK, yeah, right. Chris and Stratus. You're right. So yeah, we might not even be seeing it. Who knows? But I think we are going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean no disrespect, but... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect example of a cast excuse if it, is, a cast excuse if it isn't one. So, yeah. Just stay tuned. <laughs> We'll see what PK Chris and Stratus can do is the last hope for Tri-State. Dude, he's vibing though. You can you don't see the players, but he's vibing with the music now already. Oh, can you not see the oh okay. Hope you're having a good time with us because right now it's a bit cold. I'm ha I'm yeah, chilling you, you a bit here. Cold. Yeah, I'm I mean uh, like the I'm I'm low in on energy right now. Fair I enough. didn't have a very good big for breakfast this morning, so oh, okay. you know how much you, costs you, didn't a, go to bagels, did you, you know how much costs a pancake here? A pancake, one one crepe yes. costs nine dollars. You're in New York, maybe you're in Manhattan. Dude, I paid a hundred dollars of Uber from the airport to get to my hotel yesterday. Yuck. I'm not going to enjoy this weekend. Yuck. Not just New York. Welcome to the United States. Uh, really? Yeah, I heard there was a raise in taxes, right? Or something just like this. Just a raise in everything. <laughs> Except wages. <laughs> oh. Production. Got this room, got this room, got this room. <laughs> Production already. <laughs> no, but for real, guys. Um, honestly, need to go to eat bagels, bro. I'm that biggest supporter. Go to eat bagels. I'm going to take you there tomorrow morning. Y yeah, I mean, if we go there, it's going to be at... No, I'm not going there tomorrow because I'm not working tomorrow. You still can go with me. What time? Like, mm, I'd say 9 a.m. It's going to be packed yeah, on it, Saturday. It's, it's a good way. It was packed today. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. But no. it's, it's a good way. Well, well, let's write it out. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, courage. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe tomorrow I'm just going to go for something near Central Park or something. Oh, okay. I have time. You have, you have time. You do have time. Explore New York, man. It's a good place. It's your first time I've here, right? No, no. I've been there seven years ago. I nearly, oh, I nearly fumbled with the the guard at the frontier, like the border control. Right. He asked me where I have been there already. I'm like, in the past five years, no. He looked at me. Are you sure? Like, yeah. Last time was like seven years ago. <laughs> You're right, dude. I didn't want to get anything with that guard yesterday. So, yeah. Double rub out. They said, you know what? Oh, We're back to again. It. Okay. Back to the beat loops. Let's see. PS2 back too. Okay. Well, now, uh, if I'm correct, Big Boss took a lot of that. Uh, sorry, Leo took a lot of damage. You escape one down, so you got fired another. That is a scary, scary frame three move. Oh my god. Wow. Rob is just, like, Leo is just being the plaything here. Seven, 100% already. Oh, good. Wrong angle here on the back end, not going to connect unfortunately, but the idea on the side of Stratus was there. What Where the are you happened? going? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why is it every time we're casting together we have a lot of SD? Do you remember UFA? Yes. <laughs> don't remind me about Reflo, bro. Anyways, we're going to see what these Robs can do at the moment. I don't lose to, to PK, Chris and Stratus. Uh, for now, they're getting cooped a bit indeed. Seems like we're going to have the ages afterwards. Never Psych. mind. Never mind, yeah. Psych. Still a lot of damage though on the side of uh, Leo. Look at him. Already 80% on the second stock here. Why on the hand? He's been a super good uh, Never stock. Never mind. Oh, my bad, bro. My bad. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> That's on me. My that bad. That looked good up to now. <laughs> Alright, good up smash here. By the side of Pick uh, Picker Chris. Not going to happen to be enough to take a stock on Lu. On, uh, Lu oh, sorry. I was going to say Lugi. <laughs> Okay, Leo. surviving the back air there with the lasers. They're coming out more and more, just disrupting. Uh, even if they're not killing, they're doing a good job disrupting. And speaking of disrupting, good on Stratus to recognize that save his teammate in the process uh, and keep this lead uh, they have right now. 
Okay. Oh, Burry with nothing afterwards, unfortunately. His mate was way too... Why are you essing over another? I don't know what's going on. Talk to me, Humming. I'm confused. Dude, what the? I thought it was that kind of a European thing. <laughs> there it is, the classic down throw F smash. Okay, good catch on the fair hit. Oh, okay, a gyro in the face just for good measure again, I guess. Have it, why not? Uh, eh, why not indeed? Okay, reverse there into the F tilt. Big hug of love from the Captain Falcon. I'm gonna make sure you can't stand shield uh, yeah. too much for me. A big French Ooh. kiss in the face. A big knee though afterwards. And just like that, the Mexican are on their last stocks. Bro, I'm so sorry to let, but you gotta put their rub away, bro. Every yeah. time you put the rub on, they be losing. I'm sorry. Let it go, let it go, man. <laughs> it's over. Okay, good neutral B here, going for a very aggressive recovery. It works. Why? But that's the fourth SD Why already. Why are you giving freebies? I don't get it. Do you not want to win? Fine. Next time I'll go in bracket and you do it against me, I guess. Yes. Wait, and now, okay. okay. Finally. Dude, if Leo does it, I'm a bit surprised. Okay. He does manage to get back on the stage and both players are already quite Ooh. high on the sense. He needs to find a confirm and... Okay. Yeah. And again, the up smash. Again, the up smash. It's been, what, two solid hours since last time we saw Stratus? But, hey, you never... Something that works not, doesn't need to be changed. Absolutely. He gets that, it's not that move so many times. You can't be in the air near me. You know, I'll be throwing that up smash out the legs. Shut him off the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it is a broken move, but doesn't need to be changed. <laughs> Arguable. Oh, I just saw this coup on the upside. You didn't connect on the side of uh, Leo here. Shameful. Rob! Rob! He keeps on going for Rob! Hey, man. You do you? You do you. Maybe he knows something we don't. I don't Maybe know what it is, though. It's kind of a cheat code somewhere, but we shall see. I think maybe, uh, oh, jokes aside, I think it's because of, of the way that Pika has been carrying his opponents off stage with these uh, these triple fares. Oh, I feel yeah. like he just will just explode. But just no, like never that, mind, never mind. Of explosions, finding another off. way to get you off stage, I guess. Wow. Dude, Stratus is playing very well with Falcon there. I he never heard of him, but now I'm a fan. I love the way they play, though. Really big stock tank. And if you come near me, up smash. <laughs> it's never safe. Are oh, you sure want to get close? <laughs> Okay, avoiding the up, the down area, parry. Good on Pika, it's not even exactly hitting someone, just interrupting just with fear. Staying in there to make sure you can't be attacking my partner safely. Sorry, sorry, survive a bit more, thank you. Again, I, n I was never as scared as today when I saw a Rob out of the stage. Wow, on the, on the shield. Okay. That's a lot of damage, that's a lot of damage. Forcing the second jump out. Forcing, there's nothing left. Yeah, he can't do much, but he's still able to recover. And the big hug from Stratus. And now, big lead for PK Chris. Stratus, Stratus, for now, did take all the stocks here on the side of the Mexican. Bro, we were talking like Leo and, and uh, Big Boss are going to win and farm or whatever, but... No, you were the one saying it. My bad. Hey, hey don't try to push me in this one. <laughs> this was your narrative. I, this being, uh, I think the story's been rewritten, homie. This is over. This, this looks like it's all we need. MKLO already 130% now. Okay. First time we're seeing that. Reflecting the gyro on Leicester's side. Okay. Avoiding everything. These three... Chris has been at 150% for the past minute. And still surviving. Never mind. Needed to die, I guess. Okay, now you're stuck between two robots. Never a good time. All the nairs coming out. Not doing too much, though. But still a big fear. But I love how Stratus kept his calm. Yep. Knowing that... Yeah, Pika Chris is going to come any second out to save my ass. So as long as I keep my calm, I should be fine. A lot of our B kills as well. Super unconventional way to like make sure you're not safe in your shield or safe in the air from, from oh Stratus. Really God. pleased. God, the damage out of a PK Chris here is wonderful. Going to avoid How the back here too. How did he avoid that? I don't know, but he's not. He, I, I'm only for that. Now back in any fun and there's Mark as well. There's Lucky from the side showing the yo-yo. What? You know what? If it works, it works. Okay. Again. 
Oh, would you get it? Oh wow, my god! The down there as you well. know what's better than one spike? A double spike. Put the rub away. I'm so scared. Yeah, Put honestly, the rub yeah. away, guys. Okay. Love how he angled up the uh, Ethel up, uh, like upwards to avoid hitting his mate. There we go. Want to go for down throw? Here's mine. Okay. No. Hey. I, 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 I. Oh, no. Nah. Don't, don't do that. Don't give him freebies. That's uh, like the seventh one. Okay, trying to jab through the gyro as well. And, you know, Big Boss is at low percent. Yeah, very low percent. And he indeed. will fight these conversions if you give him a chance. So. But you know who does have the gyro? Strat has got it. Just hold it. What do you do now? Kicking me off stitch. Oh my Never god! Never mind! Cole remember this, but not for me. Okay, back here just in the face of Pika Chris again to send a message. Come on, mate! Do no something way. else! He wants to win in one way and one way only. Tell him, Stratus. If yeah? it works, it Let works. him know, yeah? Do it again! What? Bro, I actually hate <laughs> Falcon players so much because they all do that. They said, you know what? The game was getting so hard. You know what? Let me just die at Falcon Punch. You Why? Know, honestly, I'm a bit sad because if PK Chris had just jumped in and grabbed Blair Big Boss. Oh, come on. That's the way we end it with Ness After. But either way, two games up. Two games up, mate. Two games up. Is it going to be another big upset there? That's the question. Maybe the Fiesta is going to be put on hold. La Fiesta is uh, out. Oh, do you want to commentate in, this, in Spanish next one? Oh, they would hate me. I Why? can't speak Spanish. Por qué? I only know like hola and como a mi un poco oh, and, no? I know como se dice. Como se dice también. I also know bien. Lávate las manos. Bueno. Oh, bien, también. No, pero uh, bueno a intentar and hablar español la, en la próxima año, entonces uh, se, uh, es, sean list, uh, están listos para mí en español. Come on, vámonos. Anyways, either way, let's get into this game uh, three. Wow. Uh, you know, Big Boss Leo have to go. He just uh, robbed now, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Backs against the wall. It didn't work the first two times. Don't push it. Don't push your luck. All right, for now, yeah, this is a completely different story, mm -hmm. I guess. Never. The dynamic uh, changes I want to say, but I'm not sure. Was it? Okay. We'll skip for a second, but yeah, finally, Big Boss did manage to gain a quick stop on Stratus here. Yeah, and Stratus again did uh, was quite uh, defensive on his stock. So losing one now is a completely different Absolutely. story. Absolutely, I was going to mention that. Really good point. Okay. Um, oh my god! What oh the hell my is god! This is a butchery. Okay, up B to get me off him. Yeah, looking for the roll in, but no find. Oh, Flash here. Finally stopped the bleeding, but the damage had been done already. Yeah. Look at that. Still picking Chris on three stops, though. Oh, no attack! Oh again. my god. Strat has in a very dire situation there. Now again, PK Chris and uh, Strat find themselves at this big deficit. Have dude. to do something about it. Strat is going for the fancy stuff. You're on your last talk, dude. This is not the moment to go for the fancy stuff. Okay, now okay, finally get rid of the stock of Big Boss. Did you say that's one? Mm -hmm. Big scrap coming out right now. It's a lot of trades. Never going to be in the yellow team's favor. Boarding the laser as well. Yeah, you see Big Boss is right there. Rob is so good at controlling the stage, having a lot of these long-lasting aerials. Air dodging does not matter. No nope. cover. Okay, convert with the PK flash. Finally adapting a bit to uh, the new lineup, is it going to be enough? That's the question. Is it a bit too, isn't it a bit too late? It seems so. Um, yeah, what Chris happened is, uh, here? Why did it stand up? Limit. Why did it stand up? As soon as he shared the stock, he died. Okay, let's see. But even Strass is standing up. The, camera, the people can't what see the, the cameras, hell? but Strass is standing up for some reason. He must be locked in, locked in. Oh, yeah, definitely. Is. Like, wait, is, how do you play in that position, mate? How do you even... What's happening? What the hell? Okay. Yeah. Okay.
What did he say? I don't know, but they're very animated. Indeed. All right, 2-1. But you know what? I'm still feeling confi uh, feel confident. Okay. I still think they can do it. Well, game on now. Now that Aegis is out, it's the real boss battle, you know what I mean? So, we're going to have to see what they can do. The MKB boss battle? Never mind. I, ne I didn't. I never say that. We, we'll cut it uh, at the montage at the end. The Aegis was, I was like, I think it's the biggest threat, though, because it really changes the pace of like you know how fast it is. You know, you've got a blistering fast character like Mithra, and then you've got these down to confirm into Pyro F smash. Okay. Oh, my God. This is, is it the moment where it started to go south? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see now if they can change things up. Dude, that down air is disgusting. We never talk, we don't talk about this too much. Down air, enough. back air, big move. We don't so talk scary. about it enough. Oh yeah, let's make big moves, by the way. <laughs> for sure. Losers finals, game four. Double yeah. parry on the side of Pika Chris, though. Fancy stuff again. It. Yeah, fancy stuff. Not doing uh, most with it either way. Having to scrap, of course, but you see Big Boss loves these situations. Rock and box. Let's see if it's enough, though. Yeah. Just taking his time in the air here. Big Boss knowing that in the end, if oh. it's a one we want, they can win. And, and my stops goodness! Early. Okay, maybe the Fiesta's back on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Put the music back on. Okay, well, that's one. Maybe we can get something. Dude, Big Boss is only at 50% there. Okay. A lot of fisty fisty cups here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fisty cups for sure. The big laser coming out. Uh, it's kind of disrupting everybody on that uh, stage. Oh, Stratus. No attack no again! Way, bro. Stratus! What is happening now? You're throwing, mate. We've been bigging this guy up for ages, but now, you know, it's a moment to shine and Bro's getting eclipsed. It's that's cooked. This is supposed to be your moment. This is not supposed to be the moment where Big Boss is still on his first stock 100% now. Yeah, he reigning supreme right now. <clears throat> Damn. It's a wash. It's a wash. Wait, why are they on one stock though? I don't know. I literally don't, I literally don't know, mate. <laughs> Yeah, nowhere to go. Uh, there's no way he can go back from there. Yeah. yeah, there's no way. Accept defeat, friend. Accept defeat. He tried to go up to the very last one to go and help him. Unfortunately, not going to do it. Okay, can he kill Leo right now, though? Or waste one of the stocks, but nope. So oh. I think uh, he's going to get back to stage. No Yuck way! Me. Wow! That worked? Okay. Wait, that worked? Hold on. No way. Might not be over yet. We can get a kill on Big Boss. We're back in the game. Big Boss still hasn't lost a stock yet. There he is at two. Hold Pick on. Pick it, Chris. It's a big Maybe. scramble. How do you do as a child in that situation? I don't know what you're supposed to do on high space to land. You see Mithra can cover so many options. And she has the option of going to Pyro as well. Yeah, indeed. As you say, I just saw, as you say, sorry. Okay, flash just to force them out of the ledge, not going to happen, unfortunately. Bye bye. Oh. That was a very bad angle, and you're going to get punished for it accordingly. F throw into Dash the guy. No way you could survive this. And All it's right. game five. The Aegis has been the difference maker, I feel, humming. Is it time for the tower to finally crumble? That's a question, but yeah, not looking good at all. I feel like Stratus' game was just. wasn't there, bro. Yep. Yeah, it was, wasn't there. Unfortunate indeed, and I think he lost the second one to not take, yes? Yeah, yeah not take no on this tank, one. That pressure. was a disgusting one, yeah. though. The I'm angle was very weird. And you don't expect to take at 40%. Mm -hmm. Always be ready. Let's see. Now, this is serious mode. Let's go. Last game of this Losers Finals here, ladies and gentlemen. LMBM. MK Big Boss, MK Big Boss against uh, Memka Leo, sorry, against Stratus and Picky Chris on FD again. Yeah, anyway, let's see how, how this game five concludes. It's been a very uh, weird, and wonderful one, uh, shall we, uh, we say? But this Aegis has been locked in. Told you, bro. Put the rub away. Success comes. Okay, something. Yes, they've been cooking right now. Stratus may be feeling it now. Second Final, win. Yeah. Oh, the shield. No oh my goodness. As long as he's on the stage, I guess there's no issue. But you can't be 
Oh my giving God. him freebies like that. That game just went south in a matter of second. Okay. He tried to contest down there. The down throw, sorry, with his own counter attack. This is not working good. This is not a good way to do it. Just threw himself at you, but okay. But you know what? A comeback is still possible. Absolutely. They're not down and out yet. Mm, maybe now. Okay. They are getting ledge traps. Oh a lot. my god. A lot. Oh my. Bro, fight uh, back. Guys, it's been 30 seconds bro. already. Are you Guys, guys. Oh my. Yeah, it's over, bro. I'm so sorry. Dude. What the hell was that? Picky yeah, Chris touched the ground after 30 seconds on the ground on the ledge. And I feel like Big Boss and Lair really settling in now, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's looking very uh, difficult here for the Americans. Good down, back throwing to up smash here. And finally taking the first stock here. But yeah, look at the, the work they have to do now. Stratus already on his last stock. And Picky Chris dying out there. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. You'll need it. Not too much you can say about that one, but okay. Big Boss just giving away a freebie right there. Another one. Much surprising. Okay, but the dash attack into down there maybe? No, not going to connect. Just ramping more percent on this little ch child here. The Nair into fair classical combo here. And a good back here for Wood Berser here. Leo is just taking his time now. Yeah, you know, why not? Yeah. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The game did look great at the beginning, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it changed quite quickly. Yeah, I do feel like you just is the big difference there, though. Oh, look um, at that. It changed the dynamic so much. That was just the, the side up. This is the moment, yeah. Drop, it. double jump into down there in the middle of all of this. That was the timing you didn't he want to face. He killed his own teammate, wow. Did it? Yeah. Got sure, because... Got him with the PK fire. Oh, the PK fire, yeah. Yeah. All right. This one here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, production. You're right. You're Damn. right. You're right. Burning bright, but never brightly burning, apparently. Over for that one. We're going to get another fiesta like we talked about. Yeah. Vamos a ver la fiesta mexicana aquí. Exactly. Vamanos. Vamanos. Vamos, no se <laughs> Pero bueno, va a ser MK Leo y MK Big Boss versus Spargo y SkyJ. Spargo y SkyJ and winners. Yep, hola, indeed. So, you said that it's going to be a reset, right? I mean, I think so, but I might be wrong. If he goes double rob, then no. <laughs> I've got no confidence in that team. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If they go double rob, eh, there's always that variable. You're right, you're right. Anyway, we are reaching the end of this block two, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked what you uh, heard from us. Uh, if you want to give us some support, some feedback, this is the moment. You can go right there or right there. And, well, talk to us. This is how we get better at commentating Smashy Bros. Also, you, this is how you get better at commentating all the games, right? Yeah, I mean, we're going to see you doing uh, an ASB, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towards in the tomorrow, we've got a Nickelodeon block uh, with pancake mix. Shout out to pancake mix. Oh, I'm, hung I'm hungry, mate. I'm hungry. You had pancakes today, right? That was One nine dollars. One f in pancake <laughs> at nine dollars. Nine dollars. <laughs> well, this I country wants to be uh, dead. Oh no, is this button check? Button check, of course. Okay. It looks like one. Yeah. Yeah. Like grand one. finals, man. How do you feel? You've been asking me. How do you feel? Oh yeah, because you never asked me. That's right. Uh, <laughs> no, I think honestly that Sky J and uh, Spargo at the beginning didn't know exactly how to synchronize. But what we saw last sets of them together was completely a different story. I think they can pull it off in a clean uh, first set. In a first set. Yeah, first set. Yeah, we know reset here. Even with the Aegis, the confirmed, the even with the Aegis and the confirms, I think they can pull it off. The confirms are going to be very, very, very tedious here, obviously because this is such a game changer. But besides this, I'm talking about down through confirms. Uh, besides this, I think they can pull it off. I think SkyJ is the real difference maker in this set, though. Talk I think if you, if you yeah. let him run wild and you let these revengers fly, then you're, you're going to be dying yeah. super quick. You know. I agree. Now. 
again, we saw how uh, Aegis was good because she could add pressure on you. She could just be in your face and force you in disadvantage again and again and again. Guess what? Revenge can actually get there in the middle of it if you want way too pushy on your advantage. And you talked about how it's a minus mm -hmm. in that matchup. So we never know, but I'm feeling confident here for Sky Jazz part. Okay. okay. Let's see what happens. Cause this cloud uh, instant team very interesting. Um, and, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody was focusing a lot on getting Cloud out of there, and that really was winning yes, these games. That was a game changer. And then the moment they, I think it was Pika Chris and Stratus. Yeah. The moment they stopped, that's when they just kind of got flattened out. You just, need to get rid of Spargo. Yeah, I feel. just let Sky do his own thing. And yeah, let Sky do his own damn thing. Spargo is the best anchor here. He's there just every time to adapt to what Sky is mm -hmm. offering on the table. If you remove it. You're just against an angry cat. Of course, obviously it's easier said than done, guys. But I feel I do feel like when you get Spargo out the way and you just let Sky J just play as that obstacle course I've been saying with like like a, a person like Lucky, you know those obstacle courses you don't even want to deal with. Just deal with the teammate. Yeah, exactly. You kill that part. You leave Sky J on his own, and then you can get these uh these uh, team combos going. But obviously it's Sky J, bro. The best instant to ever do it at the moment. Okay, Sky J, uh, we shall see in Europe for King Kong. Uh, absolutely soon enough. Just what to do. do. They say this out there. There we go. Grand finals here of LMBR 2024 doubles bracket. Let's see how it's going. For now, good. Oh my god. Good introduction from the red team indeed. And no double rob. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Going straight up for the Aegis. Yeah, I want to see what this, uh, you know, obviously the, the Aegis has to do. You know, there's no point going double rob now. We've been seeing it's not exactly been the best. Uh, so. Uh, excuse me. Can we. Uh, how did he die? How did a Big Boss die there? Who knows? But all I, what I do know is this Big Revenge Cat right now has to get thrown. Yup, get rid of it. And you see how we had here and there a few missing, uh, a few whiffs on the Revenge getting punished. So yeah. All right. Okay. Good. A lot of whip here. Just wrap up more oh damage. Oh my God! And another spike. Big Boss dying again. Okay, they're up B though to get rid of Spargo, but still Never mind. the limit is going to be right there. Exactly. Down throw into mix up on the, the on the DI, going to be enough. Yes, specifically when you have an Aegis afterwards to punish you with an up here. One stock ahead for uh, Leo, of, sorry, for SkyJ and Spargo. But yeah, this is an explosive game. We are only one minute in. Yeah, it's super expensive Dude, at the moment. What the yeah, or everyone on but, uh, but Big Boss on that one stock. Or on that two stocks, let's say. Big Boss kind of struggling. Uh, but, you know, Big Body character can do a lot with it. Has Gyro in hand. No Gyro conversion, but Spargo still in some trouble. Yeah, Spargo needs to be wary of, because this time he doesn't have any limits yet to get him out of the woods if he were to get sent off the stage. There we go. Limit is there, but are you going to use it to get back up? What was that? Interesting. I had no follow-up after the down here. It's a bit surprised. That shit had seen better days. Oh my god. Yep, yep, Yama saving Sky J right there. The side B. How yep. do you save that? You do not! <laughs> it's kind of fun because up to now we've seen how uh, Big Boss is invulner invulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. During his down throw. Well, guess what? The Alolan Whip is also invulnerable, so yeah, take. take you do. <laughs> Karma's a right circle mate. Tasty Red Medicine for sure, it doesn't exactly. taste too nice. And wow, what a first game. Spargo and uh, SkyJ, super strong. And I'm telling you, once you let SkyJ run wild, just like that. Uh, look at these side Bs. You're doing so much damage. Even if you're like, um, not the main target, you take 20% in the face. Just because you wanted to make a quick handshake with that cat. And that's the thing is that, uh, what's really interesting is of course, with SkyJ being, with Insim being such a good grappler, you don't want to be shielded too often, but when he touches your shield to mix you up, a lot of these neutral Bs are coming out, and this, yep. your shield just goes smaller and smaller and smaller. So you have to yeah. rely on movement. We and if you're jumping out of the way, you've got Spargo's big disjoints there. Hello there, gentlemen. So, I'm waiting for you. So it's just a really big checkmate situation. It does look like it indeed. Now imagine, if you're in checkmate in neutral, what does it look like in advantage? This advantage phase has been explosive every time we've seen one. This is not for nothing that we lost five stocks in one minute from the get-go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know what? Let's see what happens in game two. PS2 again, I guess. I don't see them changing. It worked well for both teams. I don't see... Uh, yeah, there we go. PS2 again. Yeah, I'm going to see what they can do. Uh, and if they can kind of change up the game plan and maybe focus on different people, maybe force the 1v1s, I don't know. Got to be something different though. And oh my god, speaking of different, 
What a way to start the second kick Dude, coming. Pargo didn't ask for anything that just got shot. Oh my god. This is a completely different story compared to before. He's dead. There we go. Clean two stock lead with only 20-40% on the, on, the, on the two of them. No down air spike for you from the forward throw, not available, but good option. Spargo still has to get back to stage, has to burn the limit as well. Alright, 84% already on the second stuff here of Spargo. 29 still counting on uh, Skyjet. Okay, uh, going for the all the way, going to get punished for it. There's no jump yet left here. He's out managed to get back on the stage, oh, but needs to be wary of him. risky from Skyjet. This is going to be a re-grab, yes! Didn't risky. need to do all of that. You said it. High, high risk, zero reward yeah, there. Yeah, zero reward. Down smash into Nair. Again, love the combo on the both sides. Finally gaining those stock here on Big Boss, but the damage had been done already. Look yeah, at him. These games are coin flips. I know you're just watching Skyjay just pressing side B over and over and over. If it works, if it works. And if it doesn't work, well, it will work sooner or later. That's I hope for him. I really hope for him. Big swing from, uh, from Spargo for sure, getting yeah. that stock and finally, uh, just, you know, trying to get it back to evenish. Yeah, Spargo after the first lock he lost, still like keeping his calm, doing the best he can, but it's lock kicking good. There we go. You sure want a shield when you have a grab, uh, when you're in range of a grab from Roy, from Rob, sorry. Yeah, side. Oh, the force I should say, but that yeah. actually left him in a bad spot. Indeed. Uh, so good option from Spargo to recognize that. Unfortunate indeed, but uh, yeah, still one stock ahead for the blue shield. Oh my God. And it is dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, Spargo is gone. Great save from Incid. Real teammate. That guy just saved him so many times. There we Real go. Real teammate. Dude, Sky J with the chat moves one after the other here. Bro, real teammate. They deserve to win for this, right? They deserve to win for this. I don't know about this. to win, They deserve you know. to win for this, mate. Come on, come I on. I love the teamwork. There we Big go. Big swing as well, there we go. Looking good. And the side Looking good. Too. And we're back to... Why? Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Okay, Thank you. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not okay. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back. I think. Anyways. Okay. You know what? 1v1 one one situation. One, if there's one player who can do it, it's going to be Spargo, right? Okay, okay big this swing. is how it begins. Yeah, the side B as well has limit too. Limit, okay. That bear is uh, safe on the shield of Rob. But the laser and the gyro in hand. Okay. Down tilt, rolls nice. out. Yeah, no oh, damage for you. Okay, good back here. The second back here. The limit is going to be wearing off soon. There we go. Good temporization here. The, the Nair is going to contest with the back here. Yeah, he needs to get baby. back on the stage. Yes, he does manage to get. Avoiding the grab and the doubt. Oh! No way! No way! <laughs> Sky J just popped off. For sure, right? Spargo just pulled his weight for the whole damn team here. Bro, look how early that stock was. That was but 10 seconds in. I'm telling you, even though Spargo is the clutch god, don't get me wrong, but SkyJ is the MVP. Dude, that. Saved him that twice. That was the moment, I think. That was the moment. No way. That saved him twice. This is the moment, yeah. There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 no! Come back here, mate. Early side to get hero. back there. Do -do -do. I can hear Fairy Goblin saying that right now. Got a few more wishes in the tank if you want to win that set. There we go. Jesus. Saving him again. Still fighting away. Saving him a third time there. Look there we that. go. Get back on that stage. Your time is on now. You have work to do. Yeah, All right. amazing stuff from Spargo and Skyjay. Great uh, game to actually win that. And now the two and up. Starting with the Alolan handshake here. 50% already on Big Boss. That's when we saw the Leo and, and Big Boss were moving up that level. You see Sky J and Spargo just that step ahead. Yeah, now a re another revenge. Who died? Cloud or Spargo yeah, just last time. Yeah, <laughs> it happened. Not going to change anything. Last time they won anyway, so you're right. Classic Friday here for, yeah, for, <laughs> for <real>. Spargo. <laughs> Alright. A revenge for Sky J. It's now that double dash attack. The yep, catching Leo and all oh, big golf swing on the right side, catching Big Boss. Yeah, just like this. However, I love how uh, Le Leo did, was on point with his parry there. He managed to punish the side B with a good air smash, still keeping the lead for his team. Okay, nice again. Good combos here between the two, Leo and Big Boss. So, Not going to be enough. Side B, yeah. 
Bump. Okay. Yo, nice. Big Boss combos are perfect there. Good out smash to punish the landing. Now, uh, perfect again. We saw it so many times. We're bound to happen again. Why did he survive, though? I don't know. This time, though, you can't. Everyone is just Everyone's going. dying there. And now it's just Leo on two stocks. So but in the end, yes, they say it. Leap to the blue team, but is it going to be enough? Let's see. Okay, no punish on the throw, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Good find, yeah, but oh, Spargo! Spargo's dead. Maybe it's time to, for Skyly to shine. Double re revenge now. Who's going to take this? <laughs> Who's going to yeah, take it in the face? Bam, oh my smash. god, big F smash. Not doing enough. Takes an F smash of his own. <laughs> and it's game four now. It's yeah. not over yet. That game was very weird. To be honest, compared to what we saw before, that was very messy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't understand how Spargo died from this. Can you have a... Yeah, okay, let's go. Bam. Uh, okay, no tech, I guess. Wait, he was on the stage! He was on the stage! Oh! Apparently not. Parry into F smash. Perfectly well done here again. All right. Game four. Two, one. Oh, four. Start a game, bro. Another one. Another little handshake Yuck. here. Oh, okay. mate. He died from this. What? Yes. He just died from it. Bro, how? SkyJ going for the hunt against that robot. Still surviving SkyJ relentless. Okay. Still ramping up damage. Skyje is in the brawl right now. He's in there to just do the best he can. I mean, I'm saying he gets to run right, and when he does, it's not a good time for blue team. Oh, yes, it is a wild catch indeed. And for now, again, another good backer. And now both of them are going to go straight up into Lil's face, and it works out. Yeah. 2v1s. Didn't even bother opting for Big Boss. Left him alone. He's embracing the heel role here. Just jumping in, wrapping up damage when he can. Another kill! Three kills still for Skyji here. He's wrapping up so much damage every yep. time he can. He really is the difference maker, I feel. Okay. Okay, yeah, we see Spago scrapping and getting thrown off the stage himself. Ooh. Still surviving though, yep. And there we go! Down there, Spike Four as well. kill now! And all these spikes are just disappearing. Just easy. Let's, let's see if, uh, if we can go for the whole Grand Slam, as we say in French. The whole combos. Now the revenge going to get punished, sure, but the damage had been done. Look at him. Okay. Bam, another yeah, one in the face. More and more coming out. SkyJ feels Let's so comfortable. One. Oh, I can guess. I can understand why. Look at him just again. Oh my god. Th they the exploded. What the hell was that? And another one. Yeah, get him out of here. That was Dude, insane. Dude, that was disgusting ending of this. But with that, we have the winners of the doubles here at LMBN 2024. It's going to be SkyJ and Spargo in a that. clean 3-1. Yeah, clean 3-1. And you called it as well, is that you said that you know, even though Big Boss and Neo have this momentum, they're not going double rob. SkyJ and Spargo are just different. It's not even just about not having synergy. They, you know, they were learning as they were going along, but when they have these 1v1 opportunities or when you just have uh, Instinct as a character, you know, yeah. what he just does in doubles, so hard to deal with. Spargo realized it after the first set, third together, was like, oh, you know what, just do your thing. I'll be there watching. I'll support, And it bro. worked in the end. Look at this. That big cat took, I think, the six stocks of the red team here. Wow. The blue team, sorry. Like, I want to see the the, set, the 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 screen at the end, but look at him. Again, they just both jumped on the face of uh, MKLeo the moment Spargo was, uh, the moment, sorry, Big Boss was out. Now to go and you see Spargo's net covering where Leo wanted to be in the ledge, no tech option available. Uh, it was over. And that's, yeah, that's where this. he went for the spike, right? Yeah, yeah. the spike as well. It's waited. And bye-bye. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a hell of a set. That yeah, was that, a hell of a was, block, was, honestly. You know, honestly, like, even though it wasn't like the most um, longest set, that was a crazy set, man. Yeah. Look at that. They exploded. <laughs>
uploaded. You want to go left or right? Up. <laughs> yeah. Nowhere to go. Look you, at that. You man. know how it works, right? Basically, when you go hit by two hits, the knockbacks uh, add up and you go in the like over, over, overall didn't, direction. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. As he was hit from one hit from the right and one hit from the left, both of them just, just added up so well that he just exploded up. Wow. So, yeah, and with that, it is the end of the block, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked the time you had with us, because uh, it was very fun to start the weekends with such wonderful sets. But, yeah, but of course, before we go, we got a lot of things. Oh, yes. A lot yes. of things to, All right. uh, you know, tell you about uh, that you're so. kind of coming in store. So, you better be, you know, ready for anything that we throw at you, including this. You know, shout-outs to Gen Game Media Production, the photos, the video. They've been spawning big moves since 2018, bruh. That's a long time. That's indeed Six a very long time. damn years. Please follow them on Twitter, Gen Game. Same on the Twitch. Uh, you know, they've been a great big help for, for uh, LMBM. So always shout-outs to them. Big production side, of course. Now, another good example, another good event that we are expecting here in the US is going to be collisions uh, happening at the, uh, if I'm correct, in March, right? Yeah, March 15th to 17th. Another big staple here of the scene in the US. We heard about it so many times from Europe. We are going to, you can expect a big, uh, lo a big amount of players from, uh, uh, from our continent to come too. So, uh, the prices start to increase starting January 7th. So if you want to go for the early bird, that's the moment. You still have two days. So at the end of the weekend, this is the moment where you're going to have the next increase in, in prices. So you see already the, all the names you have on screen. Yeah, this is the main uh, event not to miss in March. Sign up and book a discounted hotel room at Start GG. Oh, also, oh, it collision. seems like from what I heard from production, I'm you like have... Oh, you, you said it already? Yeah, I'm Thank like, you, production. Worry. And no. of course, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, speaking of so many good events, uh, you know, red DTNX. register today for DTNX Start GG, August 2nd to 4th. We already got summer events going on. This is at, you know, four-star uh, four hotel in oh, the island. So all the Tri-State events are being pushed. Tri-State, one of the best regions to be in, to grind in such a strong region. And you can see why, you know, with events like this, you know, please sign up today, August 2nd to the 4th. Already got events in the summer, man. Please check that out. Definitely. And they are celebrating 10 years strong, 10 years of supporting the community, Seriously, 10 years of helping Why isn't it written down on the slide there? 10 years of, because I get the fancy stuff, 10 <laughs> years of members learning Dude. the craft of running events. <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. And you want to talk about cheap? We ain't got no cheap available. We only got expensive options only. We got EVA Matchup Gaming. You know, yeah. the team behind what? LMBM, LMMM, Gommel, Toronto Joe Max. They do it better than everybody else for me, guys. Please follow them, of course, and support you, you, you them. You want to do the script EVA on Matchup on, uh, on the, what's it called, Gommel's plan. Yo, let's make moves. They got all these Twitter accounts and they provide so many good events. I feel robbed here. That was supposed to be my slide. Oh, my bad. Come on, man. Seriously. Here, you can have Production, do you want to slide something in too? You can have the next one. Coming so oh, okay. You yeah. can have this next one. Yeah, th th thank you, guys. It's going to be indeed the 10 years of anniversary of a Get On My Level. You're going to have Taken, you're going to have Smash Bros. You're going to have Reveal Theater, Street Fighter, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Guilty Gear. Every single one of the fighting games will be there. It's going to be best of five only. You can have top talents from all around the world. Again, this is a staple of the Smash scene here. So you can expect some of the European players to come to. You can use the code GOMELX for 5% off, uh, for five dollars off, sorry, uh, and sixty dollars venue fee till one uh, the first of August. Uh, 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 oh, sorry, the first, the eighth of January. You guys are, yeah, I remember. America, you are America, America flipped, America America flipped, flipped the flipped dates, it. right? The eighth of January. So yes. yeah, go on start.gg slash gummel. It's the perfect moment to go and register for these events. Want to add anything, or you're good? Oh, I don't need to add good? anything, bro. But what I want to do add, honey, oh, yeah, is yeah, something yeah. to my collection to about of, these guys. Uh, of clothes, bro. Because Smith, they do it better than anyone. <laughs> anyone. I'm gonna be honest, mate. The merch mate. is crazy. Like honestly, I'm gonna be real, guys. I, I always keep it honest. A lot of the merch, some of the events, usually kind of lacking. I'm seeing right there. There's nothing I don't want to get. Dude, this is Look the first time. Look at the K Can I say it? This is the first hoodie. time I ever see a design with a K roll on it. It looks so clean. It looks so clean. So yes, Smith. Thanks for the work, man. I love your work. We love your work. And yeah, this is the perfect moment again to support LMBM, but support also the word of Spiff. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, start.gg slash LMBM slash stop. You can see it right there, guys. Please uh, support them. Support Spiff as always, man. Their clothes, uh, all the threads in the world looking godlike. So, yeah. Let's make merch moves. I like Ahoy. that. Oh, Ahoy. 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 So I'm not, I don't know if you've played Nick. I'm a big fan of Nick. I, I'm what a big I want to see right now, oh, bro, is, second one, is crabs. I cannot believe crabs is coming to All Star. I'm only for that. I'm, I'm only. Not, for I want to see how he plays. I feel like he could be like a 
uh, a money mechanic type yeah, of guy. Yeah, that's my question. Guys, guys, he's gonna just play like Wario. Come on. No. Look at him. Look at him. Come on. Oh, keep up. Okay, you know what? You do the production stuff, and we do the commentary, I feel right? Like if, if okay. People have played, Wario, if no, people no. have played Slap City, I feel like he could be like a Definitely. business casual man. Exactly. Like a, like a you know, get all the money and then no. sometimes the guy it plays out. around you know I mean? money. This is sure. This yeah, is certain. Sure, sure, he's going sure. to be. Oh, the more money you got, the better you Especially are. Especially because Luminosity, uh, not Luminosity, uh, Ludosity are also behind Slap City as well. So I feel like they could definitely no. incorporate something about that. I hard agree on this. He's going to be like an all in character. Like, you keep on winning if you win, but if you lose, you're going to like yeah, something, stay behind. Something about money. I want to see him like this. Definitely. Production, you say nothing. You just go for the next line, okay? <laughs> go on. I'm boxing production around. Brawl too. It's a fun game. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I'll oh, man. And always support Casey, man. Uh, Cries. I don't know how you said it. I, I call him Zen. But either way, Zen is one of the best graphic designers uh, in the scene. They do so many, so much good work. I see them all the time. I believe they're with EMG as well. So, you know, EMG always do the best that they can. And, you know, they've been on uh, LMBM, LMMM, and, of course, Gommel as well. Like, literally. Uh, look at all the support that you can. You know, the, their Gmail, the Twitter as well. They are a godlike uh, designer. They sure. are. And if you don't believe us, just... They are behind so many things for LMBM, for uh, LMMM, that's what they say, and GOMO. <laughs> like, you can't have faith in them and the quality of their work, for sure. Oh, yeah, I love this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've been absolutely okay. sweeting up to kind of present this humming. Bro, there's nothing more I want to see with you than that the, the beekeeper, humming bro. beekeeper. The humming beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the, my question is for you is he a bee or is he Jason Statham? He's the beekeeper. He's the beekeeper. He's neither. He's Obviously, neither. guys, if you haven't heard about this film, uh, coming out on January 12th, Jason Statham, I love all of his films, honestly. I'm a big fan of him. Definitely. And he's got one coming up uh, in the beekeeper. You know, there's going to be a lot of things going on uh, in this film. The directors of Suicide Squad and Fury. So you know it's going to be a good film, bro. I'm excited to see it. I'm absolutely excited. And I would say, honestly, like I'm saying, I want to see it with my honey love with you. Oh, come on, you're a keeper, you know that, oh, right? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> anyway, guys, ladies and gentlemen, hope again you had a good time with us. It was a very good way for us to show also like start a weekend with you guys. So. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, stay tuned. We're going to have a quick break, and then we are going to move on another side event, is it? Uh, I'm not super sure what's on next, but either way, guys, keep stay it locked tuned. in. Where were you going? Obviously, if you go? enjoyed what me and Humming could do, please let us know. We're always trying to be, you know, the best that we can. Yeah. Cheers. See you soon. You're telling me one man did this. And the only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. A beekeeper, a beekeeper? Well, that's not good. Beekeepers is a special program outside the chain of command. And the system is corrupt. I correct it. You are a problem. Damn right I'm a problem. Honey? It's flammable. Who oh, no. The Beekeeper. Rated R. Only in theaters January 12th.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Luminosity Makes Big Moves, and let me be the last person to wish you guys a happy new year. I am uh, the Shuffle Squad's very own Koopa, and I'm very pleased to be here uh, with uh, my man, uh, Chopper. Brother, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Came all the way from Puerto Rico. Ooh. For about a four or five hour flight. I got here and it was 19 degrees. It felt like 19 degrees and I was <laughs> definitely, definitely in need of a couple sweaters. But we're here now. It is nice <laughs> and warm within the New Yorker Hotel in Manhattan and I am so excited to be here. Yeah, as a fellow Puerto Rican, I too am suffering in the cold and I wish I was on the beach <laughs> uh, with a hot bowl of mofongo right now. But, ah. oh. So good. Que rico. Ooh. <laughs> but we're here to bring you guys the heat in terms of Super Smash Brothers action this weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, double so far. Uh, you know, um, uh, Fabs and Humming did a great job. Yes. They're closing us out there. And we're going to bring you guys into what I think is going to be low-key one of the best things about this weekend. The uh, National Arcadian. Uh, none of the current Lumi ranked players are able to enter. And if you were formerly power ranked on a big power ranking, um, you are not allowed to enter. So this is in, in a winner takes all. You know, we're going to have a, a real uh, underdog winner here. So, you know, so we're going to see, uh, obviously, a lot of players here are, are, are uh, you know, going to be in the mix you know, for the championship title here. And to be fair, you know, you're going to see some players in some unfamiliar situations, Chopper. Yep, absolutely. And we're going to have Eliakim and Cypher start us off in the Arcadian bracket. We are seeing Falco versus Snake. Now, this could be a problem for Snake, especially if he continues to put on that combo game that we shortly love and adore, Koopa. Yeah, so obviously, you know, the opinion of Snake, depending on who you talk to, is Chase Red Ultimate. Snake is a top five character, in my opinion, when he's not getting hit. Now, the problem is, you know, when Snake's getting hit, he feels <laughs> it's, it's pretty rough disadvantage wise for him. Uh, and even one of the biggest advantages the Snakes has in most matchups is that he's able to recover high. Not many characters have a toolkit that is equipped to deal with that. Falco, however, two, one of the best double jumps in the game, being able to combo very well vertically, very well equipped to being able to hit Snake in areas where uh, if you're uh, Eliakim, you're probably not used to being, able, being rushed down at. Yeah, now the forward throw actually sending him to the side. This is a situation where you always want Snake to be in, especially trying to cover the spaces on the outside because of their telegraph recoveries, particularly the Falco Phantasm side B actually sending him a little slower than usual. It could be a lot easier for you to get him, but when you have Sweet Chip music on deck, it is not going to matter. First stock for Snake. Yeah, the Sweet Chip music in that up tilt has been one of Snake's best moves for well over a decade now, and being able to be the, the big equalizer there. And now, you know, we're going to see Eliakim get to maybe play a little bit more of that defensive snake game. You know, uh, 176 damage on the docket right here. Going for a heat check forward error off the tech row right there. Not going to get it. And rolling through the Falco Phantasm. And again, can kind of start taking some favorable trades here. Not really worry. And trying to put up some decent extra credit here on Cypher. Yeah, this is actually a pretty particular spot for Falco to be in. Now that Snake is actually at upwards of 150 plus percent. The guarantee is going to be right there with that up tilt if he manages to get the grab in. So they need to be careful, especially when they actually try to get Falco a little higher. Ooh, the Cypher uh, uh, giving a little uh, hitting Cypher there. Oh. There we go. Some more sweet shit music. So uh, Eliakim getting uh, a lot and then some out of this first stock. Could potentially be on the throat of a three stock here. Yeah, just as you mentioned, Koopa. Snake is definitely one of the best characters in the game when they are not getting hit, and we are seeing Eliakim playing it to perfection nearly. Losing that stock because of the hit that Falco actually made him. Now, let's see if the Falco combo game can come into play as we're seeing it now. Yeah, there we go. Able to get a nice little ch chunk of percent there, but you see one of Snake's best get out of jail free cards is that grenade pull, and the trade is going to be, again, when you're up by this much, you're very favorable for you. And again, the high recovery is something that Eliakim has in his arsenal. There we go, the dare not hitting the, the proper way and the up tilt. Gonna be the MVP of that game, taking three of three socks. So you love to see it, you know, uh, definitely a crisp first game there uh, for Eliakim. If you're a Cypher, you probably, you know, think about what you could have done a little bit differently. And, you know, you're definitely well within in the, the reach of it uh, in that first stock. But once Eliakim was able to build up this huge lead here, there you go, the dare just missing the wrong way. Get a, <laughs> kick him right in the rear end. So. See it one more time as well, a <laughs> projection. Now I get a woo! <laughs> yes! There we go! Oh. That's some fried chicken right there. Yeah. Game two going <laughs> underway, and we are actually moving the small battlefield this time. Looks like Falco wants it up close and personal. 
yeah, you know, again, a little bit of a smaller stage, a little bit of a tighter platform layout, uh, and, you know, no no middle platform for, uh, uh, you know, for Saint to hide on here either that when you get on regular Battlefield. So, you know, let's see a little bit of a tighter real estate here. Let's see if it makes a difference here uh, for Cypher. And there you go, already off to a pretty nice percentage lead here. And really doing a great job at those juggle situations as well, trying to shark the snake as much as possible. Now actually down air, barely missing the back air that time. Grenade exploding, just clanking on the shield, but the multi-hits are actually going to grab a grenade. That's why we're seeing it explode again. Now a lot more usage of the grenades by the snake this time around. Yeah, Grenade just makes such a great defensive tool up front. You've seen a couple of combos so far oh. from Cypher as the up tilt once again taking its fourth stock of the, of the set so far. You're seeing a lot of instances where these combos would be true coming out of Falco and any other character but because you have to account for Grenade in your area of effect. It's making these combos a little bit harder for Cypher to, to, to finish here. And now a similar situation to what we saw in the first game. Multi-hits actually getting them. Gentlemen, jab 49. Managing to dodge, now forcing the issue on the defensive options. Definitely doing well, but responding back with a back air. Just 71% of extra credit. This could be pivotal, especially for Cypher, trying to get that game three. Yeah, go for the down air at the ledge there. And again, the grenade providing such great coverage uh, on the ledge right there for Eliakim. That's a neutral air. Gonna reach through for Cypher, but the falling back air. That move lingers for way long. And there you go, gets the down air and the, uh, the forward air follow up. But not able to get the back air out of the Cypher. Gets it there, though. Once again, the side beat is uh, back air. Proving to be a potent offensive option. Yeah, used it quite a few times. It be it's become a little stale, so not quite going to have the knockback that you need, especially for somebody like Snake, who's pretty heavy. <laughs> In the least, Falcon Phantasm. Recovery Boom. on that side. <laughs> nope. Not quite going to be able to do it. It was really recovery, but an even better offensive option by the Falco. They're going to landing there once again, opening up a combo opportunity there, but just missing the grab follow-up. Oh, wait a second, gets it there! Snake too heavy though, not going to be enough. Oh, almost getting the back air off the rebound. <laughs> Pounce him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dash of that going to get the job done. Not necessarily known for its killing powers, but we'll take it there. Yeah, 94% on Snake this time. Molt hits one more time. Actually drags it down, gets hit by the grenade. And now Snake trying to find that, but the back air is going to seal it right there. So Falco responding. Yeah, you saw that was a combo that Cypher was uh, looking for a lot in that first game. That uh, landing back air being able to auto, you know, being able to uh, follow up with the back air itself. Um, something that was missing in that first game, obviously, but you saw it worked in fruition very well in the second game, getting a lot of uh, utility out of it. Yeah, we're seeing the replays one more time. Sweet chip music up. Tilt working dividends for Snake in general. Falco Phantasm just Ooh. sending them downwards. <laughs> Grabs the ledge one more time. We're actually running it to Pokemon Stadium 2, which is a good pick for Snake, especially if you want to keep that distance. And there we go. Cypher, uh, excuse me, side beat. Uh, you know, being the opener there for Cypher. You know, being able to get around this area of effect that Snake's able to set up, you know, so nicely around him. And the falling up there, too. Nice little combo string right there. Cypher has himself a bit of a lead here. Let's see how Lycan's going to respond. That downer has been very, very good for them. Uh, you know, whether they be reading a spot dodge. Whoa, goodness, watch out. So Oli Bacholi actually trying to keep it together. We've seen the combos in play after that up air. 100 plus done. Combinations from the grenades as well. They're sending them right onto the right side. Cypher Ooh. with dodge. Just a regular dodge. He just waits it out, hits him with the back air. Yeah, you know, some rough DI on that back air initially from Eliakim. Forced him to take a much more parallel route to the stage, leaving him wide open for a back air. But Eliakim able to clean up the stock nicely with up air. And good recognition on the snake right now. He was holding the grenade while he saw the multi hits. As soon as he saw the grenade exploding, then follows up with the up air for that stock, trying to keep it as even as they possibly can. Definitely a dangerous scenario there to go for that Falco uh, Phantasm, especially when it puts you in an offstage scenario. So pay attention to, again. You, know, you see that Cypher definitely tends to favor that move a bit. So good parry once again from Eliakim. Also a, a factor here as we're getting a lot of uh, good follow ups out of these parries on shield. Now we're seeing the lasers actually coming out a little more. Noticing that Sonic is actually going extra aggressive that time. Woo! Oh, fair. Maybe he recognized that the presents were not enough for the back air. That's why he actually went for the multi-hit that time. <laughs> a third up tilt in a row. Dare I say, yeah, it's pretty good. There you go, Dash is not going to lunge once again. That's going to clean up that stock again. Maybe a little bit of suspect DI from Cypher. Not expecting to get hit by that late hit of Dash attack. And that's going to put Lycan back on top. There we go to back her off the top. 
I would expect nothing more from the Arcadian here in Chopper. 1-1, last talk in the first set here. Let's see who's going to have uh, the true grit to come out on top. And that's attack missing on the side of Snake. We continue to get that corner pressure, but now drag down Ooh. Nair into up throw. Barely going to miss that down air. That would have been so control. sick. <laughs> yes, it would have. Yes, it would have. Actually trying to reflect the grenades as much as possible. They are a nuisance, especially when you try to pay attention to everything that's oh. on the stage. Actually, Gwen's for the dodge doesn't have invincibility on the ledge. Yeah, that could have been a way bigger punish there, but Elijah committing to it, uh, a very, uh, let's say, Fafsha, doesn't matter. The Nikita, which was kind of a non-factor the whole set, you know, a little bit of a, Fafsha's recovery is a little bit too quick, you know, to really get those, mm -hmm. uh, those Nikita shenanigans uh, out there, but able to come through there in, uh, when you need it the most, so. Real tight first set between these two is going to be Eliakim uh, moving on. Yeah, especially when we saw the recoveries and we were actually discussing it throughout the course of the set. Um, spaces in general are going to be susceptible to different edge guard situations, and that's exactly how they actually managed to seal the game at the end with the Nikita. Brilliant projectile placement, and we're seeing it right there. Just enough distance. The Falco is still active while using Falco Phantasm. Unfortunately, going to lose his stock. Ending up in loser's side. Yeah, so we're getting rough stuff there. There you go. Ah, the HO3K classic. The slow motion fist bump. Great form. Great form of the fist bump, you know. Absolutely. I think it's very important to, to go into the into the post game as well as you do go into the pregame. You need know, strike stages. You should also be allowed to strike. Do you want a handshake? Do you want a fist bump? Are we gonna hug like you know, yeah, do you want to fight like <laughs> <laughs> we can settle this outside like men, you know, so but nonetheless though, we none of that there. Good clean fist bump to clean up the set. We love to see it. Great yeah. percent there. So. Great percent. Exactly the way that you're supposed to start off in Arcadian, if I do say so myself, Koopa. And up next, we're actually going to have Bobo versus Temptation. So that's going to be super interesting. As we continue on to Arcadian Pools, and Luminosity makes big moves. Yeah, and I hope everybody's having a, you know, a good time uh, here this weekend. Uh, oh, Actually, production is letting us know a little bit of a switch. It's going to be Panther, MK, and Brujo. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna cool. have yeah. So we're gonna have that the next match coming up uh, on on deck for us. Obviously, we're gonna have Bruho and Panther MK, like you mentioned. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, hope, hope everyone at home is having a good time so far. This is one of my favorite events of the year. I could be biased because it's 25 minutes from my house, so oh, <laughs> I, I get to drive here. I got a parking spot right across the street, Ooh. so we're uh, we're cooking. Parking here. spot in Manhattan. Let me tell you. I'm going to give you guys a, a bit of advice. I'm going to post this on my Twitter later, too, so make sure you yes. follow me. If you are driving in this weekend, download the Spot Hero app. You're going to be able to pay for, our, you know, most parking garages in New York City are going to charge an arm and a leg for, the, for an hourly rate. So what you do is Spot Hero lets you pay for hours of parking Ooh. at a flat rate. Ooh. So or I parked in a garage where, you know, let's say, you know, I paid less than 40 bucks for parking for the next, like, 12 hours. Okay. So I'm paying that much money, whereas 40 bucks in the garage will get you like two, three hours at the most part. Yes. So download, download. There's tons of parking apps. There's an app for everything now. So by download Spot Hero, not sponsored by me. <laughs> so uh, just a, a, a guy that's gotten way too many parking tickets in New York. Before. Ah. Uh, so yes. Trust me. <laughs> Sources say trust me, bro. <laughs> well, it seems like our players are ready to go for these next few sets. Yeah, we're going to get into it here, Brujo. Okay. <laughs> I am enjoying what I'm seeing on the stream. We're getting a King K rule. And we're also getting Fox. We have seen Fox before. Light was playing doubles until they was playing Falco. So a little bit of a debut for Luminosity makes big moves in particular for the K rule. Yeah, now King K rule, great character. If, if you, uh, a great spectator character. Yes. I love this character a lot yes. as, a, as a spectator. Now, depending on the matchup, it leaves a lot to be desired. However, I think against Fox, I think he has he definitely has a fighter's oh! chance. Because you can do that. Good night, sweet prince, as the back air it will connect on that spike. And that's gonna put Bruh oh! up. Oh, Bruh. Not again! Oh! Oh! <laughs> nasty! You are nasty! There is crocs in the water, there are pigeons in the street. We are truly out here in New York, baby. Oh, as man. Bruh up is off to a huge start on Panther MK. And I can just feel the tilt <laughs> happening in real life right now. Man, Chopper. this is every Fox's nightmare. Being two stocks behind a heavy that is giving them a run for their money. 
And it can be so difficult for Fox if it's not for a straight hit like a back here to actually take away these stocks. He is going to be able to actually get that edge guard situation one more time, forcing him with that back air. Two stocks to go. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, and you see Brew here just kind of playing with house money up super big right now. Uh, gonna get nicked by that forwarder coming down. And again, like you said, once Fox gets out of the, once they're out of those few guaranteed percentages for Fox, they basically oh! use both Fox harder. Red to filth, as the kids say nowadays. <laughs> on that up smash on the platform. Vicious. My gosh. <laughs> Vicious assault. <laughs> Seeing a couple of instant replays. Actually managing to get that <laughs> spike right then and there. 61%, but the blast zone actually shrinks on the bottom side when you get a spike, so that actually helps quite a bit. <laughs> Seeing it one more time, and then down there. <laughs> Skadoosh. Let me tell you, nothing is more of an endorphin factory than hitting King Carol's back air with uh. a spike. That makes sure that like, you can be having the worst day known to man. Like, fired from your job, girlfriend broke up with you, you hit that back air spike. Woo! Makes the whole day worth it. <laughs> you grow your hair back yeah. <laughs> after getting that back here for sure. Uh -oh. oh, no! Goodbye. Oh, oh. the fear. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. I would have done the same thing, especially if I'm using Firefox right on the ledge. Oh, oh no. angled forward smash. <laughs> this Carol does not give a single F. Yeah, he's, he's got the boxing gloves on his hands. He might as well have the Tims on his feet at this point. Uh, truthfully, like this is very truly, uh, it, it's all just coming to Brujo right now. I mean, if you're in pants with MK, you're definitely feeling it a little bit. There you go, good forward air from the ledge right there. Jaleese trying to give us a fighter's chance here. Now there are a couple of moves that K. Rool has, like that up tilt that we saw beforehand, the small upper guy that's about frame five to frame seven, if I'm not mistaken. I'll look that up in ultimate frame data. Still doing a good job at maintaining all stocks, and again, when you get hit as much as the Fox does, it is so difficult for you to try to approach. Ooh. Now we are seeing Sharking available with that second upper actually closing it out. 90% of extra credit, though, for the K roll. Yeah, excellent stuff right there, but again, Brujo having that factor just being, you know, one or two hits away from securing another stock here. You know, if you're Panther MK, you're just trying to find a way in. You know, utilizing the Fox's really good low percent combo tools on a big body like K. Rule. Ooh, but that crowd doing such a great job interrupting the flow of things. So they're getting a couple of up tilts. This should be plenty percentage, especially if you're ready for that Fox combo Ooh. game. Manages to actually super armor it. Yes. Gets 85 for it. The stomach armor providing great coverage on landing there for Brujo, an option that can be utilized here uh, from King K. Rule. Gets nicked at the ledge by that dash attack, and great pivot turnaround for the back air. Not, yeah. easy, not, not an easy combination of buttons to hit, but you know, uh, very you'll be very much rewarded for your uh, for your actions. Landing there, punishing the fox, trying to look for a punch of their own. Response back, that was a big oh. Oh, an interaction oh. right there. <laughs> Counter on the outside. Brujo can pretty much do no wrong. We are gonna break the fox's back. One stock away from advancing onto winner's side, Brujo is. Yeah, we are in New York City, where we're going to be without the main, uh, you know, up throw KO right there. Molded by the darkness. Okay. Sleep trying to establish that stage control. They're looking for openings right then and there. The crown toss being very pivotal, especially Ooh. trying to get those combos in, manages to actually punish with that jump cancel up smash. 63% is the difference between life and death for the Fox. Yeah, if you're a space, and again, you're a space, <laughs> and any sort of percentage like this can be dangerous. Gets the forwarder out. Ooh, once again. Oh, covering Not with like the this. Nair. Upper? <laughs> oh, trying to read the match as well. Up till could have worked there. I just checked an ultimate frame data. That's a frame five move if you've ever seen one as well. Yeah. 170% now forward, still sending him right to the side. One more time, second jump to actually grab the ledge. Good recovery from Fox. Oh. There you go, the side is gonna connect right there. Again, all it's gonna take is a stiff breeze at the ledge and it's gonna be enough to knock out Panther MK, but Brujo having a hard time finding the closing hit here. That forward is gonna do a good job setting up the stage here. All oh. he needs is a grab, 81% though. On to Fox, now actually getting him with the Nair. No, no, it's not gonna be quick. Directional air dodge used. Nair one more time, <laughs> sweet spot. A K rule, getting a clean set win and advancing to winner's side. Good stuff right there.
What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer? Uh, and I'm certainly a believer in the King K. Rule. That was an excellent set right there from Brujo. And again, that's the sort of thing you're going <laughs> to see in these, uh, these deeper uh, Baraka runs here. And unfortunately, the downer that was not meant to be uh, Panther K going on his own terms there. So he's trying to swag on him a little bit more <laughs> with that counter, too. Backbreaker, like you mentioned, the fool of the tongue yeah. <laughs> by Bane. I was molded by it. So good. <laughs> Koopa's so good at impressions. I can, can only do a half, <laughs> a half good Mickey. Oh, oh there you go. And, uh -huh. <laughs> and great uh, form on a fist pump as well. We love to see it. Yes. All around another uh, great set right there. And again, you know, we have a... You know, Brujo not from Florida, but big Florida presence here this weekend. What's a you know uh, a Florida a big Florida presence without having a couple of crocodiles? Oh, of course. Through, you know what I'm saying? Of course. So <laughs> that does make sense. By the way, I'm gonna play a game with everybody here this weekend. I advise you guys at home. Uh, are you aware of what the Florida Man game is? No. So it's sort of like looking up your horoscope. If you guys Google Florida Man and your birthday, that is your Florida Man. Ooh. So I advise everyone, when you, so uh, tweet at me your Florida mans. So tweet at both of us uh, what your okay. Florida mans uh, are going to be. That's actually going to see. <laughs> it's a great party game. Play with your friends. Right play with your not friends. Okay. Play with your neighbors. So I'm actually doing it right now. Let's yeah. go. Florida and while you do that, we're going to, uh, again, we're going to talk about what we got going on in the uh, in the, in, uh, the next match we got going on. We got Wilds going up against uh, Minty Flesh. Is that the Minty? Is that the Minty? I think it is. We're all, we're all Minty. So we're gonna see Samus, maybe. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> okay, my Florida man. It says Florida man cited for eating pancakes in the street. <laughs> that, that is a good one. That is that, a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna be playing this game all weekend, folks. So tweet, <laughs> at, tweet at me your Florida man headlines. I'd lo I'd love to know. It's one of my favorite party games to play. Yeah, of course. Go ahead and interact with Koopa a lot more. You can follow them on the corresponding Twitters as well. Phenomenal commentator, and I'm more than honored to actually be here, actually getting some casting done as well. So. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You know, <laughs> I know uh, it's been a, a a long 2023 for most of us, but excited to yes. get to 2024. Uh, you know, and see what uh, you know what beholds all of us here. Uh, and again, I'm just excited for let's make for let's make moves to be back in New York City. This is yes. one of my favorite events of the year to go to, both for in its proximity and in terms of the action. Max and company always puts on a great show uh, for us, and we're going to continue to keep the good vibes uh, going. I see Minty sitting down here. Looks like Wilds is also sitting down. So. And I'm excited, man. Especially if Minty's uh, truly going to be playing the Mega Man like we expect him to oh. be playing. Mega Man, spectator favorite, one of my favorite characters yeah. uh, to watch. One of my favorite game franchises of all time. Shout out to Mega Man throughout all of its iterations. One of my favorites. So Yeah, I've been meaning to actually start grinding every single Mega Man game. So I bought every single one of the games, like the Compendium, um, through the Nintendo eShop. So I pretty much own every Mega Man game now. Wow. So I got to stand out one by one by one. I'm a huge Battle Network fan. That's my oh, favorite franchise. So. My man. Yes. Taste. Koopa gets me. Taste. Yes. I love those games. Oh, those my games God. It's so good. I actually follow a little bit of the competitive scene as well. They, Those guys get very creative with their sets. Yeah, I guess if, if Dark Blues is here this weekend, we'll, I'll talk to him about competitive uh, Battle Network. That's my... It's really good. <laughs> and they have rollback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> for but, uh, sure. Like you mentioned beforehand, Koopa, there, pretty much there isn't a better way for us to start 2024. Yeah. You know, it's been a pretty difficult 2023 for a lot of us, like you mentioned beforehand. It Long seems year. like a collective thing throughout, but it is up to us to actually try to make it a little better and just try to bring you some a little bit of comedy in the comms and uh, a little bit of exciting gameplay now as we do have both Wilds and Minty Flesh just about to start off. Yeah, it looks like we're getting uh, seated down here. So uh, curious what is it, how it's going to shape out here for uh, you know for Minty. Obviously, uh, it's going to depends on who the matchup is going to be against. If it's any sort of like a rush jump character, it might be a little bit of a of a rough start mm -hmm. uh, for him. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see uh, how it all shakes down here. Yeah. Now this. Stages of the meta, Kuba, are actually some of my favorites because characters like Mega Man uh, are some 
people are just stuck in a lab for years <laughs> before actually coming out and eventually bringing out what Mega Man could actually do. So I feel like the more time that passes, the more tools every character is going to get. And I feel like the oh, Mega yeah. Man community in particular are going to find some wild stuff. Yep. And Minty, a veteran of multiple Smash games, uh, plays a pretty mean Samus in Melee. Uh, obviously, we talked, uh, Devin talked about he played Brawl as well. So a veteran of multiple Smash games. Um, you know, somebody who I've had the pleasure of talking to uh, a number of times. Really, really cerebral, uh, smart guy. So, uh, curious to see what Wiles is going to bring to uh, to the stage here. Yeah, just look at that backdrop, man. Just look at this, uh, the stage. Oh, the stage looks so great. Man, it looks so good. And as soon as we walked into the hotel, it just said, Welcome to Let's Make Big Moves. And I'm like, Oh yeah, my God. I love that. Oh, I, wow. I love that. that, that that's awesome. It's so. the little thing. Man, <laughs> Max, Luminosity Gaming have been doing such a tremendous job this weekend, and it's only Friday. I know, right? We still have a whole <laughs> weekend of stuff to go here. Like the uh, truth, truthfully, uh, you know, one of the uh, you know the best parts about the weekend is that when the Friday is so much fun, you still have two more days of Smash. Yes. To to. Yes. At least for me, it's a lot less stressful because I'm going to be on commentary and I'm not playing. I'm just enjoying <laughs> watching, hopefully taking some notes and seeing, oh, this guy's actually pretty good. Let me see what he's doing. And I can bring it up and seem, quote unquote, smart <laughs> in comms as well. So <laughs> trying to do my research, too. And again, an opportunity to cast with a lot of people as well. It's, it's, it's such a good event. You should really stop by if you can. And if not next year, for sure. Yeah, listen, you know, if, trust me, New York, New York City can be a little intimidating uh, to, the, to get to our time of the year, but trust me, you guys are going to get your money's worth. Uh, when, and it looks like we're just going to have a, a quick button check uh, here to start. But uh, yeah, listen, there's, there's so much, you know, the event has to offer, whether it be in terms of friendlies, in terms of just, uh, just raw stuff to do. Uh, but also at the same time, you know, you have, you know, you're, you're in New York City, you're in Manhattan. Yeah. You know, you're going to be able to, to sightsee. Madison Square Garden is literally right across the street. So uh, if you're into basketball, if you're into hockey, you know, if the, of course. the Knicks and the Rangers just happen to be in town, you know, nice. go check that out. As, a, as uh, I think last year there was, it was, I think that was rodeo season. So I think the rodeo wow. might actually be in town. Wow. The yeah, they, yeah there's, a, there's a rodeo circuit that's usually in town around this time of year. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think that that may be happening. Well, I'll see. We'll see what the set of yeah. SG tomorrow. Of course, uh, but it's usually around like the first or second week of January that the rodeo is in town. You heard it here, oh. folks. Koopa's gonna take me to the rodeo, and we're gonna go into the rodeo here. <laughs> Yo, dog, you thought it was a button check? I lied. They're actually playing each other. Oh, and we well, there you at go. That. <laughs> yeah, Minty has oh. to start with two stocks. He's uh, playing uh, Mega Man Hard Mode. Uh, but yeah, so Wilds rocking the Kazuya Mishima, and uh, Minty obviously playing. Mega Man here, down uh, a stock, and kind of rough stuff here. I, I can't necessarily say I've seen this matchup a lot, but I imagine Kazuya uh, can give Mega Man uh, quite the fits up close. Up close and personal is not the name of the game for Mega Man. Likes to throw out everything but the kitchen sink when it comes to their offense. Actually moving away, Electric God Fist right from the get-go as well. Now, actually the rage disappearing after 150% that time. Mega Man just going to toss him right outside. Not quite going to be enough. Kazuya is a heavy boy. Ooh, and able to get through the uh, the hard knuckle there as well. Minty getting a lot of mileage out of these grabs. and just trying to reset neutral the best way that he can. That slash clock going to be the, the best way to end in the KO here. And there we go with the three-piece the three piece combo there uh, from Wilds as uh, he continues to extend his lead here. The up air going to catch Mega Man coming down. And there we go. Slash clock landed its smooth marker. So, yeah. 97%, you know, Mega Man is a bit of a bulkier character. Sometimes it's so much damage, oh my god. <laughs> Why does that kick reflect? That's yeah. my question. Like, bus swords are sharp, man. Like, ever tried to, like, I wouldn't even think about putting my foot near one of those things. Oh, sure. Like, he ain't got sure. no shoes on, dog. That's crazy. Actually moving in. Electric Ooh. that time. That's a confirm if I've ever seen one. And wild showing how wild their Kazuya is. Actually giving a run for the money for Minty Flesh. Yeah, down up one stock uh, here on Minty. Again, Wilds is trying to extend his lead here, but a nice little usage of the Leaf uh, Shield here uh, for Minty. Doing a lot of damage up close. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad, Minty. Doing a really good job there. Getting those conversions in. And part of the reason why the Leaf Shield in this matchup could be so interesting to see, Koopa, is because Kazuya has a frame 7 jump, so there's not really much he could do actually go outside, and we're seeing it one more time. They're trying to jump out of it, but they don't seem to be able to. 
Yeah, no, they get that, uh, like I said, that, that awkward jump uh, uh, angle is definitely going to make things a little bit more difficult here. Range drive on deck, though. So if you're minty flesh, you definitely have to be a little bit careful. But again, as game control of this game, after being down uh, basically the majority of it, and then it's going to leave shield coming out being huge here. Yeah, just trying to zone him out. Now, Minty actually recognized it. As soon as they saw that they were doing it from the start and there was nothing that they could do, oh! just kept on hitting it. The roll in, safe option, trying to get that invincibility to for the bond to explode. Forward smash right to the face. Yeah. You know, Kazu looking a lot like uh, like Airman there with how effective the, the, the leaf shield uh, was. Uh, but again, you see some uh, real excellent stuff right there from Minty. Again, uh, you know, able to, you know, fight his way back into this is huge. You know, Kazuya having one, again, especially with a range drive on deck. Here we go, the hard knuckle into the the mega upper. You know, obviously Kazuya coming from Tekken, but let me introduce you to the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, with that uh, KO confirm right there. As Minty, like I said, down for the majority of that set, you know, able to, you know, stay calm, cool, and collected, you know, finding the combination that works, uh, having a chuckle with the crowd, and uh, finds himself up one game here. And yeah, Mega Man said, this is what a DP looks like. Yeah. Because we're actually <laughs> taking it right to the face. Not that he's not familiar. We did see Tekken Cross Street Fighter. The Street Fighter Cross <laughs> Tekken, rather. People what don't like game. mentioning the game, but it is what it is. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> so certain, somebody was certainly taken for a ride right there, for sure. Oh, so. Actually trying to go into game two. See if what adaptations they can go for. Wilds was actually doing a really good job of setting up that combo One. game with Kazuya. Go. But now the question remains: What is? <laughs> <laughs> what is he gonna do? Get down, about Mr. President! <laughs> My gosh! Like, I forget how fast that kind of that runs at you. Here we go. But I would—I actually expect to see a lot more of this, uh, truthfully, uh, in that game. It's just a, just a, the limits, you know, being able to add on some damage from a distance. You know, not really having to get in the scary real house of the Electric Wind Godfist uh, of Kazuya. And here is here we go. We're seeing what Mega Man. Uh, it's, you know, known best for it, just being able to shoot a lot of projectiles at you, make it really difficult for you to approach in on them. Going in that time, manages to get the corner, but get off me option from the Mega Man is the back air. Roll, sending him upwards. He's still managing to get that second jump. Now flips it away. Oh, oh. Electric. Oh! oh! <laughs> you have a God Fist, I have a short you can! Yeah. <laughs> There we go, the Electric Wind Godfist, not to be met, but the Mega Upper, that up tilt for Mega Man, such a potent uh, KO option. Uh, Gonna net the KO there for Minty. So able to get him on the board uh, first here. As soon as we're seeing it as well, Minty is actually playing a little disrespectful too. We are seeing a couple of uh, tilt downwards and just moving around, trying to move the shield away and feeling comfortable slowly but surely, just remembering, okay, this is how you play against this character. Oh. All right, but the up B there. Again, using the, the air shooter to just kind of keep uh, Wild suspended a little bit longer. Goes to that up B again, gonna miss that dash <laughs> attack. Going to obliterate Mega Man. To send him into the uh, the blast zone there and get that first KO on deck for Wild. Yeah, leap shields one more time, and every time Mega Man gets up close and personal, Wilds just wants to toss a button instead of actually grabbing the shield a little better. Ooh, managing a shield poke after two up airs, right? Yeah, Air Shooter doing such a great job uh, poking away at that shield. You know, multi-hit move able to eat away at your opponent's defensive options. And again, that back air just being such a potent KO move. Oh man, B reverse onto him. After leaf shield, like, <laughs> Minty is looking fresh. <laughs> there you go. The laser are gonna catch right there. Kazuya Mishima has a saw blade. <laughs> Get down. Not exactly what you want. Oh man, okay. Sending him right onto the side. 124 for the Mega Man. Not just to get him with the upbeat. <laughs> Mega Man silently falls to his death in the background. <laughs> so, what's the 81 on the docket right now? Definitely not something that can be made up by Wilds. All this yep. is one electric wind god fist up close. And that's gonna open oh, up the no. game for you. Ooh, that platform actually providing uh, great coverage there for Minty. Okay, hitting uh -oh. off. Already at 66. Sure you gonna do? Oh! Yeah, right in the hamstring. Wow. <laughs> okay. There we go. So Mega Man coming through. The CP, the uh, you know, the blue bomber himself going to uh, take it over Kazuya Mishima and uh, Wilds. And again, just 
Not able to get these follow-ups was, was kind of the, the Achilles heel for a while to see what again. Uh. He's going to miss the attack right there, and Mega Man going to destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> I love Production, that, why are you doing the kid like that? Come on, man. <laughs> Whilst he's just trying to play the game just like the rest of us. You can be us. the best player in the world. You can be uh, a pools match. Devin will find you, and he will point out the funny stuff. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> no one is safe. And again, the, that up tilt providing, again, the MVP of that set. We've seen a couple of characters on the stream so far with disgustingly strong up tilts. Yes. And uh, again, Mega Man's no uh, slouch whatsoever. The, again, the only, it's pointed out by Mr. Shocker himself, the only move where Mega Man physically puts his hands on you, and it's a good one. So. That in the grabs as well, but that doesn't really count, especially in this types of games. No. And the usage of every single projectile was something that I really found interesting. Now, Wilds, after getting hit by quite a few Leaf Shields, was actually managing to escape away from it. And, of course, Minty wasn't using him as much because they maintained the distance the Kazuya yeah. did, right? So um, there were adaptations and there were good stuff that we saw from Wilds. Unfortunately, not quite going to work out for him. Yeah, but, you know, hey, listen, that's why we have a loser's bracket, you know, so you gotta go ahead and, uh, you know, if you're wilds, you know, you got to play some more matches, which is always fun. Yeah. You know, you always love to uh, play a few more games, kind of have some more time to shake that rust off. And uh, we are going to get right into the next one with LRA Start uh, going up against Justice. So, you know, restarting the screen versus, uh, you know, the Justice system. So, <laughs> it's going to be something for sure. I'm interested in what characters are we going to see. The beauty about Arcanians as well, additional to actually putting on a spotlight for some of the players that are not PGR or Lumirank, and in general is also that we can see a different diversity of characters. We already saw K. Rool, we saw the Mega Man, we saw Kazuya. Um, debatably, we haven't seen them yet, especially in the double side. So pretty interesting stuff going on all around. Yeah, again, you're always going to see. I, I feel like you're always. Uh, bound to see some great character diversity, yeah. Uh, you know, in the Arcadian setting, because you know, there's so many characters in this game, man. Like, just like a bajillion. Don't quote me on that, but you know. Oh, okay. And, and now we are getting word from the big man upstairs. Uh, by the big man upstairs, I mean the guy to my what? Uh, okay. left. Devin, uh, <laughs> where De are you? Devin, Devin has ascended uh, <laughs> to. <a> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Justice uh, teamed with uh, Peepnut and uh, plays Min Min, so I love Min Min. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. I think uh, the character is so interesting. Yeah, yeah. I can... <laughs> I'll, name, I'll name three Devin, songs right now. I'm a fan. <laughs> speaking the truth. Devin going like, for real? <laughs> I love ramen. <laughs> I love how warm it makes me feel. <laughs> I love not having to pay X... <laughs> I love not having to pay extra for an egg. You know what I'm saying, dog? So, oh, for five ninety nine, you can be like me. Shout outs to Mighty Keith. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Shout outs indeed. Uh, but yeah, I think Min Min's, again. I, I think she's an interesting character. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters to play, like on on the low low. Like when I'm just trying to, you know, have a you know turn my brain off a little bit. Just being able. To, I love characters that are able to like reach parts of the screen without much effort. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Min Min's able to cover so much space in front of her. And we're going to see a uh, wolf coming down here. Uh, this can potentially be sort of a hairy matchup uh, if you're a LRA start. But here we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, already we're calling a, a flag on a plate, so. I think the controller might not be working or maybe expecting a button check or... Something's going on, but we are definitely going to get this right on track as well. So we did see the Min Min rocking. We have seen the Wolf rocking, and you were explaining the matchup a little bit there, Koopa. So can you continue to give that explanation while yeah. we wait for the... Yeah, so obviously, you know, Wolf's a character that is, you know, best right in, like most spaces, best right in front of your face. You know, Wolf is going to excel at the low percent with, you know, grab, and neutral is going to lead into a lot of stuff. Dash attack is obviously a potent KO option. Uh, back air is is has been one of the best moves in his arsenal since you know the game came out and then some. Uh, you know, so Wolf's definitely going to be a character that's best served in your face. Min Min's like, hey, I got noodly arms. <laughs> Have fun trying to get in, you know, uh, on my face. Um, I know whenever I would I commentate this match locally, it usually when the buzz was on his Min Min uh, era for a little bit, going up against Jackal playing Wolf. 
And Jackal, you know, would say it's just, it's it's tough, man. You know, Min Min's just able to control space so well, and when you have such a, a linear recovery, uh, you know, like Wolf does, it can really make these edge guard situations really really tough. Especially if you're out of resources like a jump or an air dodge. Yeah. Um, you know, Min Min just being able to you know cleverly throw those uh, you know those smash attacks past the ledge can make things very very difficult for you. So. And over the course of Smash Ultimate throughout the years. We are definitely seeing a lot more execution when it comes to advantage state in full. So as soon as a Mintman from the highest caliber, like you mentioned, the buzz actually gets you, that could be a problem. Yeah, it's, it's tough stuff for sure. So let's say we're uh, getting something completely different. Let's ah, it. okay. So a little bit of a rumble issue. <laughs> hate to see it. Nah, Production has no chill. I'm just gonna leave it there, cause. <laughs> Jeez. See, see, when you when, when you <laughs> when you've been around the block long enough, you know, me and Devin have known each other for well over a decade. Almost, I think almost a decade at this point. Like, it's been it's been at least for two minutes, maybe three. Yeah. Ten years. That's ten years, Devin. That's a decade. That's ten years. That's a decade. <laughs> if it was in Smash Four. I was 20 years old when I first started commentating. I am turning 30 this year, so I am ready to. You see, you see this balcony. I'm just gonna shut up and uh, see, 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 <laughs> yeah, see you guys on the other side. But, yeah, let's you know. I, I, that's why I love working with House so much. Devin provides not only such a great stream experience for the people at home, whether it be with you know the information he provides us as commentators, yeah. makes us look way smarter. Oh, of course. And also provides great laughs at home. The slow motion and fist bump is one of my favorite things about commentating on a house stream. Um, the slow motion pop offs. If we get to see that this weekend, oh my god, like. I still think about the one from uh, from Smash Delphia, <laughs> where the, the guy runs off the stage and Devin catches it all in slow motion. <laughs> it's one of my favorite moments of all time. So here we go. Fist bump from across the table. And uh, looks like we have solved the rumble issues. The rumble has been found. Hopefully so. it should be working. And it wasn't John's, like, yeah. <laughs> production mentioned beforehand. Game one! Let's get it! I don't think some people still use rumble. Is that, like, breaker controller? Or is that just another myth? Like... I could be talking out of my butt there, but I, mean, I don't. So. I don't know. I sometimes have it on, sometimes have it off. Some, I, it just happens. <laughs> oh, Makes your hands feel warm. Yeah, for feel sure. Toasty. But now we are seeing the similar to what we saw at the beginning of the restart. Actually, Wolf getting some combos in down smash, barely whiffing that time, trying to get some close quarter to mid range onto the min min. Yeah, like I said, well, if Valerie starts able to get in here on Justice. You know, like uh, he's been able to so far, it's gonna be a, a, an okay matchup for him. Especially because Min Min's recovery, you know, despite being a DLC character, it's always like, ah, I paid good money for this recovery. Well, Min Min, I feel like, wishes she paid a little bit more for it. Um, yeah. But that up smash is gonna scoop from the ledge right there. That's gonna be a huge start for LRA start. And yeah, now Min Min actually trying to play the distance game situation of edge guarding. Definitely favorable for the arms character. We are seeing them play keep away. Hasn't taken any damage for this stock as well, which is super important. Now yep. that the Shakram was coming out to actually curve on the ledge, managing to take the stock without pretty much getting any damage in for that second. Yeah, and I believe it was the Megawatt uh, just right up close that was able to take that KO uh, there. As you see, the you know the multiple nares that Mimut has to play with, always something you have to account for. You know, uh, definitely paying attention as to which one uh, she has uh, on a deck like there. There we go, the back throw going to catch. And here we go, the chakra once again, going to be able to scoop below that ledge. That'll be something you have to pay attention to if you're LRA start. As Justice has worked up a little bit of a nice percentage lead here. Now just sending the Dragon Fist right up the nose of Wolf. So trying to get a read in on the rolling. Yeah, had, the right, had the right idea with that down smash, just a little bit misspaced. Um, you know, obviously at the ledge is where I feel like both these characters are going to be able to do a lot of work. You know, Wolf, one of the best ledge traffic games in the game, as well as Min Min, so. Just battling for stage control. Back throw sending him to the left side. Jumping get up. Gonna try to get out of that ledge as quickly as possible. Another edge guard situation for both of these characters. Uh, Wolf can't go that deep, otherwise the recovery can be susceptible to a punish. There you go, back throw gonna set up another off stage scenario here. The Dragon the Fist not gonna be enough. The, the megawatt arm, there's uh, there, it's not going to be enough either. 
There we go, the up smash up close. A miss space grab will result in a punish there for Justice. And uh, that's going to be uh, LRA start on their last stock here. The start trying to get in on the Min Min, but as soon as you see him actually moving in under the platforms, it's so difficult for Wolf to actually get any type of approaches in. And he can't throw the projectile out as well, because otherwise Up Scratch is going to come out and try to reflect it. So what other things that they can do to actually try to keep or be as close as possible, Koopa? Yeah, that dash attack is definitely a good way to do so, is that Up Smash going to just sneak into the first row of seats there. Um, but again, Dash attack having a huge hitbox on it, with the, that late hitbox, then we can help maybe provide some coverage there. But again, once mid has got the, the Juice of Slow and Chopper, it's really, really hard to get onto this character, especially when, you know, when you're at a deficit, uh, they can kind of play a little more reserved. Now move actually trying to move ahead, just gets a one-two, little two-piece and a soda, done by Min, Min already at 119, differential of 100 plus, <laughs> megawatt. Right to the face, getting the roll in, trying to get it as vengeful as possible. It's getting difficult for Wolf when it comes to close quarters as well, so what can they do? Yeah, you know, LRS Heart definitely showed some great signs of life there. It's just unfortunately at the ledge, it's so hard sometimes for certain characters. See, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so no, Devin funny. is goaded. Also, Devin shout outs and also shout outs to uh, Justice for utilizing the the rule list on the back of the lantern. I feel like players always hey. forget they have option to that. It's worked. It's the first time ever I've seen a person actually utilize. Like ah yes, uh, I will. <laughs> I will man this stage. Such a good tool. Whoever invented that deserves a prize. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I wonder who's. I forget who was the first one to like get in on that. To, like put like the rules in the back of the. Uh, the Cash was actually starting to do it in, in their tournaments yeah. too. I don't know, I've been to so many tournaments over these years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it sort of blends together after a while. So eventually. Here we go, folks. We're getting into it here. Boop. Game two between Justice Three, and LRA two, Star. Like I said, if, if LRA starts able to capitalize on the lead trap opportunities, you know, being able to take advantage of where Midmid is at, this, you know, uh, forced to recover. You know, her recovery, like I said, ain't great. So. It's definitely something to uh, pay attention to, but again, just is able to control space so well, you know, will they even allow, uh, you know, LRA trying to get that close? We shall see. Okay, that's that coming in. 85% onto the Wolf. He's trying to maintain the stage control as much as possible. And trying to respond back, but the edge guard situation is going to come in one more time. Dragon Beam barely missing that time, too. Megawatt coming out. So far, so good for the Min Min. Yeah, there we go. That Mega Walk gonna provide uh, great coverage you. And there we go. The oh. chakra, the, the the loose one hitting up high, the charge one hitting down low where it hurts. And that is going to be a first sock there for Justice. He's so well so far too. But now the combos are starting to come in on behalf of Wolf, getting a laser in for a little 105 percent. Needs to get this stock as soon as possible. Cannot afford to get any damage in either. Ooh, there we go. The backer gonna connect to the platform, but a backer for LRA start is gonna provide a uh, you know a little bit of an opportunity here. And trying to go for a, a ledge trump uh, with the uppie. And there you go. Backer on the platform is gonna catch right there. So you see LRA start maybe pushing the envelope a little bit more. Went mid into these recovery situations. Dash attack to or down sort of dash attack. Guaranteed combo at low, at low to mid percents. Okay, now we're seeing the combos actually come in down there. Not quite gonna be able to do it. And he just escaped oh. up, down smash, <laughs> sealing the deal that time. The claws, baby. There we go, it's Wolf's down smash. A New York favorite, dare I say. Uh, that's going to come through in spades there for LRA start. So now finds himself in the lead here. How will Justice respond? Okay, they're starting to find the mark in. Using a lot more of the neutral beat, trying to throw that blaster in. Just to annoy, just poking at something. Already taking him up to 64. Setting him up one more time for the edge guard situation. Manages to recover that time. Now right. Mimmon's turn. Oh, okay. Just going to miss the, uh, <laughs> the, the the dragon laser. And again, that, that loose chakra almost providing uh, the same effect as last time. You know, forcing a low recovery, but unable to get the uh, the two frame with the charge one. Just be moving in one more time. That was the mega watt that sends him on to the left. Option to recover is going to be the jumping get up that time. Now 152% onto Wolf. It's looking dire for that stock. Still, 97% extra credit. 
With that back, that should be enough to force that game three. Yeah, excellent start right from LRA to start. Again, and once you're in the driver's seat, it makes everything so much easier uh, against Min Min. It, it, uh, you can play your game a little bit more. You can counter it. You can take a little bit uh, more trade against uh, the neutral air, the forward air and stuff. And there we go, the back air. Dare I say, folks, pretty nice. <laughs> so true, Bestie. So true. Instant replay one more time. Recovery with the jump get up. Picking different music that time. The back air hitting the marks. And now we're seeing the wolf pressure. Changing the angles as soon as you see them jumping, Koopa. Actually, that's how they're getting in. Using a lot more empty hops that time. Because most of the movements that Min, Min likes to go for are going to be horizontal options, right? So as soon as Wolf starts to go for the empty hops, it keeps Min Min guessing whatever they want to approach. All right, here we go, folks. We're getting into it here on a Hollow Bastion as our uh, last stage of the set here between these guys. We'll see who's going to come out on top. Like you said, you know, being at, at the ledge is where a lot of this was won and lost. You know, obviously Just is able to play inside out, you know, better than most characters can. So we'll see if that becomes a factor here. Gets the triple fair. I thought we could have maybe seen them go for the back air there, but not you know, overextending, uh, just letting the, the KOs come to him. And sour spot on that back air too. Still differential of only 3% that time, except for the dash attack. It's going to be the burst option that Min Min is going to go for. Ooh. Recognition again, horizontal rather than vertical options that Min Min is going for. You need to be careful, especially if you want to punish it with that up smash. Gets responded back. Now, charging situation manages to get away, trying to reset neutral as fast as possible. You see LRA start kind of fishing a little bit for the KO. There we go, the, the, uh, the charge uh, F smash will be able to to reach from the ledge right there. And again, if you're LRA start, you don't want to overextend in certain areas where you don't want to. The Wolf does, unfortunately, suffer from the space animal problem of once you're out of the, the few guaranteed percentages you have, it's kind of a crap shoot whether you're not going to be able to net that KO reliably or not. Yeah, if you get that stray hit in, fantastic. If not, you're going to be a little bit of a hill to climb, and that's what we're seeing right now. Dash Attack is going to be able to actually get them as soon as they saw him dashing onto the left stage. The Min Min just playing their zoning game to perfection in game number three. Seems like the, when the pressure is on, Justice is cooking a little bit more. Ooh, side B's onto the platform there. Could be a little bit risky. Again, now finds himself in a, the ledge scenario here. Able to get off you know, in between the arms, get a neutral air for his troubles. But again, just having a hard time finding that KO. It's going to have to be a raw option at the ledge, like forward tilt or something. Mega one there that time, 105%. Now the Shakram one more time. Managing to use the Wolf Illusion that time, side B, to recover. And they seem to actually going for that a lot more than just the regular. Ooh, wow, up throw. That could have definitely been a DI mix up right there. Maybe you catch LRA start maybe DI for back throw or forward throw. Instead okay. of going for the up throw, you know, it's a, a real quick throw option. Wolf's at a high enough percent. You have enough range. And it worked out there if you're Justice. So three stocks to one right now. If you're LRA start, you're definitely maybe feeling the, uh, the doors closing just a bit here. Life in winner's bracket depends on who wins this next game. It's looking pretty comfy Ugh. until now. Let's see if that is enough to try and shift the momentum into Wolf's favor. Yeah, it's going to be close. You know, it's... Oh, but... Oh, did he go too low? Okay. Thought for a second, he maybe dropped too low there for recovery. Able to snap the ledge. Could have potentially been dangerous for him. If you missed the ledge against Min Min, you were basically just asking to be... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, to be knocked out. She crams one more time. And that, that time delays. And that's a good option for Wolf in general because we did see a couple of side Bs in a row trying Ooh. to get him. Actually sending him right to the side. Doesn't have a recovery option. 118%. If the Wolf gets momentum, this could be dangerous. Oh, oh never mind. Directional air dodge. He's not going to be able to make oh. it that time. Recovery just about there. Not quite. Yeah, again, listen, like I said, if you're Wolf and you find yourself off stage against Min Min without one of your key resources, you know, air dodge or jump, it just makes getting back that much harder. And uh, that's going to be uh, Justice moving on and the winner side of things. And uh, again, what was a real barn burner for 7 4? Game 3, you know, really, really close. Uh, you know, outside of that last game, unfortunately, the three socks to one lead uh, definitely uh, leaves a sour taste in your mouth if you're, uh, if you're LRA start. But hey, man, we take those. 
Okay, so 117% now in the instant replay, trying to set up the edge guard situation one more time. And moving down ahead. A little bit of a momentum killer, but the Shakram pretty much being the MVP and trying to get the ledge that time. And you can't oh. say <laughs> where the road goes, <laughs> where the day goes, <laughs> only time. <laughs> the sad fall. There we go. Look at that form. Suck the landing. There we go. Firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, uh, I did it. And that's certainly, certainly he did some good stuff to justice. Moving on in winner's side of things. Again, stay in the winners, man. Huge stuff. Gives you better, just that much better of an opportunity yeah, to win big here at the Arcadian. For sure, for sure. And next up, we're going to have Monty versus Border Slash Hopper. <laughs> that's a name, all right. But uh, yeah, well, it's curious. Definitely a name. They are setting up the controllers right now. Should be continuing onwards. Winner semis of the pool, this one. So a uh, couple of high caliber players, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, you know, a, a tough uh, road to climb here. You know, you find something in the semis here. Uh, you know, we'll see what the matchup is. Uh, I don't believe, yeah. I, I believe, I don't know how many make it out of pools, Devin. So you, uh, that's right. You're not a TO. I shouldn't ask you this question. <laughs> if you're still there when I go back. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, we're just uh, waiting carefully as, uh, you know, Border slash Hopper uh, is taking the time. The music is actually bringing out the tension, too, <laughs> as we wait. I was saying, so it's good stuff on Dev. I love this playlist, by the way, in throughout the course of it. I've heard a lot of Golden Sun in here. I've heard oh, a yeah. lot of different games, and it's... Oh, I can't wait to play Golden Sun again on my Switch. Oh, yeah, the, let, let me tell you, man. The HO3K playlist goes so hard. So we haven't even scratched the surface yet of the cool stuff that Devin has to offer. Devin, what's your favorite song in your playlist? If you have to pick one. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He'll get back to me with yeah, controller setting up one more time. Like we mentioned beforehand, Monty, Border Slash Hopper, getting ready on winner's semi. A couple of rounds actually make it here. A couple of pools in the Arcadian bracket. And for those of you tuning in, this is Luminosity Bakes Big Moves, the Arcadian bracket this time, meaning no Luma ranks, no PGRs, just a couple of people that are trying to make a name for themselves, for sure. Yeah, you know, the, again, the rule state, if you've ever been ranked on the Lumi rank or any previous ranking uh, system deemed uh, official by the Smash community, you're not allowed to enter. This yep. is 100% for unranked national players. So, uh, you know, you're not going to see the buzz. You're not going to see uh, Tweak. You know, you're just going to you're gonna see your your the guys that make up the rest of your, of your local scene, most likely. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So, Yeah. Pretty exciting as well. Couple of big, I believe um, Wilds that we saw a little earlier was the number one player in Kentucky. So that's an example of the type of players that we are seeing currently in the Arcadian too. Yeah, another guy that came in from a probably warmer state than <laughs> the New York right now. So, hi, <sighs> tri-state man. Gotta love it. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow too. So yes, yes, yes. I'm kind of excited for that actually. I see. That's how I, that's how I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> I'm used to hot weather. Yeah. It's difficult, <laughs> especially when we're here. I almost froze my pants, but we are seeing <laughs> the next matchup, Border Hopper and Monty. So Palutena and Game Watch. Watch. Going a little bit more into the meta style, right? Game yes. Watch in particular, we are seeing a little bit of a surge when it comes to top eight play internationally. Yeah, it's this definitely feels very old guard versus new guard esque. Um, you know, Game Watch has always been consistently a top threat in uh, in Ultimate's lifespan. Just having so many great moves up close, so many great comboing tools, moves that keep that put you at disadvantage, and you can't do anything about it. Uh, Palutena, and again, it's fallen out of favor for a lot of people. Got uh, a couple of key nerfs throughout the game's life cycle, and she doesn't leave a whole lot to be desired durability wise. As that backer is going to connect, and that's a zero to death. Monty. Yeah, one of the slowest I've ever seen for sure, Koopa. And Palzena is definitely looking like a deer in headlights instead of the goddess. Uh oh. Oh man, trying to oh! go. Oh! Don't do it. 
Please don't do it to him. No. Get out! Oh, hey! Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Right, We're good. Now I can play the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there will be no JV4 on my watch. Oh. I haven't seen wrong. one yet in bracket. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see it <laughs> this time around. But uh, Monty can play for sure. They he they want to win this Arcadian badly. Even kids that get cold don't deserve to be zero, don't, don't deserve to be uh, four stocks like that. So Garden gets some hits in. No back air. Just sending Game of Watch to the side. Grab is not going to be as effective. Used to be the length of a Marth grab from melee. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily they patched that up. And then they're like, ah, you know, let's do something about this. <laughs> she went unchecked for too long. Ooh. All right, here we go. Trying yep. to find a way in right now, but uh, the border flash shopper having a hard time. They're grabbing them. Going to send them on to the right side. Just dropping bombs, bacon, fish, and chicken. Got to hit him <laughs> with a chair right in hit the face. The yeah. <laughs> He's got the steel chair on deck, JR. Yes, sir. He's gonna Rock go! <laughs> He's got him in hell! <laughs> That's Mr. Game of Watch, Steve. <laughs> Game of Watch! Game of Watch! <laughs> yeah, and again, this matchup, you, you know, I've always felt like as a long-time Valentina player, I've always felt like this matchup was always like kind of difficult, even like even like back there in Smash Four. But like this this Game Watch is just such an awkward character to have to fight against if you're any character. But like yeah. especially if you're like a small character, a small to the ground character that can like really uh, adjust how big your your hurt box is. Uh, you have a good up shield out of shield option, so I can't really spam your shield back or anything. So you'll have the means to punish me. Yeah, most of um, the moves that Palutena actually goes for that have some sort of distance are actually pretty slow too. Yeah. So as soon as you're trying to throw something out, up B. Yeah, it's it's so tough. You know, just be, having to play within the wheelhouse of such a dangerous character uh, is really really saying much uh, on both sides. A lot of people don't like playing a game and watch versus them. Just for that reason, it's a very streamlined game plan, but it's effective as heck. We're seeing it right now. The chair coming out, taking away Palutena's first stock. Still 82% on the Game & Watch, though. Yeah, excellent stuff right there from uh, the corner. Just trying to keep the lead uh, you know, manageable You know, for uh, Monty. Monty looking to run away with it. Gets a couple of nares in the up air. Again, just such great damage here from Mega Man. His damage output and his end is able to close out games. That's what makes this character so stinking good, man. Now actually trying to go in that time. Multi hits on to the Nair. Looking super comfy. Yep, yeah, definitely looking real uh, cozy right now. Yo, dash not going to miss. Again, going to cross up with the forward air instead. Great stuff. I feel like maybe there's more opportunity for Palu to go for other moves that can actually help them out a lot more. Maybe a lot more back airs could actually... Um, make some sort of difference in this matchup in particular, Kuba. I don't know about you. Here's some more back airs actually trying to get in. Yeah, have an, invinci have an invincible move in your kit. Pretty good. Dare yeah. I say. <laughs> of course. Supposed to be flame not hitting the mark that time. Two frame on that up B. And now, getting that stock away with that up tilt. A multi hit, but a good anti air. Yeah, in a world where Palutena saw a lot of her really broken tools taken away, up tilt continued to be pretty good. Uh, you know, whether it be drag down up up tilt or just up tilt raw on the platform, like we uh, like we saw there, just uh, makes such a difference in just uh, swaying the set in your favor. Also, not putting yourself in much harm's way. Short forward tilt is going to miss, and that's what I mentioned beforehand, Koopa. As soon as you see some sort of extension of any type <laughs> of hit, <laughs> okay, the madman. Okay, okay, my bad, my B, Monty, <laughs> uh, looking cheeky. Oh, there you go, dash tag again, gonna provide some good coverage going in. You, know, you have two invis invisible moves, man, that's what I'm saying, use them. Yeah. You know, use them as, yeah, again, it might not always be the same as the dude, but at least you're giving yourself a chance to, to uh, you know, break zone a little bit. Yeah, cut, getting hit with a couple of dash attacks now. The game of watching to be a lot more careful when they're going to do any type of approach. Now the counter comes out, they did anticipate that game of watch was going to respond in some manner. Not quite gonna be enough yet, multi hits actually coming in, the rapid jabs setting them up as well. Now, back airs are starting to be shielded by Monty. Ooh, that late hit, though. 
You have to, like, Franklin the Turtle is is such a a potent offensive option. I feel like that back air just lasts forever, Chopper. It does. Especially from a multi-hit, it's a lot similar to what I say Falco forward air. And you don't expect those last few hits to actually get you as to, until Ooh. he does the splits. And Franklin coming out one more time. I used to love that show. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to your house. They go just striking on the platform here. Do we see the back throw? Yep. Just gets position wise, reads the jump on the platform. Good night, Moon. Good night, Sun. Good night, Palatania. The game is won. Bars. As uh, Mr. Game Watch is going to come out on top there. So excellent stuff right there uh, from Monty. Again, it's such a, a tough matchup. You know, I feel like Palatina, uh, you know, really struggles against these, like, small, hard-to-hit characters that, like, they kind of have to get within their wheelhouse to, to get the KOs. You see the steel chair come through on, 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 on that first, <laughs> that first <laughs> KO there. Uh, shout out to Jim Ross, man. One of the greats. Oh, the best in the business. Oh, for like, sure. Legend. Like, absolutely. Like, if, if, you're, if you're an aspiring commentator and Jim Ross is not your... Uh, you know your 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 end goal. We're not. We're or all at least we're, we're one all of your goats for sure. One of them. I'm a big fan of Mauro Ronaldo, for example. Nigel McGuinness is actually really good too as a caller commentator. I love wrestling, man. I'm just yeah. a fan overall. Kenny Blankenship from uh, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. Yes. Is, you know, bring, bring up, uh, yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, if we're gonna go to New Japan, uh, Kevin Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Kelly is actually fantastic. Uh, Ian Riccoboni from Ring of Honor. A lot of good commentators, honestly. A lot. I've got a lot of good casters overall. Ted Lasso. No, no, Ted Lasso. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just making some up at this point. Yeah, I have a friend that actually loves Ted Lasso. I've heard it's a great show. I've yes, actually not watched yes. it yet myself. That's what I've so. heard as well. Uh, but we are gonna keep the good times a rolling here. I believe Melly's a local player, if I'm correct. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm still hip. I'm still with it. I'm still out here. So Melly, local Richter, speaking my language. As Hazmat does not arrive until tomorrow, I am the, the Richter guy uh, until further notice. So, so yeah. we will be seeing a Richter for sure, and it's going to be against uh, No Tag here. No Tag, I believe, a Southern Virginia resident. Uh, and now, you want to take a guess at what character he probably plays? Luigi. <laughs> you're in the ballpark. You're, you're right there. You're in the family tree, actually. <laughs> Man, I, you I hope that? they use like I hope they use like bayonetta or something. <laughs> no, 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 no tag's a real one. He he does play uh he does play Mario. Rocking the Cappy too. I don't think uh, can you I don't think you can buy those retail anymore. Mario like from the movie? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that is indeed Chris Pratt uh inside of No Tag's hat. So. I love the movie. Oh the movie was great. Fantastic. Oh yeah. If you haven't seen the Mario movie yet, do yourself a favor and, uh, and watch it. Just, I saw it in uh, New York City uh, in IMAX. So, Ooh. Oh, fantastic. Definitely definitely the way to go. So fancy. Now, in New York, most things are fancy. Oh, yeah. That was, that was an expensive $11, even though it was $11. Oh. So. Now, nonetheless, though, if the, ma the matchup is going to be Belmont's or Rick, most likely Richter versus Mario. Now, I've played, I've played a lot. A lot of the Belmonts, you know, as uh, you know, when I was competing a little bit more when the game first came out, mm -hmm. uh, this matchup always felt like it's really, really hard. You know, any sort of those, any sort of character that can, can rush in, get his hands on you, and combo you as well as Mario can, it can be really, really tough for the Belmonts, both in landing, you know, trying to uh, convert these KOs, and even on, and even you know, ledge trapping can be a little bit more difficult because Mario is so small uh, and you know, very elusive. In his movements. Now, I guess one of the advantages you might have is that I guess you have range. Mario historically struggles against characters that can uh, outrange him. Um, but you know, it doesn't really matter when you're a character that literally is like drops like a brick <laughs> when you are, uh, you know, uh, in the midst of being comboed. So we'll see how it works out here. I love Richter. This character's sick, and we'll see what uh, Melly and No Tag can bring to the table here. Yeah. At the same time, however, if you don't have experience versus the Belmonts, it could be a little jarring, especially when you first play them. So, matchup knowledge is definitely going to be a factor if the Mario wants to get this W. Yeah, I can't speak uh, for what no tags experience is here. Maybe a little bit of learning on the fly, uh, potentially. But there you go, the uh, fireball going to connect in the corner there. Melly not giving up the home run hit, though. And suffocation after that down air actually landing. Grabs him, sends him right to the left side. And it was a good start for Richter right at the beginning. But now, 
Mario slowly but surely putting on a show and a clinic of how to poke shields, especially with those backers that auto cancel as soon as you touch Ooh. the floor. Yeah, fireball the wrong way. They're going to get hit by uh, the forward air. Okay, rolling past the ledge right there again. You know, uh, holy water at the ledge. One of the best <laughs> ledge grabbing tools in the game. And there we go. Low recovery forced, uh, you know, by the percentages. And all those that has to go is just get oh. out there and back air. Yeah, good combos as well. Trying to throw the cross into the holy water. Going for that upbeat. Not quite going to be able to do it just enough. Sends him to the right side and just continues to set up on the corner. There you go, angled up back air. We'll connect right there. So, the melee not letting the weed slip away from him too much. Again, trying to get a follow up out of the holy water with a dash attack. We're just going to come up a little bit short. Tossing him upwards. Continue uh -oh. to get those Ooh. combos going. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about before, a Chopper. You know, uh, Richter is. <laughs> Definitely a victim to those combos right there. That was a scare dodge, if I've ever seen one. Teltag's like, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but God, I hope it does. Because <laughs> you were about to get medieval combo at times right there. Trying to get him onwards one more time. Now we'll follow up up to the up air. Managing to get out of there. Directional air dodge by Richter. Using the chains to actually tether himself onto the ledge. Situation's going to be neutral get up, but tags him. The forward throw oh delayed. Gosh get up or at least delayed recovery by Richter. Mixing it up so important, yeah. especially in this match. Richter doesn't have a lot of those. Oh. And there we go. Yep. All you have to do is really force Richter in deep in those deep scenarios. Force him to burn an air dodge. You just kinda have to throw an aerial out there and he's basically a dead man walking, so just moving in forward tilt now. Another one. Seeing him to the side. That's some beautiful accuracy right onto the corner from the holy water. Mixes him up. Trying to go for the middle. Up air is going to get parried by Richter. Yeah, if you're if you're playing uh, the Belmonts, you have to be on point with your holy water placement. With just make sure the cross just hangs there at the at the long enough at the ledge. You know, stuff like that really just kind of comes second nature when you've been playing the character for so long. It's a game of inches. Combos coming in. He's trying to safely recover with the upbeat. Directional air dodge by the Richter. They need to be careful. Manages to grab the ledge with a change. Descends him right onto the outside. There was no way that we're going to be able to recover from that. Yeah, tough stuff uh, for sure. Again, just a, a tough draw when you're out when you're you know offside scenarios like that, uh, like Melly was. Especially because uh, you can, uh, I believe this is still true. I think you can body block the recovery uh, of the tether. All you have to do is just kind of get in the way of it, and it, it, it does not snap to the ledge. Um, Again, we see here, uh, Denaria going to be enough just to trade out there, and that's going to be, uh, you know, no tag taking that first game. You know, putting on... <laughs> Pretty good showing. Yeah, a very good showing. A very sure. good showing for sure. Especially for that last Denaria actually being the sour spot. It was actually, I believe it was done on purpose just to yeah. push him just a little bit. Uh, yep. Once you don't have any type of recovery options yeah. with Richter's, there's not much you can do. A kiss off the glass. Wow. Yeah. All right, it's a Duncan bank shot. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. We're getting into it here on uh, Hollow Bastion. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that's the, that's the name of the yes. stage. Uh, you know, we'll now. Oh, oh, that, that could have been it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Nice little combo right there from Melly. A nice exchange of, uh, you know, starting with the holy water there. So. You're gonna need a few of those. You know, we haven't really seen Holy Water be a, a huge KO oh. factor. No, 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 no. That was definitely supposed to be a side B to maybe stall the momentum there, but unfortunately, uh, it was a, uh, a neutral B instead. Grabbing onto the ledge one more time. Flood getting readied. If there's something that you need to actually push the Richters away, it's definitely gonna be the waters of Flood. Yeah, <laughs> Mario also has Holy Water. <laughs> Ooh, okay, gets an air dodge there. Oh, nice. I like that. Nice low recovery there. Or, 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 or excuse me, a low edge guard. You don't see a lot of those from the Belmonts, you know, because you can really put yourself in dire straits, but a good scenario to break that out there for sure. That was oh, loud for sure, but a couple of up airs sending them all the way up 95% and continues to tag along all the percentage. That move is stale as hell right now, Booba. <laughs> oh, Mario Tornado's <laughs> DI mix up. One more stock for no tag. Yeah, you're definitely a curious scenario as to why you were not finishing those combos 
uh, with the up B. Uh, maybe for a scenario like that, where you're able to get DI mixing your opponent with the down air and uh, <laughs> you know take a stock at a much earlier percent than one might expect. Holy Bastion is also a curious big smaller stage that time. Gonna be favored. A little bit for the Mario for the combo game though. Interesting, why would you pick Hollow Bash in this situation? I feel like having that center platform definitely provides good coverage, uh, especially in scenarios where you're maybe trying to ledge guard. It gives you a little bit better place to land. Um, but all that is kind of null and void when you're you complete combo food whenever you get touched. You know, the Belmonts, unfortunately, can really die at any percent once you touch them, so you really got to be careful. Moving in, maintaining stage control. And now Mally's actually doing a good job at poking away at Mario and keeping a distance, especially with the angled forward airs downwards. And up works! We are seeing down smash coming in, 100% extra credit. Let's see what the Belmont no. can do. Not <laughs> much of anything. Ooh, okay, nice recovery nice. there. That could have been curtains for uh, for Melly right there. So having a second chance of life here. No tag trying to finish the plate. Ooh, oh, there we go! Oh. Gets the, the uh, falling over into the dunk, looks up and says to himself, Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Now, no tag. Advancing on to the next round, and we did see a little bit of a pop-off. Hopefully, Devin gets it in slow motion for oh, us. You, you know, dang well he did, as we take a look here at the uh, the, the game set here. There we go, the up, up air. Whee! 127, my gosh, man. And here we go, the falling up air into the dunk, and here we go, the fist bump himself. It's like, oh! yes! <laughs> He like, looks so annoyed at the matchup, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely feels like a nobody has fun matchup. Like, Cause like I said, Mario definitely struggles. <sighs> <laughs> What's the meme? It's like it's hard work, but you know, it's hard work, but it's honest work, you know? That's uh definitely uh, a farmer tender to his crops right there for sure. But again, good stuff on both sides. Again, definitely a, a really difficult matchup. Uh, on either side, you know, uh, Belmont with the range that he's able to, to keep you at. And Mario, just when he's able to put his hands on you, just, you know, those heavier characters, uh, you know, just really don't have uh, a lot of options uh, to play with. So good stuff there uh, for no tag. And uh, yeah, you know, that's 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 kind of exactly how it's written up right there if, if you have for them. So that's yeah, going to be super fun. Um, the next game that we're probably going to see eventually in the Arcadian side. So we're gonna get Brujo and Minty Flesh coming up next. Ooh. So we're, at, uh, we're, we're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Minty's going through the Mega Man run where you have to fight all the kids. Uh, so Mega Man Soccer? I don't know. I got nothing here. So. <laughs> <That's> some. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did see both. Brujo and Minty Flesh, so I understand why, because I saw it on the screen, I'm like, but didn't we see this already? No, that was against uh, Wild, so Brujo, uh, we already saw earlier, was the K. Rule player. Yes. Minty could be playing Mega Man, so... Oh, no. Two characters that, you know, you probably didn't put on your bingo card today. Nope. So, and, uh, oh. Scratch those out. Speaking of guys who aren't allowed to enter these things, we have a special guest here. The GOAT! Uh, I don't know. Uh, Max is saying, you, you, okay. Okay. Go good. Yeah. You know the video where the guy's like, he's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy so much. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell, well, we'll talk about after stream. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Light. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I can't stand this guy, I swear. But he's. Shout out, to, shout out to my man, though. Uh, shout out to uh, Light. I believe there's a live Lights Out happening this weekend. Either th tonight. There we go. So Tonight. I got to say, shout out to Sm more Smashers getting into the podcasting scene. Yes. I feel like that is such an... Un I mean, I feel like it, we, you know, we're coming from an era where everybody had a podcast, including myself. I was a, a podcast host for a little bit. Uh, it's coming back in 2024. We'll talk about that later. Ooh. But, uh, but yeah, you know, we got Week Talks. We got Lights Out. So, you know, we got a, a whole bunch of... Uh, you know, I, I think it provides great content as we, we move forward uh, here. Smashers are good at talking, man. Some of these guys are real funny. You know, Light, I've known him for way too long. He's a clown. He's just a party clown. And I can say that. So, <laughs> so we're waiting. The, we're waiting Minty. And, oh, the block's over. The block's over. Well, there you go. That's why we haven't seen a match yet. So we're we're some ads, Devin? How about we hit, how about we hit the people some ads? Ladies and gentlemen, eh. boys and girls. Which one should I do first? Okay, thanks. Bam. Thanks, babe. Oh, Kicking us off, folks. 
I heard you guys like tournaments on the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen. Collision 2024. It's happening right around the corner. Dog, it's January. March is in like three hours. We have, um, like, so Collision, uh, the price increase is January 7th, 11.59, so make sure to go to StarGG slash Collision. A great theme this year, Heroes vs. Villains, featuring some of your favorites across Melee and Smash Ultimate, Zayn, Spargo, Cody Trump, MK Leo, Axe, Glutiny, and many, many more, as you see across the screen there. Uh, happening on March 15th to the 17th in Parsippany, New Jersey, another tournament that takes me 20 minutes to drive to. We love to see it. And yeah. then coming up next, speaking of tournaments. Yep, we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate here. Defend the North X. Register today. Start GG August 2nd, the 4th. You have plenty of time, but make sure to do it as early as possible so you don't miss it. Yeah, shout outs to uh, the Hound at the, the Four Star Hotel, Long Island Marriott. Again, shout outs to Defend the North. Uh, the longest, the largest fighting game uh, tournament here in, in New York and celebrating its 10th year. Defendant North always puts on a great show. So tons of great fighting game stuff there. Uh, you can love you check it out. And again, shout outs to the folks at Even Match of Gaming, the team behind uh, Luminosity makes big moves uh, in here in New York. Luminosity makes moves in Miami's. Get on my level and uh, much more. So make sure to follow uh, EMG and uh, support them across all of their uh, various platforms. And speaking of uh, get on my level. Uh, Exciting settlement. as hell, Koopa. Gamo, the 10 year anniversary, bringing different games such as Tekken 8, Smash Brothers Ultimate, Rivals of Ether, Street Fighter, Melee, and Guilty Gear Strive. Make sure to use the code right there, Gamo X, for $5 off and $60 venue fee until the January the 8th. Make sure to subscribe, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to the channel, but also <laughs> sign up to Gamo. 10 years, you are not going to miss it. Yeah, that five bucks you saved, you can buy five slices of New York pizza. Boom. And speaking of supporting the event, make let's make some merch moves. Dog, I cannot talk about how sick the merch of this event is. Holla. This is so sick. Like, Boom. Please, by all means, again, uh, Spit Space, again, for writing some, uh, some excellent designs here for the weekend. Uh, you can buy it here on site. Buy it on the website. I want to buy like eight of these shirts, dog. These are so, this is like in terms of Smash merch, this is top tier of, of some of the uh, the best stuff. And LMBM always comes through with the merch. So support, uh, you know, some, buy the merch, support the team, support Max, and uh, yeah, buy a t-shirt, dog. Yeah, speaking of platform fighters, we do have Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. Mr. Krabs is on the way as DLC. Now, the developers are actually helping a lot when it comes to Nick Brawl 2 as well. We were in the year of fighting games last year. Hopefully, we can make 2024 the year of platform fighters. A couple of new games coming out. It's going to be super interesting. But for now, check it out. Nick All-Star Brawl 2. Really fun game. So go ahead. And if you're a fan of the graphics this weekend, uh, make sure to contact uh, uh, Kryzen a professional graphic designer and a video editor for hire. Uh, they've been seen on uh, across of all of everything that EMG uh, works for. So uh, their contact info is down there below. Uh, great follow. Uh, you know, he makes some great stuff. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, is there one more ad that we're missing? We are there's missing one, if I'm not mistaken. It should be. And it's going to be right. Bam! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let us talk to you about... Uh, the beekeeper from director David Ayer. Uh, we featuring. cannot be any more excited, Koopa. I'll certainly be, and I will certainly be there uh, on opening weekend, only in theaters on January twelfth. Jason Statham uh, is uh, again the the lead in the beekeeper. Uh, one man's brutal campaign for vengeance takes on national stakes after he's revealed to be a former operative of a powerful and clandestine organization known as the Beekeeper. So again, that, again, I sounds I'm, intense. Yeah, I'm, I'm super duper excited. Uh, you know, David Ayer's directed some of my favorite movies, uh, most notably The Fast and the Furious is one of my favorites. Uh, yep. I don't know if you got uh, one you want to throw out there, Chopper. Mm. Um, I think Fury was actually pretty good. Yeah, Fury, yeah. Fury's Fury was great. actually pretty good, yeah. Suicide Squad, you have a whole lot to, to, to pick from there. And again, Jason Statham, sure. put him in any action movie, I will, I will, I will feel immediately safe and yep. protected. So. Yep, Jason Statham, action legend, exposing the corruption, protecting the hive. This is The Beekeeper. Yep, all again, only in theaters, January 12th. And that's going to be it for us, folks. Uh, the block is over. We are going to have uh, Aussie and Lyric closing you guys out. So first of all, my friend, this is so much fun. As a, you know, from one Boudicqua to another. Woo! Woo! We did it. So, anyway, stay tuned, guys. We got more arcade action coming up for you guys right after this break. Bravo Connection, go ahead and no.
Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Luminosity Makes Moves 2024 here in the heart of New York City, in the heart of Manhattan. My name's Austin. I'm joined here by Lyric, and we got some great matches coming your way. Arcadian action today. Yeah, honestly, this might be the first time I'm casting a major with no squad strike, but with a singles bracket before the singles bracket that the Luminosity or the Lumi ranked players actually can't enter. And I actually really like this concept, right? Mm. It gives players a very competitive heavy vibe of a tournament while still getting to kind of like practice, play all your matchups that you kind of know and love. Um, and honestly, the bracket so far has been really fun to watch. I know the quad stream over on twitch.tv slash VG Bootcamp is also uh, going hot right now with Dom and Mutes as well as your casters. So got a nice little good team to bring it home with. Oh, Mutes is casting. That's so sick. I know. Mutes is actually an amazing caster. Yeah. Highest of keys. Our players, like, especially at the when, top level, like, when they get comfortable, they really know how to, like, analyze a lot of situations. Yeah, they get that knowledge down. Mm. But here with the Arcadians, one of my favorite things about Arcadians is that it incentivizes people to want to come in and play the game, right? Yeah. Because there's so many people that come to these tournaments. Like, almost half your tournament is going to go to the bracket and go 0-2, you know? Yeah. So they come here, they pay <laughs> however so much mean. money. <laughs> and No, but that, that, it's, the, it's the reality. People have to go 0-2. Like, that's, that's the reality of the thing. So you got to give them something to do besides just the bracket. So when you give them an additional bracket so they get guaranteed at least four sets. Yeah. That's great. Like, cool. I get my money's worth. I played four tournament sets, four heated sets. And the skill level is going to be all over the place, too. So you get all types of variety on top of that. Plus, there's tons of friendly rooms, so there's more matches outside. But you know how smashes are, bro. They don't take anything seriously if it's not a tournament. They need cash on the line or something, man. They can't just be playing their mains. They're going to be playing Piranha Plant instead. What are we even doing? Do you know how many Piranha Plants I've actually casted today? In Do you doubles? know how many I casted? How many did you cast? I casted Lucky and Leo. Oh, okay. You got Leo's Piranha Plant. I got Lucky and um, the other guy who switched over to Zelda last second. I forgot the name. Oh, Dude. Blazing Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're on the quad... I, I, I got to vent about this. When you're on the quad stream for doubles... There's so many names just flying by that you just kind of forget how many people you see. I I I feel like I was going insane for a little bit. It was like, okay, so we got these, this, we got player A, B, C, and D, and that game's over. We got players uh, E, First F, time G, casting H. the quad stream. I I've done it before, <laughs> just not in just this not is, in doubles. Uh, let me tell doubles you one thing. Lot. Doubles was a lot. I did the quad stream doubles at Shine, and I was so overwhelmed. And honestly, this yeah. quad stream kind of ran so much more smooth for me. I think I just like got used to it a little bit more. Uh, but we are just <laughs> waiting for our second player to get back from the bathroom. I'm going to keep it real. A uh, no tag, you know, I asked somewhere. Devin if I could go to the bathroom <laughs> like 20 minutes ago. And he said, no, we're about to go live. And then 20 minutes later, they still have not returned. Did you use this caveat? <laughs> Was that live? Was that live? I really wish y'all just heard what Devin just said. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that say. I'm not saying that. I'll just have you guys know at home that Devin said something involving Cappy in the bathroom. You can let your imagination go wild with that one. But yeah, guys, we're here waiting on our competitors to get back into the hot seat so we can get some more hot action because right now they're in a seat somewhere. Um, just not the one that you want. Yeah. That, that's that's definitely the hey I'm gonna go to the bathroom oh wait my friend just hit me up like oh hey how you doing actually you know here are my bachelors <laughs> he went to go like down Devin, three let's go back. Hey! he's back there he is <laughs> <laughs> Dill Dill is like hurry up like want to get into your seat <laughs> all right we gotta talk about it though I know we just saw no tag but we're gonna see wait, him where's again where's the other player oh Sen there he is he's right there oh, he's, don't I was worry about, about it. to <laughs> lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Sen is right there. So it's Sen and No Tag, both of them from the Carolinas. Uh, Sen was doing it big with Sheik for a long time. Definitely yes. top three Sheik alongside WebJP in North America. Um, and then, of course, you have No Tag, who we saw a little bit earlier today uh, on the Samus and Doubles, but obviously known for his Mario with the Cappy. Dude, this is like some dark Wizzy energy going on right now. <laughs> got, got that Mario hat on Zek with the zoom in. Yo, wait, do that again, Devin, real quick. The little zoom in. Like, like the day. Okay, day, 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 day. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta go on an adventure. Uh huh. I don't know why I turned into Mickey. Uh, that, that was supposed to be a Cappy voice. I, what does Cappy does sound Cappy, like? He does has Cappy a voice. Does Cappy make a noise? He I, makes it was, a noise I thought it was when he more talks. nasally. 
Yeah, I thought he was more nasally. Regardless, though, we're going to cut Aussie off from bad jokes starting now. See, and we're going to jump no, into not. Battlefield. <laughs> Absolutely uh, Going not. into game one here of top 32. No Tag and Sen already off to the bat here. Going on Battlefield, though, so both of these characters are really going to try and use their platforms to get their combos. But I actually think Mario is going to benefit from it just a little bit more. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where it's just you feel comfortable on the stage, whether you're the Chica or the Mario. Like it's gonna be kind of a popular stage for either of them. But right out the gate, you're gonna notice that Sen's gonna be playing a lot of combo heavy here in the beginning. That's where Sheik excels is like the low damages. Both these characters actually excel at that lower percentage. But then it comes down time to gain the kill, and Mario does not struggle in that regard whatsoever. No, absolutely. And I like the way that Notag is constantly positioning his back to Sen, so we can try and get these back ears out of shield. But still, once again, Battlefield being a little bit of a bigger stage. It is going to be Cat and Mouse trying to find every opportunity possible. Going for the down smash to read the tech in. It's not going to be just yet in there. But honestly, Sen has a big combo string to make up here. Yeah, now we're seeing no tech back off stage at 59. Going to steal some coins to put in your pocket, maybe for a savings account later on. But now we're coming right back up with an up air back here, potentially. I like that catch with the up air. Managed to catch the double jump right afterwards. I'm, I'm really feeling it. Okay, still though, no Sen looking for the back air. Once again, both of these players are both from the Carolinas, so these two could possibly play each other for a while. Going on ahead with a DI mix up with the up throw, but there is the up air from Sen going for the bouncing fish, unable to find anything. So now Sen is actually going to be on edge guard pursuit right now, at least for the moment, but great patience by Notag. Yeah, I like that he's not going super overzealous when he goes off stage, waiting for the right time just like that, waits for the air dodge, gets the bouncing fish right afterwards, and seals out that first stock. Now, no tag, struggling a little bit to get that, but as I say <laughs> that, dude, you, know, you already know what it is. It's a, it it's a curse. It's a curse. And we all know the curse. Yeah. It's going to exist. But yeah, he runs right in there. Unfortunately, a misspaced aerial is going to net him a one way ticket to the blast zone. Yeah, now we're back into this neutral. I think the neutral has been very precise between both players. Once again, both of these characters are looking for their direct combo win to start stacking on a ton of damage. Now, granted, Sheik sometimes needs to work a little bit harder than Mario, which is why you can see Sen trying to fish out the combo just a little bit more here. But here comes Sen once more, finding a lot of these drag downs into the tilts. And with the platform height of Battlefield, this is just working out too well for him. Yeah, the original Sheik's coming out here with these combos, right? The up air, just like Joker and Sheik's best fact. More, you do the exact same thing, trying to drag him down with the uppers. Going mad deeper oh, than that, a little bit too deep in the process, a little bit too hungry, especially with that significant lead you have. But if you just spawn in like that, you're going to be able to connect it into an up smash. Good yeah. tipper. Honestly, I love the way that Sam was like, all right, bet. I lost that stock. Let me just get it back real quick. Once again, the platform heights are key in this matchup for both characters here, but now Sen going to once again be on edge guard pursuit, at least for the moment. Great grab and finding the sweet spot back here. They're bouncing fish, going for the bounce off the ledge, unable to find anything. There's the down tilt, but great rollout by Notag. Once again, we're adapting in real time. I'm a huge fan of uh, Notag's recovery. Every time we're seeing, oh, as I say that, that's going to be a true confirm for him. Notag coming right back in with the fireball, trying to cover it, but Sen's ledge trapping is out of this world, and so is Mario. Sen, taking away game number one in a dominant fashion. Even with the SD at a low percent, he was still able to bring that back to victory. Once again, this is one of the OG Sheiks. I think Sheik has definitely gotten a new age push thanks to WebJP. But if you guys specifically were watching a lot of the MDVA tournaments over the past couple years, you would know that Sen, Sen comes out and he shows up. He's super precise with a lot of his combos. And once again, Sheik needs to work overtime. I mean, her hits don't do as much damage, but her confirms speak for herself. Yeah, absolutely. Sen doing a fantastic job. One thing Look, I really like, the, the thought, the think. Like, I, think huh. <laughs> I think Devin has a favorite player in this set. I'm not going to say which one. I think it's the one. one with the funny hat. It's the one with the funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, I didn't even recognize the headphones over the hat. Does Apollo Kage put his headphones over his hat? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think it so. fits. <laughs> Starting out on Smashville, though, for game number two here. I actually really like this pick for Mario, but I also like this for Sheik as well. I feel like both of these characters, Aussie, actually do kind of benefit from the same style of stage, right? A I platform mean, that you can both kind of, like, work off of. They kind of like the same stuff in general, just because they're very similar characters in the regards of, like, their combo routes, in terms of, like, what they want. They're both being kind of melee fighters that have projectiles. Like, they kind of have a lot of similar tools. Obviously, Mario has an easier time getting the kill. Sheik has an easier time getting some combo damage. And they go from there. But granted, at the end of the day, you do need to try to find those kill converters, which Sen's been doing a good job of. 
One thing good to note, by the way, that Sin's been doing a fantastic job of doing, especially from the previous game, is catching jumps. Mm. A lot of the times, you'll notice that Notag's holding a shield or he's going for like a ledge jump, and Sin's already in the air trying to cover above the little cap. Yeah. I mean, so far, so good from both players. Once again, what I'm really enjoying about this set is just like a very like careful neutral between both, and then a very strong combo and punish game here. Sen still on edge guard advantage, at least for the moment here. I like the Nair coming up from no tag, but once again, it just seems like Sen is waiting for the right time to punish. Like an easier way to go. There it is, Nair bouncing fish, just looking like Smash 4, and Sen going to go up three stocks to two. Yeah, I managed to catch that right there on the right set. Sen spawning right back in with his fresh stock, which is Sheik's favorite meal of the day. Doesn't matter too much damage, but that's okay. Sen's going to keep it climbing with these needle placements. Granted, you get those at an angle. I do want to let people know this is a best uh, two of three, like it says up there in the top yeah. right. So if Sen manages to take this game, the set is going to be over. So no tag's got to make something move right now. Yeah, still no tag. Good air dodge back on, trying to line up, but actually Yo. back here's the grenade. Was not expecting the phantom hitbox up, and it's a little bit small. I do not blame him. Going for the grab there, but once again, Sen playing so strong, and all of this is just extra credit for Sen at this point. The Vanish on stage even working here too. Sen is flying. Thought there was going to be a risky roll there. At catches it the next time. There's definitely been a habit that has been downloaded from Sen's type. He tried to catch it a little bit earlier, but unfortunately no tag was not at the ready. Catches the second time. Now we have our three stock to one lead now. And this point gives Sheik the opportunity to kind of play a little bit more defenseful, right? Like, we get a little bit more needles, we get a little bit more grenade here, and now it's all Sen. If you give him the opportunity, I'm just going to work off of it. But no tag, able to get the stock now, so now it's all up to the momentum, right? How many down airs are we going to be able to hit before Sen fires back? And it seems like only just two. Coming right back down with a Nair. Good, good back air right out of that jump. A lot of the spacings from Mario is going to come down to landing those back airs. Sen's pretty slippery, but try to get the sweet spot with the forward air right afterwards. How are we landing now? There we go. And I feel like I'm finally seeing Notax starting to punish a lot of these rise from ledge Nairs too. But now Sen able to get back on the ground. But look at this. Notag playing a little bit with more gas to the pedal here and just grabbing Sen a lot more. There it is. Jab, jab, jab. And we're going to see potentially an edge guard here. If Notag is able to take this stock literally right now, this set is, or this game, I should say, is 100% doable. But every single time you let Sen get in, you get a combo off of it. It's so difficult. Damn, 88 damage coming right back on. This thing is starting to get out of his grasp. Not much he can do at this point. Sen's pretty much dominating the control. Gets the down tilt. Oh, the fancy combo. <laughs> Yo, <damn> the <laughs> Sen, are you kidding me? That was a sick conversion. I need this replay of that immediately. All that started from a down tilt, which is honestly Sheik's fantastic. Right here, bam. Starts right there. Drag him down with the up air. Do you Jab notice to how fake the out the air dodge. He missed the down tilt too, thanks to the air dodge, and still covered every option. So smart. It's so sick. All this came from a down tilt. It, he was dead from this point, right? Because this was all planned. He went for the jab, recognized he's going to air dodge downwards, punishes the air dodge. There it is, doing a lot of coverage, throws the needle, Needles, and, and there the it is. Ba bam. Yeah. Fantastic the, work. The coverage too, once again, just to be able to understand the like the aerial drift of Mario outside of the air dodge and then being able to punish it, right? Like we were punishing DI in on the down tilt, but we were ready to punish DI out on it as well. So that is going to be 2-0 for Sen. What a great way to start the Arcadian here. Homie Top thinking, 32. He was thinking uh, two steps ahead, you know, with that. after that down tilt, he recognized the air dodge, went down there, sealed it out. Man, honestly, I feel like Arcadians are sometimes more exciting than top players, you know? I don't know. That was that was a really fun set. It was a really fun set. It, it definitely was. There's uh, something to be appreciated by people that are playing 100% optimally to win the game, right? But then when you see people that are like trying to get to that level, I don't know. I, there's something very fascinating about someone who's not quite there. Yeah. Playing against someone else who's not quite there, but they're <laughs> both trying to, you know. And it's like, wow, say, they're man. like right. They're on the same skill level. And it's like it's more. The, the closer two people are in skill level, the more exciting it's going to be, obviously. And I felt like they were very even in skill level, even though it was a 2-0, though. This is what I'm going to say. Uh, just say because you're not like Lumi ranked and you can enter this Arcadian does not mean that you're a bad player I or an say, amateur player am by any means. Bro, we're all amateurs. Who's making the bank out here? I'm not. <laughs> I believe this is C. 
that I see. Not Oh, okay. So this is Revolver and C. I got to talk a little bit about C because I feel like he is a hidden boss of Westchester County and Tri-State. It, like it took me like a split second to realize you were talking about the player and not like the letter C. I thought we were taking a multiple choice question for a sec. No, that's C right there. I see. <laughs> Get it. Anyway. Unintentional, uh, we, by the way. <laughs> this is C for Austin and anybody who may not know him. He's from Westchester County. Definitely one of the better Palus that we have, I think, in this region. And let me tell you, at the start of this game, being a Palu in Tri-State and being one of the better ones was a hard kind of hit to follow. Now you're going up against Revolver, who is playing Roy here. But this is a matchup that C actually knows really well from his, you know, partner in crime, Carflow. So honestly, this might be a familiar matchup, but honestly, at this stage in the game, you should know how to fight both of these characters by now. Yes, I mean, if you don't know how to play Pal against Palutena, where were you in 2019? Because they were everywhere. They, they, they were sprouting up at each cornfield all across the nation. But now they're kind of a rare parade, but they're always exciting to see because I, I talk about this every time I see this character. This character Ooh. is de uh, almost dead. This character <laughs> is good. This character oh, is absolutely. good. It's just she's not. She doesn't have as many gimmicks as like some of the top tiers. Some of her strongest things is this, right? Once you have someone off stage, she does a really good job of keeping them off stage with like explosive flame or capitalizing on that bad recovery with a counter. You know, like so many options in her in her book. To be able to just keep you off stage at disadvantage forever. I will say, I think Palutena, Wolf, uh, are still, and Lucina are still the captains of like team fundies, right? I think when your fundamentals are really solid, it makes Palutena such a fun character to watch because it's all bait and punish, right? Yes. Uh, C getting so much chip damage off of just two dash attacks really understands this character. Revolver now trying to chase, trying to get something started, but once again, C's Palutena just plays so strong and so in your face, it's hard for you to fire back sometimes. Yeah, it, with but you know, Palutena has a couple of tools to deal with such a thing, right? The dash attack, for instance, has a little bit of a guard point on it, yeah. which is really good against players that are playing insanely aggro. C definitely knows the game plan. We have him off stage, right? Trying to go for that counter. Any if you have a counter against Roy, like that's almost like a death sentence if you can't manage to catch them off stage. You're going to be see, seeing C go for that so many times. Side special though, coming out from Revolver, looking to get this first stock going here. I mean, you gotta get something started, oh. and it will be the jump read back with the back air that does take the stock. But that's 96% of extra credit heading out on C now. So now here comes the Nair, C lining up for the edge guard. But I love the early up special coming out from Revolver, right? We have to throw Palutena off of her game plan of edge guarding, because once again, on this character, a day one character, you're gonna have that on lock. I feel like 90% of recoveries in this game and trying to get back to the stage is mis mixing up your timing just like Absolutely. that. So being able to get onto the stage early or late is very key. It's less about what options you're going to go for and how what time you're going to be able to go for it because sometimes some things are not reactable in this game and you kind of have to guess. Ooh, okay. A great mashup by Revolver there too. That honestly could have gone horribly. Down throw into Nair Palutena Pain Train could have been a hundred different which ways. See though, still with a very, very big lead right now, especially throwing Revolver off. Great forward air though to get back onto stage. And now C once again just going to get hit with the jab back there. It's looking so close here on C side, especially if Revolver can just get this stock right now. I feel like Revolver over time has been adapting a little bit more. We're not seeing that really strong C gameplay that we saw earlier. Down to not gonna be enough. He was at a jump, so it was a very bad spot to be in. Revolver immediately going for that ledge to get out of dodge, being pushed right back off stage. This is where C's entire game plan lies on. It's just keeping Roy off there, giving him no ground to go. It's off to go for a low recovery. Calls out the timing of the get up on the ledge, gets the up smash, and sends him flying. Not only that up smash covered le ledge get up, it also covered ledge jump. So it's just all about managing the catch that he recognized that he was going to go for the ledge option immediately after grabbing it. Yeah, honestly, really good stuff. I think I want to just talk about Ooh. how Revolver is getting better as the seconds literally tick. I think for the first stock, we just saw Revolver get tossed around, right? That's what happens. That's a Palutena pain train, right? The nares, the up airs, they just keep you juggled. But Revolver definitely picking smarter options off the ledge as the set or as the game went on, excuse me. But honestly, once again, you're going up against C, who knows this matchup, who's been playing this character since day one. A really good start from C, but Revolver definitely not trailing too far behind. Yeah, I think every single time. I'm shocked he went back to PS2. This is a, this is PS2 brain rot, in my it's opinion. This is Palu's best stage. Best? Yes. I think it's Palu's best stage. Okay. Like, it's big, wide open. She can keep people at bay with projectiles. She has the ability to teleport cancel onto the platforms. It gives her another option, another entry point from recovering off stage too. It's just a fantastic stage. I feel like some people just like going to PS2. 
Roy can easily deal with like close quarters match, but I guess having a big stage allows him to stay more on stage a little bit longer just from being mid stage. But right now, it doesn't seem to be working out. Yeah, things are looking really good. But once again, we're seeing a much more even in terms of percents right now. Mm. But we're still seeing the same exact interaction from game one, right? This very El Clasico Palatina pain train punish combo, bringing Revolver right to the ledge and saying, how do you get out? Still, though, the trade is going to work in C's favor, at least for the moment here. Revolver trying to get the jab pick up, but still C so careful. But Yo. there's the raw F smash. And that's going to be Revolver going up in game two, three stocks to two. Fantastic spacing coming out from Revolver, avoiding that grab in the process when he down that up air but C coming up with something tricky. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with Palutena, right? Especially her up smash. It can cover roll in, and if you time it correctly, it can punish the jump up from ledge as well. Once again, making this character so interesting to try and, like, get off the ledge. But look at Revolver. Once again, locked and loaded in, and now actually has the percentage lead on C and getting a lot of these strong hits in. Now, the back air not going to be enough to get something started, but great spot dodge by C. Now we're going to see a little bit of that Palutena edge guarding, at least for the moment. But once again, Revolver Revolver getting better with every second, Aussie. Revolver is just capitalizing on every single time that C goes for a jump. If, she, if C is holding shield, odds are they're going to be jumping out of shield, and Revolver is always right there to counteract it, right? Going for Roy's fastest aerial, which is up air, does it immediately out of shield, puts C into very combo boosts. It's, it's one of Roy's best combo moves in the game. Up air leads into imagination, besides like <laughs> jab. <laughs> right. So it allows you to get a lot of vouchers. So he's cooking right there. You saw the back air because he thought C was going to jump. They didn't even think so. Just like um, it's putting coverage out there. And if C doesn't jump, whatever, I just retreat. Yeah, absolutely. Now it's even across the board right now. The jump, once again, you cannot be jumping over under next to Palutena. She has an aerial to punish it yep. all. Revolver, though, just has to find a spare hit. The falling up air doesn't do it just quite yet, so we got to figure out a way to get back on. The explosive flame right there, keeping Revolver in shield, which is going to allow for C now to get the reversal on the situation. Yo! Still, though, going to be able to grab ledge, and now C locked in, going for the down air. Not going to be enough, but the up air coming up from ledge is going to take that stop. C has been doing a fantastic job of, again, catching a lot of these jumps and the recovery, but C is starting to adapt to the jumps, right? We're not jumping out of shield immediately anymore. We're holding shield instead, waiting for you to jump first. If you're not, you're going to jab my shield, which is very unsafe that close to me. I'm going to go for a free grab. Back off stage, revolver at 95%, back air out of jumps. This might be a checkmate situation. Counter sends him flying. Roy not going to be able to get back to the stage because the counter's coming right your way. There is nothing he can do at this point. C has to mess up. I think revolver is done for. That's four in a row, and that is going to be connecting four counters and connecting four ways that C is going to be moving on into winner's quarters here. Or was that winner's quarters? Was that winner's quarters? That was winner's quarters. Winner's semis here. <laughs> uh, Luminosity makes big moves, I'll National Arcadia. I'll tell you what, that was four red chips in a row because they were connecting yeah, four. Right. That, well, right here. I think that was four counters in That's a row. That's like when you play connect four versus a little kid, and they're like, I'm yeah. going to get you, and then just trace you along the top. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like try and counter play. Have you, you ever have you ever played Connect Four with a child and like three games later after you win, they're like, Is it my turn to win? <laughs> True That's story. Any that, game. True story that happened with That's my niece. That's playing Smash Brothers with your little cousin. Listen, all I'm <laughs> saying is I was kicking my niece's ass in Connect Four and when she was like four years old. And then she asked, Is it my turn yet? And I said, No, you're gonna learn today how to how to be a competitor. <laughs> That's what I told her. I told it straight to her face. She cried and told her dad, and then my brother got mad at me, but you know. What's up guys? How's it going? <laughs> I'm here bragging I could be a child to connect for, you know, no big deal. Listen, how's, so your, how's your day going, Lurk? Oh, it's great. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I, I've been, like, seeing people walking around, and everyone's just like, man, like, it's Luminosity makes big moves. It is the best way to start 2024. 2023, 2022, it's always the best way to start because you just get really good Smash no matter what, right? It's yeah. the first big Smash Bros. Major of the year in North America. Usually everybody comes out. I personally, I think my favorite thing about it is that I absolutely love the how many people are, are in New York for the first time. And I'm like, oh, did you guys go to Nintendo World? They're like, yeah, it was the first thing we did. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, Nerds. guys, like, there's so many things to do in New York City. Um, if you guys are here, though, or you guys are coming this weekend, and you guys have, like, an early pool and you need something to eat at, like, 4 o'clock, Ichiran Ramen. It is, like, three blocks away from the venue. It's really, really good. Trust me. Trust me. Just get some pizza, bro. It's like $2 a slice or cheaper. You got the whole weekend here, so you, you can get, get we pizza got, we, for it wrong. I was with uh, Reggie earlier, uh, player four, and he bought a whole pie for everyone. That's for so nice of him. 12 bucks. Mad cheap. Delicious ass slice. I cannot ask for anything better. 
But you know, maybe, maybe I'm biased. I live in Manhattan. Uh, so you, does Devin. You live in Manhattan? Uh, like, okay, uh, it's borderline Bronx, but I'm, I'm okay, very north. Right, I'm very up north. I am up there. <laughs> it takes me 30 minutes to get here, but. I want to talk about our next match coming up to Do that, up. though. We got winner's quarters. We got Monty versus Guy Guy. So I believe that is California. Guy Guy, my goat. Or as uh, player four says, man, man. When he hits a sick combo, he goes, that's not Guy Guy. I'm that's sick. man, man. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Guy Guy. Coming out here in the tri-state area, rocking the best with Luigi the for sure. Luigi out here. Um, actually, I'll never forget my uh, first conversation with this guy was actually four months ago, five months ago or so. Okay. Like, because I've, I've always like watched saw, saw him in passing where we passed by each other. We actually like right. sat down and had a conversation, and it, it is funny. He has smashed brain rot. He is He's part of that generation, I'm not gonna lie. Constantly thinking about Smash, constantly thinking about the game, holding conversations that's about like he's always like on point of how he can optimize Luigi and now he can get even more damage off of that, about how he has like a couple characters he can go in case Luigi doesn't work. I saw him bust out Greninja before, so he's got other characters in that pocket for certain matchups. Because you know Luigi is a good character, but he's got some matchups that just kinda destroy him. Yeah, that's anyone, the thing. anyone with a sword. Yeah, absolutely. And then you have Game & Watch, right? Coming up to bat here. You have mm. Monty, definitely one of the better Game & Watches we have in North America. Definitely do not sleep on this guy. Um, but this one could go either way for sure. But I am very afraid of a Luigi down throw combo into an up special and Game & Watch is gone at 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You always got to be on the lookout for that. We're going to stick with the Luigi for this matchup. Might pull out the Greninja later on, depending on how game number one goes. But we're starting on Smashville. Very, yep. very interesting pick. Yeah, no, this actually makes sense for both characters, right? Both of them love their juggles. They love using that center platform, and they both love small stages, right? So they want to box. They want to just kind of, like, burn out their opponent just enough where they get a little bit antsy and start running in. But it's looking pretty even right now, but Monty is starting to pull away just a little bit, though. That Game & Watch down air is just so good. I think when a lot of players start playing Smash, the big advice is like, oh, don't go down with down air consistently, but Game & Watch down air is just so different. It's a very active hitbox, and it moves slow or fast depending on your current momentum when you go for it. So it's very tricky to go for a punish. Also, these up airs coming out, very dangerous to do it. And you know what? If the key's gonna, we're gonna talk about the key. The key's gonna get the stock. So Monte off to a fantastic start, but Guy Guy right around the corner could easily turn the tables on him. The Game Watch is not the heaviest character in the game. In fact, probably as thin as paper. I, as I like to say, I, sometimes, especially in this matchup, it goes into what I like to call a Wild West neutral, where they're just kind of throwing out their projectiles and then seeing who's going to kind of shoot the trigger first. Still, though, this is a really great lead for Monty. Now, like you were saying, Aussie, I mean, Game & Watch is very, very light, so this stock can be kind of gone in a second, but Monty has gathered up so much extra credit so far, and Guy Guy has not seemed to kind of regain focus or confidence right now. Monty covering everything. Let's see if the misfire is going to happen. No Yo. tech though, and that's gonna be Monty losing that first stop. Monty did not expect to get hit at all in that situation. So I don't think he even had the tech ready or he just missed the tech one of the two. But regardless, turns into a two stop situation. He actually readied the side beam and unfortunately fell into the blast zone in the process. It might have actually hurt his chances of survival because he did so early. I've seen that happen before. And I think a lot of people look at Game & Watch and they're like, oh boy, it's going to be a slow match. I mean, we're only we're two minutes in, and honestly, we're already on last dog. Both of these players boxing extremely well with each other. Good air dodge through the forward air if you're Guy Guy, but great read on Monty. Once again, Game & Watch can do it all on the ledge. The down smash covers so much. The F tilts a little bit early, but unfortunately for Guy Guy, he still has to work his way out of the corner here. we got to find a bigger punish, Aussie. Yeah, just something to give you that extra oomph. I mean, at this point, Luigi needs like a grab, a nair. Uh, okay, cool. That. It was nair. He needs that. <laughs> there, it was nair. Yeah, nair turned it into a converted into a super jump punch. Yeah, any of his uh, initial uh, combo starters are really good for getting some super early kills, which Guy Guy knows his combo route, so he just needs to land the com the, those initial hits. But Monte's not going to give him the opportunity. You know what it is, Aussie? What's it's up? whoever gets that first combo and pulls ahead first is going to stay ahead. That's the thing, right? I think for all of us Guy Guy fans, we're kind of expecting, you know, the grab into the plunger, the down air nair, down air, mm. you know. Classic the Luigi. Whole, yeah, the all the way through. But Monty is doing such a good job of getting around that. So it's making it very hard to find that opening opportunity here. And, of course, with Luigi jumping, this is easy up air percents for Monty to just follow up. So, once again, a really, really good game one. A little bit scrappy, too, for a matchup that you don't necessarily have to play too aggro into. I'm, on a stage like Smashville, that's really close and uh, 
compact, it's kind of difficult to like not scrap, right? Like, as you know, but meanwhile, we're going over to the complete opposite over here, town and city. Plenty of room to be able to maneuver around if you want to, but Monte wants to keep it up close and personal. So, guy guy's gonna get and try to get that low damage combo now at 34. Up smash, man. If, if Guy Guy gets one more hit, he could convert it to a kill afterwards. Or just do it raw! Are you kidding me? Good punish coming out from Guy Guy. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for too, especially on a stage like Town and City with higher ceilings. We're just able to kind of use Game and Watch's weight to an advantage here. It doesn't matter if he was at 83, he was definitely gone. Yeah. So so far so good though, but Monty not letting up. But here comes Guy Guy, and I think what we actually want here is this open version of Town and City. So we don't have a platform in the way. Here we go though. Grab down air, double down but doesn't actually go all the way so now we're reset back into this neutral here just up air through the bomb and finds the back air guy guy on the verge of already sending monty to last stop we're only a minute in yeah fun fact if you hit that bomb it deactivates it so it's a very good tool to have in your kit to be able to try to like counteract uh game and watch spamming the bombs right yeah. 112 percent right now on monte so guy guy's gonna have to be looking for a grab maybe even just like a simple backer to push it back off stage because right now not much is going to be able to convert into anything, but a grab back throw is going to be able to do it. Guy Guy is now in the lead by a hefty margin. Yeah, this is what we were kind of expecting, right? We were kind of expecting Mon or we were expecting Guy Guy to go on ahead and get ahead and then just hold it, right? And this is what I said. The first person to kind of take that lead is going to take it all the way. But Monty not letting up on this edge guard. Needs to get rid of this Luigi Rage because Game & Watch is definitely in trouble. There's the forward air, but great air dodge out. The down special, it's not going to be enough, but a nice way to tack on 16% on your way down. Yeah, honestly, that down special was insanely smart because he recognized that uh -oh. Monte was going to play mad aggressive and just used invincibility from it for him to be able to land back down onto the stage. Guy Guy again having to go for this recovery. Monte kind of struggling to get back on stage right now. 169 damage. Yeah, Guy Guy is just chilling right now, but it will be the town air that goes through the platform that does take that first stock for Monty here. So now Monty just has to play so careful, right? We are still in the danger zone, but you can see that bucket starting to fill up with some of these Luigi fireballs here. So it's definitely not out of the realm of possibilities here. We just have to play so extremely careful. Yeah. Thing is, it, uh -huh. that's it. Oh, back there. Did not. Okay, <laughs> He's not he, giving it to you. It's Austin. because uh, Monte actually TI'd it. Go for the double down air into the down B. Guy Guy coming out with the crazy Luigi combos. 118 right now on Monte. <laughs> He's getting a little bit stylish with it. It's definitely really fun to see. There's reverse nair landing with the nair of his own. Guy Guy, all he really needs is one grab to get it going. But Monte finding a couple of juggles. The back air, though, from center stage on Town and City, going to take that game number two for Guy Guy. Guy Guy not going down without a fight. Luigi's winded after that one, man, because I, 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 I am too. I winded after that one. That Bro. was crazy. <laughs> yeah, guy guy coming in with a fortune. Actually thriving off of the small blast zones, right? Because you're going to be able to get those kills a little bit earlier. Right. Especially that punish right there. He recognized what was going on. Landing down with the Nair was not as safe as you thought, especially with the parry or the shield. He can just go right afterwards. Man. Game number three. We'll see where we're going for this stage. I can imagine that Mr. Game & Watch would probably want it maybe a little bit more close quarters. Maybe Battlefield or something? Hollow Bastion. Okay, Smashville number two. Going to bring it right back. Hey, you know what? Smashville works for game number one. Maybe it'll work for game number three. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of a bigger... Uh bigger Smashville, but this is what we were concerned about. Great by Monty to just get out of there because we were worried about some of these confirms here. But a really great start from Guy Guy, but Monty not too far behind, at least for the moment. Once again, just knows the route to get out. Okay, Monty doing a fantastic job of keeping Guy Guy airborne. If there's one thing Luigi struggles with is landing. His only option upon landing is either going for like an aerial or like a downbeat invincible through whatever you're going for an aggression. And that requires... Dang. Requires what, Austin? I... <laughs> Requires a risk, but he doesn't care. He's gonna go for the biggest risk of all. Get that down B right afterwards and take away that first stock. Guy Guy, again, continues this tear that he's established from game number two. Yeah, I mean, looking really good now. If your Guy Guy rolls into the forward air, unfortunately for him, still going to be able to live it out. Has to find a way to get off the ledge though. And honestly, Monty actually giving it to him by using the up special to escape here. Now it's all Guy Guy, and I like the way that he's actually controlling the center. Gives Monty not a lot of places to truly land safely. Monty, though, landing with the down air. Going to flip a couple of pieces of bacon. Great roll through by Guy Guy, not punished by Monty. Okay, again, landing down with the uh -oh. Zare. Good grab coming up from Monty. We're just setting up shop with the bacon. 
Now at this point, you're seeing him play a little bit more passive, backing up a little bit, dropping the bombs, letting Guy Guy play a little bit more aggro in the process, because he's just trying to like wind him down and get that stock right afterwards. Another chair, another forward tilt actually died from him. I don't know if that was a side B again coming up from Luigi that killed him, but he kind of drifted towards the blast zone. Okay, I'm looking for it. The I, have, I do have to give like Monty his flowers here because honestly he has been DIing out of these Luigi throws so extremely well, especially knowing that Guy Guy is so good that he can convert off of it to any second. But now we're even here, two stocks to two, and basically even percents here. Here we go, finds the grab and the down special up. It's not going to be enough, but really great positioning by Guy Guy right now. Yeah, homie's sitting here at 106 and Bringing it back bit by bit. Got to be careful though, because at such a high percentage, Guy Guy could easily land like a nair into what imagination, yeah. even just a raw down B, a back air, something out of here could easily close this out. But Guy Guy playing a little bit more safe. Look at him. He's jumping away because he's expecting Monte to dash forward and then catch him with the feet. Amazing DI by Monte too, living off of the Luigi back throw here. But oh. once again, scoops. it's just yeah. Honestly, it scoops. It's just rinse and repeat. And as long as you don't get impatient and throw out those moves every single time, somebody's down to get hit by it. But now, once again, Monty trailing by only one stock. It's definitely not impossible, but Guy Guy has definitely locked in. Monty needs the edge guard right here. Guy Guy going high, going low, trying to mix up. Will get stuck into the stage, but instantly grabs the ledge here. Grab misses, though, so now Guy Guy is going to be the one who tries to get the edge guard here. But once again, we're back into neutral. Again, the guy guy doing a fantastic job with these fadeaways, waiting for Monte to play aggressive, catches him with the straight up tilt to pop him up into the blast zone one more time to seal out that set. 2-1 victory for guy guy for that one. Honestly, really good stuff from both players. I think a lot of people would look at this set on paper and be like, ew, like I don't want to watch Luigi Game & Watch, but honestly, it was a high-paced, high-quick set. And once again, this is Guy Guy representing his hometown, especially on the island I believe he is from. Mm. So once again, as Player 4 always says, that's Man Man. He says it. That was definitely Man Man at the end. That was Man Man You know, man how, man you know how he be, bro. But <laughs> it's going to be Guy Guy moving on through the brackets. And we're going to have our next set coming up here. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Sen is returning back down to the hot seat, facing off against Brujo. I got to give a little story about Brujo. Um, yeah, give it up. I so hear it. I think this was Shine 2020. So last year was 2023. Uh -huh. The year before, 2022. It's 2024. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Bossy? <laughs> Why would you ask that? that? There's three things you don't ask. You don't ask a man his wage. No, actually, no, we, we do that now. We ask people about how much money. You want to know how much money I make? You want to know, no. you, you know how, how old I am? <laughs> anyway, um, so... I went up to Shine to go cast. It was my first Shine casting. I was super excited. And everybody came up to me and they were like, do you know this kid Brujo? And I'm like, who? And they're like, he's this K-Rule kid and he's cracked. K-Rule? And he's cracked. And he's cracked. And I watched Beast suffer versus this kid. With Pokemon trainer? Bro, he suffered. And I've never seen him pop off that loudly in my entire life. Versus Beast? a 13 year old K-Rule kid. He is cracked. He's cracked, trust. <laughs> He's cracked. I'm, Don't I'm, sleep. My, no, I'm not sleeping. My brain is just trying to process a Pokemon trainer versus K. Rule because it's just like there's so many tools in his kit that he can just like throw. Out. Dev, Devin's actually talking to Ariel because he, he's actually a uh, Pokemon trainer main and he hates it. Absolutely despises the matchup. Tell us how you really feel, Devin. <laughs> he just said he's mad annoying. But uh, honestly, I get it. There was a time. I'll never forget the first week of 2018 when we thought K. Rule was the best heavy in the game. Who never is the best heavy in the game? Go. Uh, Bowser. Easy. <laughs> the heck? Okay. That's an opinion. Who do you think it is? I think all of them are really really annoying in their own right. Yeah, like, when but like, I, when but someone's like, like where... Trying to compete, though, Bowser. Okay. Bowser's I will fast, say dude. Incineroar is really annoying and specifically doubles. He's really annoying. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because he, he just scoop you up at 30. All I'm going to say is hitting Nair back air with Bowser is, like, like really fun. A if, dream come true. If you're if you're like, oh, I want to enter bracket with a character that I never play, uh, please do it with Bowser and hit Nair back air. No other character can dash at you in the screen shakes. <laughs> and your controller shakes if you have five right Do you know how scary that is? He's just dashing, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Like, calm down, Bowser. They, my man learned how to run instead of just, like, get the zoomies on the ground, and now he the can, like... zoomies. You know, you know those zoomies from Melee where the Bowser's running that? Yeah, that's animation? true. Yeah, that's he, used true. To, he used to be a car. Like, 
Now he actually runs on his two feet like a normal person, but hey, here we go. King K rule. I can't remember the last time I casted this character. It's been at least two years. I'm very excited for so this So glad one. you're out of the retirement home for this one, Austy. But Why this one is shut <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> Honestly, this one's going to be a little bit <laughs> difficult for Sen here. Sen is going to have to work overtime, and this is what you need to do, right? You need to bait out all of these belly breaks here. Uh, you're able to get a lot here, but once again, K. Rule kind of punishes the lighter characters for not being able to KO early. But honestly, Sen be handling Brujo right now extremely well, and this is what he's known for, right? That signature chic edge guard. This is like a Sen's dream come true. Fighting against a heavy? Oh boy, combo fodder, you? Look at it, already 118 damage on Brujo. Granted, that's not cl even close to death percent yet because first off, you're Sheik, second off, you're K rule. Like, you're not gonna die from this. I like the throw play coming out though with the ground. Ooh, okay, I like how Brujo is just kind of baiting the downer right on the ledge here, but Belly once again coming in clutch here and unable to find the Blunder Blast. So, honestly, so far so good, but honestly, Brujo had the right idea with the Reflect, but honestly, there were way too many hitboxes for you to do so. Bro, I'd be so bad fighting this character right now. Homie is just armoring through everything. The Nair gives, anytime it, um, his, his moves involve his belly, like the Nair, he gets super armor from it. He can just like power through. He's like, no, it's my turn. He Dash attack. No, grenade. it's my turn. It's my turn, actually. You know, you thought it was your turn. No, it's mine. Like, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> the thing, though, with Brujo, man. Like, he's he's raw. I believe he reflected either the aerial or the grenade, but for comedic effect, I'm going to say the grenade because it's just funnier. Uh, but still, it's pretty even right now. Once again, Sen coming out of the gate, swinging so hard. And once Brujo gets in, he doesn't need to press as many buttons. Like, the APM yeah. between both players, it's like Brujo's at, like, maybe, like, 10, and, like, Sen's at, like, 500, right? That's how hard you need to work with Sheik. Seeing a lot of Nairs here on the ledge. There's going to be one of K Rule's safer answers to go for, right? Again, he's, he's capitalizing. He's <laughs> so good at these combo rounds off the crowd. It's making me sick that he's in the lead. I feel you, Devin. Okay? I told you you guys cracked. can't hear it at home. Did I but not I say feel he's you, cracked? Devin. He's cracked, and I hope his belly cracks because right now, this is making me mad. <laughs> Why? I he's feel cracked. Sen's pain, bro. Honestly, I'm like though. living through Sen right now, and how frustrated I'd be fighting against this freaking crocodile dog. Like I said, He's sick. He's he's really good at the game. Uh, <laughs> definitely a fun player to watch. But now Sen has to play it a little bit more carefully off stage here. Gets the grab into the back throw. Throws a grenade the other way. So that allows for Brujo to get that short hop up air heading on in there. Now Brujo gets to kind of chill, hang back just a little bit. There's the crown. Oh combo into the up air. Brujo turning that game around, especially when Sen started so strong. And then Brujo remembered, oh, wait, I have combo. Yeah. So, um... In, in Sen's defense here. In Sen's defense. How much matchup experience do you have against King K. Roll? How, how much do you How much do you have? Me? Yeah. How, how often have you played against King K. Roll? Okay. I'm going to keep it real. Okay. Keep it real. So I was like getting PR wins with Zelda and then Steve came out and then I played against a Steve who it was like his first tournament. He's like, hey, um, can I get a button check? And he up tilted like five times. He's like, all right, I'm good. And I was like, oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> Sent me to the retirement bench. And I haven't played against too many K rules, but I've had a heavy problem since like melee. So <laughs> don't the, ask me this question. So the heavy problem is like, it's like a fear factor, right? A fear factor can definitely come into account when you're playing against the heavy because you could die at any moment. Sure. Which is something you gotta like be able to overcome. I think get the heavy's up. worst weakness is bravery. I think a heavy fan against someone who's like, He's oh dead. my god. Good tech, though. No, good tech by Brujo. Just gonna <laughs> float back down to the ledge as well. I actually really like this he stage for Sen. For Yo, Aussie, I told there, you he's raw. There, you didn't no, believe me. No, Sen keeps falling for it. There is a trick that Brujo keeps doing, and Sen keeps. Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'll, next time it happens, I'll show you. But okay, I'll, show I'll, me. I'll, I'll describe it right now. <laughs> so, Sheik. When Sheik lands down with an aerial, yeah. and you see Sen uh, Brujo throwing out the crown, right? He's challenging it. Every single time he challenges it, Brujo just powers through it, throughs it, and it combos into the crown, and it leads to his death. It has happened three times now. Wait, there it is again! <laughs> Welcome back so to day one ultimate, man. Is she K rule? <laughs> this character, man! <laughs> Still, though, Sen holding on to this lead extremely well, but it is reminiscent of game number one where Brujo was trailing behind, but at least for a moment here. So I like how Sen is constantly going for just the refresh here into that neutral, dropping oh the God. crown, but that allows for Brujo to get back 
Here we go, though. You're Let's dead. see what the option down throw into the, you're the dead. F tilt. You're dead. There was, you're just <laughs> dead. You're you got grabbed at 100% on the edge of the stage by K Rule. You're done for, dude. Yeah, it's true. So Bruno, the, Bruno's doing a good job, bro. He's, he's actually. I like, told you he was I, sick. He, he almost did it again. You saw that? Yes. Sent backed off that time. He doubled. He realized. He recognized the scenario. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. I'm not doing that again. I actually really like this stage for K Rule as well because these platform heights are really fun to get some combos off of, right? You can tell that Bruja very comfortable here, but Sen once again finds the Nera to the back air, follows Bruja, needs to find a couple more. I think one more strong hit back air could potentially do it. Just nah. one more. Okay. Well, I think he needs three more, to be honest. Oh, bouncing, bouncing fish. fish. There we go. That mix up the move a bit. That back air was getting a little stale, anyways. All right, Bruja again. Here comes the crown. Bro, Sen's learning. Look at this. He knows every single time the crown is out, Sen backs off. He's like, I'm not falling for this trap again. Yeah, absolutely. You gimmicked me with that too many times. Get that, out of dodge. That's just a combo play when you really think about it, too. Yeah. So, honestly, good on Sen for adapting in real time. But look at Brujo starting to get a little bit impatient here. Has to get something started. There's the back throw. And once again, Sen so slick off these platforms. Just charging up these needles, getting something going here. The grenade not going to hit Brujo here. Great air dodge back to the ledge. And now, once again, here comes Sen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he even grabbed him. It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he just kills you by <laughs> Devin says this is an oopsie character. You just die by accident playing against K Roll. <laughs> Goodness. I'm dead. Send so close here. Honestly, it could go either way. Great Nair landing down. My co-caster here is passing away at the moment. He's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Some Looney Tunes shit's going to happen to him. Austin, hold it together, man. Hold it together. Looking for it, though. Great Nair not going to be able to find anything. Ruho going for the drop through the platform with the Blunder Blast. Unable to find anything. The Vanish actually like combo there and now it's all sent all you have to do is find this confirmed but the up throw definitely on town and city platform going to do it i <laughs> austin bro are you good <laughs> bro is gonna win this set right here it's gonna happen right here I <laughs> this is you. an even game this is an even game lyric yes <laughs> i'm very aware that heavies with rage are pretty good and honestly look already oh my, my goodness God. the uh <laughs> the mix with Bouncing Fish and down air almost actually happened. 200% though. Honestly, an up smash could do it. A strong hit back air could also do it. We are on Town and City, so the sides are a little bit small. So close. Oh, good roll, but it does not matter. Forward smash actually hits through. Phew. Sen taking a big load off after of that one. Recognizing when you have Suffering your opponent. Suffering is crazy. When you have your opponent at two. <laughs> Suffering is crazy. Am I the only one that's like between my co-caster and my, my production for this block? You I think I'm understand. the only one that's like, yeah, okay, this is cool. No, I do understand. You don't understand. <laughs> this is certainly the most silly. This is a silly set. <laughs> Once again, I did know about these people. Like, I I did know about Brujo, and I did know about Sen. <laughs> like, both of these players. Yo, he switched to Kazuya, Doug. Who did? Brujo. <laughs> Let's go! We're trying to. He recognized the gimmick's not going to work anymore. Let's go. The, the Omega. <laughs> <laughs> he called it the Omega Oopsie. <laughs> Aussie broke it together, man. Keep it together. Honestly, Sen looks so much more comfortable with the... My co-caster, everybody, has unfortunately passed it away right here on live. Oh my God. Sen looking so much more comfortable versus the Kazuya than anything, right? I mean, uh, it's a lot nicer to get your combo strings here, but 103 on Brujo. You know what Kazuya Mishima does, and that is just take stocks oh. in a moment. But honestly, Even I mean, game. Sen is not letting uh, Brujo get anything started. If Bruho gets one hit, he's dead. Nope. <laughs> well, that was, I've never even seen that move. That's back throw. I didn't even know that move existed. <laughs> okay, looking for the follow-up here. Kazi, you have one of those characters that you really just need your like player instincts on point. Like You can't just like fall into a flow chart with this character. If you get the reads, you're definitely on the way there. But you got to practice your confirms. you got to figure out where your opponents are going. Ooh. I know where he's going. Where's he going? I to heaven. He's, he's spawned right back in. Brujo coming back with the second stock. Kazuya a little bit rusty, I think, because there's a couple of times I think uh, Brujo could have gotten a kill on Sen, but unfortunately just couldn't uh, finish off those confirms in any capacity. Forward airs into the up airs again. 51 damage. This is where Sen's time to shine. I, I bet Sen is thinking, thank God 
I don't have to deal with armor anymore. I can just swing and get these combos going. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I think I said this in the beginning of the game, I think Kazuya is actually just much more preferred for Sen, right? You can tell he's a little bit more comfortable, a lot more fluid with there's his no aerials. Armor. Yeah, there's no armor, there's <laughs> no the crown. But the problem is, is that Kazuya does as Kazuya wants, and those confirms are going to be night and day. Now, granted, you have a great lead, but you don't tech great getup attack, though, by Sen. Once again, he's looking real strong, but here comes Brujo, gets the first hit, going for the second, but look at Sen, just recognizing, you know what, let me just not go hit for hit with you, because you're going to win every time. Runs up, gets a grab, put it to him into rage on top of that. Runs away from that dash tag on top. I like that Sen's playing very evasive in that regard, too. Oh my... I I just keep seeing new moves coming out from Kazuya today. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Kazuya, right? I, I think we all know, like... 207 the, moves. Like. <laughs> yeah, we know the strings by now, but to see them applied in different ways is going to be something else. But that is Brujo turning it around. 1 of 40 now. Zen needs an option to get this KO and needs it very, very soon. Homie's got 200 moves, but all he needs is, like, 6. Ooh, beautiful read on the air dodge down by Brujo, and that's going to be F Smash Punish for Sen. And honestly, I like what he's doing with Needles playing a little bit more defensively because you're, you're just so unsure here. Okay. Got another re-grab coming out from Sen. Oh, no. This is looking <gasps> devastating. Oh, no. oh you're We caught. might be dead. Oh, the platform. Good DI coming out from Sen. He's going to be able to survive to fight another day here. 83 damage, Sen bring it right back up. Dash attack on that platform, and it is climbing. you got to be very careful with that down air because, Sen, you cannot give Brujo an inch. Any sort of lag, he's going to capitalize on it. Yeah, and soon we're going to hit Rage Meter too, Aussie. So it's uh, it's really, if you're if you're Sen, you have to play so careful right now. You can tell that's what Sen is doing, trying to just play as careful as possible. There is Rage Drive ready to go. And now Sen just playing, you know, keep away at this point. Because it is last stock, it is game number three, but will that be it? It will, and that will be Brujo from New England moving on into top eight here at the Arcadian. Kazuya Mishiba coming out here to win that set. Literally, all he needed was a couple of hits. That's the scary thing about facing off against Kazuya is if you make yeah. the slightest mistake, you're done for. If yep. you're at like 50 damage, even less, like if you get caught wrong, like you might just be gone. That's the thing with Kazuya. Once again, I mean, you can... Once again, I, I said this a little bit earlier, right? Like the APM, how many buttons you're pressing versus like Sheik? You're always going to be pressing less. Sheik is going to be always working over time versus any character, right? You need those confirms. But great on Brujo for going into that top eight winner's side. Um, yeah, things are looking real good for the kid. It's a, uh, you know that one video where it's like the guy that's just like trying really hard at a computer game and going yeah, crazy? Yeah, he's like that, sh that, that was Sen. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> And then Brujo, both with K. Rool and Kazuya, was just singing at the top of his lungs, like one of the songs, like just yeah. casually. Like, da. Yeah, da, da, da. I'm gonna win. And then that's all that happened. So, yeah, congrats to Brujo. He's gonna move on through the winner side of bracket. But we gotta take it right back over to one of the Luigi's we just saw. Guy Guy going right back on the seat to face off against Justice, a uh, player, a uh, Min Min uh, from California, I believe. Uh, the West Coast. Yes, the capacity. West Coast for sure. Yeah. Uh, Justice also one of like the nicest people. Uh, that's the thing with like so many like, oh, this person means an annoying character. They're so nice. Like, <laughs> you don't know how many nice Min Min's there are. There, like, there are no annoying characters in this game, except K, K Rule's the only one. I was just about to say, Anyone bro, that you just almost fell out of your chair earlier. It was so funny to witness. <laughs> like, I know y'all don't have that over in Splatoon World. <laughs> Aren't you still casting for Splatoon? Yeah, I just they just caught me off. <laughs> that caught me really off guard. Uh, Why? Yeah. But no, there there is actually. <laughs> there's annoying heavy things in there's Splatoon. A, no, there's someone that can armor through everything. There's a special you can do it. Oh, that I know that one. Called what is it called? You know what's really embarrassing? Uh, <laughs> that you're changing topics when I put you on no, the No, <laughs> it's that I like studied. So we did like stream stars at PAX East okay. last year, yes. and it was like I studied so much for that game. For Splatoon? all of them, yeah, because it was like they played like so many Switch games, and like Splatoon mm. was one of them. And I was listening. All right, I have to study so much, and I studied that specific special where you just like you get into like a mech or something, right? Crap, crap tech. Yep, that one. And then I I completely forgot it. That, I mean, it's okay. It's not relevant anymore. It got nerfed to the ground. So of course there's, it did. there's other specials out there. But hey, the ninja. No. Oh, we got a different game to represent. Not Splatoon, but the other Switch game. Arms coming up to bat here on the right side. Min Min 
playing off from Justice. Facing off against Guy, Guy's Greninja, who he does have. Uh, he likes to play his character in matchups he feels uncomfortable like with. What did I say about Luigi earlier that he struggles against sorties? Minmin has the biggest sword of all. Yeah, absolutely, and I like this play, right? Because I think with Minmin counterplay that we've kind of found out over time is that you want to get Minmin Min into a very uncomfortable position off stage because her up special regardless just doesn't connect all the way, right? It's not, the range on it isn't too amazing. So that's what we're going for, right? We're going for these drop zone back airs. We're going for these forward airs, right? We just want to send Min Min off. There's the first forward air. We're lining up to try and find a back air, but there's the water as well. Justice though, definitely not a Min Min to sleep on at all. Definitely one of the better ones that we have in North America. The down air not going to be enough. Guy Guy still Holding on for dear life here, finds another forward air, but we need these edge guards to start, you know, converting into stocks. Meanwhile, you got uh, Greninja doing a fantastic job of just rushing you down, going, breaking through your defenses. That's what you got to do in the matchup because the second there's any range put, any distance put between you two, that's where Mimmin's going to thrive. That's exactly what Justice is doing right now, using the Ram Ram and the Dragon to fruition and gets that first kill. Ram Ram is one of the great one of the greatest tools in her kit because it's so quick and has a really good arc when it angles up like that. But hey, all Greninja needs is that one down tilt, that one dash attack, and you'll be sent flying of the pop up afterwards. Can I be real? What's if up? you guys just noticed Justice's player cam, bro just adjusted the song in real time. Did not care if his like his invincibility wore out. He wanted his song, like, and he took off his headphones, and he still kind of fidgeted with them. But the thing is, with Min, Min he's still winning in terms of percent, so none of it matters. It's a. Uh, I've been there before when you're like you're just trying to get your equipment correct while you're mid-match so you just keep fiddling or like there's something on your face or like something's <laughs> happening and you just gotta mess it's with like it. It's glasses push, you right? Don't, yeah, like you, in between you, stocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all according to Keiku. And then, uh, I, I understand, I've been there. Meanwhile, Justin's doing a fantastic job of just keeping Guy Guy at a social distance until Guy Guy's like, nah fam, I'm coming in. Give, yeah. me, that, give me that Nair, give me that dash attack. And yeah, still Megawatt though is going to absolutely destroy Greninja. Ooh. The Ram Ram placed perfectly by Justice here and we'll find another one. Greninja being a little bit lighter and now Justice definitely locked in a lot more. See how this one is going to go though once again. We're seeing Guy Guy bring Justice to the edge of the stage but we're not seeing the edge guards go all the way to completion. And now we're seeing Justice play a little bit more aggressively here on the ledge and it's actually working out for him really well. Hey, there it is. Speaking of, finally managed to get that dash attack on the ledge. Pops him up, gets the aerial right afterwards, and brings us to a one stock a match a piece. Things are looking really good so far. I love just the reverse arm in that moment. She's like, yeah, no, I got the back cover yeah. too, dog. Has Megawatt out and going Yo. to catch the standard getup. Beautiful read by Justice here. This is going to take game one. Yeah, guy, guy, got to dig deep. Yeah, unfortunately, Guy Guy uh, did, just kind of timed that ledge jump horribly. He saw that you were charging the megawatt, and you still went for the ledge jump right afterwards. So that's going to be how that game is going to be able to end. We'll watch it one more time here, maybe in slow but We'll see. We'll see how the reviews work out this yeah, time. Yeah, the around. Ram Ram just placed perfectly, yeah. right? I mean, like you're. This is once again Ooh, one of the better run. min mins in NA. Just boosh. Boosh. Really good at catching those ledges every single time. Here's the Megawatt, by the way. We're going to charge up the Megawatt. Swap right there. Swaps over to it. Charges it. Just there was cutters. plenty of time for Guy Guy to recognize what was going on. But it, because he took so long, I think he was checkmated because the Megawatt's such a big hitbox. If he chilled on the ledge, he was going to get hit by it. I feel like over the ledge, he was put at a very bad spot. But we're going to jump over to small battlefield for the next game. Yeah, we we all know why at this point, right? I, we want to not let our zoners just get set up completely. And we want our zoners to be uncomfortable. But the problem is taking a Min Min to small battlefield, they're going to be able to cover so much with that platform right there as well. Guy Guy's so far starting off much better in this game number two, as now Justice is going to be able to slide in using the down tilt. And once again, just resetting. And this is where uh, a lot of players sometimes might fumble here, where they're just like, well, Min Min's not really approaching me. I don't really know what to do. And once again, I mean, Justice playing aggressively, defensively, if that makes sense, backing up, but also throwing out a hitbox. It's sometimes hard for players to kind of punish, but there we go. There's the juggles, and now Guy Guy needs to find a way to get this first stock, but Justice so careful. Guy Guy did a Oh, Aye. not again. Ouch. Not the, the Megawatt is such a good tool for just catching on the ledge. We saw in the, how it ended the last game. We saw how it ended the stock right there. It's just an active hitbox that's coming your way that'll obliterate you at You're a gone. very low You're percent. You're gone! 
Good call out from Guy Guy. Gonna splash you with a splash attack. Hydro Pump, whatever, whichever water move it is. It has 100% accuracy, I think. And you're gonna be able to bring it right back here onto the stage. Uh oh, there comes Ram Ram. And honestly, good text spike. <laughs> you are stuck, dog. The thing oh, is, the no! thing is, Justice oh can react. God. When you throw out your arm like that, you you can change the trajectory as it's going out. So you can react to the optical for a higher low recovery. So as long as Justice didn't mess up, that was a checkmate situation for him when Sky Guy was out of jumps. Honestly, really good stuff coming out from Justice, man. A, a, kind of a masterclass here on how to edge guard. And once again, with Green Ninja being a little bit lighter, this is just all kind of rinse and repeat at this point. And look at this, approaching with arms. It's so hard to get around it. Finds the slide in into the up air. We're starting to get into danger zone if we're Guy Guy. There's the up tilt, but we're unable to capitalize off of it as of right now. Still, it, Justice still looks 100% in control. Yeah, guy, guy, just struggling. Unfortunately, you know you are in your secondary, not your main, so that could be affecting it. But Justice, is, I'm not going to give any uh, no sneezes at Justice. He's doing a really good job of blowing out the opponents, trying to call out that up there on top of that, drill you down to try to get a follow up right afterwards. But unfortunately, can't seem to find the mark. Needed that dash attack so heavily. If you managed to catch it on the right side, that could have popped up into even longer extension. But unfortunately, Ooh. kind of a messy way to go. Best of three. I thought it was best of five. Stop eight. Uh oh. We are finding it out. The TOs are on the stage because we don't Yo, know. Yo, shout out to Picks and Pylons, bro, as a photographer, but he's running stream this weekend. That's, That's my goat. That was also my goat. Took a really good photos of me. Also, really good at running the stream. They're being told it is now, in fact, the best three of five. We got an extra life. My man just found a one on mushroom and went, burr, burr, burr. not yet. You know, it's like all that continue screen, the nine. Eight. Seven. <laughs> My man put a coin in the machine and wants At to go one, one more round. <laughs> All right, still top eight here. You got to wonder if you're going to see Luigi. Never mind. We are going I'm to see I'm not wondering. <laughs> it's true. Honestly, so close here. Justice just taking a deep breath. Shout outs to the, the Naruto Hyper Rexes, by the way. Those are clean. Those are clean. Is that what that is? Naruto? Yeah, that's Naruto, bro. Oh, I knew they, they came were... out with a they came out with a Naruto line. Those are clean. Oh, that's sick. I knew they were Hyper X, but I didn't recognize that they're Naruto from a, like a long distance away. That's 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 a nice little detail. Coming in here for small battlefield, I know Justice got to be feeling something, right? Because imagine you just finished your last game and you won the set and you're in winners finals. But, yep. but then you're told, wait, you got to win one more. Like, it, <laughs> there's definitely like, it's definitely like a, okay. Gotta get right back into the hot seat and do it up. Because Guy Guy's now got three games to try out with the Luigi. This matchup is notorious for being horrendous for Luigi, so we'll see how exactly this goes. Because I feel like Justice definitely figured out that Greninja. I feel like game one or game three has started just like games one and two. It's Guy Guy getting confident and finding his hits in, but then Justice actually turns around and says, hey, guess what? Actually, not really. And now you have to face Min Min on the ledge here. And Justice so careful here. Here we go, but that's Guy Guy finding the conversion, going up finally in the set three stocks to two. It's funny that you said Justice was so careful because he was anything but at the end there when he went. Yeah, he true. charged in against the <laughs> Luigi. I feel like he was he was playing several, he just at the very end, he charged in. <laughs> he just, like, and then he got <laughs> called out by the grab. Yeah. The, the, at, at this point, Justice needs to kind of just stick to the game plan and play from a distance. Keep Luigi at arm's length. Because Luigi does not have any mobility whatsoever. Homie cannot move. This is not melee. He cannot just suddenly appear in front of you with the longest wave dash in the game. He has to respect the fact that you have to like run really slowly. You don't have a good aerial distance. And Minimi can capitalize on that and just keep you away. So once Guy Guy gets in just like this, he needs to keep that damage going. Yeah, bro, where was this game number two? Why did you doubt yourself? You're absolutely destroying him, Guy Guy! Sheesh. <laughs> Justice now back here once more. Trying to figure out this answer. Bet it all on that dragon throw it again. Overextending and giving Guy Guy what he wants. Guy Guy, what does he want? He wants a grab and he wants a nair. He lands either of those moves or even like an up tilt. That only does so much damage right afterwards. How do you prevent yourself from being able to get by those? You keep yourself away from Luigi. And now that's what Justice seems to be doing right now. 
So close though, it is all the Justice Show has the right idea with the Dragon Laser, but unfortunately the laser not going to come out in time. But now you gotta look at Guy Guy, you can tell the crowd is starting to get their boy hyped up just a little bit. Down tilt, He's plunger dead. into the back air, it's not going to be enough. Guy Guy though feeling very confident to go out and try and get this edge guard himself here. The down air not going to be enough, but no punish here. There's Megawatt in air, so now we're switching on over to Ram Ram, right? We're talking about how Luigi may have a harder time getting up back onto stage here, and now Justice, Megawatt Nair, not going to be enough. So we have to find the stock now. Dragon Laser, not going to be enough either. Guy Guy, going to be able to find the misfire into grabbing the ledge, but Min Min on ledge, such a menace. The, the Tri-State crowd coming out to cheer on for their boy, Justice here. 160% has, to, again, the game plan has not changed. Just keep Guy Guy away. That's exactly why we're dashing off. It's okay if you don't have center stage. Just keep him away with those arms, dash attack, any quick burst options. And whatever you do, don't go for anything risky. That's exactly what Justice is starting to do here. Guy Guy is starting to fall apart at this. Kind of struggling to find an opening. But as I say, they managed to catch the tippy toes with that back here on the platform. Another Zara coming out. Playing the ledge trap game of Smash, uh -oh. bets it all, cannot make it land. Yeah, now the problem is, is that Justice is just going to play a little bit oh, more defensively no. and run away, using the spring up to try and find something. <laughs> but the down air, the brutal call out by Justice. Things were looking so good for Guy Guy, and then turns around, even pops off off the stage too. That's going to be Justice moving on into winners finals here at the Arcadian. But my goodness, what a call! out right here wrist it all yeah recognizing that luigi does not have the greatest of horizontal recoveries off of the up b so right here it was pretty much done so after he committed to the side b <laughs> look at guy guy's face bro <laughs> you just know he just he i mean he's he recognized like, he's just like oh it's so sad to watch <laughs> don't zoom in on that Devin. come on bro that was <laughs> sad one more time <laughs> bro shook i'm shook it happens. <laughs> Devin's got to be one of the meanest uh, stream runners I, I've What's ever. What's your favorite <laughs> Devin moment? Oh, God, can I give you a top 10? Like, give me a top <laughs> 10 favorite Devin moment. Um, one time we were traveling to events a lot back in like 2016 or something when we were still just like going to stuff. And we blasted Sonic Heroes music nonstop for like hours. It, it was, it was, uh, it was uh, not Bingo Highway and Casinoopolis. We could not stop listening to those two songs for some reason, and we just kept memeing on it, and we kept like making the sound effects after. <laughs> we, I don't know, we, we were like delusional. It was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. sleepy times, and when oh you, no. when you can't fall were asleep. Y'all car? <laughs> no, no, no. This is like once we were like in our hotel and stuff. Oh, there was like five uh, of us in the room, and none mm -hmm. of us could sleep, so we were just like we blasted the music. We were just like memeing the crap out of it. Ah, uh, I miss those days. It was more innocent time back then. <laughs> yeah, if you can now say that everything's again. so professional. Look at this stream, Sorry. dude. Hate Sorry. it here, Devin. What happened? What happened to you? I'm a new age cat. You used to be. A, you used to be a memer. I, I want you to meme. Where are the memes at? <laughs> Let's talk about our next set coming up to bat. Why are they wearing the same outfit? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, I, I was taking water. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was drinking Austin. water. And I was choked. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, you're not missing much. You're missing Palutena. Get some nares on King is that, Gable. Is that that pesky <laughs> alligator again? A crocodile, if Ruho, you will. I am so sorry if you watch your VOD over. Austin has something against you. I don't. I have something against this character. You don't understand. I have PTSD against this character. I fought against him so much. It was frustrating every single time. Now I can't look at him the same way again. You never feel like you lose against the player, you lose against the character. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Don't watch these videos. I'm, the, I'm a big fan, truly. Uh, I mean, you gotta talk about C, though. Only taking 17%, and like we talked about, right? What happened this to the is stock? a Because it's a day one matchup for Palutena, right? And it's also Palutena versus King K. Rule. The moment that she hits the back hit of Nair, Brujo is taking at least 40% every single time, right? Dash attack, though, to cover the forward air coming out from Brujo, and now Brujo needs to get something started. Gets the crown back, but there's the first hit of the belly. My goodness! That's gonna be enough! Down air into four. Turn around, forward smash? That was hype. I like that. I'm a big fan of that. Laying out the downer to that nonsense, huge fan. 
K. Roll now coming right back with those back airs and stuff. Not getting too much super armor uh, finale. Oh, Looney Tunes coming out. It called out by the, uh, the 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 bluster ball. Is that what it's called? Blunder blast. The, the, no, the the, the the bluster, the gun. Yeah, Maybe the like, blunder blast. Blunder blast. I thought you said wonder blast. I don't know. The wonder blast. The blunder blast. <laughs> the blunder blast. The the that the big boy <laughs> blunder buzz. There. Blunder buzz. It was something like that. Donkey Kong Country two move. I don't know. Did you see Brujo just walk in neutral, then up special away, and still make it back to ledge unpunished? This Go. character's so silly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, good on C to get uh -oh, away you're here. Dead. Yeah, you're not dead just yet off of the dash attack. You're starting to get into the danger zone, though. Uh, a throw from K. Rool could potentially do it on that platform here, but C has to start being a little bit careful, right? C came out of the gate swinging really, really well, but now we just have to pick our opportunities correctly because K. Rool with Rage is very, very scary. Yeah, uh, C, you gotta be very careful. Drop, drop, dropping off there with the back here. Gonna be able to seal that up, but all Brujo needs is a grab. Literally one grab or a crown? Nah, not enough though. Finds the fit. Shoot him with the cannonball. Point Can blank. The cannonball covers so much ground as well too, but looking so good so far. And now Brujo coming back strong. See, this is what he needed though. A couple of nares just to cement a little bit of a bigger lead, but you're giving K-Roll a little bit of rage. But as we know, C's edge guarding is fantastic. I don't expect him to drop this edge guard to be quite honest. So Brujo's gonna have to be a little bit tricky here and he will be actually. No gets way. the nair pick up, trying to land this down air, but still finding all the nares he needs. C just using the teleport cancel, but Brujo ready for it. The crown going to stop auto reticle, but C's ready for the jump around as well. Brujo though not letting up on this stock, but has so much advantage here in the edge guard. Just going to throw away and once again putting C into edge guard every single time. Great jump away though by C trying to go for the grab and gonna be able to dash attack back on stage. A little bit of slippery gameplay happening right now. C fumbling with that grab. You can see how are we able to capitalize if both players reach that high percentage damage. Nair not gonna send you anywhere because you're being one of the heaviest characters in the game. They're gonna have to crown one more. They both want to grab it at this point. They both want it. They're both rolling because they both know the grab is imminent for both of them. Whoever lands it first, gonna be able to seal it out. And it's gonna be C who gets it. Catches the slippery crocodile. Tosses him with the back throw and takes away game number one. That was a much more interesting match for me to watch. Than can we the go last back to one. the giant like player view and can I once again talk about how they are wearing the same outfit? Come on, man! Why you gotta do it? Look like at that? this. <laughs> they're, they're wearing not. The, okay, the shoes the are different, but they're okay. wearing the same on, colors. <laughs> they're Echo Fighters. Oh my god. Those are some bright blue socks. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the shoe sock combo there. From which one? The right one. The yeah, blue, with the, no, bright, the blue. bright blue socks are, are, are lit. They ki they're killing. Game number two, though, between Brujo and C. That will be C going up 1-0 in this best of five winner semis. Definitely not impossible for Brujo to bring it back. We saw it in real time. But honestly, Austi, I'm expecting for C to just get tighter and tighter in terms of these combos every single time he gets one. Yeah, it, it's starting to get cleaner and cleaner. I feel like that's something that just kind of happens in in certain matches, especially in matches that you're not familiar with, that tends to happen a lot. Because not only are you adapting to the player, you're also adapting to the character. C not falling for as many gimmicks as our last competitor that played against him. So uh, I definitely has matchup experience in that regard. Uh, Palutena was actually one of the characters where we realized that King K. Rool was not the best heavy in the game because of like how well she's good at just keeping this dude off stage. Ooh, okay, that is going to be a punish on up smash by just getting the back throw. Not much else you can really do there if you're Cable. So now it's all Brujo and how you want to get this stock, going to throw away the cannonball, but I love the way C playing with no fear, just going to reflect it back. Great F tilt pickup from Brujo here, and now Brujo just really needs to option select correctly, and with 153, that back air definitely gonna do it. Fantastic ledge trapping coming up for Brujo, hey. but C just spawns <laughs> it and gets a grab, and that's all you need. Two stock game. Yeah, things are looking good for both players now, and I feel like we're seeing a little bit more of like a defensive time, but as we talked about, the Palutena combos are getting tighter and tighter on C side. That's four nares into an up air. That's 62%. I'm expecting to see a similar combo very, very soon coming out from Brujo, but once again, C is just guaranteed get all this damage if he hits just one nair. C going off pretty fast and try to capitalize on that uh, edge guard against Bro. Sometimes it might be better to just wait for that up B for OK roll because it's very easy to punish if you if you know how to space it out. Yeah, and from the top it's kind of difficult because the propeller is a really large hitbox. If you approach from the side, he's a sitting duck. He can't act out of it. 
Yep. Still no Nair working out really well. There's the back throw coming out for C. I like how C is always threatening an edge guard. That's what you gotta do as Palutena, right? Always having the back to you just in case you wanna hit the drop zone back air. But speaking of back air, Brujo actually going for a back air of his own. Look at C once again lined up, just jumping around, trying to wait for that proper short hop height. There's the up air though, and that's something that C hasn't caught Brujo with just yet. Yeah. Managed to finally close it out with that up air on top of that. And now we're bringing to this fantastic final stock here, maybe. Almost got it with it. Maybe a little bit more damage. You managed to catch it with that crown. Speaking of crown, getting a lot of item combos out of it. Goes to the up smash. Managed to catch you out of that grounded state. And it is a one stock battle. Bro is keeping this insanely competitive right now as C is denying him any sort of stage pressure. He is out of jumps. He has to go for the up B. He tried uh -oh. to get the punch. Gets called out by the propeller. Almost died in the process. But hold on. He's at 24 damage and it's climbing C. Managed to get back on there. But Bro just keeps tossing him back up. Has stage advantage. Go for another backer and near anything so close either way. C just stuck on this ledge. Definitely does not want to go down a game versus Brujo. Knowing that the Kazuya is also waiting in the wings as well. Good shielding though. And honestly, Brujo recognizing too the patterns on some of these reflects coming out from C2. Still looking for an opportunity right now. The throw armor is going to stop forward air. And now Brujo is actually really commanding here in the final seconds of this game right now, at least for the moment. Beautiful back air coming out from C though. Just the roll on stage is going to get caught. There's the forward air. I want to see another catch with up air, to be quite honest. We haven't seen it too often, but honestly, Brujo has not been giving C a lot of options to go on ahead and get something done. That what was, was that? insane. Managed to call him out with the crown throw of all things. Bounces off the wall, falls down into the blast zone, and he is cooked at that point. Game gone. Bro, was there no putting tech? This I, I, I don't think he expected it, to be honest. I, Look at this. Let's get Boom. this. Boom. Yeah, I think this was no tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, this was yeah. no tech. With yeah. the crown throw of all things, I feel like C was, or Bro was just kind of throwing that out as like, well, I'm just going to okay. okay. I mean, that's what K it. rules do, right? I mean, they want their to throw their like the hitbox out and their projectiles. Yeah. He was actually throwing out the crown a lot more, too, near the end, because he started to realize that C was getting caught by it a lot whenever he tried to, like, uh, attack it afterwards, right? Because when K. Roll throws out that crown, he's got armor afterwards. So a lot of people try to like punish it afterwards. I think they have they have like their plus because oh I hit you, I should be plus after that, right? Wrong. K. Roll's plus actually. He's gonna punish you with the crown. Yeah. So far, so good, though, coming out from C. This is what we would expect over time, right? This Palutena consistent damage has been playing extremely well. But now it's all up to Brujo to get out of the combo right now, and that's a big order. Great spot dodge coming out from C, recognizing player habits there, too, as you adapt in these best of five sets. You have tons of time. I like also how the way that Brujo was just like, oh, bet I have Cannonball. Let me just take it out of play completely because you're actually starting to adapt to it. But now Brujo being so careful, catching with up air and the crown, and now C actually in danger of losing the stock. The high commitment smash, though, not going to be enough. Good tech this time, though. C going to learn from the mistakes of last set. Here we go, the back throw, and that's going to be it. That's going to be Brujo going up in game number three. Three stocks to two. We're getting very strong currently. Spot dodging a lot of the down smash. Homie is trying to get that was scary, dude. Down smash coming out, managed to get out of dodge. Still chilling here on the platform. There's that crown again, trying to bring C into death's embrace. Honestly, I gotta say, there's nobody enjoying this set more than Devin. <laughs> Devin on Street Production is loving this. Great he tech. Ticked. Yeah, Brujo's raw, bro. And like we we should expect this by now. I mean, the kid is amazing. Ooh, I was not expecting that though. Great reflect in the eyes of C here. Now C only down by 46%. This is a very easy 46% for Palutena to make back up. Catches the uh, spot dodge as well, but great tech. Now I, I feel like the ending of game number two was a fluke. That was the only time that we really see C not go for the tech there. All right, here we are. It gets a grab, forward throw, tosses you right back off stage. Even damage, but C is definitely has the a huge amount of stage control as we keep this advantage state going. Burning up the jump. Went a little bit too deep with the back air. Unfortunate for C. Felt yourself a little bit too much. But just like that, still has stage control somehow, even after dying. Grab, back throw. Not going to be able to get the kill just yet on Kairos. We're going to try to get back on the stage with the propeller. Another down throw. 
Another up air. K rule's too heavy. You just can't get rid of him. Yeah. Still, though, there's the back throw on K rule. It's not going to be enough, especially with no rage as well. So as long as Brujo is able to get some extra credit here, we can actually work with this. Okay, tip of the explosive fling. Not going to be enough, though. There it is. Landing aerial into the grab. That's a lot of damage we just got. But there it is. Back air coming out from C. We are going to last stock. And this game three is really important, Aussie, because if we do go to a game five, the winner of this game is going to have stage advantage. Now, I will say we have only been on P Pokemon Stadium 2, but if we feel like mixing it up to that Kazuya Mishima by chance, that could actually really work out. Still, though, C has tightened up these combos so much. Yeah, K. Rule can kind of struggle to get back down to the ground if he's not opting to go for Nair or you're baiting out the Nair with the super armor on it. You can capitalize and just prevent him from being able to touch down on home base. Now we got stage advantage in favor of Brujo, catching out the teleport, recognizing exactly where he wants to go with that up beat. Gets the down air, and we are one game away from having a King K. Rule in Grand. Is this winner's final? Or winner's final, sorry. Winner's final. Oh my finals. god, I was like, oh my god. I got scared for a second too when I said that. I was like, wait, is that actually true? No, it's winner's semis. Still, in I'm top three? You, wrong. In top three, though? I warned y'all. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. I warned y'all and I said that this kid is raw. Nobody believed me. All right, let me see him fight against Spargo. That's how Devin feels every single time he plays against uh, K Roll. <laughs> yeah, that happens. All right, still the Pokemon Stadium 2. C coming out of the gate swinging. We just got to see a little bit more aggression here. And you can tell Westchester starting to get a little bit loud for their boy. And we're seeing so much action happen. So everyone's getting a little bit loud. It's starting to get to that rowdy part of the night here at LMBM. If you know, you oh. know. And C is about to know himself. Going to be able to escape that sweet spot down air. But we got to get something for it if we're Brujo. It's looking real good. Finds the down air into the ups. All he ups needs. Out. All he needs is that crown throw and it, like, the, it, the rest is a wrap. Also on top of that, Bruno's doing a fantastic job of catching out these dwarves onto the ledges. He's got the timing downloaded on C's habits for getting back on the stage. And when a heavy has your habits downloaded, that is one of the scariest things that can happen to you in any game, any fighting game in existence. Okay, great back air coming out from C, and now Brujo going to send the crown out to ensure some safety. No crown, though, so this is going to allow for C to just get that Palutena b and on the ledge. Beautifully spaced back air. We're even stocks right now. Brujo just going to take the chip damage with the crown over and over again because, honestly, you're up a whole game. You don't need to push your advantages as far, Austi. No, not at all. Just keep it safe and clean. Keep back and play a little bit. You know, passive. Look at him. He's not going for anything overzealous. He's waiting for Brujo to make the first move to get back on stage. Granted, he was able to just kind of get through that defense, but he's backing himself up into the other corner. Uh oh, backs away. Goffs to go for the roll to avoid that follow up from the crown. Getting a lot of mileage off of these alleged drop nares, too. Yeah, it's kind of at this point now where Brujo's starting to get hit up by the chip damage here. Good roll through, but it doesn't matter. The belly armor the actually nair. going to stop. Has the read as well, but C once again going to be able to escape. Go into edge guard scenario here. So now it's all C. How do you want to find this opportunity? There's the down throw into the back air. It's not going to be enough, but now King K. Rule going to be at that max rage. Love the air dodge through and knowing the confidence of the character. Able to just edge guard consistently at this point. How, if you're Brujo, Aussie, how do you get around this Palutena? Uh, do exactly what he's doing. Throw in the crown, use your Nair, your super armor on top of that, and try to capitalize it. Because Brew is doing a fantastic job of surviving. But as I say that, can he get called out by the back air upon landing? Potentially his final stock for the game. We'll see if C can try to clean this up or if is going to try to capitalize on that big amount of damage. But right now, C's got that stage advantage, has the ledge trapping here on lock, gets a grab. Good mash out from C. Yeah, absolutely. Or Brujo, I mean. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I see what you're saying. Uh, but now C. Uh, the consistency of Palutena damage is just so strong. It's always been strong. And that's why C is such a prominent player. Has been playing this character for so long here. There's the crown toss. Good parry, though, by Brujo. Gets the ground. Trying to read the jump. A great wait by C here. It does not matter, though. Brujo going to get the jump read. Going down into last stock here. 73 on K rule. It's a little bit of damage. Damage, but yep. it's also a little bit of rage too when you think about it. Yeah, so you could have gone for that guaranteed up tilt, by the way, on the ground state, and it would not have killed, which is why he opted to go for the weight. So it becomes a kind of a guessing game when you're in that defensive spot. But now, see, has another grab, another back air. Any other character would have been dead, but we got this big boy still living the dream over here as Bruno needs to get back onto the stage and get out of these pesky grabs. 
trying to DI away to get a further away from that back air, but she's still going to be able to find its mark. 148 damage. Bro just goes for the simple ledge jump into a double jump, and now he is starting to become a threat, but as I say that, C closing it out as hard as he can with these explosive flames Ooh. into the up tilt. Slide under, getting that up tilt there. That's going to be the first time that we actually see that coming out from C. Yeah, not Just a common move. Yeah, the slide right in. Let me just, you know, chop, twirl chop. the pole right above my head. S slide to the left. <laughs> the, the slide uh, to the to right. right. Now up this time. <laughs> Two up tilts this time. I can't remember the last time I, like, did the cha-cha slide. It had uh, to have been the last like, wedding you've been to? No, the last wedding I went to played, like, exclusive rap. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's lit, actually. Yeah, it was lit. Open bar. Uh. Bow. Uh. <laughs> Camera literally covers uh. the entire platform, too. Like, just don't go there. Oh, we got the big eyeball, too. It's like, oh, commentators should help players get better. Okay, bet. Don't go to that should platform. They? Is that our job? <laughs> I mean, we I'm should. Not a coach it, the heck? I mean, I try and analyze what players could be doing better. But game number five, Pokemon Stadium 2. No Kazuya Mishima here. So we are just going to rely on our King K rule to take us through. Winner semis here. So winner's going to go on into winner's finals. Loser's going to be dropping down into the quarters here. But. Honestly, I have to say, this might be the shortest Palutena combo that we've seen so far from C. Yeah, uh, honestly, just the double nair, you know? That's all you need. Short and clean, and now Brujo is actually the one returning the favor here. The trade is going to work out in C's favor here. Going to get <laughs> tossed up just a little bit, and now this is the true power of K. Roll's neutral V, at least for the moment here. Trying to land with the nair, but beautifully placed forward air. And now it's all up to Brujo. Can you get this stock and get a massive lead? Ooh, oh, has the right idea with the grab. He was so close. And C also over the grab right afterwards, too. They both grabbing on opposite directions. No one getting that confirm right afterwards, unfortunately. Coming right back down with the forward air. Has the crown ready to rock. Unfortunately, because C got, that was a magician's trick. The crown was right in front of you, and he's like, ooh, I want to grab that crown. Uses the dash attack to grab it, and because he did that, was wide open for Brujo to go for a counter attack. Yeah, things are looking really good if you're Brujo. That might be the first time that we're seeing Brujo, like, definitely in the lead this set, right? I feel like every game that we've seen, we've seen C get at this amazing combo here, but oh now God. we're seeing Brujo really show his stuff. 135 on the croc. I mean, C out 82, jumps over the explosive flame, has the accidental throw behind of the crown, but the uh, wind box from Palatina forward air actually pushing Brujo to a little bit of safety here. There's the Nair, though, to pick up. C trying to line up for a back air, but Brujo just going to go to the ledge. There's a crown super armor toss, and that's not going to be enough. See, uh, see uh, learning, by the way, that once you hit King K. Rule after he does the crown toss, it's like, okay, I can't combo off this. I'm just going to hit you and back off. Right. Right, that's like the most optimal thing you can do to him in that scenario. 191 damage here on Brujo and still surviving. We are abusing crown throw at this point until finally calling out the roll in with the back air. Brujo one stock away from securing himself a trip into a top three. C still going to be able to spawn in and has a little bit of fight left in him. Yeah, things are looking real good now for Brujo, right? Now we just need to pick our opportunities correctly, not get caught up by a couple Palutena Nairs, and honestly, we can send this set as good as gone. Good roll through, but the back hit of Palutena Nair, we know it's one of the best pickups in the game, and now it's all C on this edge guard. You have to take this stock without getting hit too much, and then you have to take a whole nother one. There's the air dodge, but we're still A-OK -okay here. If we're Brujo, we just have to get back to stage. Great air dodge to the platform, too, so we're mixing up our routes just a little bit. Good tech though, but C's got it covered. Yeah, trying to cover the second landing on top of that too. Going over towards the right side. Runs up back air immediately afterwards. Gonna be able to super armor right through that. Again, using the crown to your advantage. Picks right back up. By the way, every single time that Brujo's crown spawns in, you're gonna notice that he's like rolling or something or shielding when he picks it up because if you just idly pick it up, you have a lot of like lag afterwards. I have to say, C was not taking any percent on this stock and stacking Brujo to 172. And the only percentage he did get was an accidental hit of crown. The tenacity on this yeah. final stock, if you're C, is going miles. And you can tell that the crowd's starting to build up some energy. Uh, Brujo has to put out the fire now because C is definitely heating up. Yeah, he, his advantage state is out of this world. Just consistently raising up that damage further and further, not, de denying Brujo any sort of stage presence. He's off stage at 81, trying desperately to find this right time to get right back on there. Another explosive flame gonna pop you right back up. No, no, 
not the Looney Tunes. Okay, we get back on though. Get away from that blunderbuss. We spawn right back onto PS2. I just have to call Phew. it out, man. C has not taken too much damage over the past two minute and a half. But now it's Kamu with a little bit of rage. Brujo going for the dash attack there. And that's actually going to send him off once more. Great grab coming out from C. And hits the back air. Gets the game. Still stays alive and winners. But just... Barely. C coming right in with the clutch down throw. Turn around back here. Brings himself to a winner's finals spot. Securing himself at least top three. You know he's got to be sweating after that. Look at him. He's like, phew. I did it. Bro it's saw his life flash before his eyes. I mean, before the start of that game, we saw. Like, King K. Rule was in the lead. I got to call it out, man. You want to talk out. about character diversity in this top eight here at oh the Luminosity God. makes big moves. What National Arcadian. What we have this? Palutena, King K. Rule, Min Min, Luigi, Greninja, Roy, Ness, Belmont's Game & Watch. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, this is an Arcadian. <laughs> Come on, man. That's cool. We got character diversity. Yeah, and not... Steve is legal. No I... Steve. Steve is legal in Arcadian? I'm pretty sure Steve is legal this entire tournament. Huh. Is Steve legal? No. Oh, Steve isn't legal. I was My fault. Say, My huh? fault. Max would never. My fault. <laughs> Max is a big hater of that character. Yeah, th <laughs> those, th are those are not the moves, small moves, apparently. Larry guy here making guys. small moves here in New York City, but that's okay. We're going to keep it here for you guys with the biggest of moves of all. Luminosity making some big moves here in 2024, starting off the year strong. This is literally the first weekend of the year, and we have a big tournament. Always a big fan of the event because of that. Starting off January, just right with it. It's like, oh yeah, it is 2024, huh? It is here. And Luminosity's got some more events coming your way in the future. We got the uh, uh, Gommel. Get on up. my level. On and my then level. Toronto makes big moves yes. as well that they did announce. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to EMG, man, and uh, Luminosity. They are really doing it for us, man. Mm -hmm. I, we definitely needed somebody to like step in and still keep that spirit of Smash alive, and we're 100% seeing it. The Luminosity makes big moves here. Um, and then, you know, however many events they decide to run after, which is going to be for a long, long time. Yeah. And Gommel, obviously, is going to be its 10th anniversary uh, this year. That's it originally crazy. started in 2014. So it's been a decade. That's when I like started playing Smash. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I was just, in my like hair high just turned, school. My hair just turned gray. You see it right there? All, what was your first Smash game, Aussie? Um, uh, like my first Smash game I played, or my competitively. First competitively melee. It During was, Prime Melee? Uh, before Brawl was released. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was like it was like really grassroots. Like this was during the time when you would travel to tournaments, and you you could just crash in someone's house. That you, yeah, there's like 20 people at the bracket, dude. That's a that's huge. And like that's literally a major back then. And then on top of that, you would travel to those tournaments. And like you just crashed in some random person's house, and it would be totally cool. Honestly, because yeah. you talked to them on the on Smash Boards a couple of times, so you were chill. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Today. Like What's up? I, used to, I, my parents started letting me travel to tournaments once I hit college age, but I never told which my parents. Which is fair. Which is. I never told my parents who I was traveling with, so I went to Paragon 2015 completely by myself. I said that my three best friends were going with me, but oh. I did that whole like layover thing by myself, and I just met up with people like there uh, from you know all over. But yeah. we got to talk about from speaking from all over. Uh, we have East Coast literally versus West Coast here. C and Justice in our winners finals here at the Arcadian. Justice on the Min Min, of course, has been playing fantastic, but I always like to say, though, if you are the player who has just come from a set, you're always going to have a little bit of an advantage because you're already playing hot. Your combos are already locked in. I'm sorry. I, I got so distracted. Can we talk about that shirt? Yeah, I was. That is a it. sick shirt. I like. Is that a sick shirt? I, What's your favorite, like, soft drink on, that, on uh, that shirt? I am a notorious hater of soft drinks. I also don't. I My New Year's resolution last year was to not drink soft drinks anymore. It is the best thing to remove from your diet to live a more healthy life. Water is the best thing you can drink. Let's jump into game number one. <laughs> All right. Winner's finals here <laughs> starting between Justice and C. Westchester versus West Coast here. You can already tell once more. Uh, Justice and C. Uh, C is lined up ready to go, right? And beautifully coming out of the gate already with a couple of aerials. But look at Justice, man. Already fighting back. Already has that pre-planned distance ready to go. Already locked in. Man, 
just playing out of his mind right out of the gate. Now this whole game plan is going to be an offense versus defense, right? Because Palutena can mix up what she needs to do based on the scenario and based on the matchup. Ooh. Against Min Min, she's got to turn into the rushdown character. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Ram Ram to send off. I love the recovery high. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you, Austi. As much as I know about Westchester, because I grew up there, mm. I'm not sure how many Min Mins they exactly have there. And to kind of further that point, how many Min Mins they have at Justice's level out there. Yeah. That one's got to hurt. Yeah, I mean, having the matchup knowledge, like, is very important, especially with this game of all games, right? Because, you know, if, if you're playing the game online, it's a little bit different. Like, you do learn matchups doing that, but it's not the same as playing in an offline competitive environment. So having those characters mains that are that good near you definitely help. Meanwhile, you know, Justice probably has played at least a one Palutena from 2019. Like that, that, <laughs> at that, least that, one. Yeah, there's, they were all over the place, Doc. Because right there, that was a classic one. May managed to just call out Justice from the top with an up air. It takes away that stock away from Justice, turning into a two-stock match. Honestly, the shield, uh, like, moving there from C definitely felt like a little BM. <laughs> just kind of, like, moving it up and down, just getting it ready to go. But two stocks to two so far. We're seeing a little bit more of a slower neutral than we saw, especially in last set. But I like how C's trying to close the gap with some of these landing yeah. airs, too. It's looking real good, but catching a lot of jumps with this up air as well. Looking pretty even right now. Great dash attack coming out from C. But these landing up airs have been really getting see a ton of mileage. The drop-off Nair, it's not going to be enough, but that's the kind of sauce that we need to keep this match cooking. Yeah, C coming right back in, trying to find a way down to the stage. Manages to do so, just getting super overzealous with that run-up grab. You gotta be careful about that. Running up there and grab is one of the longest, like, laggy things that Min Min could do in her kit, besides, like, a smash attack, right? Look, look at that. C thought it was so laggy that he get a punish with F Smash of all things. So uh, I think next time we go for like a grab or a forward tilt. But I mean, I thought F Smash would have worked. So guess not. Yeah, I mean, great timing on a lot of these ledge getups from C as well. Justice so going to be launched off stage. I like how we're throwing out Megawatt to put out that wall of hitboxes, but it is just going to be that simple down tilt that does take the stock. Now Justice able to, okay, spook them. Spooky. <laughs> spooky. Ram Ram energy. is spooky. <laughs> there are times when a Palutena is trying to recover with up B on PS2, and they can struggle because they can't decide where to go. Because so many could, places. Yeah, you have the platform, you have the main stage, you have the ledge. Like, there's so many. Ta we're playing. There's three different directions. Yeah. So sometimes you just kind of get stun locked, and you're just like, oh, I just fell. I'm done. Good night. Ooh, okay, good spot dodge coming out from Justice here as now C trying to cement this lead a little bit further. Justice able, though, to kind of move around and start getting some hits with the arms. I think what I'm noticing here is that C is getting a lot of up airs, but Justice is reading a lot of landings on C as well with a lot of these, like, ram rams and a lot of these, like, dragon lasers as well. So let's see how this one is going to go. C looking for the downtown, unable to find it. Justice going to prioritize just resetting neutral and then doing what Palet or doing what Min Min does best, keeping a far and then just laying on just very consistent chip damage. Yeah. Oh, runs in there. That's the punish I'm talking about, right? Get the whip, nice. grab, find a grab yourself. Unfortunately, that DI was a little suspect because there was no zoom in. So, so I actually think that Justice got an accidental turnaround here. If we could slow it down. Yeah, accidental turnaround, and that's what happened, right? You can see, you can actually see Justice in the camera right now, kind of like shaking his head like, oh, man, I did not mean to do that. Um, and then it's just easy going. Honestly, yeah, obviously, the if we could like back it up like two to three more seconds, Devin, off of this exact point, you could see Justice literally be like, no, that's not what I wanted to do. But And um, on top of that, DIing away, he was dying away to get out of the combo, which actually doesn't work against Palu because you can run up and do the reverse backer, but was maybe holding away a little bit too long and then died in the process. Unfortunate circumstance. We're going to jump into game number two now, though. Yeah, things are looking real good once again. As, like, tried and true, if C finds a Nair, he will find another. Yeah. Like, it's never just one Nair with Palutena. Do you remember old Palutena Nair? Like, what? Smash 4 Palutena no, Nair? No, like, or beginning like, of Ultimate Nair. Was it... It was better, right? It lasted significantly. Yeah, I was it did about the exact, to say. It did the exact same thing. It just it took forever for the hitbox to go off, so it was just mad annoying to get hit by it. Yeah. So they sped it up. It, nothing changed gameplay-wise except that the combo is faster now. It was just to relieve time because when you got hit by Nair, it took a year for the hitbox to go off. 
Yeah, it's very true. Uh, Palutena, though, definitely just like that day one character that you had to learn how to fight against. I mean, so good, so consistent here. Loving the getting up from the ledge with the forward air coming out from C as well. It's looking pretty even still. I like Justice trying to read where C is going off the teleport with that Megawatt, right? Megawatt reaches a lot of places, but gets the poke and finds the up smash out of shield. That's going to be Justice going up three stocks to two. Right, jumping away from those uh, projectiles on top of that, the arms, those pesky arms coming in. Lands down with the back here, ledge trapping ability now for C. Calls out the ledge, get up. Good DI to get away, a little bit too high damage, be able to follow that up. Managed to drag you down with the Nair, and drag you down into death. It's gonna be stock one going away. Yeah, very unfortunate here, but Justice still holding on to a little bit of a percentage lead right now. And I do have to say that C, it looks very well versed in this matchup. I, I, he looks very comfortable. He he knows exactly, I was about, just about to say, how to parry the arms and then how to work off of it. The uh, teleport cancel, not exactly going to get too much there, but here comes these nares here. And potentially if that back air had hit, we could have seen a drop zone something. There's a down throw into the back air and now Justice has to be so careful how he wants to get back onto stage here. There's the Nair and C once more just taking high to the sky. Yeah, kind of surprising by the way. Oh my god, that smash. That uh, Justice took C back to PS2. Granted, uh, PS2 is a really good stage yes. for uh, Palu, obviously. But it's also a good stage for Min Min because of like the long reach that you have with the arms. Just having a big stage is good for in general. So, I don't know, maybe like Town could have worked a little bit out better, but hey, you know what, with the PS2, people play it, pick it as a comfy pick. Yeah, I was about I to it. say, it's a comfortable pick at that yeah. point, but also for zoners, I think it's a great pick yeah. as well. I, it's I just Palu's best stage. Yeah, it, it's, it's Palu's best stage, but it's, it's also tough. zoner paradise when you really think about it. Good yeah. roll through by Justice, punish the down smash with the Megawatt here, last stop. Definitely not impossible for Justice to bring this back, but like I said, C just getting more and more comfortable with the matchup as time goes. Great, like, rolls through a lot of these nares as well, and just knows exactly the timing to go out of the shield and start nairing after both arms have been sent out. It's a lot of matchup knowledge. It's very particular, very precise. Yeah, and you gotta be able to get precise with these forward airs, you know, running off there with the back air. 99 damage right now on C. Okay, uh, C jumping over Justice. I was hoping for like maybe a jump off of that dash or just throwing it out there just to be able to get some coverage here. Because right now Justice is looking at a very bad spot currently. 111 here, landing down onto the stage. Gonna just run away, try to get a, create some distance between you and Palo, which is kind of tough because even when you got that distance, palo has got a lot of projectiles to fight you with too. Auto reticle and explosive flare. Yeah, things are looking real good if you see, right? All you need to do is be patient and the opportunity will come to you. You can tell that's what C's doing, right? Saying, hey, I don't know when you're going to get impatient. Good air dodge through the dragon laser, though. Could have spelled disaster. Just going to kind of go up and away off of the platform here. And now it's all C. Finds the first back air. Good DI on that one if you're Justice. But finds the fall off Nair and that is going to be it. C going up in the set 2-0. Only needs one more to head on into Grand Finals. That was the second time we saw C get a death just like that, right? Took a stock by just dragging you down with the Nair, and then at that point, Min, Min doesn't really have anything that she can do from that low towards the blast zone, especially with that amount of hit, hit knockback afterwards. Like, you're just pretty much done so at that point. Here we watch some of these kills one more time here. Down throw into the back. Here's another one to drag down Nair. Drag him down, you're done. Very tough to be able to try to like react to that. We're gonna jump here into game number three. C up 2-0, like you said. Changing up the battle stage. Let's go. Small battlefield. I makes like it, this. Makes it a little bit more compact, right? Well, I like this because we're able to box a little bit more efficiently. Like you said a little bit earlier, Pat, Pokemon Stadium 2 does give Palutena a lot of space to run around, a lot of time to recover, and that's something that we don't want to let her do here. There's the up air read here, but it doesn't seem to matter because once again, C has been catching all of Justice's landings with up air. Ouch. Yikes. Yeah, yeah that's, so that one hurts. It's tough for Min Min to land. Like all yes. the only thing she has in her kit to land with is pretty much Dare, which is very risky or to go Megawatt, for. Or Megawatt if you yeah. kind of have it. Like, exactly. It's, very spe like it's very specific. Yeah, it's very different. It's not like a simple like Mario Nair or something, you know, <laughs> a Fox Nair, something like easy to just counter a counter attack, something like a large hitbox just to put out. Like she doesn't really have that. Down air is like her best bet, and even then, if she guesses wrong, she's laggy on the ground. Yeah. All right. Still. 
I mean, Justice now trying to return the favor, finds the Ram Ram, looking for it one more time, but great recoveries by C. C is really just not falling vic victim to any of the, like, Min Min stuff, right? Now, granted, you did jump into Min Min because you thought you could get around the arms and Justice did punish with an up smash. Yep. That's kind of like learner's tech, right? The Justice has been catching that over and over, but every single time C comes down from that Angel platform, he is ready with a Nair or to just force Justice off stage with a loose back air. Yeah, just always at the ready, like you said. Uh, whenever you catch someone like that coming from above, like, it's really good to get that punish on top of that. But now we see a jump coming out here from C. 105 damage, we're coming right back onto the stage. Dash tag, big punish coming out from C. He's gonna go for that run up back, turn around back here. And we're going deep, extra deep for that forward air. Trying to catch you with the tippy toes. Look at C once more, just chasing Justice off the side of the stage. Finds the explosive flame. It's not going to be it enough. C, grab. though, wants to just finish this stock and have a huge lead. There it is, the F2. Honestly, I, I see C just, you know, kind of sneaking the tilt KOs just like every so often, right? We saw that up tilt that one time. We're seeing the F tilt the other time. But now Justice having a really great position in stage. But here comes the Nairs. Actually doesn't go all the way with the full combo this time. That might be the first time that we're seeing C actually just get a couple chip damages for it. Yeah, dude, this is just kind of tough to watch sometimes because the more I watch this set, the more I realize this looks like a really difficult matchup for Midman. Yeah. Like, like close up, she Palutena has the ability to do rush down and stuff like that. Eats the jump, manages to recover with the tether. But on top of that, explosive flame beating grab is insane. Yeah. Or just being like arms in general. Like it comes out so fast. Catch with the upper, one more up there. Opsa go for the left side instead of right. Guessing a little bit differently here. Justice on potentially his final stock of the set here. Definitely wants to try and go in there for one more game. We'll have to wait and see how this is gonna be able to turn out. Dash attack. Yeah, the dash attack out of the corner is definitely a mix up there. But now C once more really just needs a great back air. But Justice going to go for the back throw. And I like the way that he threatened some of his arms off stage by going for like that giant spring jump. Granted, it didn't do much there, but at the threat it makes Palutena uncomfortable. Here we go, hitting the splits, hitting the down smash here. And now C, all he really needs is like a drop zone back air. And that'll do it. Finds the forward air, gets the auto reticle, but great snap back, finds the up smash. That's going to be C going on into Grand Finals winner side, winning that over Justice 3 up. I love that C saved that for the end, too. That up smash Yay. didn't do it the whole time. Congrats <laughs> to you, man, making it to Grand. No, that's yay. a big deal. You, you got to no, I love that. That was such an innocent, like, yay. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was so innocent and like, yay, I did it. Like, it's, it's really cool to see people who are, are clearly talented. Look at Justice in the camera. Devin, can we like, go back and get that reaction? Hope he wants to win. Like, oh man, I can do that. <laughs> look at look at Justice's camera. That's one head shake. Oh no. Give him another. Going up again. Yeah, I, I think you he shook his land. head one more time. You can't land. <laughs> like the eye roll was so loud. It's tough to land down on the stage. You gotta get focused like that. Uh, see, you know, this is like a very rare opportunity for these players to be on the big stage this late in bracket. It's really cool to get some spotlights on these players who may not be like the top, top, top players, but are insanely talented and have proven themselves to get this far with the handshake right afterwards. East Coast prevailing over West Coast here in the Arcadian of the winner's final side anyways. So, yeah, do the Palutena looking super clean. I can't wait to see how he's going to do in Grands. Yay! Yay! Yippee! Yippee! I did it. Well, that, if that, is a, that is a wowie zowie if I've ever seen one, man. <laughs> Phone in hand, dude. Never letting my white friend record my win ever again. Yippee! <laughs> Good on C, though. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, I do have to say C was projected uh, eighth placing. Well, uh, our projection the was eight. wrong. The he projection was wrong. Justin proceeded to two. get 15th, or a.k.a., you know, top 16. But That's the beauty of brackets, man. If seeding always went according to plan, it would be boring. Yes. We That's want it. it to be mixed up. If seed number one wins the tournament, then cool. Okay, sounds like we're waiting on a match right now. We're waiting for loser semis to happen currently.
going to be uh, Guy Guy versus Revolver is one of those sets, man. Tons of tournaments coming up that we're just kind of waiting on. So while we're waiting on those matches, you guys can tune in and kind of have like the multi-stream going. That's twitch.tv slash DG Bootcamp on the other one. This is your, right now you're doing the twitch.tv slash Luminosity Gaming. But while we wait for those sets to go, man, I'm just going to kind of... I mean, I could see them from here, honestly. Like, like, <laughs> this is the I know it's game five between Brujo and Monty, and I believe Brujo is now on the Kazuya. Mishima. So that one's a little, that one's a little I kind of just want to take the camera like it's a webcam and just like take you guys with me. I can show you the matches. Or, uh, show you the rope. venue. Wow. Hey, yo. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> beep. It's a little good. Wait, wait. Go uh -oh. as far as you can into the actual screen. Go into the actual like screen that the players are playing on. Oh, how far? How about how, how, how far is can the we zoom, zoom in? How, oh. All right. So anyway, um, I think that's <laughs> I think that's Game and Watch hitting an edge guard. Yo. How good are your eyes? <laughs> My eyes? Yeah. I mean, I just turn around and I can see the game. Yeah. If you just look right there, like. Wow. It's, it's a very good, very good view. Yeah. It's very, very good. We're view. cheating out here. Wait. Yeah, right now it is uh, two stocks apiece. Uh, game five, by the way. So, man, that Brujo pot Winner goes out on to Kazuya. fight Guy Guy, correct? Ooh. So, we have Ooh Westchester. Uh -huh. We have West Coast. Uh -huh. We have Long Island. And then either California or New England. Two Tri Staters remain. C and Guy Guy. Not the two Tri-Staters I think I would expect. Uh, this bracket was really, really rough for a lot of reasons, right? Um, but I'm so excited for singles tomorrow, man. Singles tomorrow is going to be crazy. There's going to be upsets literally everywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's how the Arcadians been. If the, if, if the Arcadians been any, like, hint at what we're going to see for the future of this tournament, like, definitely. Tons of upsets, tons of seeds going haywire. It's the first tournament of the year, so you know a lot of people want to like go crazy and like show off their stuff. People are excited that Steve is banned as well on top of that. So there's a lot of people being like, oh man, I can go there and actually not fight against that pesky <laughs> villager, you know? No, not, not villager, but the, nope, uh, the other villager. one. Take a look at the set, by the way. It looks like uh, Kazi is up, Ruho is up, and the crowd is starting to go a little bit insane. Yeah. yeah. So tons of uh, action coming out here. One stock, final stock, game five, guys. I'm sorry. I got to watch this. Hi, chat. <laughs> How are you guys? Uh, Ow. <laughs> that hurt wife. you. That hurt me. <laughs> yeah, it's Monty at 64 versus Kazuya on the last oh, stop. Oh, he was almost dead. If he actually does that, that's like kind of based. Got the back air. Come on. Finish it off. Either one of you. They're working on it. Yeah. How, how's your visit to New York City been so far? Visit? I used to live here. I know, but like, you know, you're back. You know, you're on vacay or whatever, you know. Vacay. Vacay <laughs> Two working. hour drive, right? Two yeah, hour drive. it's a vacay. I guess so. I, I mean, always say that if you live in Connecticut, New Jersey, or PA, you are New York. Like, that's just. Yeah, that's that, how that that's, happens. that's my brain. Tri State is one state. Tri State is four states, actually. That's the funny part about it. How are you not dead? Because he's game, game watching watch. he's built. I'm looking. This Built is the worst thing that we could do. I don't care. I actually think Devin yelled at me at oh, my sorry. first LMBM for doing this exact thing by watching the other set. <laughs> that is going to be Monty taking it over Brujo. 3-2 uh, as once again we have two West Coast, two East Coast going into uh, top four here. King K rules dead. King K. <laughs> You they, are uh, a they, hater, uh, I'm not, Austin. I'm not you are an official hater. Listen, if you played against King K Roll as many times as I had, you'd be a hater too. Guys, we got loser semis coming up very shortly. It's going to be Guy Guy facing off against the one and only Monty with the game and watch. So, so the rematch. The rematch indeed. This is going to be kind of scary, right? Because this was a 3-0 three, three earlier. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, Guy Guy going in Greninja the first two games. Right. They thought the set was over. They told, hey, it's actually best to be a five. Yes. So the Guy Guy's like, cool, I got, another, I got my one-up mushroom. I'm going to go in there with Luigi. I got this. <laughs> and he almost did. That was the scary part. It was a very close game, number three, but Monte... Closed it out, went up to the TO. It was a 3-0, but it was close though. So we'll see how it's gonna be able to go right now. What happens if Guy Guy goes Luigi the whole set this time around? Yeah, I was actually going to say that's something that I do wanna see, especially in a best of five. I wanna see the mains go first, you know what I mean? Uh, I always say the proper time to try a secondary in a best of uh, five is always game two, mm. because uh, you don't wanna just like throw that out, be like, all right, let me just try my secondary the last game, because then you see a much closer game and you kind of wonder what could have been. So it will be Guy Guy. I believe also that is it for VG Bootcamp stream. And
and everybody's going to be coming on over here very soon, or they also yeah. going to be casting top four over there too? All right, so they're going to be transferring over here, and we are going to finish out this top four, just me and Austi here. Uh, Monty needs to get his butt over here, but... <laughs> I, well, listen, I if he goes to the bathroom, I get to go to the bathroom, right, Devin? No. Right, Devin? No. No bathroom Please? break. What if I, real quick, you know, like, no. if I just take a run? I've been drinking a lot of water, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Like, That's good. Very good. Yeah. I never got my uh, commentator issued uh, a bottle, empty bottle, you know, the Amazon given. Uh, the <laughs> you should just get your commentator uh, three. 50.1 quart? Oh my god, this is 1.5 liters of smart water before every block like I do. That's insane. That's so much water. I love water. I do too, but you know, sometimes it is. Uh, water is really good for you. It is. I'm chugging. Whenever we're, we're both, we can't, <laughs> anytime one of us is talking, the other one's chugging, chugging water. water. Yeah, it's very true. I had a friend once, like in college, I think. Um, it was like finals week, and he like looked really pale. And I was like, "You okay, bro?" He's like, "I have not slept in five days. Uh, all I've drank was like energy drinks." And I was like, "Oh man, you're gonna get kidney stones, bro." <laughs> Guess what happened a week after the semester was over? I don't, I don't know even know. Bro, I got know. kidney stones. Dude, it was terrible. I didn't want to know that. Please drink water, man. Water is so important. Water is so important. I have a lot of uh, friends and family members that don't drink water, like at all. Like they just barely drink it. Like they. Drink I go to a restaurant, I get water. And yeah. Or like a, a the, tea. The, sometimes. the servers hate me, but I don't care. Why? But how many times? I if, if I'm in a party of five, I just tell a server, "Hey, we're gonna need a pitcher," and they usually appreciate that a lot because they just give you the pitcher, walk away. Whenever you're like at a restaurant and you're all ordering drinks, it's yeah. like, so you're a group of eight, right? And he like, goes, "Water, water, 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 water." No one else orders a drink. That server is ticked because that <laughs> means they're like, "Okay, I'm getting you drinks," and that 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 means they're getting tipped way less because sodas are what like drive up the price of uh, food orders. So, I always tip 20%. How much do you tip? I tip uh, 20% every single time. 28% usually. 28? Wow. I, I used to be a server for a very long okay, time. Okay, I worked in the sense. food industry yeah. for 12 years, so I understand their pains and what they go through. So, Unless the service was absolutely trash, which has only happened like twice in my life. Like, I'm talking like they just dipped. One of them actually left the job <laughs> and, and they never told go. anyone. So it was like two <laughs> hours later, we had no orders. So that one I did not tip. But uh, afterward, you know, then the other one was, uh, oh, she was just mad, so I, mad rude. Like. I think I made a tweet on Twitter once about like, oh, yeah, I always tip 20%. And someone said, I tip $3 no matter what. And I was like, I so if you go to, if you go to a so steakhouse and your Who, bill is $80. Tell me their name right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can't IP, remember, but I, I, I swear, address, like their I swear <laughs> if you go on my Twitter, there's some guy who responded to my tipping tweet. It was like, I go and I tip $3 every time. And I was like, so if you go to a steakhouse and the bill is $80, are you tipping $3? dollars and bro never responded yeah if Guilty. they um if they uh i'm embarrassed to take people to restaurants if they don't tip and I'll, oh unfortunately, me too because i always of, like i always yeah. like slide the extra dollars i'm like yeah. i can't do this a lot of smashers just don't tip and oh it's very my god that's why, that's why i'm talking about this that's why, this is a conversation that's why i point. don't come i don't have like giant smasher dinner with like 18 yeah. people anymore because it's embarrassing if you can't afford the tip don't go out to eat because these guys are hungry right now. Going into loser <laughs> semis. Guy Guy with the Luigi facing off against Monty's Mr. Game & Watch here on Small Battlefield. For those that are just now tuning in, these guys just fought earlier on winner's side of bracket. Monty ended up winning 3-0. Guy Guy went Greninja two games, saw the Luigi game number three, and made it really close. So this time around, Guy Guy's different, got a different game plan. Like instead of going for the Greninja, we're going to stick with the Luigi. Uh, gods be damned, whatever this matchup is. Yeah, honestly, so far so good. I think a lot of people earlier would have written off this match to be something a little bit boring. But from what we saw this entire time, it was very fast paced, right? And once again, Guy Guy and Monty both have been playing a lot. So they're already warmed up. Honestly, I just love how Guy Guy returned the same exact favor of like combo into back air and that stop. Like things are looking real quick over here. Man, so just go for that air dodge away from them. Trying to catch the landing. That's the thing. This is like where Luigi struggles in this matchup because first off, Gaming Watch might as well be a sortie with that back air. Uh, second off, it's tough. Oh no, he thought he had a double jump. Oops. <laughs> That's another I, one of the oopsies that yeah, we were talking about a little bit. Those early. oopsies coming out very strong right now from Guy Guy. Off to a not the greatest of starts right now. One stock to two. 
Yeah, honestly, the opening stock from both players was really good. And then Guy Guy, unfortunately, just like losing the jump, losing control just a little bit. And now Monty catching on to the timing here. Oh, getting the pickup! Austin. Yikes. Yeah, that, that, there's yeah. the other oopsie. <laughs> the, that, that was not an oopsie. That was all according to Kikaku. Got the jab lock on top of him, got the up B right afterwards. Man was spin with that conversion. I like that people can try to get those. I don't know. There's something about jab locks. I don't care who does it. It's Ooh. always hype to me. The landing forward air into the back air from Monty here and still trying to loop in another one. Finds the throw now and honestly really well positioned back air. It's not going to hit, but it can definitely tell though. Here comes Guy Guy though, finding the reverse up air into the back air. And now it's all Monty. How do you get out? Great air drift away and great DI away, but it is so close every single time. There it is. The I like to call it the pant or the uh, escape button. You know, the... Uh, oh, beam. The, oh, the eject button. There oh, it is. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. But there's the bacon confirm into the back air. That's going to be game one going on over to Monty. Got the signature. Let's run it back twirly from both players. Or we're going to just take bands right now. And I think that's a smarter idea from Guy Guy. Yeah, we got that game coming in from Monty. Now up 4-0 if you count all the games that have happened today so far. So... Guy Guy definitely struggling to find an answer against Monty's Mr. Game and Watch. I know this is like a struggle bus for oh, Luigi, wow. but it also seems to be a little bit of a hill to climb for Guy Guy himself. Yeah. So you're going to see just exactly where we're going to go for this next match. Because where would you want to take him? Because there's tons of stages in Lego. Looks like we're going to Kalos for this one. Honestly, Kalos. mix it up. Why not? This is a going to be kind of a weird one because what the stage enables for Luigi is if he's in disadvantage state, his vertical recovery becomes really good because he can just hug the wall, push up B, and he'll just go to the ledge really, really fast. But on the downside is if he gets a combustion by accident with side B when he's recovering low, his head's going to be stuck in that wall. That noggin is going to be stuck. Yeah, and I like the open space for Monty to go on ahead and get these juggles, though. I mean, we already saw it, and a beautiful confirm into the ground, into the forward smash as well. So now it's Guy Guy in mega trouble here and going to just get gimped out by the back air there. Monty with an amazing lead right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice out. I was about to say, speaking of gimmicks, yeah. we spawned right in, got the, the, that, that, that zero death combo coming in clutch. Monte able to escape out of there. I mean, Gamer Watch is kind of a difficult character to combo because he's so light. You know, he's easy to kill once he's at high damage, but low damage, he's, he's kind of pesky to get, get some uh, big conversions on, especially for a character like Luigi who loves those low damage combos. And still though, Monte no sweat so far. Just going to challenge Guy Guy, who's charging up the misfire there and charging up the missile. What an amazing lead for Monty right now. Guy Guy just needs an explosive way to bring this back right now. No tech is a nice way to get it started. But now you have to get through a whole nother Game & Watch stock without taking too much damage. And that's a tall order to ask for with this character. I mean, it's a repeat of the last stock, right? Yeah. Like, it, last game, rather. It is one stock to two. We saw this before, but Luigi could eat easily bring this right back and that's exactly what guy guy's gonna do all he needs is a zero grab and if he gets the reads right afterwards you are done for it now we have ourselves an even game granted guy guy is in disadvantage right now but something that's actually helping him with the recovery is that platform on Kalos that gives him a little bit of a extra verticality when he's higher up to try to like land down on the ground as uh wise man once said he has the high ground yeah and i think that's why we're going to the stage as well it's because guy guy's so comfortable onto these platforms as well and a little bit tricky there off the fair but landing back here does stop guy guy from recovering at least for the moment here gonna be able to make it back on as monty now gonna start fishing out for the up smash i think if he is him okay good parry but dash attack going to cover looking for the turtle i like the air dodge there preemptively for monty there is is the forward air and now it's all up to this edge guard using the eject button once more to get a little bit of room and that's going to be it Monty up 2-0 here in loser semis but once again the tide of the match can turn in a matter of seconds if guy guy just like turns on the him button if he just like flips the I'm him switch but Monty once again calm cool collected he him over here just trying to get this uh, easy win for himself. Who yep. wants to just like close this out? Doesn't even want to give Guy Guy a single game, not even in sympathy. Just wants to close it out and just be like, I'm shutting this down before you get any sort of momentum. Because if there's one thing that Guy Guy is really good at doing, is once he takes gets that momentum, it is insanely tough for him to try to get that uh, response.
and yeah. try, try to like bring it back to victory. So here we go. Game number three, small battlefield is the stage this time around. This was the game that we saw in the last set between these two where Guy Guy had this amazing start and we were like, all right, it's working. Hey. Dog. <laughs> Bro, I said he turns on the I'm him switch and just turns around upbeat. He needs to learn how to keep that on. Let's see if he can try to keep that on yeah. for the rest of this game. That turnaround upbeat was a very flashy. Gets yeah. a grab on top of that. Low damage grab. That's very good for Guy Guy. Now he's at that point where grab won't get him as much of a guaranteed kill, but it'll still be very good for him. Now he's going to try to have to land here. Game & Watch not giving him any sort of mileage at all. Monte very strong with the offstage game. Okay, just trying to read where Guy Guy's going to go. And honestly, the lower you go, the better. But you're still getting caught up with the up air and the nair here. Forward air doesn't exactly connect, but Guy Guy going to take a seat. Thanks to that F tilt. That might be the first time that we're seeing the F tilt coming out from Monty. I like how creative he is with his KOs, too. Uh, there's tons of ways to get KOs. But <laughs> Are you even Guy Guy in the camera? Lost his mind at yeah, that. Yeah, Devin, I'm going like to need a clip on that one, bro. Combustion right there. Point blank. Okay, Buster. We we see you. <laughs> Two stocks to one. <laughs> That's something that guy guy needs. Because right now he's got the grab. Misses the sweet spot. That would have been the game. Yo, Monty, I'm gonna need you to throw a nine in some disrespect. Eyes of keys. Like, <laughs> are you gonna let him do you like that? Yes. Nah, come on, bro. Absolutely. 100 damage and climbing. Guy guy looking for this next answer. Gets up there, throwing out his zero on top of that dash attack. Yeah. Guy Guy finally scoring a point on the board after five losses from this monster. But now he's got to win two more, and he lost stage advantage. Remember what I said about the I'm him switch? <laughs> Keep it on. Keep it on, Guy. <laughs> Keep it on, bro. Let's see. This like t random turnaround misfire was crazy, right? It was just, oh! <laughs> Guy that, Guy can't yeah, believe the, that Look he at the camera. They're both shocked. No, nah, this is a... All right, we're gonna easily oh. just say we're gonna say the that Guy Guy raised. meant to do that. Guy Guy 100% meant to do that. Are you sure? Look yeah. at him. He did not mean to do nah, that. Even on. he was shocked nah, by that. Nah, He's I like, always give players the... the benefit of the doubt. He knew. He Look knew at himself. the camera. He's clearly <laughs> shocked. <laughs> no, nah, come on. He got it. He knew. He knew the entire time. He definitely wasn't matching, bro. <laughs> I like that Monty had an eyebrow raise when it happened too. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got it. We're going to Hollow Bastion though, and I actually really like this stage for both characters. We were talking about this in the first set that these two played and it's the fact that they kind of profit off of the same thing right using that center platform to continue their juggles but this is definitely looking like a monty stock so far but we know that the i'm him switch is on all right here we go hollow bastion like you said this is going to be very safe right we're shielding on the middle of that stage when luigi's underneath there it kind of limits uh monty's options yeah. for an approach because he has the platform above you have to approach either directly or at a diagonal so you're going to see that have coming into play a lot more often. Got to watch this, though, because once again, Monty puts you in so much, like, kind of like shield stun where you just kind of feel trapped, right? And constantly just throwing out these hitboxes here. I got able to make it back to ledge, but reads the roll in with the up smash. Monty up three stocks to two, only 21% on the guy. Taking a lot of nares, fishbowls coming out. Oh, gonna get called out by the up smash out of, out of shield. Another dash attack on top of that. Now this is starting to get a little bit of momentum here for Guy Guy. But Monte immediately escapes out of there and plays the stage advantage instead. Obstacle for stage control near the center of the stage. Hey, still though, I mean, Guy Guy needs to get this stock like yesterday, right? Game of Watch is only going to get it's juggle game kind of going consistently with even more rage. Ooh, goes for the grab, unable to find anything. So now we're stuck in the juggle here. Forward air doesn't connect all the way, but the nair does. And once again, pressing the eject button every single time. Every single bit of chip damage that hits Aussie is just not good news for Guy Guy. Yeah, it just, every hit, it just keeps climbing and climbing. Those bacon bits just kind of like add up over time. Even the down B is not gonna be able to seal off that first stock. Bonte is still surviving and living the dream here. 126 damage. 
It's not looking too hot if your guy guy here looking to give him the F tilt, no. but unfortunately for Luigi, not going to be able to reach that far. Three stocks to one. It's definitely not impossible if we see a loose back air now or a throw. Um, hey, look, a throw. Um, and then just a not again, just a Luigi combo, something to get it started. Down special not going to be enough. So now Monty gets to live with all this rage, at least for the moment here, So we're going to be able to fire off that loose back air. If I saw one more Luigi Cyclo not kill, I was going to get really sad for Guy Guy. So I'm really glad he was able to close that out, though. Might be again. I, we've seen this situation before. One stock to two. Guy Guy had a huge deficit in terms of damage on top of that. Monte missing up that grab could be You're huge. Dead. This is Guy Guy's You're opportunity. Dead. All because he whipped the grab. Monte thought he was going to go a little bit farther, misspaced the grab, and because of that missed grab, he died at zero. Think about that for a second. I'm thinking, honestly. You whipped the grab and you died at zero. Is that... Or is that... Accurate. The Should hammer it? sent up, sent all the way up. You didn't get the grounding that you needed to get the F smash, but all three pieces hit of the neutral B. The down air doesn't send it, but great catch on the air dodge with that forward air. Monty will be moving forward. Guy Guy out at fourth here at the Arcadian. Only one West Coast player will be moving on into grand finals. We'll be finding out who in losers finals. Man, that bomb throw at the very end was such a good tool for yeah. trying to catch him because he was going up, so he was often like throw out an aggressive approach, which he did. He did throw out an aerial. However, Monte, uh, or the guy, guy thought it was a different one, so he went for the air dodge, and because he air dodged, the bomb came out and caught him when he came out of it, and that was the end of the set right here. One more time. He goes up there, forces out the air dodge, drops the bomb, and because he air dodged, he gets called out by the bomb. Yeah. Fantastic play coming out from Monte. Really, really good stuff. Of course, fist bumps Oosh. all around. Oosh. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah, losers finals. Losers finals. Game and watch versus Minmin. Team kill. Team kill. Team West Coast KO yeah. happening right now. I have to say though, C being in uh, Grants of the Arcadian is definitely a good timeline. Uh, I LMBM agree. is a very blessed event for Westchester because I think. Uh, of course, Quid being from Westchester, winning uh, LMBM a couple My boy, years ago. Quid. Um, and then it was Hawk and Linus versus Quid and Charles in doubles finals that same year. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people know this, but Quid and Charles are twins. And then uh, uh, Hawk and Linus, or Linus and Lucy at the time, um, are also twins. That might have been the only twin versus twin grand finals in a double set that we've ever seen. But I don't think anybody was like paying attention to that. But that was like weird stats nerd that like I just like tapped into in that moment. Where's wait, Justice? Wait, who are twins? Quid, like you know the guy yes, who won. Yes. He has a brother named Charles. Yes. Not Charles Thorin Charles, but yes. like has a brother named Charles. And, and they then teamed from, with them. Yep. And they're twins. And then and they played against twins. I know. I know about Linus and Lucy. Yeah. Oh. You realize that? I I just I never I never knew there that was. That was twins versus twins in doubles. Twin synergy. It's real. Wow. I Fun feel fact. like we learned a little bit of history today. Here at Let's Luminosity makes big. We need moves. time for Phil because Justice is needs to sit down. Sit down, brother. It is 9.30. <laughs> nah, he's got to go to the bathroom. There he is. Bro, what are you talking about? Yo, I'm about, about to yell at him. Come around, bro. They're just messing around, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run anyway, down there. Anyway, chat, let us know there. what I'm your favorite... There. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> chat, let us know what your favorite uh, soft drink on uh, Justice's shirt is. Um, I think when I yeah. was drinking soda, when I was like a lot as a kid, Sprite was my favorite one. Yeah, let us know. I'm not going to read it, though, but let us know. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, chat, I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ceremonially uh, put the most uh, voted, uh, so your favorite soda inside a trash can later. <laughs> if Aussie wants to. Yeah. I don't care. Let's I like poll soda. running, chat. <laughs> Listen, bro. For some reason, they've taken a while. D you know who the problem is here? Dill. Yeah. Devin, yell at Dill. <laughs> Dill is distracting them. <laughs> They're just having a conversation, Hi, bro. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Grab that water, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're just having a conversation on stage, man. Listen, man. It's getting to that time of the night. <laughs> yes, Kony is here, by the way, um, on the secret third channel for this uh, for this event. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Kony. You get Kony's Corner, where there's a bunch of, like, mini games happening all weekend. He has, like, a giant NES controller. Um, and you know how he's very, like, elusive with all the stuff that he does. Regardless of, you know, what he's, like, hinting at, it's always really great content. So uh, if, if you're not here to experience it live at Let's Make Big Moves or you're not going to catch his stream over the weekend, you can always probably find it on his uh, uh, YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Kony, I believe. 
Yo, Devin, the song, though? Tekken. Of course. Tekken. Can we talk about how we got 39 Tekken songs in this game when Kazuya was... I know. Doing... It should have been like 60. <laughs> I think 39's a lot. I think it's not enough from Tekken. Tekken's got some bangers, bro. Also, bangers. Hopefully, this set... Game number one of Losers Finals. Justice rocking with the Min Min, facing off against Monty's Mr. Game and Watch. And once again, we're starting on PS2. I just have to kind of like throw it out there. What's up? Uh, I've been trying to visualize this set, and I can't help but to think that uh, we're going to see practically the same game plan from Monty, right? Just send Min Min off stage, hopefully not get kind of turnaround gimped. But the moment that Justice gets comfortable and hits a megawatt Nair at potentially like 60, uh, Game & Watch is going to be gone. And this is what we're now seeing. Ram Ram not going to be enough here. Great uh, movement by Monty here. And Monty now just going to get a little bit of the reversal. And Monty coming into this set real hot. Yeah, the thing is, in this matchup, like you're talking about, with the matchup of how he's going to have to play it out, he's got to be the aggressor, which is exactly what he's doing. What we've seen from the past with Monty, he's a pretty aggressive player, so going to be no stranger to that in this one. And also, just disallowing him from being able to land, Justice struggling to get any sort of uh, feet firm on the ground. He just can't find it. Monty! <laughs> Justice reeling back in the chair with a smile like, oh man, like, oh, man. I'm getting tossed around and that's honestly, once again, I mean, Game & Watch is not a fan favorite character to watch by any means, I but Monty character. is absolutely cooking him right now. I mean, sending him from side to side, Justice is going to be able to get the splits onto the stage and send Monty off, but it's three stocks to one, man. It's not looking too hot. This is like one of the reasons you don't really see Min Min as much anymore, is her disadvantage state is one of the worst. Not, not one of the worst, but it's not the greatest. Oh. Look at that. What, what, <laughs> what are you what, doing? What, what, Justice, brother. I mean, Justice was dead. There's nothing Justice could have done from the second, like, uh, the, the uh, aggression was coming out from Monte that deep, is that there was nothing he could have done. If he held forward, he was hit by Game & Watch because he backed off so much because he didn't want to get hit. He died in the process. And here's a sick replay from the previous set, but uh, you know we got we got the we got the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an easy three stock, man. Monty, no sweat, and bro. Monty smiling like, yeah, man, I'm sick. You see that? Justice so taking a deep breath, reeling it in. Uh, I like the pick of battlefields here, right? Yeah. We gotta we gotta figure out a way to get around this game and watch a little bit better. And PS2 once again is Zoner's paradise, but good air dodge out, but on a justice. <laughs> Dead. Hey guys, uh, we found it, guys. The answer to Min Min right here is Monty. Put him on a like a billboard in New yeah. York City. Monty. The thing is, Monty understands the mission objective. It is don't let Min Min breathe. You gotta keep him in disadvantage forever. I'm just watching Justice's camera to see just like the deep breaths every single time he gets hit. He's man. dead. He's, he's, I don't think he's necessarily dead. He just could have died. Oh, now he's dead. He's out of jumps. Now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, hit him. Hit him. <laughs> I think uh, Monty saw what time it was. He's like, oh, we got to get this over with. Bet. <laughs> I want to be the West Coast representative here. Ho homie is speed running this bracket. Yo, GDQ's next week. What are you doing? Oh, it is next week. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Four back airs looking for potentially a fifth. I like Justice, though, throwing out the Megawatt. And this is what we got to do, right? We were talking about this a little bit earlier. How Megawatt is essential. My goodness. Going to be the way that we cheese stocks off of Game & Watch early. And I can expect that Megawatt is going to be out practically this entire time now. Trying to read a jump in. There it is, though. Megawatt off the top is going to get that stock for Justice. We will not be seeing a nine stock chat. I'm very sorry. Uh-oh. Wait, you're apologizing for no nine stock? You wanted that to happen? I, I mean, it's I feel so bad for Justice. What do you mean? I do feel bad for Justice. I mean, this is you a wanted the nine stock though. You clearly Did said I? it. I, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. I wanted a really quick set. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Not I'm putting you in the corner. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what I wanted, but I know some people really just hate Min Min with like their entire like fragment of their soul. So I think. Um, that I was like for the Min Min haters. It was like, I'm sorry. I like, think there are too many haters in this world. I think we need some more lovers. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Aussie. We'll, we'll see you on Happy Go Time Land. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, though, Monty once again has stabilized extremely well. Looking for the up smash, but it is going to be Justice finding the turnaround Nair. That I love how he's going for a lot of these up Bs. Let's see what it is. Down air going for the, the spring jump, but the bomb actually saving a megawatt once again coming in as a main player in the game. 
Justice finally figuring out how to deal with this aggressive game and watch, but it might be a little bit too late for this game because we're going super deep for that. Up B, the thing is, Game and Watch can afford to go that super deep, drop the ball on him, recognizing that <laughs> even if he didn't go for the tether grab, he's gonna catch on ledge. These guys, <laughs> can you believe this nonsense? I don't. I that love was a, I love a player that plays for the camera, Holy man. Holy moly! I love a player that plays for the camera. Yeah, can I get instant replay of yeah, the? Let's get the uh oh, <laughs> yeah, right here, right here. The, 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 <laughs> someone's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over guys, here. Guys, guys, screenshot this. Put this on Twitter <laughs> with your favorite caption, please. Tag us in it. I will pick the best one, and you'll get a prize. I don't know what prize you'll get, but. Uh, give me, like, <laughs> take a screenshot of that, caption it, something, you know, eSports friendly. Um, oh, can you guys not do that, please? It's way too late. It's, I, lo it's I love so it. Late. Keep please, doing it, please. No, please Smash it. I'm here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bringer of chaos. I'm a bringer of chaos them. today. <laughs> I hate when people do that, man. There was a clip oh, of somebody character. doing that to me at Riptide, and I said, I like took off my headset, and like very Karen esque. It might have been the first Karen moment I've ever had. I was like, please tell the players to stop doing that. Oh, he's going for he's going for the hammer now. Yeah. That might be the first time we've seen the, the hammers, like literally this whole time of watching Monty. War. Justice, you memed a little too hard, bro. <laughs> Or maybe not enough. Dodge. Maybe not. Maybe not enough. There we go. Grounds him. Look at Justice. The, these, guys, these guys definitely play against each other because oh, they're, sure. they're, they're having friends. a great. They're having a great time playing. Oh. He's screaming no as he falls down. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear that from up here too. Like. I'm gonna give them the headset. Give me a sec. <laughs> I love when players like commentate their own matches, man. And I got it. Still though, Monty playing extremely well. Justice trying to find a way in. Definitely looking a little bit better too. I mean, game one was just an absolute like a win for Monty, but now Monty getting into a comfortable flow at this point. And Justice, all he really has to do is land, but that's a tall order. Finds the forward air and blocks out the arm with the turtle. <laughs> My God, I just want to know what Justice is saying. We got to be like the NFL and start miking players. Uh, <laughs> it's Smashers? I don't know, man. It would man. be so like, funny, though. It, but it, it might would be either be really cringe or really funny. It's either cringe, funny, or unhinged, which you don't want, <laughs> depending on who it is. Know, <laughs> some people be saying some crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta keep it a little bit PG, maybe PG-13. Okay, so They'd be saying some NC-17 stuff down there. What is NC-17? Isn't that the rating beyond R? There's a rating beyond more. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. I'm it's, too innocent, I guess. It, they're, they're, they're not allowed in theaters or something. They used to be more common back in like the early 2000s. We'll see once again. All right, Monty, three stocks, Justice at one. It's not looking good for you Justice fans in the chat, man. It, it's looking like Monty just, what? Where are you going? You know he's, what are you doing? he's done, bro. It's okay. I mean, I, I, that's got to be frustrating to play against, uh, Monty, when he just, like, knows your every pattern when you're trying to get back what onto the bro, stage. Bro so, has lost it. I mean, he, I mean, he lost it at third place, which is nothing you can sneeze at, bro. Homie is taking down the bronze medal here at the Arcadian bracket, which is going to net him a little bit of cash. So, hey, you know what? You came, you saw, you conquered. And he's still got singles for the rest of the weekend. So congratulations to Justice for making it this far with Min Min. Now we're going to jump into our grand finals, which is going to be C versus Monte, which, again, we saw before. But before that was a victory from C over Monte. So we got to get that run back from him. But C's got that extra life, man. If you guys don't know how grand finals works by now, you got to understand that this could be two sets long depending on if Monte can manage to take that first set or not. SoCal versus Westchester here. True East and West Coast battle. But it is time for C to step up to battle here as Justice is talking to C right now Intense. about what, what went wrong. <laughs> Um, you saw the hair bobbing up and down too. Like that, that, that was. That's, that's how you know you've been in bracket for too long. It's like 9:30. You've probably yeah. been playing. I mean, Justice was playing doubles all day, and then you're entering a whole singles bracket. He kind of looked like that peacock bird, you know, like the little toy that goes down and like dips into water and goes back up. You know, like. <laughs> I don't know how it would feel if someone was like, "Yeah, lyric looks like a peacock." I'd be like, "What did you just say to me?" <laughs> maybe, maybe that that might be the wrong bird. But it's one of those bird, the little bird toys. You know what I'm talking about? Like the no. Looney Tunes stuff? No. Have you ever watched Looney Tunes? Yes. Have you seen like the thing where like it's a bottle of water, like Tom and Jerry-esque, where uh, the bird goes down and dips into it and it comes back up? 
It's a real thing. All right, we're jumping into grand finals here. Austi is having a senior moment right now. Welcome to grand finals. That is finals. now three jabs at my age. Congratulations, <laughs> you win a prize. Yay! PS2, let's go. Grand finals, like you said. C coming up here with the Palo facing off against Monty's Mr. Game of Watch. Yeah, honestly, so far so good from both players. Both of them getting great openings here, but you have to watch for the bucket. C already giving Monty a full bucket to work with here. And honestly, with a little bit of rage and great positioning on that bucket, it could be a lot. But honestly, C actually expecting it, shielding it all the way through the first time. So now we just have to kind of be more careful with our auto radicals and just get our nares. Yeah, and if you guys remember the last set between these two today, uh, it was pretty strongly in C's favor. He was oh, very dominant control, kind of very similar to that last set where Monte was in control. Maybe not that, not, maybe not that hard, but like C was definitely cooking. So we'll see how Monte's going to be able to adapt to this. Still, though, Monte uh, has been in control on the ledge uh, for most of this game one so far, but great dash attack from C. I want to see a little bit more of these punishes onto down air here. There's the first forward air, and now C trying to line up the down tilt. We'll take it. That's C going up. Bring him right back with these up airs, trying to keep Palu airborne in the process. C sitting here with triple digits, 122 damage. We are jumping for joy right now, whether it's going to be a low jump or a high jump, trying to get onto that platform or not. Fortunately, we've got a fantastic parry coming out from Monte, trying to get a punch. Point blank explosive flame, and we convert off of it because he was at zero damage. Only way that was going to be possible. Oh, okay. Great by Monty to avoid the grab here. See at 147, jumping away from the forward air, so it's not going to be enough. But my goodness, that was combo landing Nair into up tilt from Game and Watch. Good stuff from Monty. Uh, getting rid of a lot of that rage here. Can we get something cooking though to turn the percentages back? And yes, we have combos of our own. Dude, can I tell you about one of the funniest things I see when Mr. Gamer Watch gets sure. to grab? Sure. What it's, do you see? When the throw happens, he take it's your it's the stock icon. Yes. Like you're tossing the stock. I, I know that's like a known thing, but just it's very funny to see every single time. Yeah, the animation is very creative. Okay. Great grab by Monty once more. There, there it is. There it is there again. <laughs> you see it? That's all I'm gonna look at now. It's, it's getting to be that time. You know, it's past my bedtime. Yeah, 9.30. Yeah, I usually go to sleep by, I am tucked into bed by 8.30 p.m. <laughs> the person comes in and fucking hands you your little vitamins at night, <laughs> Anyway, okay, whiff grab from C. That's going to be Monty finding a little bit more damage here. Trying to find this landing uh, fair, but honestly, these landing nares from Monty have been fantastic. Trying to catch it with these fairs, not going to be able to find anything. Yeah, dog is cooking up something with those bombs. I mean, I hear those explosions. The bass is really turned up on my headset, so I can definitely hear each time that explosion lands on the ground. It's like a loud thud. Okay, Nair there. It's again, lining up for Ritz. Just trying to get something started. The eject button is so good that Nair not going to be enough, especially on Palatina at 167. I, we just need a more decisive, like, aerial, right? We need this back air. We need something. The back throw, though, with that much Palutena rage, that's actually going to take stock. Yeah, very unfortunate dash attack to come out from Monte. Super unsafe. That's going to be C gonna, uh, able to capitalize on that. But literally one swing away from being set into an even stock, it's going to be Dare will be the swing of choice. Yeah. Honestly, not a bad game one, though, but here comes Monty coming out of the gate, swinging yeah, on this gonna, last You're going to see a lot of nares from Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just like Palutena, right? Like, I, you, you're finding these nares into your up-air combos. It's literally what both characters do really well. Yeah. So we go down air into the up-air. Okay, just double. We could potentially be going for the trip. I like the teleport cancel just to read, but the eject button is pressed, and now Monty needs to find a way out of the Palutena pain train because once again, it's taking a little bit more effort for Monty to get these stocks than C because once Palutena has that rage, all she really needs is that decisive back air onto Game & Watch. But things are looking okay now for Monty. It's just, once again, just a tried show of effort. Yeah. And honestly, that's all you need to be able to try to get this win, right? 113% C jumping up, gets the spike! That was an incredible down air coming out from C, converting it into the biggest up smash you've ever seen. That was the light and I saw it. C on a tear. Wow. <laughs> Do you remember back in the day when Foster commentated, wow, wow, and Melee, bro, and like the, you're the French guy be like, wow, wow, wow. This That's what that was. That was a wow, wow, wow moment. That was a wowie, zowie moment. Like, that was, look C's at his face. Like He's like, nah, I knew that. Nah, I knew that. 
Got, yeah, got the cool. anime nose rub into let's look at the stage list real quick. <laughs> On the back of the pass. Yeah, which is really cool. I'm glad that I, th I think it was... um. Rise and Grind that first started that trend, but like where they just keep the stage list on the back of the thing. I love that. Big fan of that. Let's go over to uh, Hollow Bastion. With Battlefield music. <laughs> Hollow Bastion with Battlefield music. Uh, My brain is broken. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, uh, game two starting exactly how game one started, right? Monty getting the like pain train combo, and then C getting a brutal read and just returning all the favor with the damage. Still though, Monty finding the nares, but we're not finding that decisive hit that we need. C playing extremely well off stage around this game and watch, and even though he's getting kind of tossed around right now, you know that he's only going to use this rage as soon as he can to his benefit. Yeah. And now we got another grab, tosses him off, 152 damage, triple digits, trying to toss off these bombs with the bacon on top of that. Can't seem to find a way to get that kill. And now you're seeing that Monte's playing very passive now. Chill near the middle of the stage, using the platform disadvantage to kind of delete a couple of approaches that C can do with that higher ground and gets the back air kill. Bring this to a one stock lead uh, for Monte. Yeah, no, Monte, I think now, Definitely locked in a little bit more. The spacing is definitely on like point at this point. And now C has to find a way in, finds a dash attack into the first up air. Once again, I want to see C try and punish some of these down airs just a little bit more here. But I like how patient he's being off the off the ledge here. Just won't find the up throw into the nair, into an up air again. And now it's just rinse and repeat for Monty. I like what the stage is doing for him though. He has that center platform to reset, but also to hide from Palutena as well. Dang, that up smash. We just charge that, throw it out there, get the call out. But now C coming back up with the back throw to toss him off. Unfortunately, that down tilt was able to get dodged by Monte. He just comes right back on and gets a grab for himself. Okay, up smash there. I mean, Monty in a very cemented position right now. C definitely struggling here, but Zoom. there's the back throw. It's not going to be enough here. C definitely needs a lot right now. Going for the ledge trump back air, it's not going to be enough. So Monty just going to get the weak hit of down air, and that's actually good, or down smash, excuse me. That's actually going to be enough. Hits him with the mallet. Wow. A little, little, little double whammy, both sides covered. Monte looking like he's going to clean up this game pretty handily. So now it's going to be probably on C to kind of think about, like, Next stage to go to, you know. Sometimes you just need that like mental. Nine. Sometimes you just need that mental reset. I need, I need a, a Monty nine, bro. I need him to either end this tournament with a nine, hit a nine. The rapid jab not going to be enough, but honestly, the explosive flame catching the air dodge will be. Uh, I mean, it's two stocks to one. It's definitely not impossible. Not the worst comeback that we've seen all day right. today, but it's definitely a little bit hard. Could easily bring it back. That explosive flame, by the way, is a fantastic. Fantastic tool. Oil spill. I had to like pause there for a second. Fantastic tool for catching people off stage because it's like, oh my god. Speaking of catching people, like you, you can't land. Those up airs are catching you, homie. Ooh, okay, great landing there coming out from C. This allows for a little bit of damage to be returned right now, but it will be the down air that does trade with the up air. That's gonna be Monty taking back a point in the set. One one in grand. Need two more to reset the bracket and C. Now gets counter pick advantage here. And I remember you talking about that down air being one of the vital tools on Monte's kit earlier on in the broadcast. That move yes. is brutal. It is a threat. It's it's good. It is one of the only moves where I'm like, yeah, you can come down with down air. Yeah, go ahead. See what happens. That's fine. Catch catch this key. Catch I this key. I key to success, as some people would say. The key to my heart. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Get going. Because we're on Hollow Bastion. Oh. That's where we're at. Next level joke. Is it? I was, I know, I was just talking. It's it's 9.44 at night. We, we've been at it for a bit, you know. It's grand finals. Just saw one little last hurrah. Hopefully we get a second set. Battlefield's the pick here. So once again, we're just trying to use a little bit more of the platforms. Great. Just avoid by Monty. C going to not tech, but is still able to turn it around a little bit with the throw into the back air. And now it's Monty's turn, finding a couple nares into the up air. And as C just going to use a lot of Palutena tech here to uh, show what he can do off these platforms. Yeah. Got some more up airs on top of that. Oh, throwing down that bomber on top of him. Very smart tool. Monte has figured it out in this matchup, right? I think the key is just to play, like, cause what Monte's been doing this whole tournament that we've been watching is he's very aggressive. He's very aggro, but lately we're kind of seeing a more passive Monte until he gets that hit. 
once he connects that first hit, then we're seeing like the pedal to the metal yeah. happening. Oh, I agree with you there, Osti, but look at Monty lining up, trying to find this forward air here. But I think why we're here on Seaside is so we have tons of escape routes out. Now, granted, Monty landing the fair at a perfect angle where C couldn't escape, but the idea is there, right? Dash attack and fair going to trade at this point. So now it's all C. How do you find a way in when Monty is constantly throwing out a hitbox? That's the thing, when those hitboxes are out there, especially fair that we're seeing a lot more mileage out of from Monte, you know, dropping the bombs constantly on top of you. Like, it, it's difficult to uh, break open through that wall. Like, you kind of rely on your projectiles, whether it's auto reticle or uh, explosive flame. But the second you commit to that, if Monte knows you're going to go for it, he can easily close that distance and hit you with a grab or a dash attack right afterwards. Okay, up throw is going to be the option coming out from Monty, and now Monty just has to go on ahead, rinse and repeat with the edge guard. So locked in, Fair is going to connect, it's not going to be enough, but C is just a victim right now to the game and watch juggle. The Nair is not going to be enough, but C finally going to be able to get more comfortable on the ground at this point. And Monty, all he's doing is controlling center stage and then weaving out, right? Saying, you know what, I'm good. I don't really need to approach in that carefully. I can just keep throwing my fares and something's going to connect. There it is, down tilt though, looking for something else as Monty once more just going to press that eject button. Ooh, chair, forward tilt, calls him out in the middle of the stage. Monte looking very strong currently, three stocks to one. C can't seem to find the answer to this. Nair's coming out, get the goldfish combo into the up air, putting him back off stage. C might be running out of steam, and Monte's stealing it all. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you there. Monte is definitely playing extremely well, but it is going to be that Palutena up air that does just completely evaporate this Game & Watch stock. But this Game & Watch stock has stuck around for almost three minutes at this point, honestly. But now C trying to get some, you know, gas back into the tank here. It's looking so difficult when you give Game & Watch tons of escape routes to run, and that's the thing with Battlefield. Yeah, just having those escape routes are very important to have, but you can't break through them, bro. You're like, you're going to get stuck. Now you're laying down with the forward air. 40 damage and climbing. The Nairs trying to catch up the landings, but Monte just keeps going for the down air on top of that. Fantastic tool for just trying to, like, cloud any someone that wants to even try to approach. Another whiff grab, another big punish coming out for Monte. This game's looking like a wrap right now. 128 now on C. Yeah, and it's going to be the Bye -bye. landing fair that does take it. Okay, hear me out. I'm hearing, I'm listening. C used to have a DK. <laughs> Used to. Oh, I think this is the same C. The, something's not working. Now, granted, I, I said this a little bit earlier, right? You don't want to go your secondary when it's, you know, match point. It is still going to be the Palutena. You still have another set to play with. Yeah, that's true. But I think we got to try something else, man. I, I feel like Monty's too comfortable. I think there's something to be said to try to character right now that you're not going to win with, like DK, for a mental reset. Yeah. Because playing a different character and going back to the other character can easily refresh your habits. Because right now, Monty is on top of you. I think, I think having that extra set and being able to do something like that is very important to have in your kit. Mm. Absolutely, but look at C, man. Now starting to fight back with these Nairs, and now catching Monty dropping. And once again, I wanted to see a little bit more punish. Monty's down there, and I'm getting what I asked for here. Ooh, the get-up attack is going to be punished. It's not going to ground, though, so it's definitely not the worst thing. Oh, never mind. The first one didn't ground, Aussie. The second one did, though. Ew, that, that was so many hits of Rapid Jab thanks to the ledge. That wasn't I pretty. I love Fallu's Rapid Jab. It's so funny. You just get called by it, you're donezo. Okay. Okay. Up throw. Hits the Nair. Couple more percentages here. And this is the same Monty that we saw a little bit earlier, right? Like, man, it's all this brutal damage. I, I still am the I want to see, uh, like, a nine hammer once uh, fan club here, but... I mean, Monty is locked, loaded in. Yeah, he's playing pretty much out of his mind. So there was definitely a mental check for him. Maybe being in the hot seat for so long as he climbed through losers was very helpful for him. And then, you know, C being a little cold since he hasn't played for a bit could definitely be a factor that came into play. Okay, here we go. 
going on up. Another one of those up airs at that max height could have potentially done it. But now it's looking even for the first time this set. Monty, though, going to catch the teleport with the Nair. And now it's all C. How do you get back to stage? Trying to kind of bait Monty into going one direction so we have a safe way to teleport out in the other. But great grab by Monty. There is the throw once more. Trying to catch the jump with the forward air. Still, once again, going to be able to do it. Monty locked loaded in. I do not see him letting up this at least set one of Grands. Yeah, he's uh this set might be over. We need that mental reset stat for C because we're just taking way too much damage in this process. And Monty's playing very clean. Look at that. The second he committed to that dash attack and we didn't get a punish from that, C overextended with the forward smash trying to get a punish. But because the dash attack came out, we just had the up B immediately afterwards to escape out of there. Yep. Now Monty looking so good. The eject button press into another couple of up airs here. C just at this point, it's getting exhausting, right? For CC is just trying to avoid every projectile, but still not giving up just yet, though. The up special will connect. Good dash out. Um, and now C just has to find a way in, but that is such a tall order to ask for. Yeah, just frindling down to the stage, not going to be able to give it to him. Explosive flame point blank. Can't find its mark. Oh, catches the roll. We got the rolls coming out now from C. It's so get, close. It needs a nair. It needs a grab. It needs something to close out the stock from Monty. Monty just keeps putting up the wall of those forward airs. Manages to finally ground him with the down smash. Resets the bracket, and we are now in true finals of the Arcadian here at Luminosity Makes Big Moves. This is when the light starts to, you know, starts to flicker out if you're C, right? You're just getting tired of getting juggled and you have to dig deep. You really have to change up the game plan. You know exactly what Monty's game plan is, right? Like, and it's such a, like I said, we're sitting up here. It is so mentally taxing to try and do it just down there. We're gonna stick it with the Palutena, but the game plan has to change. What do we do? Aussie, if you're C, what do you do? Oh, uh, win. Okay. Hit them. Okay. Don't get hit. Thank you, Fonzie. Make good choices. Hey, like he's doing now. I mean, honestly, coming out of the gate swinging with a nice 27% and dashing out of range of Nair and then dashing back in when it's time. Definitely a nice movement option that we're kind of like trying to put through. But once again, Monty just doing the best to put on these breaks whenever he sees fit. Okay, now to give you a non-meme answer. Okay, thank I you. I think stuff that C actually needs to do is, okay, so clearly what's going on is Monte is downloading a lot of habits that he's doing. Sometimes C's getting overzealous with these punishes, maybe going for way too big of a punish instead of just opting to go for the safer thing. As an example, we see a lot of F smashes coming out from C that are whipping on punish, and you gotta understand that Game & Watch has very little cooldown on a majority of his hits. So you gotta go for something quicker, like a forward tilt or a down tilt or even a jab, which we have been seeing a little bit from him. And don't get as aggressive with your approaches, which we've been seeing from C start to happen a little bit here. We're playing a little bit more passive, playing a little bit more safe. And I like that bait. As an example, I feel like the C in the last set would have gone for like an Im immediate aerial or immediate attack. That time he waited for the air dodge to come in and called it out with the wings. Ah, oh, there it is. Going to get the scoop up with the Nair and finds the back air confirm here. And uh, now it's all C. If you're able to get this stock now, it's it's definitely going to be an easier time here. But that's a tall order to ask for, especially when Monty is just nairing on your shield. Here we go. And like we've said all day, when it's one nair, it's never just one nair, right? It's it's a couple of hits after that, too. That makes it so hard for Palutena to land here, but gets the grab and the toss back. It's not going to be enough, though, but that's definitely, you know, much alleviated pressure that C needs off of him. Yeah, that was a fantastic nair because it not only did it eat the bomb, but it also got the hit on Monte to boot. Two stocks to one, trying to reflect that up air right back down. Maybe not worth it in the long run because there's a lot of cooldown afterwards, so you gotta be careful with that. Go for the simple, easy peasy back air. I like, I wanna see more back airs and dash attacks coming out from C, because both those moves have guard point on it. What that means is if you throw out the shield, a, is, the shield is able to take a hit. So it's something that's very good for someone who has a lot of fast aerials and attacks that Monty's been displaying right now. Yeah, things are working out real well now for, for C and Monty. I think C has stabilized a lot here, but it's a matter of keeping this stock. Okay, we're going to be able to live it out. C reeling back in the chair just a little bit as well. Getting off the ledge versus Game & Watch can be such a tough task. 
still, though. Monty stacking up so much pressure. C going to be able to try and find something. The dash attack so scary, but Monty going to whiff the grab and still going to be able to apply enough of that pressure to shield stab there onto C. Yeah, he actually trapped him with that forward air. The bomb being dropped on top of him to apply enough shield pressure to then hit him with the chair with a high yaw was just exactly what he needed to take away that stock. Now we're seeing Monte again here in the driver's seat. 88 damage, playing the stage advantage great. C had to go for the warp to get out of there. And because it's PS2, there's plenty of room for him to run. That auto reticle ate every single one of those hits. That was insane. Yeah, that was crazy because uh, it's just perfect placement and the bomb was just like, all right, bet. All right, you got a triple hit, I got you. Still though, Nair going to keep Monty just in advantage here. And once again, you do not want to let Game & Watch just have the upper hand in terms of percent and rage here. A couple of up airs into the up special. The forward air though, actually taking C out. That's going to be pretty bad, at least for the moment here. Back air is not going to do it just yet, but once landing Nair for uh, Monty has just been the king of moves. Yeah. C actually tried to end that stock really fast, too, by the way, because he went for the grab and immediately did a back throw afterwards. Like that, there was no pummeling happening because he wanted to try to catch him with the DI mix-up. Right. Uh, maybe a little bit of pummeling would happen. We could have got that kill earlier, but now we're seeing one stock apiece, but C is currently steaming. This could be a very bad spot for C to be in. Monte's got stage control. Air dodge is in. That was kind of a panic air dodge. We've been seeing a little bit at times that Monte is starting to keep track of, right? And exactly just like that, going to catch out that Nair. Still living the dream here until covers so many options with that fair. You couldn't go anywhere at that point. You were out of jumps, so you had to warp either to the platform, the stage, or the ledge, and Monte had all three covered. It's a slow burn for Monty. This entire set has been a really slow burn, but it's been a slow, consistent burn. You know what I mean? Sometimes players get really impatient and they let go of like their game plan all the way. Monty has been strongholding this set the entire time. See though, has to dig deep, just has to think of something else that he wants to do. He's definitely keeping it a lot closer, but we're going back to Battlefield and that has kind of historically been Monty's win stage this entire time. Just wants to try and mix up, see what we could do here on the stage. With this one, obviously, Palu gets more extensions from the uh, vertical combos, right? Yeah. You manage to catch a Nair on the opponent, you can easily convert that into an up air, and then continue the up air train from platform to platform, and your damage keeps going higher and higher right afterwards. So I understand why he'd want to go to a stage like this, just as like a mix up. But like you said, it's a great stage for Game of Watch, too, because of the, kind of the same reasons. Not only that, but it allows Monte to be able to kind of chill underneath those platforms and just kind of set up a tent. So it's kind of difficult for the opponents to try to approach after you in the process. Yeah, this is a much better start for C now too, right? We're, this is what I like to call boarding the platforms, right? Just boarding the platform saying, you know what? Uh, I'm done approaching here. Uh, let me like have you play the mini game now trying to catch me. And honestly, it's working out for C, but Monty going to be able to find the Nair into the back air, flipping one bacon here, trying to convince C to land into him. There's the throw. We're not going to see much else here, but landing back air coming out from C off the left platform is going to get that first off. First time we might be see, seeing C up ahead. Yeah, definitely a way more passive play coming out from C on top of that. You saw him with the platform jumping, waiting for Monty to make the first move. Tons of warps coming out on top of that too. Good punish coming out from recognizing he's going to go right behind him. Gets out of disadvantage with Explosive Flame. Yeah, he took it was a trade, but it was a trade in his favor. And C's going to continue to get that combo. Recognizes he's going for the uh, down air. Gets the punish right afterwards. Another back air to try to call out the landing from his opponent. Yeah, things are looking real good now. But it is going to be Monty finding the grab here as now C just going to escape to the top platform. And now Monty's actually catching on to the escape route, right? We were talking about adapting this entire time and now Monty throwing out great hitboxes. Now granted, it's not getting the KOs, but it's keeping C uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's exactly how he's feeling right now. It, not, not at C particularly, but I think Monte's feeling uncomfortable in this game because of the change of pace we're seeing from yeah. C. C slowing down the pace, and Monte's not like liking that as much. Look at this. Jumping on the platform is waiting for Monte to overextend. He's got stage advantage. He can easily warp in there and kind of mix up when he's going to go for the aggressive option here. Monte now gets called out by the grab. 96 damage off stage. C can try to shut this down with a down tilt. Can't pop him up. The jump, I think he wanted to go for a grab instead, but I'm going to want to play a little bit safer. 
called out by the up B lyric. Yeah, now it's all Monty, right? How do you get this edge guard? But I think you brought up a good point, Aussie, how the match has been significantly slowed down at this point. Here we go, down throw, and now C going to line it up for a backer, but the Game & Watch down air actually comes out first, and that's going to win the trade here. Monty C, two stocks to two, but, I mean, Monty with 108% worth of rage as well. So C has to be very, very careful. This combo that he could take off of Nair could be huge right now, Osti. Yeah, trying to go for the double up air right afterwards. We're just going to warp twice to get out of that uh -oh. sticky situation. Another grab coming out to put you right back into that scenario. You didn't want to begin, begin to be in to begin with. Explosive <laughs> flame, point blank. That was a tongue twister. Yeah, that was tough. But landing up there is going to take it. C going to be in the lead. I'm starting to hear Westchester get a little bit loud for their boy, too. Uh, once again, it's a long set. It's a slow burn type of set. Sometimes you lose a little bit of faith. You lose a little bit of focus at times. But got your friends in the crowd cheering you on. Monty with grab. But honestly, C not going to capitalize up on it much either. So now it's all Monty. How do you get the stock? Because honestly, going up 2-0 in this set would be ideal, right? You have a game to play around with, but now here comes the back hit of Palutena and Nair going to lead into another Nair and an up air, but Monty looking for these jump reads, finds another down air, but see, once again, using this top platform as an escape method every single time. Yeah, I mean, that's what you gotta do in this scenario. You Technically, this is the optimal way to play. You have the lead, you can't the platforms, wait for your opponent to come to you. Pending the matchup, obviously. In this matchup, it works out exceedingly well for C because of the warp cancels and the heightened mobility. Especially when Monte starts to overextend ever so slightly, C comes down with a Nair to try to get the combo conversion game going. Oh, there's that roll that we've been seeing a lot from C. Not gonna lie, a lot of the times we uh, have been witnessing C go for a roll on stage. It's always been when we're like kind of like in a defensive position or we're kind of in a scary one. And Monte is definitely keyed in and honed in on that and has an up smash waiting for him when we see that roll so keep an eye on that Ooh, okay throw is going to be the option here monty just needs a, a sneeze of something at this point right palutena at 180 is not going to live for much longer here but honestly that's a lot of rage for palu to be working with and now c looking to get the back here Ooh. yikes ouch you went flying. I wasn't out of taking there. that either. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anyone could take that. That looked impossible. <laughs> Monte coming down there with the uh, upbeat to recover, but C was going super deep with the back here. By the way, we're reaching the two minute mark, so this could come into play eventually if C wants to make it happen. He definitely has the ability to go for this. We'll have to see how this is gonna be able to play out more up airs coming out from Monte, by the way. Yeah, Monte just now getting a little bit more comfortable, but notice the moment that C got a little bit impatient was the moment that Monte had the green light to go in. Here we go, catching C with a couple of these jumps. And like you said, Aussie, a little bit earlier, how you know we could be reaching that timeout mark. Uh, not as much anymore, right? Now we're starting to get a little bit closer in terms of percentages here. Good roll through by Monte is now C, just trying to catch something at this point. Yeah, Monte, C though. C lost a lot of... Uh damage advantage yeah, there. Yeah, you know? absolutely. That was, that was uh -oh. tough. And now, honestly, it's actually been reversed too. I mean, the top platform is still safe, but now you've actually lost your lead. So now Monty's actually the one that can kind of play chicken and keep away if it came down to this timeout here. But look at this. Once again, has the right idea. Knew that Mo knew that C was going to get impatient. Had the right idea with the up smash. Not going to go for it there. Honestly, I thought he would, but still gets the grab here. They're down to the last minute. It has to end here. There is the grab once more. Monty trying to figure out a landing pattern for this forward air, but C's not giving him much to work with. Once again, escaping to the top flat. Yeah, 155 damage. C's game plan can no longer work at this point. He's got to be the one to put the gift pedal to the metal, and Monte's not going to give him the opportunity. Drops the bomb right on top of him on the right platform and keeps the set lead. That's got to be a mental blow to C. Yeah, that, yeah, you can see this, the C shake head too, but I said this a little bit earlier, right? Going up 2 0 in this set would be massive. For Monty. C needs to dig deep. We're sticking with the Palutena. No Donkey Kong. Honestly, I really wanted to see it, but I know that's not the correct thing to do. It is not. not in this situation, absolutely not. The correct thing would have been to do is C continues to be patient and camp those platforms until Monte got impatient. Yep. But unfortunately, C wanted to go and play the game and like be aggressive. And because of that, Monte racked up so much damage really fast and that hefty percentage lead that he could have used as a as a a condition to win there you go. Yeah. was no longer in play. Yeah. Honestly, so far so good from uh, both players here. We're seeing a lot of combo advantages. Here comes C, though. Double up air. Looking real good now. Finds the downer, though, if you're Monty. I love the dash out dash attack in. 
That was really tight. But C, though, looking a lot better. Good spot dodge from both players. Honestly, now we're starting to get locked and loaded into kind of like that true character playing mode, and both players are playing extremely well. Mm -hmm. C is no longer going for those platform cancels either, mind you. So I'm wondering what the new game plan is here. You definitely have the lead. But as I say that, the uh, the lead is there. So the, if you wanted to go for the warp cancels, that's definitely on the table. Unfortunately, we got a misspace snare coming out from Monte. C is going to capitalize on that. Toss you back off stage one more time. We're going for the fourth throw this time. Down throw is not going to be able to connect to back air at that percentage. So I get why he just wants to push him off. Just get out of here. Did you see the initial scoop that C had on the second throw off of uh, Monty's landing with Nair? That was so clean from C. That's going to be a back throw that does start it off. Now, once again, I, I just want to bring this up. We have not seen Monty go for like a, a hammer at all today. I would like to see one. Just, you know, tasteful hammer. Uh, just in case, but my goodness, look at all this damage that Monty's stacking on. Definitely does not want to go another couple games, but I mean, C just has to play so carefully. This is what he needs to do. I think a lot of people would kind of roll their eyes at the way that C's playing just carefully, but you gotta, right? You can't let Game & Watch continue getting what he wants. Yeah, not at all. And what he wants right now is that down air, dude. Continues to land with it over and over. We're going to get a lot of pop-ups coming out from C. Ops to go for a trump for the first time this set. And unfortunately, Monte was just mashing that roll to get back onto the stage. Bacon going to create that wall to make it kind of tough. Manages to get a grab from that far away. The, back, the pushback from the forward tilt was not enough. Yeah, not enough quite literally, but here comes C. You see how fast Palutena just running across. You know what C wants. It's going to be that backer actually baiting Monty into the grab here. C looking a lot better this game, but there's the down Hello. tilt with Game & Watch so light. Hello. C going up three stocks to one at the four and a half minute mark here. There's the dash attack coming out from Monty, and now you can hear Westchester start to get a little bit louder for their boy, telling him not to give up. C, though, going to get hit by the key on the way down. Definitely not impossible for Monty because we know how patient he is, but C definitely with the advantage right now. Uh oh. And continuing to push it, going right back into the face, gets the dash attack up B galore. We're trying to go for those warp cancels one more time, and C now has some more stage advantage. Two stocks to one, finding yourself in a very good spot. You can't squander it this time around. Yeah. Okay, down here from Monty. Going to be punished, and now C stuck on the platform, at least for the moment. Just going to escape away, and now going to get back down onto the ground. We were talking about the possibility of a timeout a little bit earlier. I could also see it happen in this game, too, especially if Monty doesn't go on ahead and get the stock relatively soon. But honestly, with the way that C is also playing the down air out of shield, uh, we definitely don't want to have that happen. But these apparent turnaround grabs have been so nasty from C. They've been really, really well spaced. Especially with the uh -oh. follow-up afterwards because he went for the air dodge, tried to fall down with the back air after that little grab. Oh, we got the oil panda coming out. Unfortunately, it was filled with kind of weak projectiles, so didn't do too much mileage on there. A lot of damage, but not much knockback. Bring this down to even stocks, but I'm uh, sorry, even percentages, but not even stocks. <laughs> yeah, no. We got that big lead coming out from C. This is looking like his first Ooh, game to try. Tosses you bye-bye. You get caught by a grab on the top platform. You can finally put a point on the board. This might be the momentum shift he needs. Unfortunately, he has lost all stage advantage. Uh, stage counter pick advantage for the rest of the set, for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, very true, very true. All right, C has to dig a little deep. You can tell he's thinking about it a little bit long here. Yeah, it's a good point that you brought up that stage counter pick now leaves uh, C for the, the rest of the set, right? I mean, uh, this could have been a 3-0, but it is not. So now Monty having technically one more game to kind of play around with. I don't think we should go back Battlefield because we saw what C kind of like took advantage of, right? I think now we need to bring it a little bit close quarters. I know a couple of these games were played on Hollow Bastion. I actually agree, and it looks like that's where we're going. Um, so center platform, we're going to use a lot. We'll be seeing the same matchup as we've seen this entire time. Monty is still on match point. C trying to fight it back 2-1 right now. It's not impossible. Well, it's just a real tall order. Yeah. This map is going to make it very difficult for Palutena, for C, to initiate his original game plan, which was going for the platform cancels. There's not really any place for you to kind of run and hide on this one besides maybe camping up below that platform, which Game & Watch can struggle with, but not as much as just jumping around those three platforms on Battlefield. So we'll see how it's going to go. We're still going to try to go for it. we get some warp cancels on those on top of it. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that's still C's game plan. He doesn't care if there's only one platform or three now. It's just, all right, let me just do what I do. So once again, C now getting thrown off 
Great getup attack, though. I don't think we've seen that yet from C, but my goodness, the forward air actually launching C back into Monty. Get a little bit of combos here, but the back hit of that Palutena Nair so good as Monty's still keeping C in his place with that down air. I'm telling you, man, that shield would be swinging. Not only is it one of her best kill moves, it also allows you to block attack on top of that. Meanwhile, coming up from Monty, getting a lot of mileage out of these forward airs. Seems to be Monty's favorite move, that and down air. Forward air and down air just tossing tons of bombs which is like a aerial that's a projectile very similar to like, I don't know, like Villager or something. Just having a projectile like tied to your A button is very tight. Yeah, absolutely. Monty though going to get the dash attack here, finding the Nair to keep C in disadvantage at least for another moment longer, trying to get the landing forward air that has gotten him so much mileage. But that's the thing with that platform. Monty knows that C is comfortable there, so now he's going to try and punish him there. Got to watch for that this entire game here. C trying to catch the landing with the back air, not able to find anything. So Monty now back to plan A, which is chair. Chair, <laughs> chair be doing it, dude. Chair's got a lot of knockback on that. Takes that first stock. Has himself a healthy lead, but C could easily delete that. I love that mix-up. Run up, get the down tilt, punish the air dodge right afterwards, and get the back air. Fantastic play coming out from C off of that one singular grab. Even stocks. Yeah, even stocks, but the damage is not going to be even very, very soon, Aussie. It's looking a little bit tough, but now beautiful landing back air coming from C. That actually alleviates a lot of pressure. I know that's one hit, right? And Monty has been getting tons of hits, but if you're able to at least alleviate pressure, reset the neutral, and then just try again, it's, it actually makes mileage difference. There's two up airs, potentially looking for another one, but down air and back air, it's gonna be the down air that from Mr. Game & Watch that does win. Monty potentially looking for the forward air, he will find one, so now C has to go through the gauntlet of Game & Watch edge guarding, which is not fun to go up against at this point. Yeah, these bacon tosses are just such a wall to be able to try to climb against on top of that, trying to close it out with the down smash. Could have easily turned into like a grounded uh -oh. state. Back throw, ops toss him. Where are we going? Catch him with the up, th up air. If you try to recover high, I got aerials covering him. That's the thing about oh. Game & Watch, he's got so many options covered. This is a massive lead for, for Monty now, right? If he's able to just find a hard read either on forward air, another chair we saw down tilt, but there's the forward air. This is a massive, massive lead. Now, if we're going to look at, you know, how this game has gone, I mean, C has done an amazing job of finding these stocks, Yo. but once again, you don't want to see this. You do not want to let Monty get another chain of Nair hits, but now C has to find a way to get this going. Finds the back throw, gets a little bit of the turnaround, looking for potentially the down tilt, will find the forward air, but has to find a more decisive aerial to finish the job. Unfortunately, up smash not going to be enough, so now Monty safe back in center stage. Yeah, honestly, Monte playing incredible right now, running away from that engage, waiting for C to overcommit somewhere before opting to go for these nares, fares, and dares all over the place. Fares being that bomb of choice, just tossing it down to be able to just create this wall in front of you. Nair, good for coverage, and as well as the combo starter, has him back off stage, 72 damage. C on the final stock, gets called out by the down tilt. Sewerlin <laughs> right here. C can't believe it either. I, I can't believe it, you can't believe it, no one can believe it. That is the end of the tournament. Luminosity makes big moves, 2024, your Arcadian champion, Monte, the Mr. Game & Watch. From SoCal, SoCal getting a big win here at Luminosity, makes big moves. Congratulations to Monte, really, really great stuff. But shout outs to C as well, a very it. hard <laughs> fought uh, take the knee. <laughs> Why is he taking the knee? <laughs> For the photo. He wants oh, to, he, sure. Yeah. All right. All right. All right bet. I would have just like thrown up like two peace signs, but got to give a big shout out to C once again. He played that matchup so well. It just sometimes you, Game & Watch gets you up in a juggle. And that is going to be just an EE looking for his interview time, I guess. Once again, you get the, the content creators. We got to make content out of this weekend. But big shout out to Monty and SoCal for taking it home at the Ar Arcadian Champ. Yeah, Monte coming up. I love the adaptation coming out from Monte. Originally losing to C, winner side of things, came back, won two sets in a row to solidify that he is indeed going to be the champion. I can't wait to see how Monte's going to do in the actual singles bracket later on in this weekend. And, dude, this is only day one. We haven't had any of the normal singles, just purely Arcadian. So there's going to be a lot of fire coming out for Saturday and Sunday. One day I'm looking forward to, by the way, is January 7th. Do you know about January 7th? Yes, I know about Yo, January 7th. Can you tell 7th. me about January 7th? <laughs> Y'all should come come to this stream on January 7th, right before Top 8. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. 
<laughs> the, the stream, stream is going to drop. Stream's gonna I drop. made too many Mega Man jokes On earlier. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> Gen Game, because I'm assuming uh, De <laughs> Devin wants us to go through uh, slides. Uh, big shout outs to Gen Game. Of course, they've been supporting Big Moves since 2018. You can follow them on Twitter slash X at Gen Game and Twitch at uh, Gen Game. They got everything production, photo, video, and more. Then we also got Collision 2024. You already know what it is here in New Jersey coming up in two months, by the way. You got to register now, bro. Price Jeez. is increasing on Sunday. On what date? On what date is it increasing? <laughs> January 7th. Thank you. We got a ton of players coming out. We got <laughs> Zane, Spargo, Cody Schwab, MK Leo, Absolutely, Moki, Light, Kodor, and Mars, Tweak. I, there's just so many players. Just come. Just come. It's going to be great. Or just watch it if you can. If Tri-State is known for one thing, it's stacked tournaments. So you guys can also register for Defend the North X happening August 2nd through 4th. It's happening at the Four Star Hotel at the Long Island Marriott. Um, you definitely want to go on ahead and reg. Uh, I love hotel tournaments, man. That brings us back to the good old days where, you know, you go up to your room, you come down here. And just like uh, Luminosity makes big moves, it always is going to happen here. Uh-oh. Devin, we lost. Even matchup gaming coming <laughs> Never mind, up. We're good. The team behind, let's make big moves, let's make moves, Miami, Gommel, and more. You already know, these guys are the reason we're even here. Follow and support Even Matchup Gaming. I am begging you on all these social medias. We got Twitter at Even Matchup Gaming, at Gommel's Plan, and at Yo, let's sh make moves. Yeah, absolutely want to give a big shout out to the EMG team for bringing us 10 years of Get On My Level. One decade. One decade. Honestly, I've been hardcore, unfortunately, missing this event every single time. I'm making it a point to go this year. It's the first Smash tournament with a boat after party. Yeah. That's crazy. They've and you got had all it. the games here. This Every Gommel always has that boat after party. It's one of those things that you can't miss and you got to hit. Use code GOMMELX for $5 off and $60 venue fee until January 8th. And once again, oh, if you wanted to go support Max, I want you guys to go on ahead and check out the sick merch that we got. I am buying that LMBM Runs on Duncan shirt because I love coffee. Uh, but definitely check out the merch. Uh, if you couldn't come and you still want to support the tournament, um, how we recuperate some of these costs as merch sales and that's really important so some once again shirts. big shout outs to the uh the merch this time uh the designers absolutely killed it maybe slap him what was that we just saw earlier who is that mr, mr. Krabs. Krabs. is he playable now is that he's about on? to be yo that's sick because he was in the background of that one stage but guys thanks so much for nickelodeon all-star brawl 2 and the devs for uh helping us out bringing up a prize pool bonus as well as like having a day dedicated to the tournament tomorrow actually a lot of the tournament streams tomorrow are going to be nick all-star brawl 2 so if you guys want to see the best Best players in the world coming at you. Go ahead and tune into that stream tomorrow. Thanks again to uh, Nick All Star Brawl 2 and the devs and all that, that whole team. We got to talk though about uh -oh. the Beekeeper. Uh -oh. I have been hearing the hype all day about this film. It's only in theaters starting on January 12th. I am buzzing to see this, guys. It is going to be action packed. You have Jason Statham and David Iyer. I know I definitely want to go check it out. I know the trailer is absolute heat and absolute fire. That's coming out January 12th next year. I can't believe what we're going to be witnessing on that tournament. I'm, I, listen, I'm going to, you know, right now, I'm not part of the hive mind or anything, but I definitely want to check out this movie because I've heard it's going to be the bee's knees. Yeah, it's still coming from the director of Suicide, Suicide Squad and Fury 2. It's going to be awesome. So once again, big shout out to the beekeeper. I cannot wait to go see it on January 12th in theaters. It's got to be unbelievable. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in to for day one of Luminosity Makes Big Moves 2024. And I want you guys to know we're actually not done for the night just yet. We actually have a special appearance for the podcast, Lights Out. EE's only, as well as Light is here to bring up some more um, stream action for you guys. So don't go anywhere if you want to check that out. My name's Austin. I'm Lyric. And we'll catch you guys in a bit.
Oh, there we oh, go. Okay, yo, what's up, yo? You already know what time it is. Live lights out. Now, look, this came about because I heard they have some extra budget, and I was trying to get my hands in it. Turns out they don't, so we still decided to do it for free anyway. So, if you're watching on Twitch, what's good? It's your boy, E.E. -E. My man, Tweak, is joining us as a guest. Hello. My moves, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to start with Max, because he's the T.O. of this event. How you feeling, my guy? I'm feeling good, man. I'm glad we get to do something like this, yes. you know, bring the show to life. No Incredible. Discord, nothing like that. And, uh, you know, I'm down to have a good time out here. Light? Hey, man, he said there was no budget, but if you watch Lights Out enough, you should know that Phil just probably pocketed it. But, okay. <laughs> See, we're going to put a stop to this narrative right now. And I'm, a help I'm glad I have another podcast here. When you do a podcast, who handles your finances? Uh... I we have like a chart for like distributing everything. Who ha who handles the chart? Uh, I don't remember who made the chart, but I pay everyone out. Aha! <laughs> so you admit that the finances are in your hands. Yeah. Exactly, and they're in mine too. I think I'd rather have them in tweak hands than in yours. I listen. There's, there's <laughs> what do you mean by that, bro? I the, think you know what I mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, aside from that, we are here to talk about let's make big moves or luminosity makes big moves. Call, call it let's make big yeah, moves. Yeah, let's bro. make big you moves. Know, you know, it's what, still they gonna the same do? event. What are they going to do? Shut us down? I know how long my contract's for. Anyway, listen. <laughs> talk to me a little bit about this event so far, Max. We got a beautiful uh, amount of people at the venue. 
It's been a mainstay for a long time. Has this year met your expectations? I would say absolutely, man. Every year it's gotten just a little bit bigger, you know, a couple more spectators. We've sold out now four years in a row. Love it. So very happy about that. Um, and, you know, dare I say, we are getting close to outgrowing the venue. So I, I'm very happy, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. But this event so far has been off without a hitch. Now, I have a former LMBM champion with me, Tweet. You won it last year, right? Yeah. Okay. How about you say, what's some bass in your voice, boy? Say, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. There you go, exactly. <laughs> so, Tweet, tell me, competition this year look a little harder? Yeah, it does. So, um, can you defend? Actually, a two-time winner of this tournament. Oh shit! Okay. He is the very first one okay. in 2018. Uh, That's a brag, but yeah. you know, twice dose. That's actually really good. That's through like two different metas. Yeah, that ain't easy. There wasn't really much of a meta before. But oh, okay. <laughs> in 2018, we were making the meta. That's fair. But uh, yeah, I think uh, the interesting thing about this is usually, uh, well, every time Tri-State has won. Yep. And I think this is going to be the hardest one to do that. I think last year was definitely really hard, of course, but. Yeah, I think it's a, a, a tall order this time. We'll, we'll see. Uh, in terms of seeding, I think the highest seeded Tri-State person is probably myself. So Yep, makes sense. And I'm not first or second seed, so <laughs> let's just say that. Yeah, I think that's uh, Spargo and, uh, yeah, of course. and, and Sonic. Yeah. Coin box boys. Yeah. yeah. Now, I have a question, and I'm not going to ask you this because you weren't around for this era, or you were, you were just at home. You've been more around for this. If I win this tournament, does that still count as a Tri-State win? Cause, hey, like, look. All I'll say is that in the real world, Connecticut is part of the tri-state region, right? In Smash, we just kind of made shit up. Yeah. So we're claiming you for this weekend only if you make the. Crime. Yeah, it's like it depends on how it like goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like, if, if it's convenient for us, then yes. So like, if I beat Sox and Grands, let's go try. Yes. Yes. But if, yes. I, but if I fight Tweak, like, boo New this England guy. sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't even know this guy. Yeah. All right, that's kind of what I figured was gonna happen. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, having just Let's Make Move be won by Trust Tri-State people, it's honestly really cool. This event is shaping up to do a lot for the community, too. I mean, we're going into the new year. We want to have a different vibe than we had last year. Personally, I mean, the new year's affected me. I'm feeling good about this event. I'm feeling ready for it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just feeling good just to be here. Yeah, I mean, now you talk about Tri-State, right? Now, I can't help but, but say that there is one Tri-State member who's absent from this event who I think should be here as a staple. I'm talking about Zamba. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Zamba's not here. Where's Zamba? He in Japan? Yeah. He is. Now look. Sweaty has been. I'm gonna tell you this. I was born <laughs> I was born in Japan, okay? I yeah. was born in Japan. My parents were in the Air Force. Y'all oh might not know God. that. That's true. We said this once an episode. Did you Japan. tell me this ever? You, you must you watch probably the podcast. Did. You probably did. We, we already right. know you don't watch the podcast. Yeah, it's okay. Right, we don't have to get into that, okay? Sorry, sorry. But I was born in Japan. I would not go anywhere but be here if it was me defending my region. You wanna know why? Because I got pride. That's yeah. true. Well, Zamba's mindset was that he was going to go to Japan because he's like, well, I got to go beat Akola and Mia because they're the best players in the world, which honestly, he really messed up there because the way the last couple tournaments have been shaping up, it's kind of looking like Sonics and uh, Spargo. So, you know, he kind of should be here right now, actually. Yeah, hey, I, I think the, the Spanish guys are better than the Japanese guys right now. Yeah. And, hey, on that topic, our crew battle tomorrow night is U.S. and Canada versus Latin America. Okay. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's so much better. We had to combine regions. Yeah, bro. The the northern half of NA versus the southern half of. Did NA. we just do that so we could have riddles? Yeah. Because <laughs> who the hell else? I'm so wait, no wait. Who's our crew again? Is it me, Tweak, Riddles, the Buzz, Cola? So it's uh, no, not Cola. We we wanted them. Uh, I forget who the last I person is. I'm going to check that later. I'm going to check right, that later. We'll go back but to that. It's, you know, all, all the chads, right? All, all the top <laughs> U.S. and Canadian players together. Uh, Big D was going to be on the list, but he couldn't make it out. Okay. So. Oh, um, man, that's the best news I've heard all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Your bracket just lightened up. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. You guys keep shoving me in these crew battles, and I'm just getting stressed out. They're beginning to become more stressful than the brackets. Tweak is a terrible captain. Yo, whoever's, whoever's calling the shots on our team every time sucks. Like, I'm always casting the crew it's battles at our tournaments. I'm like, bro, let me just get off the mic and tell you guys who to put in. The worst fucking counterpicks I've ever well, seen in my okay, life. No, no, listen, 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 listen. I'm not I, – I get forced to be the captain, and then no, everyone else is just – like – the buzz is supposed to be the big brain guy. No, yeah. The buzz was like, "Can I go first? I really want to go home." And I'm just like, "What do I do in this situation?" <laughs> Yo, you the say buzz, no. The buzz is not actually big brain. He's just like you think he's the big brain guy, but like you talk to him about the crew bow and like he's just useless. He's just, <laughs> he, 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 all he can do is tell us when he wants to go. I, in. I don't want to say he's useless. I want to <laughs> no, say he, more he's so. He's actually amazing. At bro, crew. Yeah, yeah, I want to say more so. It's like the buzz is like book smart. 
he'll get the doctorates, you know what I'm saying? He'll get the master's degrees. This nigga don't really know shit, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> See, a guy like me, I'm money smart. Yeah, that makes me more yeah, intelligent. I'm street smart, bro. Really more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so the buzz for like the last three crew battles, he's yeah. actually killed it. He's got like more than like. No, five he does times. well. He does but, well. But like, it doesn't matter. He doesn't know where to place him, like anyone but himself. He's like, yeah, I don't really know when you should go in, but me, I, right now. <laughs> <laughs> me first every time, so I can get the fuck out of there and leave you guys out to dry. Dude, it just feels like a bunch of like washed up mercenaries like working together, <laughs> up and, we, and we just like don't like, we like don't actually want to do it, but like everyone wants us to, and we're just yeah. like, like grab our canes and we're just like <laughs> someone someone forced you into leader and then you're like the fakest leader ever because everyone just peer pressures you to let them go <laughs> <laughs> I'm like just I'm just sitting there and like everyone's like convincing me if they should be the next one up bro. yeah actually what's, like, what's especially because we'll have like a substitute and the substitute like just wants to play and like get up there and play and they'll be like, yo, Tweak, like, low-key, this is my favorite matchup. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, cool. <laughs> Bro, this guy, when it comes to making a decision in a crew battle, he's got no fight in him whatsoever. No. But God forbid you say something about, like, the most obscure Pokemon of all time that <laughs> only he likes, he will not fucking drop it. Way more passionate about that stuff. <laughs> Sableye, man. That's yeah, nice. Sableye, bro. <laughs> for a fire eye. I will say, I do think you have a win like a more winning ratio for your crew battles. I don't know. I actually don't know. Bro, we've been doing crew battles since this game. We did the Frostbite crew battle. We did the Summit crew battle. You didn't even play in the Summit crew battle, but you were the captain. Oh. Yeah. See, that's yeah. best case scenario. Th yeah, that you don't that, need to go in. That, yeah. No, that means he But made, I get, like, the captain credit. Like, you made the right decisions. Yeah, it's just all my yeah, picks, bro. Playing. Just <laughs> <laughs> doop. <laughs> now, I, I, have, I, have, <laughs> I, have, I have another question for you, Max, before, before we do rotate a little bit. Um, you have a big performance coming in. On Sunday. Yeah. Uh, how about G Easy? J Easy. J Easy, okay. The G Easy's the white guy. Yeah. J, well, isn't this guy white Whoa. too? Nah, nah. Oh, my fault. Okay. I, listen, I don't know. I don't know music like that no more. Hispanic. I'm old. All right, see. So look. <laughs> see, you're I, cultured, man. Come I am, on, man. Come on, man. How, how did you, you make, culture, how did you make that happen? How did you make that happen? Like, how did that come to be? So he, he tweeted some shit like uh, Smash Ultimate's, like my favorite game out right, right now. And you know, I've seen the video. Oh, I, know, I know what date Mega Man drops. Right, 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 right. And I'm like looking at my calendar. I'm like, hold up. I got a tournament on January 7th. <laughs> so I messaged him. I'm like, hey, bro, what are you doing January 7th? And he was like, oh, dude, like I'm down. I'm down. Like, let's have a, a meeting about it. So we set up the call. It was very easy to work with him. Nice. Yeah, shout out to Jay Easy, man. That, that dude is lit, and you'll see him in the flesh. I love celebs like that, man. You ain't going to get you ain't gonna get Kanye to come out because Kanye ain't easy to work with nobody. His ass is also crazy as hell. So you probably don't want him in the venue to begin <laughs> no, with. Don't. Yeah, but I like the fact that Jay was about that. I think it's going to be a good performance to open up, what, top eight? Top eight, I don't yeah. want to spoil too That much, is wild, yeah. bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This tournament always has a little something. It yeah. does, a little something. Man. I know, right? Remember that time y'all had Corey in the house? <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey, Kyle Mass. That's yeah. crazy. Hey, we got a, we got some other shit cooking too. I think you guys will be impressed uh -oh. with who we got to to uh, show their face for you guys this year. Last question but, before I let you get out of here, Max. Will LMBM be housed here again next year, or will you got something else cooking up? You know, this is our last year under contract in the New Yorker. Okay. They love us. They would want us to come back, but. The only reason, one of the main reasons this event has sold out four years in a row is because there's only so many people that could fit here, right? right? And I kind of like that, that it has almost like an exclusive vibe to it where you got to get in the door, you got to like not miss it. All you smashers, please, for the love of God, like start signing up earlier. But um, My we, bad. We, yeah, well, I put you in the bracket for free every time, you son of a bitch. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, I do want to self-report. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we have kind of outgrown the venue, so I do want to look into getting something bigger and better, Good. something close. We, we don't want to give up the vibes, right? Being right in Midtown New York is, is core to the identity of this tournament, so it might be closer than you think. Um, but it's, it's a TBD, but in a perfect world, yeah, we, we will move um, onward and upward next year. I'd love to do it. Oh, this is one of my mainstay tournaments, so I really Absolutely. appreciate you and, and the rest of the staff. Even if we got to deal with the, I hope they can hear me, those security guards be messing with people. Won't even let somebody bring in a damn orange juice. Bro told me to put it. I said, I, I can't bring an orange juice. How do you know? What I don't is he need rambling that? about? How do you know I don't need that citrus to bro, survive? Bro, you swear you're Dave Chappelle. Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that that one security guy. Like, I appreciate you keeping us safe, but nigga, if I want some orange juice, let me bring it in. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you, Max. No problem. Appreciate bro. you. Thanks we're for gonna, having me, boys. No doubt. No doubt. We're gonna we're gonna keep the vibes oh, going. Oh my God. Coney.
Your turn. Yo, when we do our next live episode of uh, the podcast, yeah. yo, we should just all wear Yeezy pods. Oh, oh, yeah, I got some shit to give away. Who wants some free stuff, man? Let me give y'all this, because I ain't taking it back. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to just throw rocks at people. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, all right, you got all right. Hold on, let's let's divvy this up. Who the husky? I got an XL shirt. Who's the husky? One of little husky fellas over there. Man, you, I just realized I'm in you the can LG come up. Couch. Wait, yeah. well, 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 well. Here, I get XL right here. That's for you, Max. If you don't sit your ass down. <laughs> all right, Max. You, I got something for you in the back. Who, who wears a medium? Wait, what you got in the back? There you go. Ain't no way he doesn't I, already have LG merchandise. I don't have a baby team. <laughs> He's getting paid. By I got them. you because you've, you've been seeing here from the start. You're right. He's I'm gonna give you a shirt team. and a hat. I haven't hat. seen you all here weekend, you bro. I know. Appreciate well, we, you we shot some uh, very, go. Oh, very wait, hold cool, on. Let me make sure it's the right very size. Very funny for you. shorts. Yeah. yeah, very silly. That's a medium. Very yeah, silly. You can, you can fit that. You trying to get pizza after this? I want some pizza. Excel. Why is he making that face? Did you already eat pizza? I got one more left. Okay. I got one more left. Guess guess a number between one. And 80. What can you eat? We'll Dope. go get some. I uh, I just had curry. It was really good. I'm not eating curry. 80. All right, see ya. Uh, see ya. Wait, now that Cody's on the couch. Yeah. What'd you say? It was 69. We have something important I'm a to talk about. Bitch. Here you go. Mm. Mike Thank has you. to talk about it. Oh, yeah. wait, I got hats too. I'm sorry. Here. Bro, I'm hey, sorry. Go, bro. I was just, giving away I too much. I just caught up in whatever that. Wait, turn around. Part. Orange shirt. Orange shirt. That's yellow. Yellow shirt. <laughs> That's quite uh, well, all right. Oh, shit, my bad. Anyway. Bad. All right, water. what do we have to talk about? Uh, hey, it's Cody. Know. Oh. <laughs> wow. I want Light to talk about it. What's up? Our, our, uh, our a specific matchup we had when we were playing. Okay. Hey, can you sit back so I'm in the conversation? No, no. I <laughs> think you, you were actually, busy. Can you, you were come busy. back up? I think you've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a specific. You're talking about banjo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so the banjo is real. The banjo is very real. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. But let me, let me tell you how this goes, because it happens so often since I've known Tweak for so long. He'll take out a character. He'll proceed to beat my ass with said character for about 30 minutes. Like Sephiroth, I remember. Yeah, 30 cool. minutes. And then, and then after those 30 minutes, I kind of figure it out piece by piece. And then it's like... See, this isn't funny. It starts to go the other way around. No, yeah, your, your okay. banjo was real. It's, it's gone yeah. now. And that's the it's end of the It's not gone. It's fighting. It's, he just keeps <laughs> summoning phantoms, and you have to keep <laughs> slaying them. <laughs> it was gone. Form of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one that sticks around forever. It's, yeah. it's Diddy, but... Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, and that's what it should be, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Now, Coney, tell me, because I know you're... <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. What he are you talking care about? He doesn't I... care about this banjo. What are, you doing? Are, you, are you using banjo this weekend? Uh, Probably not, probably no, not. No, probably not, obviously. So what's the point of practicing if you're not going to use them? Because he has a twisted mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's just not competitive. I watched that video of you against Sonics, and I'm like, this, this is That was a video? Not. Yes. Yeah, no, you didn't know. Wait, does your editor not consult you with what he puts on YouTube? What? I, well, I didn't know if it was up yet. The video is no, so no. funny. Nice save, by the way. The video is so funny because he doesn't talk the entire time, except he gets mad at Sonics for killing him in sudden death. He's like, if you kill me, I'll leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I won the game. Because I won, won the game. game. You won the timeout with Banjo. He's like, if you kill me, I'll leave. That's it. That's what the hell? That's, that's, the, that's the only line of dialogue in a, in a 10 minute video. Bro, what that's is, the one line. What is wrong with you? Very Y'all wouldn't get tight at that if you win if you beat Sonics in a whole seven minute game. That is frustrating. And then he just teleports at you and like it doesn't actually count in the thing. No, that'd make me very happy because that just makes me know that he's a little angry. Like Really? <laughs> you don't get annoyed if people kill you in Sun Death. He had to attack me in Sun Death because he's just he's upset. <laughs> I guess you're you're popping off. You're your hands off the controller. Maybe it's yeah, like, no, your hands off the controller, he he kills you and you're like <laughs> Maybe it's faster. <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe it's faster than like running off. Maybe he knows the number. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right, go next. Go <laughs> next. Just dash attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now uh, I'm not talking about characters you're never gonna use. Yeah. He Tony, says one thing and moves on. You're here. Yeah. For a specific reason, would you like to tell everybody? Because I believe it'll be something if you're in the if you're watching at home. I'm yes. Sorry, but you can watch it on his Twitch channel. Tell the people what you're doing tomorrow. Absolutely. So uh, one thing that I'm doing, basically, I'm streaming all through the weekend. I'm gonna have a couch right over there, just yep. rewatching a lot of uh, let's make big moves up until top eight. Then I'm gonna raid for top eight. We're doing top four, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, so I got a couch. If you guys want to hop on anytime, come on, say hi. Uh, it's this and then, very couch. Yes, this very couch. <laughs> but I'm also doing a series of challenges. Yes. So I have 20 challenges. 
themed around characters in Smash, and uh, you, you, you play through a challenge, and you, you get a prize. You can win anywhere from $1 to $100 or some LG merch. But however, there is a catch. You have to play it on a, a big-ass table controller, which I can't show you. Go to my Twitter to go find it out. $1 to $100, you pick a character, you play a challenge, you might win a prize or a firm handshake. Who knows? Uh, some of them are easy. Some of them are impossible. I'm very excited. Wait. Now, I noticed you said they can win either money or LG merch. Yes. Where was your merch at? Oh, at home. No, I'm saying like... <laughs> what do you mean? No, 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 no. I mean like the yeah. merch you're giving away. Because I got this pile and I wanted to Was make it sure back there? Yeah. Was that that pile back there? Okay. Was that your merch? Okay. That was my pile. We'll figure that out. Okay. My bad. Why did you just take... Hold on. No, 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 no. Sit down. No, wait. Okay, it's back there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he, did that, okay. he did that on purpose. Okay, he okay. did that on purpose a oh, thousand yeah. percent. You there are two piles. <laughs> there are two piles. He did. I, two piles. I wanted right. to see if he would check. I wanted to see piles. if he would check. He did so, that. Okay. I swear I just wanted to see if he would check. He did that on purpose. I'm going to have to give away a lot more money. <laughs> Bro, he touched my shoulder like a light like a light bulb went off in his head. <laughs> and he like he like pogged. Like <laughs> I was I, that was, yeah. that I was, was <laughs> genuinely scared. I went like this, but I looked up and you were like I was gonna be so mad. I'm so wide eyed. I was like, what? The I'm about to give away money, money. <laughs> <laughs> See? That, that's what we do. Now, hold on. We're good. Now, uh, production, we do have a live mic, if I'm not mistaken, right? Is there a live mic somewhere? No? Do we have any oh, other guests has playing? It. Oh, okay. If anyone has a question for Coney, Light, or Tweak, or ask, E, anything or e, at all, ask it right now. Let's any that questions brother, in the that world? That brother right now. What's your name? My name's Rybex. Ryback? Max. Ryback. Max. Yes. Oh, yes. Max. Hi, Max. Okay. Ryback. What's up, Hi. Max? Max, we do things differently. You can come on camera. Oh, we, we shot. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Show yourself. Hey, yo. Hey, what's up, y'all? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What's like going that. on, man? How's it going? What, no, who's no, who's no, your no, question no. for? What's up? Who's your question for? Uh, my question is, okay, so out of the top 10 players that are right now, who do you think you could win in at this fight? Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, can he we said like, this fight? Can we name the top 10 out loud? Yeah, actually. All right, Sonic's it's easy. Spargo, I'm kicking him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Leo, he's washing every aspect, so I don't got to worry about that. Oh, my God. Uh, Mio, Mia, I'm kicking him. That's Akola, so I'm kicking him. Uh, if they're kids, I'm kicking them. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't feel like I can answer this because like, I feel like it's bullying. I would break those children in half. Yeah, <laughs> like... <laughs> Get off me! I'll take a five at once. <laughs> Tweak. Ah! Tweak, he's had it coming for years. I think there have been literal points in certain points of my... I don't know about you. I've definitely played you, and I'm like, I want to fight this. No, I want to fight you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to jump over the setup. We yeah. could do it. We no, could no, do no, it. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was saying, we kill you. <laughs> We're saving that for lights out boxing. Lights out yeah, boxing. Yeah, lights out lights boxing. Out boxing. Throw. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. Okay. Not a That's not allowed fighter. in boxing. I'm not all a right. fair fighter. <laughs> I know, you play Fox. I will, I will say. Oh, Riddles, Shutan, and Yoshidora. Okay, uh, Riddles just, he's older now. I can't kick him, but I'll win. I beat his ass. I beat the shit out of him. Uh, Shutan, I got a mental block on him. He might, he might beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I did not expect that one. And then what was the last one, Yoshidora? Yoshidora. Nah, I don't know anything I, about him. He's yeah, older, but I'll kick him. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you just kick him. Yeah. The kids and Yoshidora. Except oh, get. for the kids or just like everybody. Yeah, this actually brings me up to a really good point. You guys remember the lie detector test that we yeah, did? Yeah, 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 I remember that. That was fun. Uh, do you remember you asked me a question? It was the only question that came up as a lie. Yeah. And it said, do you think you could beat the buzz in a fist fight? Right. And I said, of course. Came as a lie? You were Bro. scared. You were scared. <laughs> you were scared, yeah. That, that's what the, you know that's what the lie detector test measures is how fast your heart is beating. No, as soon bro. as I said, fist fight the buzz. <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> is he? You he's going to come into yeah, the door. Yeah, you open the door. Prove it. Full boxing bro, regalia. I remember, <laughs> yeah. I remember when we were all watching the video live and there was uh, like that question came up. And I remember I was like, there is tension in this room. <laughs> and if, if there was a world where I could prove myself, I would do it. <laughs> They could have just lied, like on the test. They could have yeah, lied. Funny. Max, thank you time. for your question. Thank, thank you. So much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good you. question. All right. Anybody else? You I, can ask. It doesn't have to be Smash related. You can ask literally anything you want. We, we I, I think I clear everybody what? until Big D. Until I think who? Big D might beat me up. Just I, side so, how many is that? Like, how many players? He's a sweetheart, but you he know. thinks he clears us. No, no. Big D is just tall. 
I'm way bigger than you guys, and I'm older. Okay. I'm older than both it, of okay, you. Okay, but we're not like 15-year-olds. Yeah. It's not like to the point where we're like, we're not developed. <laughs> Come, come. Oh, Ask your go. question in front of we'll, the... We'll yeah, set it up. <laughs> we'll, set, we'll set it up. We'll set it up, bro. Hello. Uh, since you competed... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. First oh. of all, hold it close to your mouth. Oh, yeah. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Aiden. Okay, Aiden. Let's hear your question. Uh, yeah. Uh, since you competed like, pretty much all over the world, what is one place that you really want to compete but never have a chance to Ooh. Oh, this I is like going to be such a cheesy answer. Do I go first? You go first. Go for I it. have the cheesiest answer ever. Obviously, I've, com I've competed in Connecticut, but I would really like just to have a major in Connecticut where like everybody else goes there because I just think it'd be really cool. So, cheesy answer, but that's what I want. I just want a major in my home. Look, he's just already unhappy. Ain't with that shit answer. to do in Connecticut. You got shine, and that's as you're good as from, it's gonna get. You're from Maryland. Yeah, oh, and we hey, have a smash on, con in Baltimore. No, okay, we're not going to Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to Baltimore. What's for wrong a with Baltimore? No, so you know what's wrong with Baltimore. <laughs> you lived in Baltimore, bro. Was from Owings Mills. You know what's wrong There's with Baltimore. There's nothing wrong with Bmore. Okay. Well, listen, MDVA already has smash con, and the best national other than Let's Make Big Moves, and then other than Get, get on My Level. The, the third best national in the country. MD is so shit that you need to combine it with Virginia. No, they did that. They did that. They did that. Because all them Virginia niggas is weird. We don't want to claim them. We're not claiming them. True. We're not claiming them. Virginia is uh -uh. weird, bro. <laughs> all them niggas weird, bro. I don't care what you say. We've been saying that. I've been saying that. All right, well, my answer. <laughs> all right, Tweek. All right, Tweek, what's your answer? My answer is Japan because I actually haven't yet, and that's where all the, like, the best competition is. So. You never went to Japan. I did, but I didn't compete in a big tournament. Uh, okay. Uh, I went to a small tournament, but it was very like low key. True. Sure. So it, and it was also like when Joker came out. Like how many years ago was that? Yeah. Oh, isn't that the uh, tournament? That's a good movie. Did Leo movie. get like thirty third? No, there? it was like. Was that the one? It was a really cool spot. It was like a, it was like a bar, and it was like a place where like foreigners went, like that are in like the military and stuff to like play Smash. I didn't oh, know. Neat. I didn't know where I was going. I just knew I was going to play Smash. But I, it was like, it was. All, I met a lot of cool people. You sound way too trustworthy. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> foreigners, come play Smash Bros at this undisclosed location. Yeah. Okay. okay. You could have got. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> it. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. Like military nerds. Do yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I went Joker and I won <laughs> easily. <Go ahead. laughs> yeah. Thank there you go. for your question. Thank you, yeah, thank you very much. That was thank fantastic. Soon, brother, we will compete and dominate Japan. Mm, any questions? Any questions? Yeah, come on man. up! Come on up! Yeah, I'm surprised up, I wasn't. Man. I thought we were gonna say the same answer. If you'd like, huh? I, like, I thought we were gonna I say like the same answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. You don't like me. I, Have you I, been? I've realized, like, <laughs> I realized you've never liked me. Yeah. <laughs> it took you a bit. Yeah. All right. What's your name and what's your question? Benson. Huh? My name is Benson. Okay, Hi, Benson. Benson. Hey. There's four guys here, right? Yeah. Go on, chicken. <laughs> I've never had Jolly Bee. I'll try. You've never had Jolly Bee. I hear it's good. Wait, you never had Jolly Bee? Uh, no. Oh, they can. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are we trying this right here? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, I've never had Jolly Bee. Oh, bet. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> what Damn. is it fried? Yeah, it's oh, bro. Oh, wait. Wait. I might not. Wait. Be Look, you've been using that Crohn's disease excuse for a lot of things. <laughs> if you don't eat some goddamn chicken, bro, it's like lying. Somewhere, Act like you've been somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't tossing you nothing. Give me that. I don't trust those white hands. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead, get you a piece, Gavin. I can't. No, I, I seriously. Take, no, take a bite. It ain't going to kill this you. This isn't take spicy, you. is it? Do not. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's uh, two seasons. Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Crones over here don't want none, but that's okay. I can't. I can't. He can't have it. It's Man. okay. I'm sorry. Mm. No, this is okay. delicious. No, I've had it before. Yeah, I just... Good. Why are you making fun of him? Thank you. First of all, I'm not making fun of him. You clearly are. <laughs> he can make fun of me too. I'm black. It don't matter. Now listen. Oh, well, we, well, well, I mean, that's me too. Well, the, the thing is, I actually don't black. know. I actually no, don't know if, if I can have Do it I have for both? sure. I have yeah. neither affliction. I'm not like Can't 100%. Touch me. I'm only half. All right. I, I, I hide very wait, well. Wait, wait. That brings up a good question. Competitive this wise. This is very good. What this do you delicious. eat to get fuel to go? Uh, I usually don't eat. Like if I'm if it's a bracket day, sometimes I don't eat until I'm done. I like KFC. KFC's not bad. On bracket days, I don't eat at all. Sometimes I'll try to get a granola bar, but otherwise I'll starve till the end of the bracket. Wait, very good. No Diddy Kong joke? You didn't do nothing to the chicken, right? I do eat bananas often. You didn't do nothing to the chicken, right? Before bracket. No, I'm saying you ain't do nothing to it, right? Oh, no, no. All right, my nigga. We good. All right. Yeah, it's good, boy. See, this is what people don't understand about Smash tournaments. At its core, it's all about camaraderie. It's all about stuff like this, bro. I feel disgusting. It's all about friendship. 
All right. Cheers, my friends. I've had it before. Yeah, the gravy. That's so good. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I had that. The first time I got it, I had that. It's good. Thanks, man. Here you go, bro. Thank you, Ben Slim. Thank you. No. You're, you're, you're a mess, bro. I'm done. What? You Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Way, this is the most white Thank people shit I've ever seen in my life. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Why would you hand him the chicken back? Because I'm done. You, he brought me the chicken. He takes away the chicken. This is, this Thank is, you, Benson. This is that. That will I, be all. I have way too much money. I'm way too popular. That will Twitch be all, channel. Benson. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he remi- Thank you. He reminds me of my other Do we have any? <laughs> we have any other guests? Or it's like being at home. Do you want to leave? Howdy. What's good? A little bit. All right, one more question. From, uh, so good. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm from South Florida. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just living here in New York. Cool. What's your question? Is it your first time? Uh, yeah, very first time, yeah. South Florida? Yeah, South Florida. Somebody yeah. check his backpack. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's your would, question, man? Why would you say Like that? Miami or? Uh, yeah, Miami, yeah. Gotcha. Cool. That's a good one. So what's up? What's your question? So, so like, what's the question? I, I didn't even think of anything. <laughs> Were you stalling, trying to come up with something? We're, we're, we're just hanging out. We're I just hanging out. Saw you in, um, I saw you in Miami, right? Like late at night on the first night? Yeah, in Miami. Yeah, I asked you why you and, like, no, you, like, uh, you and Cosmos threw against Rizzy at doubles. <laughs> so, yeah. Because that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, it's I, good I, comedic relief. Yeah. Very funny indeed. I thought yes. Cosmos was like, you know, I thought you just stood there on purpose just to watch you die. So, like, yeah. No, I, I purposely did not. That's just something Light would do. Just like, yeah. let me 1v1 him. Yeah. yeah. You take, you rock, paper, scissors, and you take turns, bro. And if you lose, then you never deserve to win. Mmm, I you know, like that. You do, choose to lose characters. You like, if, you, if, if both of your characters are playing like choose Wait, to I lose, need to they like flip a coin, and like, whichever coin lands, they decide to win. I just realized that you said choose to lose characters, and now I know who, what content you watch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, my, I, I mean, my region uh, always says, you know, choose to lose characters. Like, you know, yeah, I'm used to it right now. Like, yeah. Do you have a specific question you'd like to ask? A uh, specific, specific question. Um, do you think Fox is broken? Top five. True. Mm-mm. No. Yes, I do. He absolutely is. Top five, yes. Top ten. Top ten. All right, that's better than you usually say. You usually say like it's 12. Top ten. No, I say anywhere from eight to 15, but soft answer, top ten. Would you, be, would you like me if I said he's a slightly overrated? I don't usually like people who say, would you like me if. But. He said overrated. <laughs> he said he thinks he did say overrated. overrated. I, yeah, I know. I'm just, you know. No, sure. right, Sorry, I'm very emotional. No, you're good. No, Thank I'm you for your question. Thank you very much for your My question. Man. Thank you. All right, we're going to let Tweak tag out because B said we're bullying him, but we love you, Tweak. Pussy. Thank you. Tweet I'll talks, bully everybody. her, too. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Did you know right. that Cody would actually beat Rod? her in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. We're gonna have I would, Rod. though, but stop. If we you didn't have to mention it. And this is a good, uh, a good person to bring on because not only is Rod a mainstay of the commentary world, he also has some of the awesome LMBM merch on. Rod, would you like to show that shirt off? Ooh. Yeah, let, let me stand up real quick and hit a couple poses. Yeah, go ahead real quick. Is that the New York Nick one? I like that one. Look at that. Yeah, it is. It's good. Good it's looks nice. not included. Good, I'm sorry. Right? Good looks not included. All right? But you can still get the hoodie. You I'm can still get the hoodie. Rob, I, talk to I, me, I, man. I didn't eat that much meat off it. <laughs> you know how I am. They're going to eat the bone, bro. Damn. Yeah, light's kind of a savage. You know that bro. image with, like, the wings with, like, all the meat on it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, number one or two. Oh, I, I get all the, the, the light meat, and that's basically it. That's I'm, I'm 10, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oh, we know. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's getting deep in there. Baba taught me not to waste. Keep on mm-hmm. chewing, man. That's why right. you in that 11 category. My God. Rod, how you doing, man? Does how this you, look how do you like you? the, uh, the yes. vibes of this tournament? <laughs> yeah, the vibes of this tournament are immaculate. First of all, man, big shout out. Thank you. Thank yep. you, sir. I got the hoodie on, man. The hair's a travesty under here. But big shout out, of course, to Max and Joe, as always. They put on a phenomenal thing. And also, man, big shout out, of course, you, man. The podcast is taking off. We are. We're taking it from the URL to the IRL. That's so we in up. person, live, full effect. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, one thing I've been trying to tell people, and it's, it's hard because people are like, where's Cosmos at? His ass is in Japan. Don't ask me how. This man lost his sponsorship and traveling more than ever before. <laughs> Light's over here taking shots with chicken. He's four for are four. You okay? I'm four for four, like Wendy's, baby. Okay. Damn. My big ass. <laughs> I ain't had a four for right. four in years. All right, man, hold on. We might have to make a trip after this. Yeah, All right, I'm, I'm back. I'm focused. Are you I'm back? Focused. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Wait, wait. While I was talking. Bowling. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, wind uh, resistance. Uh, all right, you yeah, can't. Uh, you can't hit all the confirms. I, I was framed. Definitely plays for the piston shooting like that. Anyway. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Nigga, you just spit some chicken on me. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? <laughs> yo, y'all gotta chill. All right, I was asking Rod. Yeah, the the vibes of the event. Very good. 
Yeah, 11 yeah. out of 10. 11, 11 out, out of 10. 10. Man, Max and Joe, they, they, they know how to run a show, man. I've been having a lot of fun. I did the Pokemon thing earlier. That was a hit. We, did we need Pokemon that more Go. at events, too, by the way. He does a man. safari zone safari. in a section of the tournament. Gets a lot of people to come through. Little Pokemon TCG. Boom, I've met boom. some Pokemon Go friends as well. Mm -hmm. Really good interaction. And one thing that was really good, he did at SmashCon, the parents enjoyed it as well, too. The parents enjoyed it, man. It's you all about get the, the buy-in. Yeah. It's the buy-in from the families, man. That's how you build Smashers. And really just gamers. Yeah. Comfortably. You know what I'm saying? For years to come. Because obviously we can't do this forever. Sooner or later we're going to have to dip up out of here. And like I said earlier, no longer booked and busy. I'm trying to be invested and rested. Okay? That's coming soon. That's a, that's a, that's a bar. Put it on, on a t-shirt. Come on, bro. I feel like that's where Coney is right now. Boom. His ass don't be going nowhere hardly. Nope. Invested and rested. Only came here because I'm over there. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I get to watch. I get to restream and do my thing right there. And I get to do a fun thing with it. That's that's all it is. Sh big shouts to Luminosity and yep. uh, the LMBM team for Help him make that happen. Bro, it's gonna be I, I think it's so funny how, like, just through spending time with specifically, like, your group, the commentary group, usually yeah, is what I chill with. I just learned how much you guys just don't care about how brutally honest you are. No, <laughs> it's hilarious. Not at all. I, obviously, I'm like that too, but, like, I had to get used to it on, like, camera and shit. Mm. We like, talk an obscene amount of shit. Cody's, That's right. Cody's like, I don't even really want to be here. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, I, here's the thing I, I love going to events for stuff like this. Less and less for the the, the 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 stuff we get paid for. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. the top eights have become a little stagnant. Lackluster. You know what I mean? Like top sixteen, top thirty twos have been phenomenal, right? Word, Th word. Those are still good, but you know the game's kind of slowing down. I, I'm an early game guy. Like sure. when the Raptor Boost kills, and you're why is Raptor Boost killing? And everybody's having a good time finding out what what characters top players are going to main i love that part of the game yeah, sure when you're five years in it's a little more you know you're going you're just phoning it in you know you're just going through the motions uh, yeah. I, I would never say that but i, I feel less nigga, like, nigga let me tell you i don't i'm phoning it in <laughs> <laughs> i'm text messaging it all sorts of shit i have a lot more fun over there that's right i can say whatever shit i want and i don't have to worry about pissing off the beekeeper yeah, you know I what I mean? That's, so, that's, that's fair you know enough. I mean? That's fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> hey, that movie's going to be hype in theaters January I'm 12th. I'm unbelievably excited. Yes. Uh, I Jason will be Statham. seated. Yep, it's going to be a great film. Make sure y'all check that out. Now, look, I'm going to keep it a stack. I I'm think, listening. I think this tournament has a lot of potential for its top eight slash top four yeah. because, in fact, Steve is banned. I think that's yep. a very interesting concept. Now, we and you, we go back and forth. Coney Howard, you know, sometimes, okay, I see it, sometimes I am, whatever. Yeah. But I think because of the clientele that is present here, it's going to be insane. Mm -hmm. I it's feel like a, a combination of, like, Spargo, MKLeo, Light, Cola, Tweak, you know what I'm saying? Let's throw in some, some Meisters and Montes, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, Sonic's going to be in there. You know, I don't know if Raph's here, but sorry, nigga. Wait, yeah, Monty, you know what I'm saying? Does Monty also play Game & Watch? Yeah. I Why does so. every Game & Watch's name start with the letter M? Damn, stay oh, woke. Shit, you're right. Hold on, bro. He's <laughs> on to something. Do 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 do. That's like a conspiracy theory song. Damn. I never thought Damn, about stay that. Stay woke. There was there was a, a Mexican game watch in Smash Four. R R started with an R. R Regalo. R Regalo. No, Reggie. That was it. Regalo is oh, the yeah. Lucas. Yeah, Wasn't but his there? real name was uh, Maximus. Oh my God. Is there also a, 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 right. a Lagrimas? Is that is that a game of watch too? Lagrimas from uh, Montreal, I right? Don't know. I He's couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know that I mean, area. We're going too deep. I don't care about this character this much. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, is true. That's fun. Max, right you still got that mic? We'll take another question if anyone has one for anybody on the couch. Uh, anything at all. Try and keep it PG-13 if you have anything to say. Other than that, if I not, think. that's okay. Uh, if not, that's okay. Too. Oh, wait. No, don't be shy. Come on up here. Oh, shit. This is my boy. Uh -oh. Hold on. This is, this is my boy, Yvonne. What's up, Yvonne? What's going on? Yvonne? Get up here. Get up, get up, get up. Yo, yo, he's a hat grabber. He that's right. Get up here, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that's always great. Like that hoodie, too, man. Yeah, Hold you know, up a second. You got to represent Nebraska. Nebraska volleyball on top. That's yeah. Yeah. Hey, the girls are good. Blended, the girls blended. are great. They're Talk great. to me. What's your question, Nebraska. brother? I mean, Let you know, since we're in New York, I just wanted to ask, are you guys Nikki fans? Who? Nikki. Nikki Minaj? Like yeah. Dungeon Dragon? Let me uh, tell you something. <laughs> aesthetically. Aesthetically. She's very yeah, pretty. Yeah. Big let fan. Me, big me, fan. I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes yeah, to, you know, to Nikki like, Minaj, I am a fan. I think the music is on point. 
You know, if Nicki Minaj was a streamer, I'd be a sub. I ain't going to lie. If y'all think I go crazy for Asian Bunny X, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Let Miss Minaj go live, and hopefully it's on kick, so we can really have some fun. Yeah, oh, you really are my most down bad Get friend. Anyways, carry on with your question. Sorry, you know. keep going, man. Uh, you know what I mean? I was just going to ask what your favorite Nicki song was. Like, if you guys are Ice Spice fans, too, because, you know, uh, you, we're no, in the Ice, area, you know? Uh, like, hey, yo, what, what's the song by Ice Spice? She's like, run dun dun He only my dun 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 I thought he was doing, like, a circus beat <laughs> Mega Man drops January 7th. Mega Man drops January 7th. Listen, that's enough. Tie about, tie about, tie about. Yo, Cody, you're so fucking funny. <laughs> Fuck, Mega Man dropped <laughs> you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he did, bro. That, that's what he I mean, doing. that's all I hear. I just went to one of them. He got him out of one of them. I don't like Ice Spice. I'd probably say that I like Nicki Minaj more. She's more of a vibe. You know, you can't. I'm a. Hey, I got a question for y'all. Hey, how do y'all feel about Rice Spice? Anybody? <laughs> Any, That's anybody? enough. Anybody? That is funny. I'm, not, I'm no? not getting into that. All, all right, right, all right. Thank whatever. you for your question. Thank I'm you, Yvonne. Dad, Thank bro, you. I listen to classic rock. I'm with <laughs> I'm Skinner and Led Zeppelin. Hey, you know what I mean, brother? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Max. I have a question. Oh, what's good? Oh, what's up, Max? Oh, yeah. I just want to know how hard that last question made Coney cringe. <laughs> that was, come on, man. We saw your face, man. I like the question. I was more mad at the hoodie. Nebraska, bro? Nebraska? Hey, their volleyball program is fire. Now, wait a damn minute. Born. Wait a damn minute. I know, Ryan, I know, you know Ryan, Ryan is from Nebraska. The, 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 I know the, he the, is. The Virginia, so is Austin. The, the Virginia guy? Are you from Virginia, right? No. Where are you from again? He doesn't know. Bro, I mean, I'm, I'm not right. telling you that. No, wait, wait. I literally have been talking shit about I'm not telling about, you now. No, no I've been talking shit about Maryland this entire Nick, time. Nick. What did you say one bad thing about Maryland? Laura. Does anyone else have a question before we wrap this up? Nigga, have you been to Glitch? Okay. Have you been I like Glitch. I like Glitch. Laurel Smash. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, 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 I'll give wait, it okay. up. I'll Hold give on. it up. I'll give it up. She, she's been with us since the start. So Gimmer, I'm Gimmer is seething. I'm very excited Gimmer for this is question. seething right Gimmer. now. Hold on, hold on. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey Hi. there. I don't have a question. But okay. I just think you guys are awesome, and I wanted to say I love you guys. Uh, wait, what? What? Wait, here. can you speak a little closer to the mic? I don't have a question, but I just think you guys are awesome, and I like you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank that. you. That's very nice. That's the best kind of question, a compliment. That's right. A no, a, not a question. That's not a question. A statement, actually, yeah. uh, but, yeah. it's, but it's appreciated. Right, thank we you very much. Yeah. We know you don't know that word. We know you went to college, Coney. We get it. Thank you. I did. That's right. He all smart and stuff. I don't want to hold everybody too much longer. We've been gooning for a while now. I do want to wrap it up with at least some predictions for the tournament. Ooh. Start with Coney. Give me your top four of this event. Uh, I got Sonics, bro. Okay. Sonics, I, I always say Sonics is going to win. Usually he doesn't, but he's starting to win now. Probably some combination of Sonic, Spargo. Are you playing well? Yeah, actually. Yeah? Weirdly enough, yeah. I didn't play a lot, but I am playing very well. Well, you play won, well tomorrow. I won the pre-local yesterday. Oh, you did, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Are you going to play well tomorrow? Yes. You know why I'm confident in that? Because I fixed my sleep schedule. I don't go to bed like at 5 a.m. anymore. I go to bed like at 12, 11. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll uh I'll put you at four. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, okay. We got Kanye. one more question. So yeah. I got a spicy question. Okay. Spicy. spicy. Yeah. Like white spicy, like when he was eating that chicken. Yeah, it's like, like oh, wait, spicy. I don't know if I can handle it. Like, <laughs> oh, my tummy hurts. <laughs> <laughs> wait. If you could bring one band player back, who would be? Bro. Are we allowed? I like that. I'm gonna answer. You answer that then. You answer that then. Shit. I'll answer it. I know my know answer, but I shan't be. I, I shan't okay. be sharing. I shan't be canceled. Today. I mustn't. I mustn't. <laughs> no. oh, oh, that spice is getting to me. Hold on. <laughs> I think I gotta. Well, wait, wait, wait. I just <laughs> happen to have some water. <laughs> I say. <laughs> All right, you answer then. Okay. Uh -oh. So I want to preface mine by saying we're like in a multiverse where like nothing went awry, everything's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we're taking this guy with no priors back. All right, is that cool? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So in my perfect universe, we can bring back a player, no issues attached. I'm going to say, and just because I'm a huge Snake fan, okay, the ally, that's, I would say if we could that's erase. Say. That's my answer. If we could yes. erase anything, like we take, we take multiverse ally. Maybe he's black in this. If he's black, ain't nothing happening. If he's black in this multiverse, this nigga's good, okay? So that would be my answer. Multiverse ally. He's not with the bullshit. 
probably probably the same. Probably the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I feel like my answer is pretty obvious. I, I go on this guy's stream like every day. So, yeah, my answer is Nairo. Multiverse right. Nairo. Multi. That's a nice answer. <laughs> sure. And Negro, so Negro. Not Negro. He, he, didn't even let, he didn't even let Coney. No, Coney's not I, I said it's Nairo. Okay, well, yeah. I hate this Yo, question. Thanks a lot, man. I hate this question. You're never going to hear it end a bit. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Our end. Your questions are awesome. Thank you. Okay, same question. No multiverse. And that's a wrap, nigga. I'm out of here. All right. All right, predictions. Like Predictions. Let's finish the predictions. Predictions, honestly, just being realistic, it really depends on who I run into. If I have to fight Webb this weekend, even though I just fought him twice yesterday, and it was not easy beating him. So if I can get by Webb, I'll feel a lot more confident. Is he in your, he's in your path? Uh, yeah. Okay. Which is weird because I just fought him twice. Sure. Word, word. Um, I'm really only worried about Webb and Tweak this tournament. Okay. I'm not okay. really worried about anyone else because I'm pretty good versus Spargo. Um, good versus Leo. I'm very good versus Sonic usually. So if I can get past those two people and I keep playing as good as I've been playing today, I'm pretty confident. You and Tweak are what, 11 10 now? Or no, 10? I, I think we were 10 10 when he beat me. It was a Watch the Throne. Word, so it's word, 11 word. 10. Yeah. Is it 11 yeah, I remember being. Yeah. I remember it being. Tweak's up one. Tweak's up one. Okay. Tweak's up one. Yeah, so. No, okay. yeah. So, yeah, no. I definitely want to get my run back at Tweak. Uh, I'm playing, like I said, I'm playing pretty good. Okay. So, I don't know where I'll be, but I think I can top three this tournament easily. Sure. Free. If I don't win this tournament, my money is on Spargo easily. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. I like it. Yeah. How about you, Rod? Who you got? Top, Top four? four? Uh, no, so hear me out, man. Yeah. He's a sleeper, somebody we've never heard of. But I've been following this bracket, man, my whole life. Like, his journey's been crazy. I got to go with my nigga Rod. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then ch Who? check it out. Rod. Just hear me out. Wait, Rod? Rod. R O D. Oh, right. wait, hold Damn, on. Damn, you chicken spitting up. You just spit chicken on me. You can't. Rod, R O D. Wait, wait. You call me a chicken spitting what? You just spit chicken on me. This isn't kick. Let's calm down. Okay, man. Damn. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Rodney Conyers. Yep. Uh huh. Sure. Rodney Conyers. Okay. <laughs> I see where this is happening. You see where this is going? Yeah, I see this monkey. <laughs> and e e no, I'm kidding. And Rodney Conyers. Okay. That was my top four. That's okay. Top I don't know how to respond. That's right. Uh, That's right. We'll it's, just, all, it's all good. We'll Max, they, they, don't, they don't know, bro. They don't, they don't. I don't. I don't want no problems. I'm a chicken spitting. Oh, monkey. Junior, Junior yeah. went foolish. Yeah, junior you spit went some foolish. chicken on me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I hey, be a monkey. Let, let's keep spitting facts. Uh, my top four. Wow, like, who could it be? It was one time. I, obviously, I got my man light. No doubt about that. Man, hold on. I also got, didn't say monk. I said motherfucker. Oh, that's what you said. Damn, this man. Calm come on, down, bro. Bernie Mac. I'm, I'm, I'm right. Sorry. Anyway, I got light. Obviously, I got Tweak. I got Spargo, and I got. In a return to form, top eight, top four, starting the new year off right, M. K. Leo. I'll take right. it. Right. Back. Right. Now, I don't want to disrespect my boy Sonics, you know what I'm saying? Fifth place this time, Sonics, okay? I'm going to put you in fifth. Respectable. Same with you, Cola. All right? Ain't February yet. Don't get too excited. Any love right, for right. Quid? Huh? Anything for Quid? Quid's nasty. Former Let's Make Boot Moves champion? But I watched him get reverse 3 0 by Webb yesterday, so I don't know. Ah. Uh, Maybe. Okay. All right, all right, real predictions. Leo Light, Tweak Spargo. You think Leo's back? Free, without question. Okay. I had to talk with him. He was like, I'm back. I was, it, was that, it was that simple. That's all you have That's to say. It. Yeah, I will Michael never. Michael Jordan, I'm back. Yep. I will never not have faith in Leo. Like, I, yeah, but it's up to him. Like, it, yeah. I, I don't, I don't, uh, watching a player who decides if he wants to win or lose is like, all right, man, so did you, you know, what side of the bed did you roll out of today? It really just depends on how much effort they put in when they came, before they came here. And you just don't know. Like, for example, I don't think anyone thought I was going to top five poor priority. But, like, I like I put in a lot of effort. Leo, I don't know if he's putting an effort right. at home. But you don't know that. And then, like, you'll, you'll see him talk about it if he does good. But, like, if he doesn't do good, he's going to keep to himself. And then you're going to have to wait for that moment to come. But I think it will come. I okay. will always okay. have faith in Leo. I actually like that. I like that a lot. Any dark horses? Last question. Any dark horses? Leo. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know yeah. what? I'm, I'm going with Webb. Webb? Okay. Web. I'm going with Shattuck. Oh, come on, he's in my path. Shattuck? I'm going with I Shattuck. forgot okay. Shattuck. Okay, I take Shattuck's mine my back. It's course. Shattuck first and then Webb. I would have okay. to look at the bracket. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we're overdue for a Meister top, you know. Okay, top yeah, Meister going five. to run, yeah. Yeah, I could see him doing well. <laughs> if my run gets ended by Meister, I'm just done. <laughs> All right. I mean, game watch Fox, bro. It's tough, man. Pick yeah, up a tough. secondary, Jim. Yeah. All right. 
Well, guys, we Come appreciate on. you tuning in for this live edition of Lights Out. TOs, if you want this kind of quality content at your event, the DMs are open, okay? Don't be shy. I am your guy. You know the vibes. Also, Lights Out officially returns to form this Tuesday, 2 p.m. EST on twitch.tv slash EV. So myself, uh, Light, and Cosmos will be in effect. Our first official 2024 episode. Uh, it's going to be a great time. I see nothing but great things ahead uh, for the podcast. And we want you guys to be a part of it, whether you watched it live in person, which we appreciate, and all the great questions, as well as those of you online. Uh, the tournament uh, begins what time tomorrow? 11 a.m. sharp, Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you all there. Have a blessed night and take care, everybody. Woo! Thank you all, our guests. Goodbye. Woo! All right, and with that, day one of LMBM is over. Thank you guys so much for coming. Venue's 24 hours. We'll see you tomorrow morning or all through the night if you're a DJ. Thank you guys so much. Another great year is underway.